the opening Al-Fatiha in the name of God the Gracious the Merciful Praise be to God Lord of the Worlds the Most Gracious the Most Merciful Master of the Day of Judgment it is you we worship and upon you we call for help guide us to the straight path the path of those you have blessed not of those against whom there is anger nor of those who are misguided the Hefer Al-Bakara in the name of God the Gracious the Merciful Aleph Lamin this is the book in which there is no doubt a Guide for the righteous those who believe in the unseen and perform the prayers and give from what we have provided for them and those who believe in what was revealed to you and in what was revealed before you and are certain of the hereafter these are upon guidance from their Lord these are the successful as for those who disbelieve it is the same for them whether you have warned them or have not warned them they do not believe God has set a seal on their hearts and on their hearing and over their vision is a veil they will have a severe torment among the people are those who say we believe in God and in the last day but they are not believers page the heifer al Bakara. they seek to deceive God and those who believe but they deceive none but themselves though they are not aware in their hearts is sickness and God has increased their sickness they will have a painful punishment because of their denial and when it is said to them do not make trouble on earth they say. We are only reformers in fact they are the troublemakers but they are not aware and when it is said to them believe as the people have believed they say shall we believe as the fools have believed in fact it is they who are the fools but they do not know and when they come across those who believe they say we believe but when they are alone with their devils they say we are with you we were only ridiculing it is God who ridicules them and leaves them bewildered in their transgression those are they who have bartered error for guidance but their trade does not profit them and they are not guided their likeness is that of a person who kindled a fire when it illuminated all around him god took away their light and left them in darkness unable to see deaf dumb blind they will not return or like a cloud burst from the sky in which is darkness and thunder and lightning they press their fingers into their ears from the thunderbolts in fear of death but god Surrounds the disbelievers the lightning almost snatches their sight away whenever it illuminates for them they walk in it but when it grows dark over them they stand still had God willed he could have taken away their hearing and their sight God is capable of everything page the heifer al Bakara O people worship your Lord who created you and those before you that you may attain piety he who made the earth a habitat for you and the sky a structure and sends water down from the sky and brings out fruits thereby as a sustenance for you therefore do not assign rivals to God while you know and if you are in doubt about what we have revealed to our servant then produce a chapter like these and call your witnesses apart from God if you are truthful but if you do not and you will not then beware the fire whose fuel is people and stones prepared for the disbelievers and give good news to those who believe and do righteous deeds that they will have gardens beneath which rivers flow whenever they are provided with fruit therefrom as sustenance they will say this is what we were provided with before and they will be given the like of it and they will have pure spouses therein and they will abide therein forever God does not shy away from making an example of a gnat or something above it as for those who believe they know that it is the truth from their Lord but as for those who disbelieve they say what did God intend by this example he leads astray many thereby and he guides many thereby but he misleads thereby only the evildoers those who violate God's covenant after its confirmation and sever what God has commanded to be joined and commit evil on earth these are the losers how can you deny God when you were dead and he gave you life then he will put you to death then he will bring you to life then to him you will be returned page the heifer al Bakara. it is he who created for you everything on earth then turned to the heaven and made them seven heavens and he is aware of all things when your lord said to the angels i am placing a successor on earth they said will you place in it someone who will cause corruption in it and shed blood while we declare your praises and sanctify you he said i know what you do not know and he taught adam the names all of them then he presented them to the angels and said tell me the names of these if you are sincere they said glory be to you we have no knowledge except what you have taught us it is you who are the knowledgeable the wise he said O oh Adam tell them their names and when he told them their names he said did I not tell you that I know the secrets of the heavens and the earth and that I know what you reveal and what you conceal and we said to the angels bow down to Adam they bowed down except for Satan he refused was arrogant and was one of the disbelievers we said O oh Adam inhabit the garden you and your spouse and eat from it freely as you please but do not approach this tree lest you become wrongdoers but Satan caused them to slip from it and caused them to depart the state they were in we said go down some of you enemies of one another and you will have residence on earth and enjoyment for a while then Adam received words from his Lord so he relented towards him he is the relenting the merciful we said go down from it all of you yet whenever guidance comes to you from me then whoever follows my guidance they have nothing to fear nor shall they grieve page the heifer al Bakara. but as for those who disbelieve and reject our signs these are the inmates of the fire wherein they will remain forever O children of Israel remember my blessings which I bestowed upon you and fulfill your pledge to me and I will fulfill my pledge to you and fear me and believe in what I revealed confirming what is with you and do not be the first to deny it and do not exchange my revelations for a small price and be conscious of me and do not mix truth with falsehood and do not conceal the truth while you know and attend to your prayers and practice regular charity and kneel with those who kneel do you command people to virtuous conduct and forget yourselves even though you read the scripture do you not understand and seek help through patience and prayer but it is difficult except for the devout those who know that they will meet their lord and that to him they will return O children of israel remember my favor which i bestowed 
upon you and I that favored you over all nations and beware of a day when no soul will avail another in the least nor will any intercession be accepted on its behalf nor will any ransom be taken from it nor will they be helped and recall that we delivered you from the people of Pharaoh they inflicted on you terrible persecution killing your sons and sparing your women therein was a tremendous trial from your Lord and recall that we parted the sea for you so we saved you and we drowned the people of Pharaoh as you looked on page the heifer Albuquerque and recall that we appointed for Moses forty nights then you took to worshipping the calf after him and you turned wicked then we pardoned you after that so that you might be grateful and recall that we gave Moses the scripture and the criterion so that you may be guided and recall that Moses said to his people oh my people you have done wrong to yourselves by worshipping the calf so repent to your maker and kill your egos that would be better for you with your maker so he turned to you in repentance he is the acceptor of repentance the merciful and recall that you said O Moses we will not believe in you unless we see God plainly thereupon the thunderbolt struck you as you looked on then we revived you after your death so that you may be appreciative and we shaded you with clouds and we sent down to you manna and quails eat of the good things we have provided for you they did not wrong us but they used to wrong their own souls and recall that we said enter this town and eat plentifully from it whatever you wish but enter the gate humbly and say pardon we will forgive your sins and give increase to the virtuous but the wrongdoers among them substituted words other than those given to them so we sent down on the wrongdoers a plague from heaven because of their wicked behavior and recall when Moses prayed for water for his people we said strike the rock with your staff thereupon twelve Springs gushed out from it and each tribe recognized its drinking place eat and drink from God's provision and do not corrupt the earth with disobedience page the heifer Albuquerque and recall when you said O Moses we cannot endure one kind of food so call to your Lord to produce for us of what the earth grows of its herbs and its cucumbers and its garlic and its lentils and its onions he said would you substitute worse for better go down to Egypt where you will have what you ask for. They were struck with humiliation and poverty and incurred wrath from God that was because they rejected God's revelations and wrongfully killed the prophets that was because they disobeyed and transgressed those who believe and those who are Jewish and the Christians and the Sabaeans any who believe in God and the last day and act righteously will have their reward with their Lord they have nothing to fear nor will they grieve and recall when we received a pledge from you and raised the mount. Above you take what we have given you earnestly and remember what is in it that you may attain righteousness but after that you turned away were it not for God's grace and mercy towards you you would have been among the losers and you surely knew those of you who violated the Sabbath we said to them be despicable apes thus we made it a deterrent for their generation and for subsequent generations and a lesson for the righteous and recall when Moses said to his people God commands you to sacrifice a heifer they said do you make a mockery of us he said God forbid that I should be so ignorant they said call upon your Lord to show us which one he said he says she is a heifer neither too old nor too young but in between so do what you are commanded they said call upon your Lord to show us what her color is he said he says she is a yellow heifer bright in color pleasing to the beholders page the heifer Albuquerque they said call upon your Lord to show us which one the heifers look alike to us and God willing we will be guided he said he says she is a heifer neither yoke to plow the earth nor to irrigate the field sound without blemish they said now you have brought the truth so they slew her though they almost did not and recall when you killed a person and disputed in the matter but God was to expose what you were hiding we said strike him with part of it thus God brings the dead to life and he shows you his signs that you may understand. Then after that your hearts hardened they were as rocks or even harder for there are some rocks from which rivers gush out and others that splinter and water comes out from them and others that sink in awe of God. God is not unaware of what you do do you hope that they will believe in you when some of them used to hear the word of God and then deliberately distort it even after understanding it and when they come across those who believe they say we believe but when they come together. Privately they say will you inform them of what God has disclosed to you so that they might dispute with you concerning it before your Lord do you not understand do they not know that God knows what they conceal and what they reveal and among them are uneducated who know the scripture only through hearsay and they only speculate so woe to those who write the scripture with their own hands and then say this is from God that they may exchange it for a little price woe to them for what? Their hands have written and woe to them for what they earn page the heifer Albuquerque and they say the fire will not touch us except for a number of days say have you received a promise from God God never breaks his promise or are you saying about God what you do not know indeed whoever commits misdeeds and becomes besieged by his iniquities these are the inmates of the fire wherein they will dwell forever as for those who believe and do righteous deeds these are the inhabitants of paradise wherein they will dwell forever we made a covenant with the children of Israel worship none but God and be good to parents and relatives and orphans and the needy and speak nicely to people and pray regularly and give alms then you turned away except for a few of you recanting and we made a covenant with you you shall not shed the blood of your own nor shall you evict your own from your homes you agreed and were all witnesses but here you are killing your own and expelling a group of your own from their homes conspiring against them in wrongdoing and hostility and if they come to you as captives you ransom them although it was forbidden to you is it that you believe in part of the scripture and disbelieve in part what is the reward for those among you who do that but humiliation in this life and on the day of resurrection they will be assigned to the most severe torment God is not unaware of what you do those are they who bought the present life for the hereafter. 
so the punishment will not be lightened for them nor will they be helped. We gave Moses the scripture and sent a succession of messengers after him and we gave Jesus son of Mary the clear proofs and we supported him with the Holy Spirit. Is it that whenever a messenger comes to you with anything your souls do page the heifer Albuquerque not desire you grew arrogant calling some impostors and killing others and they said our hearts are sealed rather God has cursed them for their ingratitude. They have little faith and when a scripture came to them from God confirming what they have although previously they were seeking victory against those who disbelieved but when there came to them what they recognized they disbelieved in it so God's curse is upon the disbelievers miserable is what they sold their souls for rejecting what God has revealed out of resentment that God would send down his grace upon whomever he chooses from among his servants thus they incurred wrath upon wrath and there is a demeaning punishment for the disbelievers and when it is said to them believe in what God has revealed they say we believe in what was revealed to us and they reject anything beyond that although it is the truth which confirms what they have say why did you kill God's prophets before if you were believers Moses came to you with clear proofs yet you adopted the calf in his absence and you were in the wrong and we made a covenant with you and raised the mount above you take what we have given you firmly and listen they said we hear and disobey and their hearts became filled with the love of the calf because of their disbelief say wretched is what your faith commands you to do if you are believers say if the final home with God is yours alone to the exclusion of all other people then wish for death if you are sincere but they will never wish for it because of what their hands have forwarded God is aware of the evildoers page the heifer Albuquerque you will find them of all mankind the most eager for life even more than the polytheists every one of them wishes he could live a thousand years but to be granted a long life will not nudge him from the punishment God is seeing of what they do say whoever is hostile to Gabriel it is he who revealed it to your heart by God's leave confirming what preceded it and guidance and good news for the believers whoever is hostile to God and his angels and his messengers and Gabriel and Michael God is Hostile to the faithless we have revealed to you clear signs and none rejects them except the sinners is it not that whenever they make a covenant some of them toss it aside in fact most of them do not believe and when there came to them a messenger from God confirming what they had a faction of those who were given the book through the book of God behind their backs as if they do not know and they followed what the devils taught during the reign of Solomon it was not Solomon who disbelieved. But it was the devils who disbelieved they taught the people witchcraft and what was revealed in Babylon to the two angels Harut and Merut they did not teach anybody until they had said we are a test so do not lose faith but they learned from them the means to cause separation between man and his wife but they cannot harm anyone except with God's permission and they learned what would harm them and not benefit them yet they knew that whoever deals in it will have no share in the hereafter. Miserable is what they sold their souls for if they only knew had they believed and been righteous the reward from God would have been better if they only knew page the heifer Albuquerque O you who believe do not say ambiguous words but say words of respect and listen the disbelievers will have a painful torment it is never the wish of the disbelievers from among the people of the book nor of the polytheists that any good should be sent down to you from your Lord but God chooses for his mercy whomever he wills God is possessor of sublime grace we never nullify a verse nor cause it to be forgotten unless we bring one better than it or similar to it do you not know that God is capable of all things do you not know that to God belongs the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth and that apart from God you have no guardian or helper or do you want to question your messenger as Moses was questioned before whoever exchanges faith for disbelief has strayed from the right path Many of the people of the book wish to turn you back into unbelievers after you have believed out of envy on their part after the truth has become clear to them but pardon and overlook until God brings his command God has power over all things and perform the prayer and give alms whatever good you forward for yourselves you will find it with God God is seeing of everything you do and they say none will enter heaven unless he is a Jew or a Christian these are their wishes say produce your Proof if you are truthful in fact whoever submits himself to God and is a doer of good will have his reward with his Lord they have nothing to fear nor shall they grieve the Jews say the Christians are not based on anything and the Christians say the Jews are not based on anything yet they both read the scripture similarly the ignorant said the same thing page the heifer Albuquerque God will judge between them on the day of resurrection regarding their differences who is more unjust than him who forbids the remembrance of God's name in places of worship and contributes to their ruin these ought not to enter them except in fear for them is disgrace in this world and for them is a terrible punishment in the hereafter to God belong the east and the west whichever way you turn there is God's presence God is omnipresent and omniscient and they say God has begotten a son be he glorified rather his is everything in the heavens and the earth all are obedient to him originator of the heavens and the earth whenever he decrees a thing he says to it be and it becomes those who do not know say if only God would speak to us or a sign would come to us thus said those who were before them their hearts are alike we have made the signs clear for people who are certain we have sent you with the truth bringing good news and giving warnings you will not be questioned about the inmates of hell the Jews and the Christians will not approve of you unless you follow their creed say God's guidance is the guidance should you follow their desires after the knowledge that has come to you you will have in God neither guardian nor helper those to whom we have given the scripture follow it as it ought to be followed these believe in it but as for those who reject it these are the losers O children of Israel remember my blessing which I bestowed upon you and that I have favored you over all people page the heifer Albuquerque and beware of a day when no soul will 
avail another soul in any way and no ransom will be accepted from it and no intercession will benefit it and they will not be helped and when his lord tested Abraham with certain words and he fulfilled them he said I am making you a leader of humanity he said and my descendants he said my pledge does not include the wrongdoers and we made the house a focal point for the people and a sanctuary use the shrine of Abraham as a place of prayer and we commissioned Abraham and Ishmael. Sanctify my house for those who circle around it and those who seclude themselves in it and those who kneel and prostrate when Abraham said O oh my Lord make this a peaceful land and provide its people with fruits whoever of them believes in God and the last day he said and whoever disbelieves I will give him a little enjoyment then I will consign him to the punishment of the fire how miserable the destiny as Abraham raises the foundations of the house together with Ishmael our Lord accept. It from us you are the hearer the knower our Lord and make us submissive to you and from our descendants a community submissive to you and show us our rights and accept our repentance you are the acceptor of repentance the merciful our Lord and raise up among them a messenger of themselves who will recite to them your revelations and teach them the book and wisdom and purify them you are the almighty the wise who would forsake the religion of Abraham except he who fools himself we chose him. In this world and in the hereafter he will be among the righteous page the heifer al Bakara. when his lord said to him submit he said I have submitted to the lord of the worlds and Abraham exhorted his sons and Jacob O oh my sons God has chosen this religion for you so do not die unless you have submitted or were you witnesses when death approached Jacob and he said to his sons what will you worship after me they said we will worship your God and the God of your fathers Abraham. Ishmael and Isaac one God and to him we submit that was a community that has passed for them is what they have earned and for you is what you have earned and you will not be questioned about what they used to do and they say be Jews or Christians and you will be guided say rather the religion of Abraham the monotheist he was not an idolater say we believe in God and in what was revealed to us and in what was revealed to Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the patriarchs and in what was given to Moses and Jesus and in what was given to the prophets from their Lord we make no distinction between any of them and to him we surrender if they believe in the same as you have believed in then they have been guided but if they turn away then they are in schism God will protect you against them for he is the hearer the knower God's coloring and who gives better coloring than God and we are devoted to him say do you argue with us about God when he is our Lord and your Lord and we have our works and you have your works and we are sincere to him or do you say that Abraham Ishmael Isaac Jacob and the patriarchs were Jews or Christians say do you know better or page the heifer al Bakara God and who does greater wrong than he who conceals a testimony he has from God God is not unaware of what you do that was a community that has passed to them is what they have earned and to you is what you have earned and you will not be questioned about what they used. To do the ignorant among the people will say what has turned them away from the direction of prayer they once followed say to God belong the east and the west he guides whom he wills to a straight path thus we made you a moderate community that you may be witnesses to humanity and that the messenger may be a witness to you we only established the direction of prayer which you once followed that we may distinguish those who follow the messenger from those who turn on their heels it is. Indeed difficult except for those whom God has guided but God would never let your faith go to waste God is kind towards the people merciful we have seen your face turn towards the heaven so we will turn you towards a direction that will satisfy you so turn your face towards the sacred mosque and wherever you may be turn your faces towards it those who were given the book know that it is the truth from their Lord and God is not unaware of what they do even if you were to bring to those who were given the book every proof they would not follow your direction nor are you to follow their direction nor do they follow the direction of one another and if you were to follow their desires after the knowledge that has come to you you would be in that case one of the wrongdoers those to whom we have given the book recognize it as they recognize their own children but some of them conceal the truth while they know the truth is from your lord so do not be a skeptic page the heifer al the carrot to every community is a direction towards which it turns therefore race towards goodness wherever you may be God will bring you all together God is capable of everything and wherever you come from turn your face towards the sacred mosque this is the truth from your Lord and God is not heedless of what you do and wherever you come from turn your face towards the sacred mosque and wherever you may be turn your faces towards it so that the people may not have any argument against. You accept those who do wrong among them so do not fear them but fear me that I may complete my blessings upon you and that you may be guided just as we sent to you a messenger from among you who recites our revelations to you and purifies you and teaches you the book and wisdom and teaches you what you did not know so remember me and I will remember you and thank me and do not be ungrateful O you who believe seek help through patience and prayers God is with the steadfast and do not say of those who are killed in the cause of God dead rather they are alive but you do not perceive we will certainly test you with some fear and hunger and some loss of possessions and lives and crops but give good news to the steadfast those who when a calamity afflicts them say to God we belong and to him we will return upon these are blessings and mercy from their Lord these are the guided ones Safa and Marwa are among the rights of God whoever makes the pilgrimage to the house or performs. The Umrah commits no error page the heifer al Bakara by circulating between them whoever volunteers good God is appreciative and cognizant those who suppress the proofs and the guidance we have revealed after we have clarified them to humanity in the scripture ethos God curses them and the cursors curse them except those who repent and reform and proclaim those I will accept their repentance I am the acceptor of repentance the merciful but as for those who reject faith and die rejecting. 
Those upon them is the curse of God and of the angels and of all humanity they will remain under it forever and the torment will not be lightened for them and they will not be reprieved your God is one God there is no God but he the benevolent the compassionate in the creation of the heavens and the earth in the alternation of night and day in the ships that sail the oceans for the benefit of mankind in the water that God sends down from the sky and revives the earth with it after it had died and scatters in it all kinds of creatures in the changing of the winds and the clouds disposed between the sky and the earth are signs for people who understand yet among the people are those who take other than God as equals to him they love them as the love of God but those who believe have greater love for God if only the wrongdoers would realize when they see the torment that all power is God's and that God is severe in punishment those who were followed will then disown those who followed them and they will see the retribution and ties between them will be severed those who followed will say if only we can have another chance we will disown them as they disowned us thus God will page the heifer albacara show them their deeds as regrets to them and they will not come out of the fire O people eat of what is lawful and good on earth and do not follow the footsteps of Satan he is to you an open enemy he commands you to do evil and vice and to say about God what you do not know and when it is said to them follow what God has revealed they say we will follow what we found our ancestors following even if their ancestors understood nothing and were not guided the parable of those who disbelieve is that of someone who calls upon someone who hears nothing except screaming and yelling deaf dumb and blind they do not understand O oh, you who believe eat of the good things we have provided for you and give thanks to God if it is him that you serve he has forbidden you carrion and blood and the flesh of swine and what was dedicated to other than God but if anyone is compelled without desiring or exceeding he commits no sin God is forgiving and merciful those who conceal what God revealed in the book and exchange it for a small price those swallow nothing but fire into their bellies and God will not speak to them on the day of resurrection nor will he purify them and they will have a painful punishment it is they who exchange guidance for error and forgiveness for punishment but why do they insist on the fire that is because God has revealed the book in truth and those who differ about the book are in deep discord righteousness does not consist of turning your faces towards the east and the west but righteous is he who believes in God and the last day and the angels and the scripture and the prophets page the heifer albacara who gives money though dear to near relatives and orphans and the needy and the homeless and the beggars and for the freeing of slaves those who perform the prayers and pay the obligatory charity and fulfill their promise when they promise and patiently persevere in the face of persecution hardship and in the time of conflict these are the sincere these are the pious O oh, you who believe retaliation for the murdered is ordained upon you the free for the free the slave for the slave the female for the female but if he is forgiven by his kin then grant any reasonable demand and pay with good will this is a concession from your Lord and a mercy but whoever commits aggression after that a painful torment awaits him there is life for you in retaliation O people of understanding so that you may refrain it is decreed for you when death approaches one of you and he leaves wealth to make a testament in favor of the parents and the relatives fairly and correctly a duty upon the righteous but whoever changes it after he has heard it the guilt is upon those who change it God is all hearing all Knowing should someone suspect bias or injustice on the part of a testator and then reconciles between them he commits no sin God is forgiving and merciful O oh, you who believe fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you that you may become righteous for a specified number of days but whoever among you is sick or on a journey then a number of other days for those who are able a ransom of feeding a needy person but whoever volunteers goodness it is better for him but to fast is best for you if you only knew Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed guidance for humanity and clear portents of guidance and the page the heifer albacara criterion whoever of you witnesses the month shall fast it but whoever is sick or on a journey then a number of other days God desires ease for you and does not desire hardship for you that you may complete the number and celebrate God for having guided you so that you may be thankful and when my servants ask you about me I am near I answer the call of the caller when he calls on me so let them answer me and have faith in me that they may be rightly guided permitted for you is intercourse with your wives on the night of the fast they are a garment for you and you are a garment for them God knows that you used to betray yourselves but he turned to you and pardoned you so approach them now and seek what God has ordained for you and eat and drink until the white streak of dawn can be distinguished from the black streak then complete the fast until nightfall but do not approach them while you are in retreat at the mosques these are the limits of God so do not come near them God thus clarifies his revelations to the people that they may attain piety and do not consume one another's wealth by unjust means nor offer it as bribes to the officials in order to consume part of other people's wealth illicitly while you know they ask you about the crescents say they are timetables for people and for the hajj it is not virtuous that you approach homes from their backs but virtue is to be pious so approach homes from their doors and observe God that you may succeed and fight in the cause of God those who fight you but do not commit aggression God does not love the aggressors and kill them wherever you overtake them and expel them from where they had expelled you oppression is more serious than murder but do not fight them at the sacred mosque unless they fight you there if they 
fight you then kill them such as the retribution of the disbelievers page the heifer al Bakara. but if they cease then God is forgiving and merciful and fight them until there is no oppression and worship becomes devoted to God alone but if they cease then let there be no hostility except against the oppressors the sacred month for the sacred month and sacrilege calls for retaliation whoever commits aggression against you retaliate against him in the same measure as he has committed against you and be conscious of God and know that God is with the righteous and spend in the cause of God and do not throw yourselves with your own hands into ruin and be charitable God loves the charitable and carry out the Hajj and the Umrah for God but if you are prevented then whatever is feasible of offerings and do not shave your heads until the offering has reached its destination whoever of you is sick or has an injury of the head then redemption of fasting or charity or worship when you are secure whoever continues the Umrah until the Hajj then whatever is feasible of offering but if he lacks the means then fasting for three days during the Hajj and seven when you have returned making ten in all this is for he whose household is not present at the sacred mosque and remain conscious of God and know that God is stern in retribution the Hajj is during specific months whoever decides to perform the Hajj there shall be no sexual relations nor misconduct nor quarreling during the Hajj and whatever good you do God knows it and take provisions but the best provision is righteousness and be mindful of me O people of understanding you commit no error by seeking bounty from your Lord when you disperse from Arafat remember God at the sacred landmark and remember him as he has guided you although before that you were of those astray page the heifer al Bakara then disperse from where the people disperse and ask God for forgiveness God is most forgiving most merciful. When you have completed your rights remember God as you remember your parents or even more among the people is he who says our Lord give us in this world yet he has no share in the hereafter and among them is he who says our Lord give us goodness in this world and goodness in the hereafter and protect us from the torment of the fire these will have a share of what they have earned God is swift in reckoning and remember God during the designated days but whoever hurries on in two days commits no wrong and whoever stays on commits no wrong provided he maintains righteousness and obey God and know that to him you will be gathered among the people is he whose speech about the worldly life impresses you and he calls God to witness what is in his heart while he is the most hostile of adversaries when he gains power he strives to spread corruption on earth destroying properties and lives God does not like corruption and when he is told beware of God his pride leads him to more sin hell is enough for him a dreadful abode and among the people is he who sells himself seeking God's approval God is kind towards the servants O you who believe enter into submission wholeheartedly and do not follow the footsteps of Satan he is to you an outright enemy but if you slip after the proofs have come to you know that God is powerful and wise page the heifer al Bakara are they waiting for God himself to come to them in the shadows of the clouds together with the angels. And thus the matter is settled all things are returned to God ask the children of Israel how many clear signs we have given them whoever alters the blessing of God after it has come to him God is severe in retribution beautified is the life of this world for those who disbelieve and they ridicule those who believe but the righteous will be above them on the day of resurrection God provides to whomever he wills without measure humanity used to be one community then God sent the prophets bringing good news and giving warnings and he sent down with them the scripture with the truth to judge between people regarding their differences but none differed over it except those who were given it after the proofs had come to them out of mutual envy between them then God guided those who believed to the truth they had disputed in accordance with his will God guides whom he wills to a straight path or do you expect to enter paradise before the example of those who came before you had reached you adversity and hardship had afflicted them and they were so shaken up that the messenger and those who believed with him said when is God's victory indeed God's victory is near they ask you what they should give say whatever charity you give is for the parents and the relatives and the orphans and the poor and the wayfarer whatever good you do God is aware of it fighting is ordained for you even though you dislike it but it may be that you dislike something while it is good for you and it may be that you like something while it is bad for you God knows and you do not know page the heifer al Bakara. they ask you about fighting during the holy month say fighting during it is deplorable but to bar others from God's path and to disbelieve in him and to prevent access to the holy mosque and to expel its people from it are more deplorable with God and persecution is more serious than killing they will not cease to fight you until they turn you back from your religion if they can whoever among you turns back from his religion and dies a disbeliever those are they whose works will come to nothing in this life and in the hereafter those are the inmates of the fire abiding in it forever those who believed and those who migrated and fought for the sake of God those look forward to God's mercy God is forgiving and merciful they ask you about intoxicants and gambling say there is gross sin in them and some benefits for people but their sinfulness outweighs their benefit and they ask you about what they should give say the surplus thus God explains the revelations to you so that you may think about this world and the next and they ask you about orphans say improvement for them is best and if you intermix with them then they are your brethren God knows the dishonest from the honest had God willed he could have overburdened you God is mighty and wise do not marry idolatresses unless they have believed a believing mate is better than an idolatress 
even if you like her and do not marry idolaters unless they have believed a believing servant is better than an idolater even if you like him these call to the fire but God calls to the garden and to forgiveness by his leave he makes clear his communications to the people that they may be mindful and they ask you about menstruation say it is harmful so keep away from women during menstruation and do not approach them until they have become pure once they have become pure page the heifer al. Bakara approach them in the way God has directed you God loves the repentant and he loves those who keep clean your women are cultivation for you so approach your cultivation whenever you like and send ahead for yourselves and fear God and know that you will meet him and give good news to the believers and do not allow your oaths in God's name to hinder you from virtue and righteousness and making peace between people God is listener and knower God does not hold you responsible for your unintentional oaths but he holds you responsible for your intentions God is forgiving and forbearing those who vow abstinence from their wives must wait for four months but if they reconcile God is forgiving and merciful and if they resolve to divorce God is hearing and knowing divorced women shall wait by themselves for three periods and it is not lawful for them to conceal what God has created in their wombs if they believe in God and the last day meanwhile their husbands have the better right to take them back if they desire reconciliation and women have rights similar to their obligations according to what is fair but men have a degree over them God is mighty and wise divorce is allowed twice then either honorable retention or setting free kindly it is not lawful for you to take back anything you have given them unless they fear that they cannot maintain God's limits if you fear that they cannot maintain God's limits then there is no blame on them if she sacrifices something for her release these are God's limits so do not transgress them those who transgress God's limits are the unjust if he divorces her she shall not be lawful for him again until she has married another husband if the latter divorces her then their page the heifer al is no blame on them for reuniting provided they think they can maintain God's limits these are God's limits he makes them clear to people who know when you divorce women and they have reached their term either retain them amicably or release them amicably but do not retain them to hurt them and commit aggression whoever does that has wronged himself and do not take God's revelations for a joke and remember God's favor to you and that he revealed to you the scripture and wisdom to teach you and fear God and know that God is aware of everything when you divorce women and they have reached their term do not prevent them from marrying their husbands provided they agree on fair terms thereby is advised whoever among you believes in God and the last day that is better and more decent for you God knows and you do not know mothers may nurse their infants for two whole years for those who desire to complete the nursing period it is the duty of the father to provide for them and clothe them in a proper manner no soul shall be burdened beyond its capacity no mother shall be harmed on account of her child and no father shall be harmed on account of his child the same duty rests upon the ear if the couple desire weaning by mutual consent and consultation they commit no error by doing so you commit no error by hiring nursing mothers as long as you pay them fairly and be wary of God and know that God is seeing of what you do as for those among you who die and leave widows behind their widows shall wait by themselves for four months and ten days when they have reached their term there is no blame on you regarding what they might honorably do with themselves God is fully acquainted with what you do you commit no error by announcing your engagement to women or by keeping it to yourselves God knows that you will be page the heifer al thinking about them but do not meet them secretly unless you have something proper to say and do not confirm the marriage tie until the writing is fulfilled and know that God knows what is in your soul so beware of him and know that God is forgiving and forbearing you commit no error by divorcing women before having touched them or before having set the dowry for them and compensate them the wealthy according to his means and the poor according to his means with a fair compensation a duty upon the doers of good if you divorce them before you have touched them but after you had set the dowry for them give them half of what you specified unless they forego the right or the one in whose hand is the marriage contract forgoes it but to forego is nearer to piety and do not forget generosity between one another God is seeing of everything you do Guard your prayers and the middle prayer and stand before God in devotion but if you are in fear then on foot or riding and when you are safe remember God as he taught you what you did not know those of you who die and leave wives behind a will shall provide their wives with support for a year provided they do not leave if they leave you are not to blame for what they do with themselves provided it is reasonable God is mighty and wise and divorced women shall be provided for equitably a duty. Upon the righteous God thus explains his revelations to you so that you may understand have you not considered those who fled their homes by the thousands fearful of death God said to them die then he page the heifer al revived them God is gracious towards the people but most people are not appreciative fight in the cause of God and know that God is hearing and knowing who is he who will offer God a generous loan so he will multiply it for him manifold God receives and amplifies and to him you will be returned have you not considered the notables of the children of Israel after Moses when they said to a prophet of theirs appoint a king for us and we will fight in the cause of God he said is it possible that if fighting was ordained for you you would not fight they said why would we not fight in the cause of God when we were driven out of our homes along with our children but when fighting was ordained for them they turned away except for a few of them but God is 
aware of the wrongdoers their prophet said to them God has appointed Saul to be your king they said how can he have authority over us when we are more worthy of authority than he and he was not given plenty of wealth he said God has chosen him over you and has increased him in knowledge and stature God bestows his sovereignty upon whomever he wills God is embracing and knowing and their prophet said to them the proof of his kingship is that the ark will be restored to you bringing tranquility from your lord and relics left by the family of Moses and the family of Aaron it will be carried by the angels in that is a sign for you if you are believers when Saul set out with the troops he said God will be testing you with a river whoever drinks from it does not belong with me but whoever does not drink from it does belong with me except for whoever scoops up a little with his hand but they drank from it except for a few of them then when he crossed it he and those who believed with him they said we have no strength to face page the heifer albuquerque goliath and his troops today but those who knew that they would meet god said how many a small group has defeated a large group by god's will god is with the steadfast and when they confronted goliath and his troops they said our lord pour down patience on us and strengthen our foothold and support us against the faithless people and they defeated them by god's leave and david killed goliath and god gave him sovereignty and wisdom and taught him as he willed were it not for God restraining the people some by means of others the earth would have gone to ruin but God is gracious towards mankind these are God's revelations which we recite to you in truth you are one of the messengers these messengers we gave some advantage over others to some of them God spoke directly and some he raised in rank we gave Jesus son of Mary the clear miracles and we strengthened him with the Holy Spirit had God willed those who succeeded them would not have fought one another after the clear signs had come to them but they disputed some of them believed and some of them disbelieved had God willed they would not have fought one another but God does whatever he desires O you who believe spend from what we have given you before a day comes in which there is neither trading nor friendship nor intercession the disbelievers are the wrongdoers God there is no God except he the living the everlasting. Neither slumber overtakes him nor sleep to him belongs everything in the heavens and everything on earth who is he that can intercede with him except with his permission he knows what is before them and what is behind them and they cannot grasp any of his knowledge except as he wills his throne extends over the heavens and the earth and their preservation does not burden him he is the most high the great page the heifer albuquerque there shall be no compulsion in religion the right way has become distinct from the wrong way whoever renounces evil and believes in God has grasped the most trustworthy handle which does not break God is hearing and knowing God is the Lord of those who believe he brings them out of darkness and into light as for those who disbelieve their lords are the evil ones they bring them out of light and into darkness these are the inmates of the fire in which they will abide forever have you not considered him who argued with Abraham about his Lord because God had given him sovereignty Abraham said my Lord is he who gives life and causes death he said I give life and cause death Abraham said God brings the sun from the east so bring it from the west so the blasphemer was confounded God does not guide the wrongdoing people or like him who passed by a town collapsed on its foundations he said how can God revive this after its demise thereupon God caused him to die for a hundred years and then resurrected him he said for how long have you tarried he said I have tarried for a day or part of a day he said no you have tarried for a hundred years now look at your food and your drink it has not spoiled and look at your donkey we will make you a wonder for mankind and look at the bones how we arrange them and then clothe them with flesh so when it became clear to him he said I know that God has power over all things and when Abraham said my Lord show me how you give life to the dead he said have you not believed he said Yes but to put my heart at ease he said take four birds and incline them to yourself then place a part on each hill then call to them and they will come rushing to you and know that God is powerful and wise the parable of those who spend their wealth in God's way is that of a grain that produces seven spikes in each spike is a hundred page the heifer albuquerque grains God multiplies for whom he wills God is bounteous and knowing those who spend their wealth in the way of God and then do not follow up what they spent with reminders of their generosity or with insults will have their reward with their lord they have nothing to fear nor shall they grieve kind words and forgiveness are better than charity followed by insults god is rich and clement O oh, you who believe do not nullify your charitable deeds with reminders and hurtful words like him who spends his wealth to be seen by the people and does not believe in god and the last day his likeness is that of a smooth rock covered with soil a downpour strikes it and leaves it bare they gain nothing from their efforts God does not guide the disbelieving people and the parable of those who spend their wealth seeking God's approval and to strengthen their souls is that of a garden on a hillside if heavy rain falls on it its produce is doubled and if no heavy rain falls then dew is enough God is seeing of everything you do would any one of you like to have a garden of palms and vines under which rivers flow with all kinds of fruit in it for him and old age has stricken him and he has weak children then a tornado with fire batters it and it burns down thus God makes clear the signs for you so that you may reflect O oh, you who believe give of the good things you have earned and from what we have produced for you from the earth and do not pick the inferior things to give away when you yourselves would not accept it except with eyes closed and know that God is sufficient and praiseworthy page the heifer albuquerque
Satan promises you poverty and urges you to immorality but God promises you forgiveness from himself and grace God is embracing and knowing he gives wisdom to whomever he wills whoever is given wisdom has been given much good but none pays heed except those with insight whatever charity you give or a pledge you fulfill God knows it the wrongdoers have no helpers if you give charity openly that is good but if you keep it secret and give it to the needy in private that is better for you it will atone for some of your misdeeds God is cognizant of what you do their guidance is not your responsibility but God guides whom he wills any charity you give is for your own good any charity you give shall be for the sake of God any charity you give will be repaid to you in full and you will not be wronged it is for the poor those who are restrained in the way of God and unable to travel in the land the unaware would think them rich due to their dignity you will recognize them by their features they do not ask from people insistently whatever charity you give God is aware of it those who spend their wealth by night and day privately and publicly will receive their reward from their Lord they have nothing to fear nor shall they grieve those who swallow usury will not rise except as someone driven mad by Satan's touch that is because they say commerce is like usury but God has permitted commerce and has forbidden usury whoever on receiving advice from his Lord refrains may keep his past earnings and his case rests with God but whoever resumes these are the dwellers of the fire wherein they will abide forever page the heifer albacara God condemns usury and he blesses charities God does not love any sinful ingrate those who believe and do good deeds and pray regularly and give charity they will have their reward with their Lord they will have no fear nor shall they grieve O you who believe fear God and forego what remains of usury if you are believers if you do not then take notice of a war by God and his messenger but if you repent you may keep your capital neither wronging nor being wronged but if he is in hardship then deferment until a time of ease but to remit it as charity is better for you if you only knew and guard yourselves against a day when you will be returned to God then each soul will be rewarded fully for what it has earned and they will not be wronged O you who believe when you incur debt among yourselves for a certain period of time write it down and have a scribe write in your presence in all fairness and let no scribe refuse to write as God has taught him so let him write and let the debtor dictate and let him fear God his Lord and diminish nothing from it but if the debtor is mentally deficient or weak or unable to dictate then let his guardian dictate with honesty and call to witness two men from among you if two men are not available then one man and two women whose testimony is acceptable to all if one of them fails to remember the other would remind her witnesses must not refuse when called upon and do not think it too trivial to write down whether small or large including the time of repayment that is more equitable with God and stronger as evidence and more likely to prevent doubt except in the case of a spot transaction between you then there is no blame on you if you do not write it down and let there be witnesses whenever you conclude a contract and let no harm be done to either scribe or Witness if you do that it is page the heifer albacara corruption on your part and fear God God teaches you God is aware of everything if you are on a journey and cannot find a scribe then a security deposit should be handed over but if you trust one another let the trustee fulfill his trust and let him fear God his Lord and do not conceal testimony whoever conceals it is sinner at heart God is aware of what you do to God belongs everything in the heavens and the earth whether you reveal what is within yourselves or conceal it God will call you to account for it he forgives whom he wills and he punishes whom he wills God is able to do all things the messenger has believed in what was revealed to him from his Lord as did the believers they all have believed in God and his angels and his scriptures and his messengers we make no distinction between any of his messengers and they say we hear and we obey your forgiveness our Lord to you is the destiny God does not burden any soul beyond its capacity to its credit is what it earns and against it is what it commits our Lord do not condemn us if we forget or make a mistake our Lord do not burden us as you have burdened those before us our Lord do not burden us with more than we have strength to bear and pardon us and forgive us and have mercy on us you are our Lord and master so help us against the disbelieving people family of Imran Ali Imran in the name of God the gracious the merciful Aleph Lam Mim God there is no God but he the living the eternal he sent down to you the book with the truth confirming what came before it and he sent down the Torah and the gospel page family of Imran Ali Imran aforetime as guidance for mankind and he sent down the criterion those who have rejected God's signs will have a severe punishment God is mighty able to take revenge nothing is hidden from God on earth or in the heaven it is he who forms you in the wombs as he wills there is no God except he the Almighty the wise it is he who revealed to you the book some of its verses are definitive they are the foundation of the book and others are unspecific as for those in whose hearts is deviation they follow the unspecific part seeking descent and seeking to derive an interpretation but none knows its interpretation except God and those firmly rooted in knowledge say we believe in it all is from our Lord but none recollects except those with understanding our Lord do not cause our hearts to Swerve after you have guided us and bestow on us mercy from your presence you are the giver our Lord you will gather the people for a day in which there is no doubt God will never break his promise as for those who disbelieve neither their wealth nor their children will avail them anything against God these will be fuel for the fire like the behavior of Pharaoh's people and those before them they rejected our signs so God seized them for their sins God is strict in retribution say to 
Those who disbelieve you will be defeated and rounded up into hell an awful resting place there was a sign for you in the two parties that met one party fighting in the way of God and the other was disbelieving they saw them with their own eyes twice their number but God supports with his help whomever he wills and that is a lesson for those with insight page family of Imran Ali Imran adorned for the people is the love of desires such as women and children and piles upon piles of gold and silver and branded horses and livestock and fields these are the conveniences of the worldly life but with god lies the finest resort say shall i inform you of something better than that for those who are righteous with their lord are gardens beneath which rivers flow where they will remain forever and purified spouses and acceptance from god god is observant of the servants those who say our lord we have believed so forgive us our sins and save us from the suffering of the fire the patient and the truthful and the reverent and the charitable and the seekers of forgiveness at dawn God bears witness that there is no God but he as do the angels and those endowed with knowledge upholding justice there is no God but he the mighty the wise religion with God is Islam those to whom the scripture was given differed only after knowledge came to them out of envy among themselves whoever rejects the signs of God God is quick to take account if they argue with you say I have surrendered myself to God and those who follow me and say to those who were given the scripture and to the unlearned have you surrendered if they have surrendered then they are guided but if they turn away then your duty is to convey God is seeing of the servants as for those who defy God's revelations and kill the prophets unjustly and kill those who advocate justice among the people promise them a painful retribution they are those whose deeds will come to nothing in this world and in the hereafter and they will have no saviors page family of Imran Ali Imran have you not considered those who were given a share of the scripture as they were called to the scripture of God to arbitrate between them then some of them turned back and declined that is because they said the fire will not touch us except for a limited number of days they have been misled in their religion by the lies they fabricated how about when we gather them for a day in which there is no doubt and each soul will be paid in full for what it has earned and they will not be wronged say O God owner of sovereignty you grant sovereignty to whom you will and you strip sovereignty from whom you will you honor whom you will and you humiliate whom you will in your hand is all goodness you are capable of all things you merge the night into the day and you merge the day into the night and you bring the living out of the dead and you bring the dead out of the living and you provide for whom you will without measure believers are not to take disbelievers for friends instead of believers whoever does that has nothing to do with God unless it is to protect your own selves against them God warns you to beware of him to God is the destiny say whether you conceal what is in your hearts or disclose it God knows it he knows everything in the heavens and the earth God is powerful over everything on the day when every soul finds all the good it has done presented and as for the evil it has done it will wish there were a great distance between them God cautions you of himself God is kind towards the servants say if you love God then follow me and God will love you and will forgive you your sins God is forgiving and merciful page family of Imran Ali Imran say obey God and the messenger but if they turn away God does not love the faithless God chose Adam and Noah and the family of Abraham and the family of Imran over all mankind offspring one of the other God is hearer and knower the wife of Imran said my lord I have vowed to you what is in my womb dedicated so except from me you are the hearer and knower and when she delivered her she said my lord I have delivered a female and God was well aware of what she has delivered and the male is not like the female and I have named her Mary and have commended her and her descendants to your protection from Satan the outcast her lord accepted her with a gracious reception and brought her a beautiful upbringing and entrusted her to the care of Zechariah whenever Zechariah entered upon her in the sanctuary he found her with provision he said oh Mary where did you get this from she said it is from God God provides to whom he wills without reckoning thereupon Zechariah prayed to his Lord he said my Lord bestow on me good offspring from your presence you are the hearer of prayers then the angels called out to him as he stood praying in the sanctuary God gives you good news of John confirming a word from God and honorable and moral and a prophet one of the upright he said my lord how will I have a son when old age has overtaken me and my wife is barren he said even so God does whatever he wills he said my lord give me a sign he said your sign is that you shall not speak to the people for three days except by gestures page family of Imran Ali Imran and remember your lord much and praise in the evening and the morning the angels said oh Mary God has chosen you and has purified you he has chosen you over all the women of the world O Mary be devoted to your Lord and bow down and kneel with those who kneel these are accounts from the unseen which we reveal to you you were not with them when they cast their lots as to which of them would take charge of Mary nor were you with them as they quarreled the angel said O Mary God gives you good news of a word from him his name is the Messiah Jesus son of Mary well esteemed in this world and the next and one of the nearest he will speak to the people from the crib and in adulthood and will be one of the righteous she said my lord how can I have a child when no man has touched me he said it will be so God creates whatever he wills to have anything done he only says to it be and it is and he will teach him the scripture and wisdom and the Torah and the gospel a messenger to the children of Israel I have come to you with a sign from your lord I make for you out of clay the figure 
of a bird then I breathe into it and it becomes a bird by God's leave and I heal the blind and the lepers and I revive the dead by God's leave and I inform you concerning what you eat and what you store in your homes and that is a sign for you if you are believers and verifying what lies before me of the Torah and to make lawful for you some of what was forbidden to you I have come to you with a sign from your Lord so fear God and obey me page family of Imran Ali Imran God is my Lord and your Lord so worship him that is a straight path when Jesus sensed disbelief on their part he said who are my allies towards God the disciples said we are God's allies we have believed in God and bear witness that we submit our Lord we have believed in what you have revealed and we have followed the messenger so count us among the witnesses they planned and God planned but God is the best of planners God said O Jesus I am terminating your life and raising you to me and clearing you of those who disbelieve and I will make those who follow you superior to those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection then to me is your return then I will judge between you regarding what you were disputing as for those who disbelieve I will punish them with a severe punishment in this world and the next and they will have no helpers and as for those who believe and do good works he will give them their rewards in full God does not love the unjust this is what we recite to you of. The verses and the wise reminder the likeness of Jesus in God's sight is that of Adam he created him from dust then said to him be and he was the truth is from your Lord so do not be of those who doubt and if anyone disputes with you about him after the knowledge that has come to you say come let us call our children and your children and our women and your women and ourselves and yourselves and let us invoke God's curse on the liars this is the narrative of truth there is no God but God God is the mighty the wise page family of Imran Ali Imran but if they turn away God knows the corrupt say O people of the book come to terms common between us and you that we worship none but God and that we associate nothing with him and that none of us takes others as lords besides God and if they turn away say bear witness that we have submitted O people of the book why do you argue about Abraham when the Torah and the gospel were not revealed until after him will you not? reason here you are you argue about things you know but why do you argue about things you do not know God knows and you do not know Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian but he was a monotheist a Muslim and he was not of the polytheists the people most deserving of Abraham are those who followed him and this prophet and those who believe God is the guardian of the believers a party of the people of the book would love to lead you astray but they only lead themselves astray and they do not realize it O people of the book why do you reject the revelations of God even as you witness O people of the book why do you confound the truth with falsehood and knowingly conceal the truth some of the people of the book say believe in what was revealed to the believers at the beginning of the day and reject it at its end so that they may return and trust none except those who follow your religion say guidance is God's guidance if someone is given the like of what you were given or they argue with you before your Lord say all page family of Imran Ali Imran grace is in God's hand he gives it to whomever he wills God is bounteous and knowing he specifies his mercy for whomever he wills God is possessor of sublime grace among the people of the book is he who if you entrust him with a heap of gold he will give it back to you and among them is he who if you entrust him with a single coin he will not give it back to you unless you keep after him that is because they say. We are under no obligation towards the Gentiles they tell lies about God and they know it indeed whoever fulfills his commitments and maintains piety God loves the pious those who exchange the covenant of God and their vows for a small price will have no share in the hereafter and God will not speak to them nor will he look at them on the day of resurrection nor will he purify them they will have a painful punishment and among them are those who twist the scripture with their tongues that you may think it from the scripture when it is not from the scripture and they say it is from God when it is not from God they tell lies and attribute them to God knowingly no person to whom God has given the scripture and wisdom and prophethood would ever say to the people be my worshippers rather than God's rather be people of the Lord according to the scripture you teach and the teachings you learn nor would he command you to take the angels and the prophets as lords would he command you to infidelity after you have submitted God received the covenant of the prophets inasmuch as I have given you of scripture and wisdom should a messenger come to you verifying what you have you shall believe in him and support him he said do you affirm my covenant and take it upon page family of Imran Ali Imran yourselves they said we affirm it he said then bear witness and I am with you among the witnesses whoever turns away after that these are the deceitful do they desire other than the religion of God when to him has submitted everything in the heavens and the earth willingly or unwillingly and to him they will be returned say we believe in God and in what was revealed to us and in what was revealed to Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the patriarchs and in what was given to Moses and Jesus and the prophets from their Lord we make no distinction between any of them and to him we submit whoever seeks other than Islam as a religion it will not be accepted from him and in the hereafter he will be among the losers how will God guide a people who disbelieved after having believed and had witnessed that the messenger is true and the clear proofs had come to them God does not guide the unjust people those their penalty is that upon them falls the curse of God and of the angels and of all mankind remaining in it eternally without their punishment being eased from them and without being reprieved except those who repent afterwards and 
Reform for God is forgiving and merciful as for those who disbelieve after having believed then plunge deeper into disbelief their repentance will not be accepted these are the lost as for those who disbelieve and die disbelievers even the earth full of gold would not be accepted from any of them were he to page family of Imran Ali Imran offer it for ransom these will have a painful torment and will have no saviors you will not attain virtuous conduct until you give of what you cherish. Whatever you give away God is aware of it all food was permissible to the children of Israel except what Israel forbade for itself before the Torah was revealed say bring the Torah and read it if you are truthful whoever forges lies about God after that these are the unjust say God has spoken the truth so follow the religion of Abraham the monotheist he was not a pagan the first house established for mankind is the one at Becca blessed and guidance for all people in it are evident. Signs the station of Abraham whoever enters it attains security pilgrimage to the house is a duty to God for all who can make the journey but as for those who refuse God is independent of the world say O people of the scripture why do you reject the revelations of God when God witnesses what you do say O people of the scripture why do you hinder from God's path those who believe seeking to distort it even though you are witnesses God is not unaware of what you do O you who believe if you obey a party of those who were given the scripture they will turn you after your belief into disbelievers and how could you disbelieve when God's revelations are being recited to you and among you is his messenger whoever cleaves to God has been guided to a straight path O you who believe revere God with due reverence and do not die except as Muslims page family of Imran Ali Imran and hold fast to the rope of God altogether and do not become divided and remember God's blessings upon you how you were enemies and he reconciled your hearts and by his grace you became brethren and you were on the brink of a pit of fire and he saved you from it God thus clarifies his revelations for you so that you may be guided and let there be among you a community calling to virtue and advocating righteousness and deterring from evil these are the successful and do not be like those who separated and disputed after the clear proofs came to them for them is a great punishment on the day. When some faces will be whitened and some faces will be blackened as for those whose faces are blackened did you disbelieve after your belief then taste the punishment for having disbelieved but as for those whose faces are whitened they are in God's mercy remaining in it forever these are the revelations of God we recite them to you in truth God desires no injustice for mankind to God belongs everything in the heavens and everything on earth and to God all events are referred you are the best community that ever emerged for humanity you advocate what is moral and forbid what is immoral and believe in God had the people of the scripture believed it would have been better for them among them are the believers but most of them are sinners they will do you no harm beyond insulting you and if they fight you they will turn around and flee then they will not be helped they shall be humiliated wherever they are encountered except through a rope from God and a rope from the people and they incurred wrath from God and were stricken with misery that is page family of Imran Ali Imran because they rejected God's revelations and killed the prophets unjustly that is because they rebelled and committed aggression they are not alike among the people of the scripture is a community that is upright they recite God's revelations throughout the night and they prostrate themselves they believe in God and the last day and advocate righteousness and forbid evil and are quick to do. Good deeds these are among the righteous whatever good they do they will not be denied it God knows the righteous as for those who disbelieve neither their possessions nor their children will avail them anything against God these are the inhabitants of the fire abiding therein forever the parable of what they spend in this worldly life is that of a frosty wind that strikes the harvest of a people who have wronged their souls and destroys it God did not wrong them but they wronged their own. Selves O you who believe do not befriend outsiders who never cease to wish you harm they love to see you suffer hatred has already appeared from their mouths but what their hearts conceal is worse we have made the messages clear for you if you understand there you are you love them but they do not love you and you believe in the entire scripture and when they meet you they say we believe but when they are alone they bite their fingers in rage at you say die in your rage God knows what is. Within the hearts if something good happens to you it upsets them but if something bad befalls you they rejoice at it but if you persevere and maintain righteousness their schemes will not harm you at all God comprehends what they do remember when you left your home in the morning to assign battle positions for the believers God is hearing and knowing page family of Imran Ali Imran when two groups among you almost faltered but God was their protector so in God let the believers put their Trust God had given you victory at Badr when you were weak so fear God that you may be thankful when you said to the believers is it not enough for you that your Lord has reinforced you with 3000 angels sent down it is but if you persevere and remain cautious and they attack you suddenly your Lord will reinforce you with 5000 angels well trained God made it but a message of hope for you and to reassure your hearts thereby victory comes only from God the Almighty the Wise he thus cuts off a section of those who disbelieved or subdues them so they retreat disappointed it is no concern of yours whether he redeems them or punishes them they are wrongdoers to God belongs everything in the heavens and the earth he forgives whom he wills and he punishes whom he wills God is most forgiving most merciful O you who believe do not feed on usury compound it over and over and fear God so that you may prosper and guard yourselves against the fire that is prepared.
for the disbelievers and obey God and the messenger that you may obtain mercy and race towards forgiveness from your Lord and a garden as wide as the heavens and the earth prepared for the righteous page family of Imran Ali Imran those who give in prosperity and adversity and those who restrain anger and those who forgive people God loves the doers of good and those who when they commit an indecency or wrong themselves remember God and ask forgiveness for their sins and who forgive sins. Accept God and they do not persist in their wrongdoing while they know those their reward is forgiveness from their Lord and gardens beneath which rivers flow abiding therein forever how excellent is the reward of the workers many societies have passed away before you so travel the earth and note the fate of the deniers this is a proclamation to humanity and guidance and advice for the righteous and do not waver nor feel remorse you are the superior ones if you are believers if a wound afflicts you a similar wound has afflicted the others such days we alternate between the people that God may know those who believe and take martyrs from among you God does not love the evildoers so that God may prove those who believe and eliminate the disbelievers or do you expect to enter paradise before God has distinguished those among you who strive and before he has distinguished the steadfast you used to wish for death before you have faced it now you have seen it before your own eyes Muhammad is no more than a messenger messengers have passed on before him if he dies or gets killed will you turn on your page family of Imran Ali Imran heals he who turns on his heels will not harm God in any way and God will reward the appreciative no soul can die except by God's leave at a predetermined time whoever desires the reward of the world we will give him some of it and whoever desires the reward of the hereafter we will give him some of it and we will reward the appreciative how many a prophet fought alongside him numerous godly people they did not waver for what afflicted them in the cause of god nor did they weaken nor did they give in god loves those who endure their only words were our lord forgive us our offenses and our excesses in our conduct and strengthen our foothold and help us against the disbelieving people so god gave them the reward of this world and the excellent reward of the hereafter god loves the doers of good oh you who believe if you obey those who disbelieve they will turn you back on your heels and you end up losers God is your master and he is the best of helpers we will throw terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve because they attribute to God partners for which he revealed no sanction their lodging is the fire miserable is the lodging of the evildoers God has fulfilled his promise to you and you defeated them by his leave until when you faltered and disputed the command and disobeyed after he had shown you what you like some of you want this world and some of you want the next then he turned you away from them to test you but he pardoned you God is gracious towards the believers remember when you fled not caring for anyone even though the messenger was calling you from your rear then he repaid you with sorrow upon sorrow so that you would not grieve over what page family of Imran Ali Imran you missed or for what afflicted you God is informed of what you do then after the setback he sent down security upon you slumber overcame some of you while others cared only for themselves thinking of God thoughts that were untrue thoughts of ignorance saying is anything up to us say everything is up to God they conceal within themselves what they do not reveal to you and they say if it was up to us none of us would have been killed here say even if you had stayed in your homes those destined to be killed would have marched into their deathbeds God thus tests what is in your minds and purifies what is in your hearts God knows what the hearts contain those of you who turned back on the day when the two armies clashed it was Satan who caused them to backslide on account of some of what they have earned but God has forgiven them God is forgiving and prudent O oh, you who believe do not be like those who disbelieved and said of their brethren who marched in the land or went on the offensive had they stayed with us they would not have died or been killed so that God may make it a cause of regret in their hearts God gives life and causes death God is seeing of what you do if you are killed in the cause of God or die forgiveness and mercy from God are better than what they hoard if you die or are killed to God you will be gathered up it is by of grace from God that you were gentle with them had you been harsh hard hearted they would have dispersed from around you so pardon them and ask forgiveness for them and consult them in the conduct of affairs and when you make a decision put your trust in God God loves the trusting page family of Imran Ali Imran if God supports you there is none who can overcome you but if he fails you who is there to help you after him so in God let the believers put their trust it is not for a prophet to act dishonestly whoever acts dishonestly will bring his dishonesty on the day of resurrection then every soul will be paid in full for what it has earned and they will not be wronged is someone who pursues God's approval the same as someone who incurs God's wrath and his refuge is hell the miserable destination they have different ranks with God and God is seeing of what they do God has blessed the believers as he raised up among them a messenger from among themselves who recites to them his revelations and purifies them and teaches them the scripture and wisdom although before that they were in evident error and when a calamity befell you even after you had inflicted twice as much you said how is this say it is from your own selves God is able to do all things what befell you on the day the two armies clashed was with God's permission that he may know the believers and that he may know the hypocrites and it was said to them come fight in the cause of God or contribute they said if we knew how to fight we would have followed you on that day they were closer to infidelity than they were to faith they say with their mouths what is not in their hearts but God knows what they hide those who said of their brethren as they stayed behind had they obeyed us they would not have been killed say then avert death from yourselves if you are truthful do not consider those killed in the cause of God as dead in fact they are alive at their Lord well provided for page family of Imran Ali Imran delighting in what God has given them out of his grace and happy for those who have not yet joined them that they have nothing to fear nor will they grieve they.
Rejoice in grace from God and bounty and that God will not waste the reward of the faithful those who responded to God and the messenger despite the persecution they had suffered for the virtuous and the pious among them is a great reward those to whom the people have said the people have mobilized against you so fear them but this only increased them in faith and they said God is enough for us he is the excellent protector so they came back with grace from God and bounty and no harm. Having touched them they pursued what pleases God God possesses immense grace that is only Satan frightening his partisans so do not fear them but fear me if you are believers and do not be saddened by those who rush into disbelief they will not harm God in the least God desires to give them no share in the hereafter a terrible torment awaits them those who exchange blasphemy for faith will not harm God in the least a painful torment awaits them those who disbelieve should not assume that. We respite them for their own good in fact we only respite them so that they may increase in sinfulness a humiliating torment awaits them God will not leave the believers as you are without distinguishing the wicked from the sincere nor will God inform you of the future but God elects from among his messengers whom he will so believe in God and his messengers if you believe and practice piety you will have a splendid reward page family of Imran Ali Imran those who withhold what God has given them of his bounty should not assume that is good for them in fact it is bad for them they will be encircled by their hoardings on the day of resurrection to God belongs the inheritance of the heavens and the earth and God is well acquainted with what you do God has heard the statement of those who said God is poor and we are rich we will write down what they said and their wrongful killing of the prophets and we will say taste the torment of the burning this is on account of what your hands have forwarded and because God is not unjust towards the creatures those who said God has made a covenant with us that we shall not believe in any messenger unless he brings us an offering to be consumed by fire say messengers have come to you before me with proofs and with what you asked for so why did you assassinate them if you are truthful if they accuse you of lying messengers before you were accused of lying they came with the proofs and the psalms and the illuminating. Scripture every soul will have a taste of death and you will receive your recompense on the day of resurrection whoever is swayed from the fire and admitted to paradise has won the life of this world is merely enjoyment of delusion you will be tested through your possessions and your persons and you will hear from those who received the scripture before you and from the idol worshippers much abuse but if you persevere and lead a righteous life that indeed is a mark of great determination God received a pledge from those who were given the scripture you shall proclaim it to the people and not conceal it but they disregarded it behind their backs and exchanged it for a small price what a miserable exchange they made page family of Imran Ali Imran do not think that those who rejoice in what they have done and love to be praised for what they have not done do not think they can evade the punishment they will have a painful punishment to God belongs the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth God has power over all things in the creation of the heavens and the earth and in the alternation of night and day are signs for people of understanding those who remember God while standing and sitting and on their sides and they reflect upon the creation of the heavens and the earth our Lord you did not create this in vain glory to you so protect us from the punishment of the fire our Lord whomever you commit to the fire you have disgraced the wrongdoers will have no Helpers our Lord we have heard a caller calling to the faith believe in your Lord and we have believed our Lord forgive us our sins and remit our misdeeds and make us die in the company of the virtuous our Lord and give us what you have promised us through your messengers and do not disgrace us on the day of resurrection surely you never break a promise and so their Lord answered them I will not waste the work of any worker among you whether male or female you are one of another for those who emigrated and were expelled from their homes and were persecuted because of me and fought and were killed I will remit for them their sins and will admit them into gardens beneath which rivers flow a reward from God with God is the ultimate reward do not be impressed by the disbelievers movements in the land of brief enjoyment then their abode is hell what a miserable resort page family of Imran Ali Imran as for those who feared their Lord for them will be gardens beneath which rivers flow wherein they will abide forever hospitality from God what God possesses is best for the just among the people of the scripture are those who believe in God and in what was revealed to you and in what was revealed to them they are humble before God and they do not sell God's revelations for a cheap price these will have their reward with their Lord God is swift in reckoning O you who believe be patient and advocate patience and be united and revere God so that you may thrive women and Nisa in the name of God the gracious the merciful O people fear your Lord who created you from a single soul and created from it its mate and propagated from them many men and women and revere God whom you ask about and the parents surely God is watchful over you and give orphans their properties and do not substitute the bad for the good and do not consume their properties by combining them with yours for that would be a serious sin if you fear you cannot act fairly towards the orphans. Then marry the women you like two or three or four but if you fear you will not be fair then one or what you already have that makes it more likely that you avoid bias give women their dowries graciously but if they willingly forego some of it then consume it with enjoyment and pleasure do not give the immature your money which God has assigned to you for support but provide for them from it and clothe them and speak to them with kind words page women and niece attest the orphans until they reach the age of marriage if you find them to be mature enough hand over their properties to them and do not consume it extravagantly or hastily before they grow up the rich shall not charge any wage but the poor may charge fairly when you hand over their properties to them have it witnessed for them God suffices as a reckoner men receive a share of what their parents and relatives leave and women receive a share of what their parents and relatives leave be it little or much a legal share if 
the distribution is attended by the relatives and the orphans and the needy give them something out of it and speak to them kindly those who are concerned about the fate of their weak children in case they leave them behind should fear God and speak appropriate words those who consume the wealth of orphans illicitly consume only fire into their bellies and they will roast in a blaze God instructs you regarding your children the male receives the equivalent of the share of two females if they are daughters more than two they get two thirds of what he leaves if there is only one she gets one half as for the parents each gets one sixth of what he leaves if he had children if he had no children and his parents inherit from him his mother gets one third if he has siblings his mother gets one sixth after fulfilling any bequest and paying off debts your parents and your children you do not know which are closer to you in welfare this is God's law God is knowing and judicious you get one half of what your wives leave behind if they had no children if they had children you get one fourth of what they leave after fulfilling any bequest and paying off debts they get one fourth of what you leave behind if you have no children if you have children they get one eighth of what you leave after fulfilling any page women a niece a bequest and paying off debts if a man or woman leaves neither parents nor children but has a brother or sister each of them gets one sixth if there are more Siblings they share one third after fulfilling any bequest and paying off debts without any prejudice this is a will from God God is knowing and clement these are the bounds set by God whoever obeys God and his messenger he will admit him into gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide therein forever that is the great attainment but whoever disobeys God and his messenger and oversteps his bounds he will admit him into a fire wherein he abides forever and he will have a shameful punishment. Those of your women who commit lewdness you must have four witnesses against them from among you if they testify confine them to the homes until death claims them or God makes a way for them if two men among you commit it punish them both but if they repent and reform leave them alone God is redeemer full of mercy repentance is available from God for those who commit evil out of ignorance and then repent soon after these God will relent towards them God is knowing and wise but repentance is not available for those who commit evils until when death approaches one of them he says now I repent nor for those who die as disbelievers these we have prepared for them a painful torment O you who believe it is not permitted for you to inherit women against their will and do not coerce them in order to take away some of what you had given them unless they commit a proven adultery and live with them in kindness if you dislike them it may be that you dislike something in which God has placed much good page women and Nisa if you wish to replace one wife with another and you have given one of them a fortune take nothing back from it would you take it back fraudulently and sinfully and how can you take it back when you have been intimate with one another and they have received from you a solid commitment do not marry women whom your fathers married except what is already passed that is improper indecent and a bad custom forbidden for you or your mothers your daughters your Sisters your paternal aunts your maternal aunts your brothers daughters your sisters daughters your foster mothers who nursed you your sisters through nursing your wives mothers and your stepdaughters in your guardianship born of wives you have gone into but if you have not gone into them there is no blame on you and the wives of your genetic sons and marrying two sisters simultaneously except what is past God is oft forgiving most merciful and all married women except those you rightfully possess this is God's decree binding upon you permitted for you are those that lie outside these limits provided you seek them in legal marriage with gifts from your property seeking wedlock not prostitution if you wish to enjoy them then give them their dowry a legal obligation you commit no error by agreeing to any change to the dowry God is all knowing most wise if any of you lack the means to marry free believing women he may marry one of the believing maids under your control God is well aware of your faith you are from one another marry them with the permission of their guardians and give them their recompense fairly to be protected neither committing adultery nor taking secret lovers when they are married if they commit adultery their punishment shall be half that of free women that is for those among you who fear falling into decadence but to page women and nisa practice self-restraint is better for you god is most forgiving most merciful god intends to make things clear to you and to guide you in the ways of those before you and to redeem you God is most knowing most wise God intends to redeem you but those who follow their desires want you to turn away utterly God intends to lighten your burden for the human being was created weak O oh, you who believe do not consume each other's wealth illicitly but trade by mutual consent and do not kill yourselves for God is merciful towards you whoever does that out of hostility and wrongdoing we will cast him into a fire. And that would be easy for God if you avoid the worst of what you are forbidden we will remit your sins and admit you by a gate of honor do not covet what God has given to some of you in preference to others for men is a share of what they have earned and for women is a share of what they have earned and ask God of his bounty God has knowledge of everything to everyone we have assigned beneficiaries in what is left by parents and relatives those with whom you have made an agreement give them. Their sheer God is witness over all things men are the protectors and maintainers of women as God has given some of them an advantage over others and because they spend out of their wealth the good women are obedient guarding what God would have them guard as for those from whom you fear disloyalty admonish them and abandon them in their beds then strike them but if they obey you seek no way against them God is sublime great page women and Nisa if you fear a breach between the two a point. 
an arbiter from his family and an arbiter from her family if they wish to reconcile God will bring them together God is knowledgeable expert worship God and ascribe no partners to him and be good to the parents and the relatives and the orphans and the poor and the neighbor next door and the distant neighbor and the close associate and the traveler and your servants God does not love the arrogant show off those who are stingy and exhort people to stinginess and conceal what God has given them. From his bounty we have prepared for the disbelievers a disgraceful punishment and those who spend their money to be seen by people and believe neither in God nor in the last day whoever has Satan as a companion what an evil companion what would they have lost had they believed in God and the last day and gave out of what God has provided for them God knows them very well God does not commit an Adam's weight of injustice and if there is a good deed he doubles it and gives from his presence a sublime compensation then how will it be when we bring a witness from every community and we bring you as a witness against these on that day those who disbelieved and disobeyed the messenger will wish that the earth were leveled over them they will conceal nothing from god oh you who believe do not approach the prayer while you are drunk so that you know what you say nor after sexual orgasm unless you are traveling until you have bathed if you are sick or traveling or one of you comes from the toilet or you have had intercourse with women and cannot find water find clean sand and page women and nisa wipe your faces and your hands with it god is pardoning and forgiving have you not considered those who were given a share of the book they buy error and wish you would lose the way but god knows your enemies best god is sufficient as a protector and god is sufficient as a supporter among the jews are some who take words out of context and say we hear and we disobey and hear without listening and observe us twisting with their tongues and slandering the religion had they said we hear and we obey and listen and give us your attention it would have been better for them and more upright but God has cursed them for their disbelief they do not believe except a little O oh, you who were given the book believe in what we sent down confirming what you have before we obliterate faces and turn them inside out or curse them as we curse the sabbath breakers the command of God is always done God does not forgive association with him but he forgives anything less than that to whomever he wills whoever associates anything with God has devised a monstrous sin have you not considered those who claim purity for themselves rather God purifies whom he wills and they will not be wronged a wit see how they devise lies against God that alone is an outright sin have you not considered those who were given a share of the book they believe in superstition and evil powers and say of those who disbelieve these are better guided on the way than the believers those are they whom God has cursed whomever God curses you will find no savior for him page women and Nisa or do they own a share of the kingdom then they would not give people a speck or do they envy the people for what God has given them of his grace we have given the family of Abraham the book and wisdom and we have given them a great kingdom among them are those who believed in it and among them are those who held back from it hell is a sufficient inferno those who reject our revelations we will scorch them in a fire every time their skins are cooked we will replace them with other skins so they will experience the suffering god is most powerful most wise as for those who believe and do good deeds we will admit them into gardens beneath which rivers flow abiding therein forever they will have purified spouses therein and we will admit them into a shady shade god instructs you to give back things entrusted to you to their owners and when you judge between people judge with justice God's instructions to you are excellent God is all hearing all seeing O oh, you who believe obey God and obey the messenger and those in authority among you and if you dispute over anything refer it to God and the messenger if you believe in God and the last day that is best and a most excellent determination have you not observed those who claim that they believe in what was revealed to you and in what was revealed before you yet they seek satanic sources for legislation in spite of being commanded to reject them satan means to mislead them far away and when it is said to them come to what god has revealed and to the messenger you see the hypocrites shunning you completely page women and nisa how about when a disaster strikes them because what their hands have put forward and then they come to you swearing by god we only intended goodwill and reconciliation they are those whom God knows what is in their hearts so ignore them and admonish them and say to them concerning themselves penetrating words we did not send any messenger except to be obeyed by God's leave had they when they wronged themselves come to you and prayed for God's forgiveness and the messenger had prayed for their forgiveness they would have found God relenting and merciful but no by your Lord they will not believe until they call you to arbitrate in their disputes and then find within themselves no resentment regarding your decisions and submit themselves completely had we decreed for them kill yourselves or leave your homes they would not have done it except for a few of them but had they done what they were instructed to do it would have been better for them and a firmer confirmation and we would have given them from our presence a rich compensation and we would have guided them on a straight path whoever obeys God and the messenger these are with those whom God has blessed among the prophets and the sincere and the martyrs and the upright excellent are those as companions that is the grace from God God suffices as knower O oh, you who believe take your precautions and mobilize in groups or mobilize altogether page women and Nisa among you is he who lags behind then when a calamity befalls you he says God has favored me that I was not martyred with them but when some bounty from God comes to you he says as if no affection existed between you and him dash if only I had been with them I would have achieved a great victory let those who sell the life of this world for the hereafter fight in the cause of God whoever fights in the cause of God and then is killed or achieves victory we will grant him a great compensation and why would you not fight in the cause of God and the helpless men and women and children cry out our Lord deliver us from this town whose people are oppressive and appoint for us from your presence a protector and appoint 
For us from your presence a victor those who believe fight in the cause of God while those who disbelieve fight in the cause of evil so fight the allies of the devil surely the strategy of the devil is weak have you not considered those who were told restrain your hands and perform your prayers and spend in regular charity but when fighting was ordained for them a faction of them feared the people as God is ought to be feared or even more and they said our Lord why did you ordain fighting? For us if only you would postpone it for us for a short while say the enjoyments of this life are brief but the hereafter is better for the righteous and you will not be wronged one bit wherever you may be death will catch up with you even if you were in fortified towers when a good fortune comes their way they say this is from God but when a misfortune befalls them they say this is from you say all is from God so what is the matter with these people that they hardly understand a thing page women and Nisa whatever good happens to you is from God and whatever bad happens to you is from your own self we sent you to humanity as a messenger and God is witness enough whoever obeys the messenger is obeying God and whoever turns away we did not send you as a watcher over them they profess obedience but when they leave your presence some of them conspire something contrary to what you said but God writes down what they conspire so avoid them and put your trust in God God is guardian enough do they not ponder the Quran had it been from any other than God they would have found in it much discrepancy when some news of security or alarm comes their way they broadcast it but had they referred it to the messenger and to those in authority among them those who can draw conclusions from it would have comprehended it were it not for God's blessing and mercy upon you you would have followed the devil except for a few so fight in the cause of God you are responsible only for yourself and rouse the believers perhaps God will restrain the might of those who disbelieve God is stronger in might and more punishing whoever intercedes for a good cause has a share in it and whoever intercedes for an evil cause shares in its burdens God keeps watch over everything when you are greeted with a greeting respond with a better greeting or return it God keeps count of everything God there is no God except he he will gather you to the day of resurrection in which there is no doubt and who speaks more truly than God what is the matter with you divided into two factions regarding the hypocrites when God himself has overwhelmed them on page women and Nisa account of what they did do you want to guide those whom God has led astray whomever God leads astray you will never find for him a way they would love to see you disbelieve just as they disbelieve so you would become equal so do not befriend any of them unless they emigrate in the way of God if they turn away seize them and execute them wherever you may find them and do not take from among them allies or supporters except those who join people with whom you have a treaty or those who come to you reluctant to fight you or fight their own people had God willed he would have given them power over you and they would have fought you if they withdraw from you and do not fight you and offer you peace then God assigns no excuse for you against them you will find others who want security from you and security from their own people but whenever they are tempted into civil discord they plunge into it so if they do not withdraw from you nor offer you peace nor restrain their hands seize them and execute them wherever you find them against these we have given you clear authorization never should a believer kill another believer unless by error anyone who kills a believer by error must set free a believing slave and pay compensation to the victim's family unless they remit it as charity if the victim belong to a people who are hostile to you but is a believer then the compensation is to free a believing slave if he belong to a people with whom you have a treaty then compensation should be handed over to his family and a believing slave set free anyone who lacks the means must fast for two consecutive months by way of repentance to God God is all-knowing most wise page women and Nisa whoever kills a believer deliberately the penalty for him is hell where he will remain forever and God will be angry with him and will curse him and will prepare for him a terrible punishment O you who believe when you journey in the way of God investigate and do not say to him who offers you peace you are not a believer aspiring for the goods of this world with God are abundant riches you yourselves were like this before and God bestowed favor on you so investigate God is well aware of what you do not equal are the inactive among the believers except the disabled and the strivers in the cause of God with their possessions and their persons God prefers the strivers with their possessions and their persons above the inactive by a degree but God has promised goodness to both yet God favors the strivers over the inactive with a great reward degrees from him and forgiveness and mercy God is forgiving and merciful while the angels are removing the souls of those who have wronged themselves they will say what was the matter with you they will say we were oppressed in the land they will say was God's earth not vast enough for you to emigrate in it these their refuge is hell what a wretched retreat except for the weak among men and women and children who have no means to act and no means to find a way out these God may well pardon them God is pardoning and forgiving anyone who emigrates for the sake of God will find on earth many places of refuge and plentitude anyone who leaves his home emigrating to God and his messenger and then is overtaken by death his compensation falls on God God is forgiver most merciful page women and Nisa when you travel in the land there is no blame on you for shortening the prayers if you fear that the disbelievers may harm you the disbelievers are your manifest enemies when you are among them and you stand to lead them in prayer let a group of them stand with you and let them hold their weapons then when they have done their prostrations let them withdraw to the rear and let another group that have not prayed yet 
Come forward and pray with you and let them take their precautions and their weapons those who disbelieve would like you to neglect your weapons and your equipment so they can attack you in a single assault you commit no error if you are hampered by rain or are sick by putting down your weapons but take precautions indeed God has prepared for the disbelievers a demeaning punishment when you have completed the prayer remember God standing or sitting or on your sides and when you feel secure. Perform the prayer the prayer is obligatory for believers at specific times and do not falter in the pursuit of the enemy if you are aching they are aching as you are aching but you expect from God what they cannot expect God is knowledgeable and wise we have revealed to you the scripture with the truth so that you judge between people in accordance with what God has shown you and do not be an advocate for the traitors and ask God for forgiveness God is forgiver and merciful and do not argue on behalf of those who deceive themselves God does not love the deceitful sinner they hide from the people but they cannot hide from God he is with them as they plot by night with words he does not approve God comprehends what they do page women and Nisa there you are arguing on their behalf in the present life but who will argue with God on their behalf on the day of resurrection or who will be their representative whoever commits evil or wrongs his soul then implores God for Forgiveness will find God forgiving and merciful and whoever earns a sin earns it against himself God is aware and wise and whoever commits a mistake or a sin and then blames it on an innocent person has taken a slander and a clear sin were it not for God's grace towards you and his mercy a faction of them would have managed to mislead you but they only mislead themselves and they cannot harm you in any way God has revealed to you the scripture and wisdom and has taught you what you did not. No God's goodness towards you is great there is no good in much of their private counsels except for him who advocates charity or kindness or reconciliation between people whoever does that seeking God's approval we will give him a great compensation whoever makes a breach with the messenger after the guidance has become clear to him and follows other than the path of the believers we will direct him in the direction he has chosen and commit him to hell what a terrible destination God will not forgive that partners be associated with him but will forgive anything less than that to whomever he wills anyone who ascribes partners to God has strayed into far error they invoke in his stead only females in fact they invoke none but a rebellious devil God has cursed him and he said I will take to myself my due share of your servants page women and Nisa and I will mislead them and I will entice them and I will prompt them to slit the ears of cattle and I will prompt them to alter. The creation of God whoever takes Satan as a lord instead of God has surely suffered a profound loss he promises them and he raises their expectations but Satan promises them nothing but delusions these their place is hell and they will find no escape from it but as for those who believe and do righteous deeds we will admit them into gardens beneath which rivers flow where they will abide forever the promise of God is true and who is more truthful in speech than God it is not in accordance with your wishes nor in accordance with the wishes of the people of the scripture whoever works evil will pay for it and will not find for himself besides God any protector or savior but whoever works righteousness whether male or female and is a believer those will enter paradise and will not be wronged a whit and who is better in religion than he who submits himself wholly to God and is a doer of good and follows the faith of Abraham the monotheist God has chosen Abraham for a friend to God belongs what is in the heavens and what is on earth and God encompasses everything they ask you for a ruling about women say God gives you a ruling about them and so does what is stated to you in the book about widowed women from whom you withhold what is decreed for them yet you desire to marry them and about helpless children that you should treat the orphans fairly whatever good you do God knows it if a woman fears maltreatment or desertion from her husband there is no fault in them. If they reconcile their differences for page women and niece reconciliation is best souls are prone to avarice yet if you do what is good and practice piety God is cognizant of what you do you will not be able to treat women with equal fairness no matter how much you desire it but do not be so biased as to leave another suspended if you make amends and act righteously God is forgiving and merciful and if they separate God will enrich each from his abundance God is bounteous and wise to God. Belongs everything in the heavens and everything on earth we have instructed those who were given the book before you and you to be conscious of God but if you refuse to God belongs everything in the heavens and everything on earth God is in no need praiseworthy to God belongs everything in the heavens and everything on earth God suffices as manager if he wills he can do away with you O people and bring others God is able to do that whoever desires the reward of this world with God is the reward of this world and the next God is all hearing all seeing O you who believe stand firmly for justice as witnesses to God even if against yourselves or your parents or your relatives whether one is rich or poor God takes care of both so do not follow your desires lest you swerve if you deviate or turn away then God is aware of what you do O you who believe believe in God and his messenger and the book he sent down to his messenger and the book he sent down before whoever rejects God his Angels his books his messengers and the last day has strayed far in error those who believe then disbelieve then believe then disbelieve then increase in disbelief God will not forgive them nor will he guide them to a way page women and Nisa inform the hypocrites that they will have a painful punishment those who ally themselves with the disbelievers instead of the believers do they seek glory in them all glory belongs to God he has revealed to you in the book that when you hear God's. 
revelations being rejected or ridiculed do not sit with them until they engage in some other subject otherwise you would be like them God will gather the hypocrites and the disbelievers into hell altogether those who lie in wait for you if you attain victory from God they say were we not with you but if the disbelievers get a turn they say did we not side with you and defend you from the believers God will judge between you on the day of resurrection and God will give the disbelievers no means of overcoming the believers the hypocrites try to deceive God but he is deceiving them and when they stand for prayer they stand lazily showing off in front of people and remembering God only a little wavering in between neither with these nor with those whomever God sends astray you will never find for him a way O oh, you who believe do not befriend disbelievers rather than believers do you want to give God a clear case against you the hypocrites will be in the lowest level of the fire and you will find no helper for them except those who repent and reform and hold fast to God and dedicate their religion to God alone these are with the believers and God will give the believers a great reward what would God accomplish by your punishment if you have given thanks and have believed God is appreciative and cognizant God does not like the public uttering of bad language unless someone was wronged God is hearing and knowing page women and Nisa if you let a good deed be shown or conceal it or pardon an offense God is pardoning and capable those who disbelieve in God and his messengers and want to separate between God and his messengers and say we believe in some and reject some and wish to take a path in between these are the unbelievers truly we have prepared for the unbelievers a shameful punishment as for those who believe in God and his messengers and make no distinction between any of them he will give them their rewards God is forgiver and merciful the People of the scripture challenge you to bring down to them a book from the sky they had asked Moses for something even greater they said show us God plainly the thunderbolt struck them for their wickedness then they took the calf for worship even after the clear proofs had come to them yet we pardoned that and we gave Moses a clear authority and we raised the mount above them in accordance with their covenant and we said to them enter the gate humbly and we said to them do not violate the Sabbath and we received from them a solemn pledge but for their violation of their covenant and their denial of God's revelations and their killing of the prophets unjustly and their saying our minds are closed in fact God has sealed them for their disbelief so they do not believe except for a few and for their faithlessness and their saying against Mary a monstrous slander and for their saying we have killed the Messiah Jesus the son of Mary the messenger of God in fact they did not kill him nor did they crucify him but it appeared to them as if they did indeed those who differ about him are in doubt about it they have no page women and nisa knowledge of it except the following of assumptions certainly they did not kill him rather god raised him up to himself god is mighty and wise there is none from the people of the scripture but will believe in him before his death and on the day of resurrection he will be a witness against them due to wrongdoing on the part of the Jews we forbade them good things that used to be lawful for them and for deterring many from God's path and for their taking usury although they were forbidden it and for their consuming people's wealth dishonestly we have prepared for the faithless among them a painful torment but those among them firmly rooted in knowledge and the believers believe in what was revealed to you and in what was revealed before you and the observers of prayers and the givers of charity and the believers in God and the last day upon these we will bestow an immense reward we have inspired you as we had inspired Noah and the prophets after him and we inspired Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the patriarchs and Jesus and Job and Jonah and Aaron and Solomon and we gave David the Psalms some messengers we have already told you about while some messengers we have not told you about and God spoke to Moses directly messengers delivering good news and bringing warnings so that people may have no excuse before God after the coming of the messengers God is powerful and wise but God bears witness to what he revealed to you he revealed it with his knowledge and the angels bear witness though God is a sufficient witness page women and Nisa those who disbelieve and repel from God's path have gone far astray those who disbelieve and transgress God is not about to forgive them nor will he guide them to any path except to the path of hell where they will dwell forever and that is easy. For God O oh people the messenger has come to you with the truth from your Lord so believe that is best for you but if you disbelieve to God belongs everything in the heavens and the earth God is omniscient and wise O oh people of the scripture do not exaggerate in your religion and do not say about God except the truth the Messiah Jesus the son of Mary is the messenger of God and his word that he conveyed to Mary and a spirit from him so believe in God and his messengers and do not say three refrain it is better for you God is only one God glory be to him that he should have a son to him belongs everything in the heavens and the earth and God is a sufficient protector the Messiah does not disdain to be a servant of God nor do the favored angels whoever disdains his worship and is too arrogant he will round them up to himself altogether but as for those who believe and do good works he will pay them their wages in full and will increase his grace for them but as for those who disdain and are too proud he will punish them with an agonizing punishment and they will find for themselves apart from God no Lord and no Savior O people a proof has come to you from your Lord and we sent down to you a clear light as for those who believe in God and hold fast to him he will admit them into mercy and grace from him and will guide them to himself in a straight path page women and Nisa they ask you for a ruling say God gives you a ruling concerning the person who has 
neither parents nor children if a man dies and leaves no children and he had a sister she receives one half of what he leaves and he inherits from her if she leaves no children but if there are two sisters they receive two thirds of what he leaves if the siblings are men and women the male receives the share of two females God makes things clear for you lest you ear God is aware of everything the table al Ma'ida in the name of God the gracious the merciful O you who believe fulfill your Commitments livestock animals are permitted for you except those specified to you but not wild game while you are in pilgrim sanctity God decrees whatever he wills O you who believe do not violate God's sacraments nor the sacred month nor the offerings nor the garland nor those heading for the sacred house seeking blessings from their Lord and approval when you have left the pilgrim sanctity you may hunt and let not the hatred of people who barred you from the sacred mosque incite you to aggression and cooperate with one another in virtuous conduct and conscience and do not cooperate with one another in sin and hostility and fear God God is severe in punishment prohibited for you are carrion blood the flesh of swine and animals dedicated to other than God also the flesh of animals strangled killed violently killed by a fall gored to death mangled by wild animals except what you rescue and animals sacrificed on altars and the practice of drawing lots for it is immoral today. Those who disbelieve have despaired of your religion so do not fear them but fear me today I have perfected your religion for you and have completed my favor upon you and have approved Islam as a page the table al Ma'ida religion for you but whoever is compelled by hunger with no intent of wrongdoing God is forgiving and merciful they ask you what is permitted for them say permitted for you are all good things including what trained dogs and falcons catch for you you train them according to what God has taught you so eat from what they catch for you and pronounce God's name over it and fear God God is swift in reckoning today all good things are made lawful for you and the food of those given the scripture is lawful for you and your food is lawful for them so are chaste believing women and chaste women from the people who were given the scripture before you provided you give them their dowries and take them in marriage not in adultery nor as mistresses but whoever rejects faith his work will be in vain and in the hereafter he will be among the losers O you who believe when you rise to pray wash your faces and your hands and arms to the elbows and wipe your heads and your feet to the ankles if you had intercourse then purify yourselves if you are ill or traveling or one of you returns from the toilet or you had contact with women and could not find water then use some clean sand and wipe your faces and hands with it God does not intend to burden you but he intends to purify you and to complete his blessing upon you that you may be thankful and remember God's blessings upon you and his covenant which he covenanted with you when you said we hear and we obey and remain conscious of God for God knows what the hearts contain O you who believe be upright to God witnessing with justice and let not the hatred of a certain people prevent you from acting justly adhere to justice for that is nearer to piety and fear God God is informed of what you do. God has promised those who believe and work righteousness they will have forgiveness and a great reward page the table al Ma'ida as for those who disbelieve and reject our revelations these are the inmates of hell O you who believe remember God's blessings upon you when certain people intended to extend their hands against you and he restrained their hands from you so reverence God and in God let the believers put their trust God received a pledge from the children of Israel and we raised. Among them twelve chiefs God said I am with you if you perform the prayer and pay the alms and believe in my messengers and support them and lend God alone of righteousness I will remit your sins and admit you into gardens beneath which rivers flow but whoever among you disbelieves afterwards has strayed from the right way because of their breaking their pledge we cursed them and made their hearts hard they twist the words out of their context and they disregarded some of what they were. Reminded of you will always witness deceit from them except for a few of them but pardon them and overlook God loves the doers of good and from those who say we are Christians we received their pledge but they neglected some of what they were reminded of so we provoked enmity and hatred among them until the day of resurrection God will then inform them of what they used to craft O people of the book our messenger has come to you clarifying for you much of what you kept hidden of the book. And overlooking much a light from God has come to you and a clear book God guides with it whoever follows his approval to the ways of peace and he brings them out of darkness into light by his permission and he guides them in a straight path they disbelieve those who say God is the Christ the son of Mary say who can prevent God if he willed from annihilating the Christ son of Mary and his mother and everyone on earth to page the table al Ma'ida God belongs the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth and what is between them he creates whatever he wills and God has power over everything the Jews and the Christians say we are the children of God and his beloved say why then does he punish you for your sins in fact you are humans from among those he created he forgives whom he wills and he punishes whom he wills to God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and what lies between them and to him is the return O people of the book our messenger has come to you making things clear to you after a cessation of messengers so that you cannot say no preacher has come to us and no warner in fact a preacher has come to you and a warner and God is capable of everything when Moses said to his people oh my people remember God's blessings upon you when he placed prophets among you and made you kings and gave you what he never gave any other people oh my people enter the holy land which God has assigned for you and do not turn back lest you return as
Losers they said O oh Moses there are tyrannical people in it we will not enter it until they leave it if they leave it we will be entering two men of those who feared but whom God had blessed said go at them by the gate and when you have entered it you will prevail and put your trust in God if you are believers they said O oh Moses we will not enter it ever as long as they are in it so go ahead you and your Lord and fight we are staying right here he said my Lord I have control only over myself and my brother so separate between us and between the wicked people page the table al Ma'ida he said it is forbidden for them for forty years they will wander aimlessly in the land so do not grieve over the defiant people and relate to them the true story of Adam's two sons when they offered an offering and it was accepted from one of them but it was not accepted from the other he said I will kill you he said God accepts only from the righteous if you extend your hand to kill me I will not extend my hand to kill you for I fear God Lord of the worlds I would rather you bear my sin and your sin and you become among the inmates of the fire such is the reward for the evildoers then his soul prompted him to kill his brother so he killed him and became one of the losers then God sent a raven digging the ground to show him how to cover his brother's corpse he said woe to me I was unable to be like this raven and bury my brother's corpse so he became full of Regrets because of that we ordained for the children of Israel that whoever kills a person unless it is for murder or corruption on earth it is as if he killed the whole of mankind and whoever saves it it is as if he saved the whole of mankind our messengers came to them with clarifications but even after that many of them continue to commit excesses in the land the punishment for those who fight God and his messenger and strive to spread corruption on earth is that they be killed or crucified or have their hands and feet cut off on opposite sides or be banished from the land that is to disgrace them in this life and in the hereafter they will have a terrible punishment except for those who repent before you apprehend them so know that God is forgiving and merciful O you who believe be conscious of God and seek the means of approach to him and strive in his cause so that you may succeed page the table al Ma'ida as for those who disbelieve even if they owned everything on earth and the like of it with it and they offered it to ransom themselves from the torment of the day of resurrection it will not be accepted from them for them is a painful punishment they will want to leave the fire but they will not leave it for them is a lasting punishment as for the thief whether male or female cut their hands as a penalty for what they have reaped a deterrent from God God is mighty and wise but whoever repents after his crime and reforms God will accept his repentance God is forgiving and merciful do you not know that to God belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth he punishes whom he wills and he forgives whom he wills and God is capable of everything O messenger do not let those who are quick to disbelieve grieve you from among those who say with their mouths we believe but their hearts do not believe and from among the Jews listeners to lies listeners to other people who did not come to you they distort words from their places and they say if you are given this accept it but if you are not given it beware whomever God has willed to divert you have nothing for him from God those are they whose hearts God does not intend to purify for them is disgrace in this world and for them is a great punishment in the hereafter listeners to falsehoods eaters of illicit earnings if they come to you judge between them or turn away from them if you turn away from them they will not harm you in the least but if you judge judge between them equitably God loves the equitable but why do they come to you for judgment when they have the Torah in which is God's law yet they turn away after that these are not believers page the table al Ma'ida we have revealed the Torah wherein is guidance and light the submissive prophets ruled the Jews according to it so did the rabbis and the scholars as they were required to protect God's book and were witnesses to it so do not fear people but fear me and do not sell my revelations for a cheap price those who do not rule according to what God revealed are the unbelievers and we wrote for them in it a life for a life an eye for an eye a nose for a nose an ear for an ear a tooth for a tooth and an equal wound for a wound but whoever foregoes it in charity it will serve as atonement for him those who do not rule according to what God revealed are the evildoers in their footsteps we sent Jesus son of Mary fulfilling the Torah that preceded him and we gave him the gospel wherein is guidance and light and confirming the Torah that preceded him and guidance and counsel for the righteous so let the people of the gospel rule according to what God revealed in it those who do not rule according to what God revealed are the sinners and we revealed to you the book with truth confirming the scripture that preceded it and superseding it so judge between them according to what God revealed and do not follow their desires if they differ from the truth that has come to you for each of you we have assigned a law and a method had God willed he could have made you a single nation but he tests you through what he has given you so compete in righteousness to God is your return all of you then he will inform you of what you had disputed and judge between them according to what God revealed and do not follow their desires and beware of them lest they lure you away from some of what God has revealed to you but if they turn away know that God intends to strike them with some of their sins in fact a great many people are corrupt page the table al Ma'ida is it the laws of the time of ignorance that they desire who is better than God in judgment for people who are certain O oh, you who believe do not take the Jews and the Christians as allies some of them are allies of one another whoever of you allies himself with them is one of them God does not guide the wrongdoing people you will see those in whose hearts is sickness racing towards them they say we fear the wheel of fate may turn against us but perhaps God will bring about victory or some event of his making thereupon they will regret what they concealed within themselves those who believe will say are these the ones who swore by God with their strongest oaths that they are with you their works have failed so they became losers O oh, you who believe whoever of you goes back on his religion God will bring a people whom he loves and who love him kind towards the believers stern with the disbelievers they 
Strive in the way of God and do not fear the blame of the critic that is the grace of God he bestows it upon whomever he wills God is embracing and knowing your allies are God and his messenger and those who believe those who pray regularly and give charity and bow down whoever allies himself with God and his messenger and those who believe surely the party of God is the victorious O you who believe do not befriend those who take your religion in mockery and as a sport be they from among. Those who were given the scripture before you or the disbelievers and obey God if you are believers when you call to the prayer they take it as a joke and a trifle that is because they are people who do not reason page the table al Ma'ida say O people of the scripture do you resent us only because we believe in God and in what was revealed to us and in what was revealed previously and most of you are sinners say shall I inform you of worse than that for retribution from God he whom God has cursed and with whom he became angry and he turned some of them into apes and swine and idol worshippers these are in a worse position and further away from the right way when they come to you they say we believe though they have entered with disbelief and they have departed with it but God is well aware of what they hide you see many of them competing with one another in sin and hostility and their consuming of what is illicit what they have been doing is truly evil why do the rabbis and the priests not prevent them from speaking sinfully and from consuming forbidden wealth evil is what they have been doing the Jews say God's hand is tied it is their hands that are tied and they are cursed for what they say in fact his hands are outstretched he gives as he will certainly what was revealed to you from your Lord will increase many of them in defiance and blasphemy and we placed between them enmity and hatred until the day of resurrection whenever they kindle the fire of war God extinguishes it and they strive to spread corruption on earth God does not love the corruptors had the people of the scripture believed and been righteous we would have remitted their sins and admitted them into the gardens of bliss had they observed the Torah and the gospel and what was revealed to them from their Lord they would have consumed amply page the table al Ma'ida from above them and from beneath their feet among them is a moderate community but evil is what many of them are doing all messenger convey what was revealed to you from your Lord but if you do not then you would not have delivered his message and God will protect you from the people God does not guide the disbelieving people say O people of the scripture you have no basis until you uphold the Torah and the gospel and what is revealed to you from your Lord but what is revealed to you from your Lord will increase many of them in rebellion and disbelief so do not be sorry for the disbelieving people those who believe and the Jews and the Sabians and the Christians whoever believes in God and the last day and does what is right they have nothing to fear nor shall they grieve we made a covenant with the children of Israel and we sent to them messengers whenever a messenger came to them with what their souls did not desire some of them they accused of lying and others they put to death they assumed there would be no punishment so they turned blind and deaf then God redeemed them but then again many of them turned blind and deaf but God is seeing of what they do they disbelieve those who say God is the Messiah the son of Mary but the Messiah himself said O children of Israel worship God my Lord and your Lord whoever associates others with God God has forbidden him paradise and his dwelling is the fire the wrongdoers have no saviors they disbelieve those who say God is the third of three but there is no deity except the one God if they do not refrain from what they Say a painful torment will befall those among them who disbelieve page the table al Ma'ida will they not repent to God and ask his forgiveness God is forgiving and merciful the Messiah son of Mary was only a messenger before whom other messengers had passed away and his mother was a woman of truth they both used to eat food note how we make clear the revelations to them then note how deluded they are say do you worship besides God what has no power to harm or benefit you but God he is. The hearer the knower say O people of the scripture do not exaggerate in your religion beyond the truth and do not follow the opinions of people who went astray before and misled many and themselves strayed off the balanced way cursed were those who disbelieved from among the children of Israel by the tongue of David and Jesus son of Mary that is because they rebelled and used to transgress they used not to prevent one another from the wrongs they used to commit evil is what they used to. Do you will see many of them befriending those who disbelieve terrible is what their souls prompts them to do the wrath of God fell upon them and in the torment they will remain had they believed in God and the prophet and in what was revealed to him they would not have befriended them but many of them are immoral you will find that the people most hostile towards the believers are the Jews and the polytheists and you will find that the nearest in affection towards the believers are those who say we are Christians that is because among them are priests and monks and they are not arrogant and when they hear what was revealed to the messenger you see their eyes overflowing with tears as they recognize the truth in page the table al Ma'ida. they say our Lord we have believed so count us among the witnesses and why should we not believe in God and in the truth that has come to us and hope that our Lord will include us among the righteous people God will reward them for what they say gardens beneath which rivers flow where they will stay forever such is the reward of the righteous but as for those who disbelieve and deny our signs these are the inmates of the fire O you who believe do not prohibit the good things God has permitted for you and do not commit aggression God does not love the aggressors and eat of the lawful and good things God has provided for you and be conscious of God in whom you are believers God does not hold you accountable for your unintended oaths but he holds you accountable for your binding oaths the atonement for it is by feeding ten needy people from the average of what you feed your families or by clothing them or by freeing a slave anyone who lacks the means shall fast for three days that is the atonement for breaking your oaths when you have sworn them so keep your oaths thus God makes clear his revelations to you that you may be grateful O you who believe intoxicants gambling idolatry and divination are 
abominations of Satan's doing avoid them so that you may prosper Satan wants to provoke strife and hatred among you through intoxicants and gambling and to prevent you from the remembrance of God and from prayer will you not desist obey God and obey the messenger and be cautious if you turn away know that the duty of our messenger is clear communication page the table al Ma'ida. those who believe and do righteous deeds will not be blamed for what they may have eaten provided they obey and believe and do good deeds then maintain piety and faith then remain righteous and charitable God loves the charitable O you who believe God will test you with something of the game your hands and spears obtain that God may know who fears him at heart whoever commits aggression after that will have a painful punishment O you who believe do not kill game while you are in pilgrim sanctity whoever of you kills any intentionally its penalty shall be a domestic animal comparable to what he killed as determined by two honest persons among you an offering delivered to the Kaaba or he may atone by feeding the needy or its equivalent in fasting so that he may taste the consequences of his conduct God forgives what is past but whoever repeats God will take revenge on him God is almighty avenger permitted for you is the catch of sea and its food as sustenance for you and for travelers but forbidden for you is the game of land while you are in pilgrim sanctity and fear God to whom you will. Be gathered God has appointed the Kaaba the sacred house a sanctuary for the people and the sacred month and the offerings and the garland that you may know that God knows everything in the heavens and the earth and that God is cognizant of all things know that God is severe in retribution and that God is forgiving and merciful the messenger's sole duty is to convey God knows what you reveal and what you conceal say the bad and the good are not equal even though the abundance of the bad may impress you so be conscious of God O you who possess intelligence that you may succeed page the table al Ma'ida O you who believe do not ask about things that would trouble you if disclosed to you but if you were to ask about them while the Quran is being revealed they will become obvious to you God forgives that God is forgiving and clement a people before you asked about them but then came to reject them God did not institute the superstitions of Ba'ira Saiba Waisala or of Hami. But those who disbelieve fabricate lies about God most of them do not understand and when it is said to them come to what God has revealed and to the messenger they say sufficient for us is what we found our forefathers upon even if their forefathers knew nothing and were not guided O oh, you who believe you are responsible for your own souls he who has strayed cannot harm you if you are guided to God as you return all of you and he will inform you of what you used to do O oh, you who believe. When death approaches one of you let two reliable persons from among you act as witnesses to the making of a bequest or two persons from another people if you are traveling in the land and the event of death approaches you engage them after the prayer if you have doubts let them swear by God we will not sell our testimony for any price even if he was a near relative and we will not conceal God's testimony for then we would be sinners if it is discovered that they are guilty of perjury let. Two others take their place too from among those responsible for the claim and have them swear by God our testimony is more truthful than their testimony and we will not be biased for then we would be wrongdoers page the table al Ma'ida that makes it more likely that they will give true testimony fearing that their oaths might be contradicted by subsequent oaths so fear God and listen God does not guide the disobedient people on the day when God will gather the messengers then say what? Response were you given they will say we have no knowledge it is you who are the knower of the unseen when God will say O Jesus son of Mary recall my favor upon you and upon your mother how I supported you with the Holy Spirit you spoke to the people from the crib and in maturity how I taught you the scripture and wisdom and the Torah and the gospel and recall that you molded from clay the shape of a bird by my leave and then you breathed into it and it became a bird by my leave and you healed the blind and the leprous by my leave and you revived the dead by my leave and recall that I restrained the children of Israel from you when you brought them the clear miracles but those who disbelieved among them said this is nothing but obvious sorcery and when I inspired the disciples believe in me and in my messenger they said we have believed so bear witness that we have submitted and when the disciples said O Jesus son of Mary is your Lord able to bring down for us a feast from heaven he said fear God if you are believers they said we wish to eat from it so that our hearts may be reassured and know that you have told us the truth and be among those who witness it Jesus son of Mary said O God our Lord sent down for us a table from heaven to be a festival for us for the first of us and the last of us and a sign from you and provide for us you are the best of providers page the table al Ma'ida God said I will send it down to you but whoever among you disbelieves thereafter I will punish him with a punishment the like of which I never punish any other being and God will say O Jesus son of Mary did you say to the people take me and my mother as gods rather than God he will say glory be to you it is not for me to say what I have no right to had I said it you would have known it you know what is in my soul and I do not know what is in your soul you are the knower of the hidden I only told them what you commanded me that you shall worship God my Lord and your Lord and I was a witness over them while I was among them but when you took me to yourself you became the watcher over them you are witness over everything if you punish them they are your servants but if you forgive them you are the mighty and wise God will say this is a day when the truthful will benefit from their truthfulness they will have gardens beneath which rivers flow wherein they will remain forever God is pleased with them and they are pleased.
With him that is the great attainment to God belongs the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth and what lies in them and he has power over everything livestock Alan am in the name of God the gracious the merciful praise be to God who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness and the light yet those who disbelieve ascribe equals to their Lord it is he who created you from clay then decided a term a term determined by him yet you doubt page livestock Alan am he is God in the heavens and the earth he knows what you keep secret and what you make public and he knows what you earn not one of their lord's signs comes to them but they turn away from it they deny the truth when it has come to them but soon will reach them the news of what they used to ridicule have they not considered how many generations we destroyed before them we had established them on earth more firmly than we established you and we sent the clouds pouring down abundant rain on them and we made rivers flow beneath them but we destroyed them for their sins and established other civilizations after them had we sent down upon you a book on paper and they had touched it with their hands those who disbelieve would have said this is nothing but plain magic and they say why was an angel not sent down to him had we sent down an angel the matter would have been settled and they would not have been reprieved had we made him an angel we would have made him a man and confused them when they are already confused messengers before you were ridiculed but those who mocked them became besieged by what they ridiculed say travel the earth and observe the final fate of the deniers say to whom belongs what is in the heavens and the earth say to God he has inscribed for himself mercy he will gather you to the day of resurrection in which there is no doubt those who lost their souls do not believe to him belongs whatever rests in the night and the day he is the hearing. The knowing page livestock Alan am say shall I take for myself a protector other than God originator of the heavens and the earth and he feeds and is not fed say I am instructed to be the first of those who submit and do not be among the idolaters say I fear should I defy my lord the punishment of a tremendous day whoever is spared on that day he had mercy on him that is the clear victory if God touches you with adversity none can remove it except he and if he touches you with good. He is capable of everything he is the supreme over his servants he is the wise the expert say what thing is more solemn in testimony say God is witness between you and me this Quran was revealed to me that I may warn you with it and whomever it may reach do you indeed testify that there are other gods with God say I myself do not testify say he is but one God and I am innocent of your idolatry those to whom we have given the book recognize it as they recognize their own children but those who have lost their souls do not believe who does greater wrong than someone who fabricates lies against God or denies his revelations the wrongdoers will not succeed on the day when we gather them all together then say to the idolaters where are your idols those you used to claim then their only argument will be to say by God our Lord we were not idolaters look how they lied to themselves and what they invented deserted them page livestock Alan am among them are those who listen to you but we place covers over their hearts to prevent them from understanding it and heaviness in their ears even if they see every sign they will not believe in it until when they come to you to argue with you those who disbelieve will say these are nothing but myths of the ancients they keep others from it and avoid it themselves but they ruin only their own souls and they do not realize if only you could see when they are made to stand before the fire they will say if only we could be sent back and not reject the revelations of our Lord and be among the faithful what they used to conceal before will become clear to them and even if they were sent back they would revert to what they were forbidden they are liars and they say there is nothing but our life in this world and we will not be resurrected if only you could see when they are stationed before their Lord he will say is this not real they will say yes indeed by our Lord he will say then taste the torment for having disbelieved losers are those who deny the encounter with God then when the hour comes upon them suddenly they will say alas for us how we have neglected it and they will carry their burdens on their backs evil is what they carry the life of this world is nothing but game and distraction but the home of the hereafter is better for those who are righteous do you not understand we know that what they say grieves you it is not you they reject but it is God's revelations that the wicked deny other messengers before you were rejected but they endured rejection and persecution until our help came to them there can page livestock Alan am be no change to God's words news of the messengers has already reached you if you find their rejection hard to bear then if you can seek a tunnel into the earth or a stairway into the heaven and bring them a sign had God willed he could have gathered them to guidance so do not be of the ignorant only those who listen will respond as for the dead God will resurrect them then to him they will be returned and they say if only a sign could come down to him from his Lord say God is able to send down a sign but most of them do not know there is no animal on land nor a bird flying with its wings but our communities like you we neglected nothing in the scripture then to their Lord they will be gathered those who reject our revelations are deaf and dumb in total darkness whomever God wills he leaves astray and whomever he wills he sets on a straight path say have you considered if God's punishment came upon you or the hour overtook you would you call upon any other than God if you are sincere in fact it is him you will call upon and if he wills he will remove what you called him for and you will forget what you idolized we sent messengers to communities before you and we afflicted them with suffering and hardship that they may humble themselves if only when our calamity came upon them they humbled themselves but their hearts hardened and Satan made their deeds appear good to them then when they disregarded what they were reminded of we opened for them the gates of all things until when they delighted page livestock Alan am in what they were given we seized them suddenly and at once they were in despair thus the last remnant of the people who did wrong was cut off and praise be to God Lord of the world say have you considered if God took away your hearing and your sight 
and set a seal on your hearts what God other than God would restore them to you. Note how we explain the revelations in various ways yet they still turn away say have you considered if God's punishment descended on you suddenly or gradually would any be destroyed except the wrongdoing people we sent the messengers only as bearers of good news and as warners those who believe and reform have nothing to fear nor shall they grieve but as for those who reject our revelations torment will afflict them because of their defiance say I do not say to you that I possess the treasuries of God nor do I know the future nor do I say to you that I am an angel I only follow what is inspired to me say are the blind and the seeing alike do you not think and warn with it those who fear to be gathered before their Lord they have no protector or intercessor apart from him perhaps they will grow in piety and do not drive away those who call upon their Lord morning and evening seeking his attention you are not accountable for them in any way nor are they accountable for you in any way if you drive them away you would be one of the unjust thus we try some of them by means of others that they may say are these the ones whom God has favored from among us is God not aware of the appreciative page livestock Alan am when those who believe in our revelations come to you say peace be upon you your Lord has prescribed mercy for himself whoever among you does wrong out of ignorance and then repents afterwards and reforms he is forgiving and merciful thus we explain the revelations and expose the path of the unrighteous say I am forbidden from worshipping those you pray to besides God say I will not follow your desires else I would be lost and not be of those guided say I stand on clear evidence from my Lord and you have rejected him I do not possess what you seek me to hasten the decision belongs solely to God he states the truth and he is the best of Judges say if I possessed what you seek me to hasten the matter between you and me would have been settled God is well aware of the unjust with him are the keys of the unseen none knows them except he and he knows everything on land and in the sea not a leaf falls but he knows it and there is not a single grain in the darkness of earth nor is there anything wet or dry but is in a clear record it is he who takes you by night and he knows what you earn by day then he raises you up in it. Until a fixed term is fulfilled then to him is your return then he will inform you of what you used to do he is the conqueror over his servants and he sends guardians over you until when death overtakes one of you our envoys take him away and they never fail then they are brought back to God their true master unquestionably his is the judgment and he is the swiftest of reckoners page livestock Alan Amsay who delivers you from the darkness of land and sea you call upon him humbly and Inwardly if he delivers us from this we will surely be among the thankful say it is God who delivers you from it and from every disaster yet then you associate others with him say he is able to send upon you an affliction from above you or from under your feet or he can divide you into factions and make you taste the violence of one another note how we explain the revelation so that they may understand but your people rejected it though it is the truth say I am not responsible for you for every happening is a finality and you will surely know when you encounter those who gossip about our revelations turn away from them until they engage in another topic but should Satan make you forget do not sit after the recollection with the wicked people the righteous are in no way accountable for them it is only a reminder that they may be careful so leave alone those who take their religion for play and pastime and whom the worldly life has deceived but remind with it lest a soul becomes damned on account of what it has earned it has no helper or intercessor besides God even if it offers every equivalent none will be accepted from it these are the ones who are delivered to perdition by their actions they will have a drink of scalding water and a painful punishment because they used to disbelieve say shall we invoke besides God something that can neither benefit us nor harm us and turn back on our heels after God has guided us like someone seduced by the devils and confused on earth who has friends calling him to guidance come to us say the guidance of God is the guidance and we are commanded to surrender to the Lord of the universe page livestock Alan am and to perform the prayers and to revere him it is to him that you will be gathered it is he who created the heavens and the earth in truth on the day when he says be it will be his saying is the truth and his is the sovereignty on the day when the trumpet is blown the knower of secrets and declarations he is the wise the expert Abraham said to his father Azar do you take idols for gods I see that you and your people are in evident error thus we showed Abraham the empire of the heavens and the earth that he might be one of those with certainty when the night fell over him he saw a planet he said this is my lord but when it set he said I do not love those that set then when he saw the moon rising he said this is my lord but when it set he said if my lord does not guide me I will be one of the erring people then when he saw the sun rising he said this is my lord this is bigger but when it said he said oh my people I am innocent of your idolatry I have directed my attention towards him who created the heavens and the earth a monotheist and I am not of the idolaters and his people argued with him he said do you argue with me about God when he has guided me I do not fear what you associate with him unless my lord wills it my lord comprehends all things in knowledge will you not reconsider and why should I fear those you associate with him and you do not fear associating others with God for which he sent down to you no authority which side is more entitled to security if you are aware those who believe and do not obscure their faith with wrongdoing those will have security and they are guided page livestock Alan M that was our argument which we gave to Abraham against his people we elevate by degrees whomever we will your Lord 
is wise and informed and we gave him Isaac and Jacob each of them we guided and we guided Noah previously and from his descendants David and Solomon and Job and Joseph and Moses and Aaron thus we reward the righteous and Zechariah and John and Jesus and Elias every one of them was of the upright and Ishmael and Elijah and Jonah and Lot we favored each one of them over all other people and of their ancestors and their descendants and their siblings we chose them and guided them to a straight path such as God's guidance he guides with it whomever he wills of his servants had they associated their deeds would have gone in vain those are they to whom we gave the book and wisdom and prophethood if these reject them we have entrusted them to others who do not reject them those are they whom God has guided so follow their guidance say I ask of you no compensation for it it is just a reminder for all mankind they do not value God as he should be valued when they say God did not Reveal anything to any human being say who revealed the scripture which Moses brought a light and guidance for humanity you put it on scrolls displaying them yet concealing much and you were taught what you did not know neither you nor your ancestors say God then leave them toying away in their speculation this too is a scripture that we revealed blessed verifying what preceded it that you may warn the mother of cities and all around page livestock Alan Amit those who believe in the hereafter believe in it and are dedicated to their prayers who does greater wrong than someone who invents falsehood against God or says it was revealed to me when nothing was revealed to him or says I will reveal the like of what God revealed if only you could see the wrongdoers in the floods of death as the angels with arms outstretched give up your souls today you are being repaid with the torment of shame for having said about God other than the truth and for being too proud to accept his revelations you have come to us individually just as we created you the first time leaving behind you everything we gave you we do not see with you your intercessors those you claimed were your partners the link between you is cut and what you had asserted has failed you it is God who splits the grain and the seed he brings the living from the dead and he brings the dead from the living such is God so how could you deviate it is he who breaks the dawn and he made the night for rest and the sun and the moon for calculation such is the disposition of the Almighty the All-Knowing and it is he who created the stars for you that you may be guided by them in the darkness of land and sea we thus explain the revelations for people who know and it is he who produced you from a single person then a repository then a depository we have detailed the revelations for people who understand and it is he who sends down water from the sky with it we produce vegetation of all kinds from which we bring greenery from which we produce grains in clusters and palm trees with hanging clusters and vineyards and olives and pomegranates similar and page livestock Alan am dissimilar watch their fruits as they grow and ripen surely in this are signs for people who believe yet they attributed to God partners the sprites although he created them and they invented for him sons and daughters without any knowledge glory be to him he is exalted beyond what they describe originator of the heavens and the earth how can he have a son when he never had a companion he created all things and he has knowledge of all things such as God your Lord there is no God except he the creator of all things so worship him he is responsible for everything no vision can grasp him but his grasp is over all vision he is the subtle the expert insights have come to you from your Lord whoever sees it is to the benefit of his soul and whoever remains blind it is to its detriment I am not a guardian over you we thus diversify the revelations lest they say you have studied and to clarify them for people who know follow what was revealed to you from your Lord there is no God but he and turn away from the polytheists had God willed they would not have practiced idolatry we did not appoint you as a guardian over them and you are not a manager over them do not insult those they call upon besides God lest they insult God out of hostility and ignorance we made attractive to every community. Their deeds then to their Lord is their return and he will inform them of what they used to do they swear by God with their most solemn oaths that if a miracle were to come to them they would believe in it say the page livestock Alan am miracles are only with God but how do you know even if it did come they still would not believe and we turn away their hearts and their visions as they refuse to believe in it the first time and we leave them blundering in their rebellion even if we sent down the angels to them and the dead spoke to them and we gathered all things before them they still would not believe unless God wills but most of them are ignorant likewise we have assigned for every prophet an enemy human engine devils inspiring one another with fancy words in order to deceive but had your Lord willed they would not have done it so leave them to their fabrications so that the hearts of those who do not believe in the hereafter may incline to it and be content with it and that they may perpetrate whatever they perpetrate shall I seek a judge other than God when he is the one who revealed to you the book explained in detail those to whom we gave the book know that it is the truth revealed from your Lord so do not be of those who doubt the word of your Lord has been completed in truth and justice there is no changing to his words he is the hearer the knower if you were to obey most of those on earth they would divert you from God's path they follow nothing but assumptions and they only conjecture your Lord knows best who strays from his path and he knows best the guided one so eat of that over which the name of God was pronounced if you indeed believe in his revelations and why should you not eat of that over which the name of God is pronounced when he has detailed for you what is prohibited for page livestock Alan am you unless you are compelled by necessity many lead astray with their opinions through lack of knowledge your Lord knows best the transgressors so abandon sin outward and inward those who commit sins will be repaid for what they used to perpetrate and do not eat from that over which the name of God was not pronounced for it is abomination the devils inspire their followers to argue with you but if you obey them you would be polytheists is he who was dead then we gave him life and made for him a light by which he walks among the people like he who is in total darkness and cannot get out of it thus the 
doings of disbelievers are made to appear good to them and thus we set up in every city its leading wicked sinners to conspire in it but they conspire only against themselves and they do not realize it when a sign comes to them they say we will not believe unless we are given the like of what was given to God's messengers God knows best where to place his message humiliation from God and severe torment will afflict the criminals for their scheming whomever God desires to guide he spreads. Open his heart to Islam and whomever he desires to misguide he makes his heart narrow constricted as though he were climbing up the sky God thus lays defilement upon those who do not believe this is the straight path of your Lord we have explained the revelations in detail for people who recollect for them is the home of peace with their Lord and he is their master because of what they used to do on the day when he gathers them all together O assembly of jinn you have exploited multitudes of humans their adherents among mankind will say our lord we have profited from one another but we have reached the term that you have assigned for page livestock alan amos he will say the fire is your dwelling wherein you will remain except as god wills your lord is wise and informed thus we make some of the wrongdoers befriend one another because of what they used to do O assembly of jinn and humans did there not come to you messengers from among you relating to you my revelations and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours they will say we testify against ourselves the life of the world seduced them they will testify against themselves that they were disbelievers that is because your lord would not destroy towns for injustice while their inhabitants are unaware they all have ranks according to what they did and your lord is not unaware of what they do your lord is the rich beyond need the possessor of mercy if he wills he can do away with you and substitute whomever he wills in your place just as he produced you from the descendants of another people what you are promised is coming and you cannot thwart it say oh my people work according to your ability and so will i you will come to know to whom will belong the sequel of the abode the wrongdoers will not prevail and they set aside for god a share of the crops and the livestock he created and they say this is for god according to their claim and this is for our idols but the share of their idols does not reach god yet the share of god reaches their idols evil is their judgment likewise their idols entice many idolaters to kill their children in order to lead them to their ruin and confuse them in their religion had god willed they would not have done it so leave them to their fraud page livestock alan m and they say these animals and crops are restricted none may eat them except those we permit by their claims and animals whose backs are forbidden and Animals over which they do not pronounce the name of God fabricating lies against him he will repay them for what they used to invent and they say what lies in the wombs of these animals is exclusively for our males and prohibited to our wives but if it is stillborn they can share in it he will surely punish them for their allegations he is wise and knowing lost are those who kill their children foolishly with no basis in knowledge and forbid what God has provided for them innovations about. God they have gone astray they are not guided it is he who produces gardens both cultivated and wild and date palms and crops of diverse tastes and olives and pomegranates similar and dissimilar eat of its fruit when it yields and give its due on the day of its harvest and do not waste he does not love the wasteful among the livestock are some for transportation and some for clothing eat of what God has provided for you and do not follow the footsteps of Satan he is to you an outright enemy. 8 pairs 2 of the sheep and 2 of the goats say did he forbid the 2 males or the 2 females or what the wombs of the 2 females contain inform me with knowledge if you are truthful and 2 of the camels and 2 of the cattle say did he forbid the 2 males or the 2 females or what the wombs of the 2 females contain were you present when God enjoined this upon you who does greater wrong than he who invents lies and attributes them to God in order to mislead people without. Knowledge God does not guide the wicked people page livestock Alan M say in what was revealed to me I find nothing forbidden to a consumer who eats it except carrion or spilled blood or the flesh of swine because it is impure or a sinful offering dedicated to other than God but if someone is compelled by necessity without being deliberate or malicious your Lord is forgiving and merciful for the Jews we forbade everything with claws as of cattle and sheep we forbade them their fat except what adheres to their backs or the entrails or what is mixed with bone this is how we penalize them for their inequity we are indeed truthful if they accuse you of lying say your lord is possessor of infinite mercy but his wrath cannot be averted from the guilty people the polytheists will say had god willed we would not have practiced idolatry nor would have our forefathers nor would we have prohibited anything likewise those before them lied until they tasted our might say do you have any knowledge that you can produce for us you follow nothing but conjecture and you only guess say to God belongs the conclusive argument had he willed he would have guided you all say produce your witnesses who would testify that God has prohibited this if they testify do not testify with them and do not follow the whims of those who deny our revelation and those who do not believe in the hereafter and those who equate others with their Lord say come let me tell you what your Lord has forbidden you that you associate nothing with him that you honor your parents that you do not kill your children because of poverty we provide for you and for them that you do not come near in chanches whether outward or inward and that you do not kill the soul which god has sanctified except in the course of justice all this he has enjoined upon you so that you may understand page livestock alan m and do not come near the property of the orphan except with the best intentions until he 
reaches maturity and give full weight and full measure equitably we do not burden any soul beyond its capacity and when you speak be fair even if it concerns a close relative and fulfill your covenant with God all this he has enjoined upon you so that you may take heed this is my path straight so follow it and do not follow the other paths lest they divert you from his path all this he has enjoined upon you that you may refrain from wrongdoing then we gave Moses the scripture perfect for the righteous and explaining everything clearly and a beacon and mercy that they may believe in the encounter with their Lord this too is a blessed scripture that we revealed so follow it and be righteous that you may receive mercy lest you say the scripture was revealed to two parties before us and we were unaware of their teachings or lest you say had the scripture been revealed to us we would have been better guided than they clarification has come to you from your Lord and guidance and Mercy who then does greater wrong than he who gives the lie to God's messages and turns away from them we will repay those who turn away from our messages with the worst kind of punishment because of their turning away are they waiting for anything but for the angels to come to them or for your Lord to arrive or for some of your Lord's signs to come on the day when some of your Lord's signs come no soul will benefit from its faith unless it had believed previously or had earned goodness. Through its faith say wait we too are waiting as for those who divided their religion and became sex you have nothing to do with them their case rests with God then he will inform them of what they used to do page livestock Alan M whoever comes up with a good deed will have ten times its like and whoever comes up with an evil deed will be repaid only with its equivalent they will not be wronged say my Lord has guided me to a straight path and upright religion the creed of Abraham the monotheist who was not a polytheist say my prayer and my worship and my life and my death are devoted to God the Lord of the worlds no associate has he thus I am commanded and I am the first of those who submit say am I to seek a Lord other than God when he is the Lord of all things no soul gets except what it is due and no soul bears the burdens of another than to your Lord is your return then he will inform you regarding your disputes it is he who made you successors on the earth and raised some of you in ranks over others in order to test you through what he has given you your lord is quick in retribution and he is forgiving and merciful the elevations laraf in the name of god the gracious the merciful Aleph lam mim sad a scripture was revealed to you so let there be no anxiety in your heart because of it you are to warn with it and a reminder for the believers follow what is revealed to you from your lord and do not follow other masters beside him little you Recollect how many a town have we destroyed our might came upon them by night or while they were napping page the elevations laraf when our might came upon them their only cry was we were indeed wrongdoers we will question those to whom messengers were sent and we will question the messengers we will narrate to them with knowledge for we were never absent the scales on that day will be just those whose weights are heavy it is they who are the successful but as for those whose weights are light it is they who have lost their souls because they used to mistreat our revelations we have established you firmly on earth and made for you in it livelihood but rarely do you give thanks we created you then we shaped you then we said to the angels bow down before Adam so they bowed down except for Satan he was not of those who bowed down he said what prevented you from bowing down when I have commanded you he said I am better than he you created me from fire and you created him from mud he said get down from it it is not for you to act arrogantly in it get out you are one of the lowly he said give me respite until the day they are resurrected he said you are of those given respite he said because you have lured me I will waylay them on your straight path then I will come at them from before them and from behind them and from their right and from their left and you will not find most of them appreciative he said get out of it despised and vanquished whoever among them follows you I will fill up hell with you all page the elevations laraf and you Adam inhabit the garden you and your wife and eat whatever you wish but do not approach this tree lest you become sinners but Satan whispered to them to reveal to them their nakedness which was invisible to them he said your Lord has only forbidden you this tree lest you become angels or become immortals and he swore to them I am a sincere advisor to you so he lured them with deceit and when they tasted the tree their nakedness became evident to them and they began covering themselves with the leaves of the garden and their lord called out to them did I not forbid you from this tree and say to you that Satan is a sworn enemy to you they said our lord we have done wrong to ourselves unless you forgive us and have mercy on us we will be among the losers he said fall some of you enemies to one another on earth you will have residence and livelihood for a while he said in it you will live and in it you will die and from it you will be brought out O children of Adam we have provided you with clothing to cover your bodies and for luxury but the clothing of piety that is best these are some of God's revelations so that they may take heed O children of Adam do not let Satan seduce you as he drove your parents out of the garden stripping them of their garments to show them their nakedness he sees you him and his clan from where you cannot see them we have made the devil's friends of those who do not believe and when they commit an indecency they say we found our parents doing this and God has commanded us to do it say God does not command in chanches are you attributing to God what you do not know page the elevations laraf say my lord commands justice and to stand devoted at every place of worship so call upon him and dedicate your faith to him alone just as he originated you so you will return some he has guided and some have deserved misguidance they have adopted the devils for patrons rather than God and they assume that they are guided O children of Adam dress properly at every place of worship and eat and drink but do not be excessive he does not love the excessive say who forbade God's finery which he has produced for his servants and the delights of livelihood say they are for those who believe in this present world but exclusively theirs on the day of resurrection we thus detail the 
Revelations for people who know say my Lord has forbidden immoralities both open and secret and sin and unjustified aggression and that you associate with God anything for which he revealed no sanction and that you say about God what you do not know for every nation is an appointed time when their time has come they cannot delay it by one hour nor can they advance it O children of Adam when messengers from among you come to you relating to you my revelations whoever practices piety and reforms upon them shall be no fear nor shall they grieve but as for those who reject our revelations and are too proud to accept them these are the inmates of the fire where they will remain forever who does greater wrong than he who invents lies about God or denies his revelations these their share of the decree will reach them until when our envoys come to them to take their souls away they will say where are they whom you used to pray to page the elevations laraf besides God they will say they have abandoned us and they will testify against themselves that they were faithless he will say join the crowds of jinn and humans who have gone into the fire before you every time a crowd enters it will curse its sister crowd until when they are all in it the last of them will say to the first of them our lord these are the ones who misled us so inflict on them a double punishment in the fire he will say each will have a double but you do not know the first of them will Say to the last of them you have no advantage over us so taste the torment for what you used to earn those who reject our revelations and are too arrogant to uphold them the doors of heaven will not be opened for them nor will they enter paradise until the camel passes through the eye of the needle thus we repay the guilty for them is a couch of hell and above them are sheets of fire thus we repay the wrongdoers as for those who believe and do righteous works we never burden any soul. Beyond its capacity these are the inhabitants of the garden abiding therein eternally we will remove whatever rancor is in their hearts rivers will flow beneath them and they will say praise be to God who has guided us to this had God not guided us we would never be guided the messengers of our Lord did come with the truth and it will be proclaimed to them this is the garden you are made to inherit on account of what you used to do and the inhabitants of the garden will call out to the Inmates of the fire we found what our Lord promised us to be true did you find what your Lord promised you to be true they will say yes thereupon a caller will announce in their midst the curse of God is upon the wrongdoers page the elevations laraf those who hinder from the path of God and seek to distort it and who deny the hereafter and between them is a partition and on the elevations are men who recognize everyone by their features they will call to the inhabitants of the garden peace be upon you they have not entered it but they are hoping and when their eyes are directed towards the inmates of the fire they will say our lord do not place us among the wrongdoing people and the dwellers of the elevations will call to men they recognize by their features saying your hoardings did not avail you nor did your arrogance are these the ones you swore god will not touch with mercy enter the garden you have nothing to fear and you will not grieve thee Inmates of the fire will call on the inhabitants of the garden pour some water over us or some of what God has provided for you they will say God has forbidden them for the disbelievers those who took their religion lightly and in jest and whom the worldly life deceived today we will ignore them as they ignored the meeting on this day of theirs and they used to deny our revelations we have given them a scripture which we detailed with knowledge guidance and mercy for people who believe. Are they waiting for anything but its fulfillment the day its fulfillment comes true those who disregarded it before will say the messengers of our Lord did come with the truth have we any intercessors to intercede for us or could we be sent back to behave differently from the way we behaved before they ruined their souls and what they used to invent has failed them page the elevations laraf your Lord is God he who created the heavens and the earth in six days then established himself. On the throne the night overtakes the day as it pursues it persistently and the sun and the moon and the stars are subservient by his command his is the creation and his is the command blessed is God Lord of all beings call upon your Lord humbly and privately he does not love the aggressors and do not corrupt on earth after its reformation and pray to him with fear and hope God's mercy is close to the doers of good it is he who sends the wind ahead of his mercy then when they have gathered. Up heavy clouds we drive them to a dead land where we make water come down and with it we bring out all kinds of fruits thus we bring out the dead perhaps you will reflect as for the good land it yields its produce by the leave of its lord but as for the bad it produces nothing but hardship and misery thus we explain the revelations in various ways for people who are thankful we sent Noah to his people he said oh my people worship God you have no God other than him I fear for you the punishment of a tremendous day the dignitaries among his people said we see that you are in obvious error he said oh my people I am not in error but I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds I deliver to you the messages of my Lord and I advise you and I know from God what you do not know do you wonder that a reminder has come to you from your Lord through a man from among you to warn you and to lead you to righteousness so that you may attain mercy page the elevations laraf but they called him a liar so we saved him and those with him in the ark and we drowned those who rejected our revelations they were blind people and to Ayad their brotherhood he said oh my people worship God you have no God other than him will you not take heed the elite of his people who disbelieved said we see foolishness in you and we think that you are a liar he said oh my people there is no foolishness in me but I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds I convey to you the 
Messages of my Lord and I am a trustworthy advisor to you are you surprised that a reminder has come to you from your Lord through a man from among you to warn you remember how he made you successors after the people of Noah and increased you greatly in stature and remember God's blessings so that you may prosper they said did you come to us to make us worship God alone and abandon what our ancestors used to worship then bring us what you threaten us with if you are truthful he said. Condemnation and wrath have befallen you from your Lord are you arguing with me over names which you and your ancestors invented for which God sent down no authority just wait I am waiting with you so we saved him and those with him by mercy from us and we cut off the roots of those who rejected our revelations and were not believers and to Tamu their brother Saleh he said O oh my people worship God you have no God other than him clarification has come to you from your Lord the she camel. Of God is a sign for you so leave her to graze on God's earth and do her no harm lest a painful penalty seizes you page the elevations laraf and remember how he made you successors after Iod and settled you in the land you make for yourselves mansions on its plains and carve out dwellings in the mountains so remember God's benefits and do not roam the earth corruptingly the elite of his people who were arrogant said to the common people who had believed do you know that Saleh is sent. From his Lord they said we are believers in what he was sent with those who were arrogant said we reject what you believe in so they hamstrung the she-camel and defied the command of their Lord and said O Sally bring upon us what you threaten us with if you are one of the messengers whereupon the quake overtook them and they became lifeless bodies in their homes then he turned away from them and said O my people I have delivered to you the message of my Lord and I have advised you. But you do not like those who give advice and lot when he said to his people do you commit lewdness no people anywhere have ever committed before you you lust after men rather than women you are an excessive people and his people's only answer was to say expel them from your town they are purest people but we saved him and his family except for his wife she was of those who lagged behind and we rained down on them a rain note the consequences for the sinners and to median there. Brother Shuab he said O oh my people worship God you have no God other than him a clear proof has come to you from your Lord give full measure and wait and do not cheat people out of their rights and do not corrupt the land page the elevations laraf once it has been set right this is better for you if you are believers and do not lurk on every path making threats and turning away from the path of God those who believe in him seeking to distort it and remember how you were few and how. He made you numerous so note the consequences for the corrupter since some of you believed in what I was sent with and some did not believe be patient until God judges between us for he is the best of judges the arrogant elite among his people said O Shuab we will evict you from our town along with those who believe with you unless you return to our religion he said even if we are unwilling we would be fabricating falsehood against God if we were to return to your religion after. God has saved us from it it is not for us to return to it unless God our Lord wills our Lord embraces all things in knowledge in God we place our trust our Lord decide between us and our people in truth for you are the best of deciders the elite of his people who disbelieved said if you follow Shuab you will be losers thereupon the quake struck them and they became lifeless bodies in their homes those who rejected Shuab as if they never prospered therein those who rejected Shuab it was. They who were the losers so he turned away from them and said O oh my people I have delivered to you the messages of my Lord and I have advised you so why should I grieve over a disbelieving people we did not send any prophet to any town but we afflicted its people with misery and adversity so that they may humble themselves page the elevations laraf then we substituted prosperity in place of hardship until they increased in number and said adversity and prosperity has touched our ancestors then we seized them suddenly while they were unaware had the people of the towns believed and turned righteous we would have opened for them the blessings of the heaven and the earth but they rejected the truth so we seized them by what they were doing do the people of the towns feel secure that our might will not come upon them by night while they sleep do the people of the towns feel secure that our might will not come upon them by day while they play do they feel safe from God's plan none feel safe from God's plan except the losing people is it not guidance for those who inherit the land after its inhabitants that if we willed we could strike them for their sins and seal up their hearts so that they would not hear these towns we narrate to you some of their tales their messengers came to them with the clear signs but they would not believe in what they had rejected previously thus God seals the hearts of the disbelievers we found most of them untrue to their covenants we found most of them corrupt then after them we sent Moses with our miracles to Pharaoh and his establishment but they denounced them so consider the end of the evildoers Moses said O Pharaoh I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds page the elevations laraf it is only proper that I should not say about God anything other than the truth I have come to you with clear evidence from your Lord so let the children of Israel go with me he said if you brought a miracle then present it if you are truthful so he threw his staff and it was an apparent serpent and he pulled out his hand and it was white to the onlookers the notables among Pharaoh's people said this is really a skilled magician he wants to evict you from your land so what do you recommend they said put him off and his brother and send heralds to the cities and let them bring you every skillful magician the magicians came to Pharaoh and said surely there is a reward for us if we 
are the victors he said yes and you will be among my favorites they said oh Moses either you throw or we are the ones to throw he said you throw and when they threw they beguiled the eyes of the people and intimidated them and produced a mighty magic and we inspired Moses throw your staff and at once it swallowed what they were faking so the truth came to pass and what they were producing came to nothing there they were defeated and utterly reduced and the magicians fell to their knees page the elevations laraf they said we have believed in the lord of the worlds the lord of moses and aaron pharaoh said did you believe in him before i have given you permission this is surely a conspiracy you schemed in the city in order to expel its people from it you will surely know i will cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides then i will crucify you all they said it is to our lord that we will return you are taking vengeance on us only because we have believed in the signs of our Lord when they have come to us our Lord pour out patience upon us and receive our souls in submission the chiefs of Pharaoh's people said will you let Moses and his people cause trouble in the land and forsake you and your gods he said we will kill their sons and spare their women we have absolute power over them Moses said to his people seek help in God and be patient the earth belongs to God he gives it in inheritance to whomever he wills of his servants and the future belongs to the righteous they said we were persecuted before you came to us and after you came to us he said perhaps your lord will destroy your enemy and make you successors in the land then he will see how you behave and we afflicted the people of pharaoh with barren years and with shortage of crops that they may take heed when something good came their way they said this is ours and when something bad happened to them they ascribed the evil omen to moses and those with him in fact their omen is with God but most of them do not know and they said no matter what sign you bring us to bewitch us with we will not believe in you page the elevations laraf so we let loose upon them the flood and the locusts and the lice and the frogs and blood all explicit signs but they were too arrogant they were a sinful people whenever a plague befell them they would say O oh Moses pray to your lord for us according to the covenant he made with you if you lift the plague from us we will believe in you and let the children of Israel go with you but when we lifted the plague from them for a term they were to fulfill they broke their promise so we took vengeance on them and drowned them in the sea because they rejected our signs and paid no heed to them and we made the oppressed people inherit the eastern and western parts of the land which we had blessed thus the fair promise of your Lord to the children of Israel was fulfilled because of their endurance and we destroyed what Pharaoh and his people had built and what they had harvested and we delivered the children of Israel across the sea and when they came upon a people who were devoted to some statues of theirs they said O Moses make for us a god as they have gods he said you are truly an ignorant people what these people are concerned with is perdition and their deeds are based on falsehoods he said shall I seek for you a god other than God when he has favored you over all other people remember how we saved you from Pharaoh's people who subjected you to the worst of sufferings killing your sons and sparing your women in that was a tremendous trial from your Lord and we appointed to Moses thirty nights and completed them with ten and thus the time appointed by his Lord was forty nights and Moses said to his brother Aaron take my place among my page the elevations laraf people and be upright and do not follow the way of the mischief makers and when. Moses came to our appointment and his Lord spoke to him he said my Lord allow me to look and see you he said you will not see me but look at the mountain if it stays in its place you will see me but when his Lord manifested himself to the mountain he turned it into dust and Moses fell down unconscious then when he recovered he said glory be to you I repent to you and I am the first of the believers he said O oh Moses I have chosen you over all people for my messages and for my words so take what I have given you and be one of the thankful and we inscribed for him in the tablets all kinds of enlightenments and decisive explanation of all things hold fast to them and exhort your people to adopt the best of them I will show you the fate of the sinners I will turn away from my revelations those who behave proudly on earth without justification even if they see every sign they will not believe in it and if they see the path of rectitude they will not adopt it for a path and if they see the path of error they will adopt it for a path that is because they denied our revelations and paid no attention to them those who deny our revelations and the meeting of the hereafter their deeds will come to nothing will they be repaid except according to what they used to do in his absence the people of Moses adopted a calf made from their ornaments a body which load did they not see that it could not speak to them nor guide them in any way they took it for worship they were in the wrong page the elevations laraf then when they regretted and realized that they had erred they said unless our lord extends his mercy to us and forgives us we will be among the losers and when moses returned to his people angry and disappointed he said what an awful thing you did in my absence did you forsake the commandments of your lord so hastily and he threw down the tablets and he took hold of his brother's head dragging him towards himself he said son of my mother the people have overpowered me and were about to kill me so do not allow the enemies to gloat over me and do not count me among the unjust people he said my lord forgive me and my brother and admit us into your mercy for you are the most merciful of the merciful those who idolized the calf have incurred wrath from their lord and humiliation in this life we thus requite the innovators as for those who commit sins and then repent afterwards and believe your lord thereafter is forgiving and merciful when the anger abetted in Moses he took up the tablets in their transcript is guidance and mercy for those in awe of their Lord and Moses chose from his people 70 men for our appointment when the tremor shook them he said my Lord had you willed you could have destroyed them before and me too will you destroy us for what the fools among us have done this is but your test with it you misguide whomever you will and guide whomever you will you are our protector so forgive us and 
have mercy on us you are the best of forgivers and inscribe for us goodness in this world and in the hereafter we have turned to you he said my punishment I inflicted upon whomever I will but my mercy encompasses all things I will specify it for those who act righteously and practice regular charity and those who believe in our signs page the elevations laraf those who follow the messenger the unlettered prophet whom they find mentioned in the Torah and the gospel in their possession he directs them to righteousness and deters them from evil and allows for them all good things and prohibits for them wickedness and unloads the burdens and the shackles that are upon them those who believe in him and respect him and support him and follow the light that came down with him these are the successful say O people I am the messenger of God to you all he to whom belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth there is no God but he he gives life and causes death so Believe in God and his messenger the unlettered prophet who believes in God and his words and follow him that you may be guided among the people of Moses is a community that guides by truth and thereby does justice we divided them into twelve tribal communities and we inspired Moses when his people asked him for something to drink strike the rock with your staff whereupon twelve springs gushed from it each group recognized its drinking place and we shaded them with clouds and we sent down. Upon them manna and quails eat of the good things we have provided for you they did not wrong us but they used to wrong their own selves and it was said to them settle this town and eat therein whatever you wish and speak modestly and enter the gate in humility we will forgive your sins and will promote the righteous but the wicked among them substituted other words for the words given to them so we sent down upon them a plague from the sky because of their wrongdoing ask them about the town by the sea when they violated the sabbath when they observed the sabbath their fish would come to them abundantly but when they violated the sabbath their fish page the elevations laraf would not come to them thus we tried them because they disobeyed and when a group of them said why do you counsel a people whom god will annihilate or punish with a severe punishment they said as an excuse to your lord and so that they may become righteous then when they neglected what they were Reminded of we saved those who prohibited evil and we seized those who did wrong with a terrible punishment because of their sinfulness then when they rebelled against the commands to refrain we said to them be despicable apes your lord has announced that he would send against them until the day of resurrection those who would inflict terrible suffering upon them your lord is swift in retribution yet he is forgiving and merciful and we scattered them into communities on earth some of them righteous and some of them short of that and we tested them with fortunes and misfortunes so that they may return they were succeeded by generations who inherited the scripture and chose the materials of this world saying we will be forgiven and should similar materials come their way they would again seize them did they not make a covenant to uphold the scripture and to not say about God except the truth did they not study its contents but the home of the hereafter is better for the Cautious will you not understand those who adhere to the scripture and practice prayer we will not waste the reward of the reformers and when we suspended the mountain over them as if it was an umbrella and they thought it would fall on them hold fast to what we have given you and remember what it contains so that you may be saved page the elevations laraf and when your lord summoned the descendants of Adam and made them testify about themselves am I not your lord they said yes we testify thus you cannot say on the day of resurrection we were unaware of this nor can you say our ancestors practiced idolatry before and we are their descendants who came after them will you destroy us for what the falsifiers did we thus elaborate the revelation so that they may return and relate to them the story of him to whom we delivered our signs but he detached himself from them so satan went after him and he became one of the perverts had we willed we could have elevated him through them but he clung to the ground and followed his desires his metaphor is that of a dog if you chase it it pants and if you leave it alone it pants such is the metaphor of the people who deny our signs so tell the tale so that they may ponder evil is the metaphor of the people who reject our signs and wrong themselves whomever God guides is the guided one and whomever he sends astray these are the losers we have destined for hell multitudes of jinn and humans they have hearts with which they do not understand they have eyes with which they do not see they have ears with which they do not hear these are like cattle in fact they are further astray these are the heedless to God belong the most beautiful names so call him by them and disregard those who blaspheme his names they will be repaid for what they used to do among those we created is a community they guide by truth and do justice thereby page the elevations laraf as for those who reject our messages we will gradually lead them from where they do not know and I will encourage them my plan is firm do they not think there is no madness in their friend he is but a plain warner have they not observed the government of the heavens and the earth and all the things that God created and that their time may have drawn near which message besides this will they believe in whomever God misguides has no guide and he leaves them blundering in their transgression they ask you about the hour when will it Come say knowledge of it rests with my Lord none can reveal its coming except he it weighs heavily on the heavens and the earth it will not come upon you except suddenly they ask you as if you are responsible for it say knowledge of it rests with God but most people do not know say I have no control over any benefit or harm to myself except as God wills had I known the future I would have acquired much good and no harm would have touched me I am only a warner and a herald of good news to a people who believe it is he who created you from a single person and made from it its mate that he may find comfort with her then when he has covered her she conceives a light load and she carries it around but when she has grown heavy they pray to God their Lord if you give us a good child we will be among the thankful but when he has given them a good child they attribute partners to him in what he has given them God is exalted above what they associate do they idolize those who 
create nothing and are themselves created page the elevations laraf and can neither help them nor help their own selves and if you invite them to guidance they will not follow you it is the same for you whether you invite them or remain silent those you call upon besides god are servants like you so call upon them and let them answer you if you are truthful do they have feet with which they walk or do they have hands with which they strike or do they have eyes with which they see or do they have ears with which they hear say call upon your partners then plot against me and do not wait my master is God he who sent down the book and he takes care of the righteous those you call upon besides him cannot help you nor can they help themselves and if you call them to guidance they will not hear and you see them looking at you yet they do not see be tolerant and command decency and avoid the ignorant and when a suggestion from Satan assails you take refuge with God he is hearing and knowing those who are righteous when an impulse from Satan strikes them they remind themselves and immediately see clearly but their brethren lead them relentlessly into error and they never stop short if you do not produce a miracle for them they say why don't you improvise one say I only follow what is inspired to me from my Lord these are insights from your Lord and guidance and mercy for a people who believe when the Quran is recited listen to it and pay attention so that you may experience mercy page the elevations laraf and remember your lord within yourself humbly and fearfully and quietly in the morning and the evening and do not be of the neglectful those who are in the presence of your lord are not too proud to worship him they recite his praises and to him they bow down the spoils alanful in the name of god the gracious the merciful they ask you about the bounties say the bounties are for god and the messenger so be mindful of god and Settle your differences and obey God and his messenger if you are believers the believers are those whose hearts tremble when God is mentioned and when his revelations are recited to them they strengthen them in faith and upon their Lord they rely those who perform the prayer and from our provisions to them they spend these are the true believers they have high standing with their Lord and forgiveness and a generous provision even as your Lord brought you out of your home with the truth. Some believers were reluctant arguing with you about the truth after it was made clear as if they were being driven to death as they looked on God has promised you one of the two groups that it would be yours but you wanted the unarmed group to be yours God intends to prove the truth with his words and to uproot the disbelievers in order to confirm the truth and nullify falsehood even though the guilty dislike it when you appealed to your Lord for help he answered you I am reinforcing you. With 1000 angels in succession page the spoils alanful God only made it a message of hope and to set your hearts at rest victory comes only from God God is mighty and wise he made drowsiness overcome you as a security from him and he sent down upon you water from the sky to cleanse you with it and to rid you of Satan's pollution and to fortify your hearts and to strengthen your foothold your Lord inspired the angels I am with you so support those who believe I will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve so strike above the necks and strike off every fingertip of theirs that is because they opposed God and his messenger whoever opposes God and his messenger God is severe in retribution here it is so tasted for the disbelievers there is the suffering of the fire O oh, you who believe when you meet those who disbelieve on the march never turn your backs on them anyone who turns his back on them on that day except while maneuvering for battle or to join. Another group has incurred wrath from God and his abode is hell what a miserable destination it was not you who killed them but it was God who killed them and it was not you who launched when you launched but it was God who launched that he may bestow upon the believers an excellent reward God is hearing and knowing such is the case God will undermine the strategy of the disbelievers if you desire a verdict the verdict has come to you and if you desist it would be best for you and if you return we will return and your troops however numerous will not benefit you God is with the believers page the spoils alanful O you who believe obey God and his messenger and do not turn away from him when you hear and be not like those who say we hear when they do not hear the worst of animals to God are the deaf and dumb those who do not reason had God recognized any good in them he would have made them hear and had he made them hear they would have turned away defiantly O you who believe respond to God and to the messenger when he calls you to what will revive you and know that God stands between a man and his heart and that to him you will be gathered and beware of discord which does not afflict the wrongdoers among you exclusively and know that God is severe in retribution and remember when you were few oppressed in the land fearing that people may capture you but he sheltered you and supported you with his victory and provided you with good things so that you may be Thankful O you who believe do not betray God and the messenger nor betray your trusts while you know and know that your possessions and your children are a test and that God possesses an immense reward O you who believe if you remain conscious of God he will give you a criterion and will remit from you your sins and will forgive you God is possessor of infinite grace when the disbelievers plotted against you to imprison you or kill you or expel you they planned and God planned but God is the best of planners and when our revelations are recited to them they say we have heard had we wanted we could have said the like of this these are nothing but myths of the ancients page the spoils alanful and they said our god if this is the truth from you then rain down on us stones from the sky or visit us with a painful affliction but god would not punish them while you are amongst them and god would not punish them as long as they seek forgiveness yet why should god not punish them when they are turning others away from the sacred mosque although they are not its custodians its rightful custodians are the pious but most of them do not know their prayer at the house was nothing but whistling and clapping so taste the punishment for your blasphemy those who disbelieve spend their wealth to repel from God's path they will spend it then it will become a source of sorrow for them and then they will be defeated those who disbelieve will be herded into hell that God may 
Distinguish the bad from the good and heap the bad on top of one another and pile them together and throw them in hell these are the losers say to those who disbelieve if they desist their past will be forgiven but if they persist the practice of the ancients has passed away fight them until there is no more persecution and religion becomes exclusively for God but if they desist God is seeing of what they do and if they turn away know that God is your protector the best protector and the best supporter and know that whatever spoils you gain to God belongs its fifth and to the messenger and the relatives and the orphans and the poor and to the wayfarer provided you believe in God and in what we revealed to our servant on the day of distinction the day when the two armies met God is capable of everything page the spoils alanful recall when you were on the nearer bank and they were on the further bank and the caravan was below you had you planned for this meeting you would have disagreed on the timing but God was to carry out a predetermined matter so that those who perish would perish by clear evidence and those who survive would survive by clear evidence God is hearing and knowing God made them appear in your dream as few had he made them appear as many you would have lost heart and disputed in the matter but God saved the situation he knows what the hearts contain when you met he made them appear as few in your eyes and made you appear fewer in their eyes so that God may conclude a predetermined matter to God all matters revert O oh, you who believe when you meet a force stand firm and remember God much so that you may prevail and obey God and his messenger and do not dispute lest you falter and lose your courage and be steadfast God is with the steadfast and do not be like those who left their homes boastfully showing off before the people and barring others from the path of God God comprehends what they do Satan made their deeds appear good to them and said you cannot be defeated by any people today and I am at your side but when the two armies came in sight of one another he turned on his heels and said I am innocent of you I see what you do not see I fear God God is severe in punishment the hypocrites and those in whose hearts is sickness said their religion has deluded these people but whoever puts his trust in God God is mighty and wise page the spoils alanful if only you could see as the angels take away those who Disbelief striking their faces and their backs taste the agony of the burning that is because of what your hands have committed and because God is not unjust to the servants like the behavior of the people of Pharaoh and those before them they rejected the signs of God so God seized them for their sins God is powerful severe in punishment that is because God would never change a blessing he has bestowed on a people unless they change what is within themselves and because God is hearing. And knowing such was the case with the people of Pharaoh and those before them they denied the signs of their Lord so we annihilated them for their wrongs and we drowned the people of Pharaoh they were all evildoers the worst of creatures in God's view are those who disbelieve they have no faith those of them with whom you made a treaty but they violate their agreement every time they are not righteous if you confront them in battle make of them a fearsome example for those who follow them. That they may take heed if you fear treachery on the part of a people break off with them in a like manner God does not like the treacherous let not the disbelievers assume that they are ahead they will not escape and prepare against them all the power you can muster and all the cavalry you can mobilize to terrify thereby God's enemies and your enemies and others besides them whom you do not know but God knows them whatever you spend in God's way will be repaid to you in full and you will. Not be wrong page the spoils alanful but if they incline towards peace then incline towards it and put your trust in God he is the hearer the knower if they intend to deceive you God is sufficient for you it is he who supported you with his aid and with the believers and he united their hearts had you spent everything on earth you would not have united their hearts but God united them together he is mighty and wise O prophet count on God and on the believers who have followed you O. Prophet rouse the believers to battle if there are twenty steadfast among you they will defeat two hundred and if there are a hundred of you they will defeat a thousand of those who disbelieve because they are a people who do not understand God has now lightened your burden knowing that there is weakness in you if there are a hundred steadfast among you they will defeat two hundred and if there are a thousand of you they will defeat two thousand by God's leave God is with the steadfast it is. Not for a prophet to take prisoners before he has subdued the land you desire the materials of this world but God desires the hereafter God is strong and wise were it not for a predetermined decree from God an awful punishment would have afflicted you for what you have taken so consume what you have gained legitimate and wholesome and remain conscious of God God is forgiving and merciful O prophet say to those you hold prisoners if God finds any good in your hearts he will give you better. Then what was taken from you and he will forgive you God is forgiving and merciful but if they intend to betray you they have already betrayed God and he has overpowered them God is knowing and wise page the spoils alanful those who believed and emigrated and struggled in God's cause with their possessions and their persons and those who provided shelter and support these are allies of one another as for those who believed but did not emigrate you owe them no protection until they have emigrated but if they ask you for help in religion you must come to their aid except against a people with whom you have a treaty God is seeing of what you do as for those who disbelieve they are allies of one another unless you do this there will be turmoil in the land and much corruption those who believed and emigrated and struggled for God's cause and those who gave shelter and support these are the true believers they will have forgiveness and a bountiful provision as for those who believed afterwards and emigrated and struggled with you these belong with you but family members are nearer to one another in the book of God God is cognizant of everything repentance at Taba a declaration of immunity from God and his messenger to the polytheists with whom you had made a treaty so travel the land for four months and know that you cannot escape God and that God will disgrace the disbelievers and a proclamation from God and his messenger to the people on the day of the 
greater pilgrimage that God has disowned the polytheists and so did his messenger if you repent it will be better for you but if you turn away know that you cannot escape God and announce to those who disbelieve a painful punishment except for those among the polytheists with whom you had made a treaty and did not violate any of its terms nor aided anyone against you so fulfill the treaty with them to the end of its term God loves the righteous page repentance at Tabal when the sacred months have passed kill the polytheists wherever you find them and capture them and besiege them and lie in wait for them at every ambush but if they repent and perform the prayers and pay the alms then let them go their way God is most forgiving most merciful and if any one of the polytheists asks you for protection give him protection so that he may hear the word of God then escort him to his place of safety that is because they are a people who do not know how can there be a treaty with the polytheists on the part of God and his messenger except for those with whom you made a treaty at the sacred mosque as long as they are upright with you be upright with them God loves the pious how whenever they overcome you they respect neither kinship nor treaty with you they satisfy you with lip service but their hearts refuse and most of them are immoral they traded away God's revelations for a cheap price so they barred others from his path how evil is what they did towards a believer they respect neither kinship nor treaty these are the transgressors but if they repent and perform the prayers and give the obligatory charity then they are your brethren in faith we detail the revelations for a people who know but if they violate their oaths after their pledge and attack your religion then fight the leaders of disbelief they have no faith so that they may desist will you not fight a people who violated their oaths and plan to exile the messenger and initiated hostilities. Against you do you fear them it is God you should fear if you are believers page repentance at Tabo fight them God will punish them at your hands and humiliate them and help you against them and heal the hearts of a believing people and he will remove the anger of their hearts God redeems whomever he wills God is knowledgeable and wise or do you think that you will be left alone without God identifying which of you will strive and take no supporters apart from God his messenger and the believers God is well aware of what you do it is not for the polytheists to attend God's places of worship while professing their disbelief these their works are in vain and in the fire they will abide the only people to attend God's places of worship are those who believe in God and the last day and pray regularly and practice regular charity and fear none but God these are most likely to be guided do you consider giving water to pilgrims and maintaining the sacred mosque the same as believing in God and the last day and striving in God's path they are not equal in God's sight God does not guide the unjust people those who believe and emigrate and strive in God's path with their possessions and their persons are of a higher rank with God these are the winners their Lord announces to them good news of mercy from him and acceptance and gardens wherein they will have lasting bliss abiding therein forever with God is a great reward O you who believe do not ally yourselves with your parents and your siblings if they prefer disbelief to belief whoever of you allies himself with them these are the wrongdoers page repentance at Taba say if your parents and your children and your siblings and your spouses and your relatives and the wealth you have acquired and a business you worry about and homes you love are more dear to you than God and his messenger and the struggle in his cause then wait until God executes his judgment God does not guide the sinful people. God has given you victory in numerous regions but on the day of Hunan your great number impressed you but it availed you nothing and the land as spacious as it was narrowed for you and you turned your backs in retreat then God sent down his serenity upon his messenger and upon the believers and he sent down troops you did not see and he punished those who disbelieved such is the recompense of the disbelievers then after that God will relent towards whomever he wills God is forgiving and Merciful O you who believe the polytheists are polluted so let them not approach the sacred mosque after this year of theirs and if you fear poverty God will enrich you from his grace if he wills God is aware and wise fight those who do not believe in God nor in the last day nor forbid what God and his messenger have forbidden nor abide by the religion of truth from among those who received the scripture until they pay the due tax willingly or unwillingly the Jews said Ezra is the son of God. And the Christians said the Messiah is the Son of God these are their statements out of their mouths they emulate the statements of those who blasphemed before may God assail them how deceived they are they have taken their rabbis and their priests as lords instead of God as well as the Messiah son of Mary although they were commanded to worship none but the one God there is no God page repentance at Tabah except he glory be to him high above what they associate with him they want to extinguish God's light with their mouths but God refuses except to complete his light even though the disbelievers dislike it it is he who sent his messenger with the guidance and the religion of truth in order to make it prevail over all religions even though the idolaters dislike it O oh, you who believe many of the rabbis and priests consume people's wealth illicitly and hinder from God's path those who hoard gold and silver and do not spend them in God's cause inform them of a painful punishment on the day when they will be heated in the fire of hell then their foreheads and their sides and their backs will be branded with them this is what you hoarded for yourselves so taste what you used to hoard the number of months according to God is 12 months in the decree of God since the day he created the heavens and the earth of which four are sacred this is the correct religion so do not wrong yourselves during them and fight the polytheists collectively as they fight you collectively and know that God is with the righteous postponement is an increase in disbelief by which those who disbelieve are led astray they allow it one year and forbid it another year in order to conform to the number made sacred by God thus permitting what God has forbidden the evil of their deeds seems good to them God does not guide the disbelieving people O oh, you who believe what is the matter with you when it is said to you mobilize in the cause of God you cling heavily to the earth.
Page repentance at Taba Do you prefer the present life to the hereafter The enjoyment of the present life compared to the hereafter is only a little unless you mobilize he will punish you most painfully and will replace you with another people and you will not harm him at all God has power over all things if you do not help him God has already helped him when those who disbelieved expelled him and he was the second of two in the cave he said to his friend do not worry God is with us and God made his tranquility descend upon him and supported him with forces you did not see and made the word of those who disbelieved the lowest while the word of God is the highest God is mighty and wise mobilize light or heavy and strive with your possessions and your lives in the cause of God that is better for you if you only knew had the gain been immediate and the journey shorter they would have followed you but the distance seemed too long for them still they swear by God had we been able we would have marched out with you they damn their own souls and God knows that they are lying may God pardon you why did you give them permission before it became clear to you who are the truthful ones and who are the liars those who believe in God and the last day do not ask you for exemption from striving with their possessions and their lives God is fully aware of the righteous only those who do not believe in God and the last day ask you for exemption their hearts are full of Doubt so they waver in their doubts had they wanted to mobilize they would have made preparations for it but God disliked their participation so he held page repentance at top of them back and it was said stay behind with those who stay behind had they mobilized with you they would have added only to your difficulties and they would have spread rumors in your midst trying to sow discord among you some of you are avid listeners to them God is aware of the wrongdoers they tried to cause conflict before and they hatched plots against you until the truth prevailed and the command of God became evident in spite of their dislike among them is he who says excuse me and do not trouble me in fact they sunk into trouble in fact hell will engulf the disbelievers if something good happens to you it upsets them and if a calamity befalls you they say we took our precautions in advance and they depart happy say nothing will happen to us except what God has ordained for us he is our protector in God let the faithful put their trust say are you expecting for us anything other than one of the two excellences as for us we are expecting that God will afflict you with a punishment from himself or at our hands so wait we are waiting with you say whether you spend willingly or unwillingly it will not be accepted from you you are evil people what prevents the acceptance of their contributions is nothing but the fact that they disbelieved in God and his messenger and that they do not approach the prayer except lazily and that they do not spend except grudgingly let neither their possessions nor their children impress you God intends to torment them through them in this worldly life and that their souls depart while they are disbelievers page repentance at Taba they swear by God that they are of you but they are not of you they are divisive people were they to find a shelter or a cave or a hideout they would go to it rushing and among them are those who criticize you in regard to charities if they are given some of it they become pleased but if they are not given any they grow resentful if only they were content with what God and his messenger have given them and said God is sufficient for us God will give us of his bounty and so will his messenger to God we eagerly turn charities are for the poor and the destitute and those who administer them and for reconciling hearts and for freeing slaves and for those in debt and in the path of God and for the traveler in need an obligation from God God is all-knowing most wise and among them are those who insult the prophet and say he is all ears say he listens for your own good he believes in God and trusts the believers and is mercy for those of you who believe those who insult the messenger of God will have a painful penalty they swear to you by God to please you but it is more proper for them to please God and his messenger if they are believers do they not know that whoever opposes God and his messenger will have the fire of hell abiding in it forever that is the supreme disgrace the hypocrites worry lest a chapter may be revealed about them informing them of what is in their hearts say go on mocking God will bring out what you fear if you ask them they will say we were just joking and playing say were you making jokes about God his revelations and his messenger page repentance at Taba do not apologize you have disbelieved after your belief if we Pardon some of you we will punish others because they are guilty the hypocrite men and hypocrite women are of one another they advocate evil and prohibit righteousness and withhold their hands they forgot God so he forgot them the hypocrites are the sinners God has promised the hypocrite men and hypocrite women and the disbelievers the fire of hell abiding therein forever it is their due and God has cursed them they will have a lasting punishment like those before you they were more powerful than you and had more wealth and children they enjoyed their share and you enjoyed your share as those before you enjoyed their share and you indulged as they indulged it is they whose works will fail in this world and in the hereafter it is they who are the losers have they not heard the stories of those before them the people of Noah and Ayat and Tamud and the people of Abraham and the inhabitants of Median and the overturned cities their messengers came to them with the clear proofs God never wronged them but they used to wrong their own selves the believing men and believing women are friends of one another they advocate virtue forbid evil perform the prayers practice charity and obey God and his messenger these God will have mercy on them God is noble and wise God promises the believers men and women gardens beneath which rivers flow abiding therein forever and fine homes in the gardens of Eden but approval from God is even greater that is the supreme achievement of Prophets strive against the disbelievers and the hypocrites and be stern with them their abode is hell what a miserable destination page repentance at Taba they swear by God that they said nothing but they did utter the word of blasphemy and they renounced faith after their submission and they plotted what they could not attain they were resentful only because God and his messenger have enriched them out of his grace if they repent it would be best for them but if they turn away God will 
afflict them with a painful punishment in this life and in the hereafter and they will have on earth no protector and no savior among them are those who promised God if he gives us of his bounty we will donate and be among the upright but when he has given them of his bounty they became stingy with it and turned away in aversion so he penalized them with hypocrisy in their hearts until the day they face him because they broke their promise to God and because they used to lie do they not? Know that God knows their secrets and their conspiracies and that God is the knower of the unseen those who criticize the believers who give charity voluntarily and ridicule those who find nothing to give except their own efforts God ridicules them they will have a painful punishment whether you ask forgiveness for them or do not ask forgiveness for them even if you ask forgiveness for them 70 times God will not forgive them that is because they disbelieved in God and his messenger God. Does not guide the immoral people those who stayed behind rejoiced at their staying behind the messenger of God and they hated to strive with their wealth and their lives in God's way and they said do not venture out in the heat say the fire of hell is much hotter if they only understood let them laugh a little and weep much in recompense for what they used to earn page repentance at Taba if God brings you back to a party of them and they ask your permission to go out say you will not go out with me ever nor will you ever fight an enemy with me you were content to sit back the first time so sit back with those who stay behind you are never to pray over any one of them who dies nor are you to stand at his graveside they rejected God and his messenger and died while they were sinners do not let their possessions and their children impress you God desires to torment them through them in this world and their souls expire while they are disbelievers when a chapter is revealed stating believe in God and strive with his messenger the prominent among them ask you for exemption they say allow us to stay with those who stay behind they prefer to be with those who stay behind their hearts were sealed so they do not understand but the messenger and those who believe with him struggle with their possessions and their lives these have deserved the good things these are the successful God has prepared for them gardens beneath which rivers flow wherein they will abide forever that is the great victory some of the desert Arabs came to make excuses asking to be granted exemption while those who were untrue to God and his messenger stayed behind a painful punishment will afflict those among them who disbelieve there is no blame on the weak nor on the sick nor on those who have nothing to give provided they are true to God and his messenger in no way can the righteous be blamed God is forgiving and merciful nor on those who approach you wishing to ride with you and you said I have nothing to carry you on so they went away with page repentance at top of their eyes overflowing with tears sorrowing for not finding the means to spend but blame is on those who ask you for exemption although they are rich they are content to be with those who stay behind God has sealed their hearts so they do not know they present excuses to you when you return to them say do not offer excuses we do not trust you God has informed us of you and God will Watch your actions and so will the messenger then you will be returned to the knower of the invisible and the visible and he will inform you of what you used to do they will swear to you by God when you return to them that you may leave them alone so leave them alone they are a disgrace and their destiny is hell a reward for what they used to earn they will swear to you that you may accept them but even if you accept them God does not accept the wicked people the desert Arabs are the most steeped in disbelief and hypocrisy and the most likely to ignore the limits that God revealed to his messenger God is knowing and wise and among the desert Arabs are those who consider their contribution to be a fine and they wait for a reversal of your fortunes upon them will fall the cycle of misfortune God is hearing and knowing yet among the desert Arabs are those who believe in God and the last day and consider their contribution to be a means towards God and the prayers of the messenger Surely it will draw them closer and God will admit them into his mercy God is forgiving and compassionate the pioneers the first of the migrants and the supporters and those who followed them in righteousness God is pleased with them and they are pleased with him he has prepared for them page repentance at Taba gardens beneath which rivers flow where they will abide forever that is the sublime triumph among the desert Arabs around you there are some hypocrites and among the inhabitants of Medina too they have become adamant in hypocrisy you do not know them but we know them we will punish them twice then they will be returned to a severe torment others have confessed their sins having mixed good deeds with bad deeds perhaps God will redeem them God is forgiving and merciful receive contributions from their wealth to purify them and sanctify them with it and pray for them your prayer is comfort for them God is hearing and knowing do they not know that God accepts the repentance of his servants and that he receives the contributions and that God is the acceptor of repentance the merciful say work God will see your work and so will his messenger and the believers then you will be returned to the knower of secrets and declarations and he will inform you of what you used to do others are held in suspense awaiting God's decree as to whether he will punish them or accept their repentance God is aware and wise then there are those who establish a mosque to cause harm and disbelief and disunity among the believers and as an outpost for those who fight God and his messenger they will swear our intentions are nothing but good but God bears witness that they are liars do not stand in it ever a mosque founded upon piety from the first day is worthier of your standing in it in it are men who love to be purified God loves those who purify themselves page repentance at Taba is he who founds his structure upon piety and acceptance from God better or he who founds his structure on the brink of a cliff that is about to tumble so it tumbles with him into the fire of hell God does not guide the unjust people the structure which they built will remain questionable in their hearts until their hearts are stopped God is knowing and wise God has purchased from the believers their lives and their properties in exchange for paradise they fight in God's way and they kill and get killed it is a promise binding on him in the Torah and the gospel 
and the Quran and who is more true to his promise than God so rejoice in making such an exchange that is the supreme triumph those who repent those who worship those who praise those who journey those who kneel those who bow down those who advocate righteousness and forbid evil and those who keep God's limits give good news to the believers it is not for the prophet and those who believe to ask forgiveness for the polytheists even if they are near relatives after it has become clear to them that they are people of hellfire Abraham asked forgiveness for his father only because of a promise he had made to him but when it became clear to him that he was an enemy of God he disowned him Abraham was kind and clement God would never lead a people astray after he had guided them until he makes clear to them what they should guard against God has knowledge of all things to God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth he gives life and he causes death and besides God you have neither protector nor supporter God has redeemed the prophet and the emigrants and the supporters those who followed him in the hour of difficulty after page repentance at Taba the hearts of some of them almost swerved then he pardoned them he is kind towards them compassionate also towards the three who were left behind then when the earth as vast as it is closed in on them and their very souls closed in on them and they realized that there was no refuge from God except in him he redeemed them so that they may repent God is the redeemer the merciful O you who believe be conscious of God and be with the sincere it is not for the inhabitants of Medina and the desert Arabs around them to stay behind the messenger of God nor to prefer themselves to him that is because they never suffer any thirst nor fatigue nor hunger in the cause of God nor do they take one step that enrages the disbelievers nor do they gain anything from an enemy but it is recorded to their credit as a Righteous deed God does not waste the reward of the righteous nor do they spend any expenditure small or large nor do they cross any valley but it is recorded to their credit that God may reward them in accordance with the best of their deeds it is not advisable for the believers to march out altogether of every division that marches out let a group remain behind to gain understanding of the religion and to notify their people when they have returned to them that they may beware O you who believe fight those of the disbelievers who attack you and let them find severity in you and know that God is with the righteous whenever a chapter is revealed some of them say which of you has this increased in faith as for those who believe it increases them in faith and they rejoice but as for those in whose hearts is sickness it adds disgrace to their disgrace and they die as unbelievers page repentance at Taba do they not see that they are tested once or twice every year yet they do not repent and they do not learn and whenever a chapter is revealed they look at one another does anyone see you then they slip away God has diverted their hearts because they are a people who do not understand there has come to you a messenger from among yourselves concerned over your suffering anxious over you towards the believers he is compassionate and merciful if they turn away say God is enough for me there is no God except he in him I have put my trust he is the Lord of the Sublime Throne Jonah Eunice in the name of God the Gracious the Merciful Aleph Lam R.A. These are the verses of the wise book is it a wonder to the people that we inspired a man from among them warn mankind and give good news to those who believe that they are on a sound footing with their Lord the disbeliever said this is a manifest sorcerer your Lord is God who created the heavens and the earth in six days then settled over the throne governing all things there is no intercessor except after his permission such is God your Lord so serve him will you not reflect to him is your return altogether the promise of God is true he originates creation and then he repeats it to reward those who believe and do good deeds with equity as for those who disbelieve for them is a drink of boiling water and agonizing torment on account of their disbelief it is he who made the sun radiant and the moon alight and determined phases for it that you may know the number of years page Jonah. Eunice and the calculation God did not create all this except with truth he details the revelations for a people who know in the alternation of night and day and in what God created in the heavens and the earth are signs for people who are aware those who do not hope to meet us and are content with the worldly life and are at ease in it and those who pay no heed to our signs these their dwelling is the fire on account of what they used to do as for those who believe and do good deeds there. Lord guides them in their faith rivers will flow beneath them in the gardens of bliss their call therein is glory be to you our God and their greeting therein is peace and the last of their call is praise be to God Lord of the worlds if God were to accelerate the ill for the people as they wish to accelerate the good their term would have been fulfilled but we leave those who do not expect our encounter to blunder in their excesses whenever adversity touches the human being he prays to use reclining on his side or sitting or standing but when we have relieved his adversity from him he goes away as though he had never called on us for trouble that had afflicted him thus the deeds of the transgressors appear good to them we destroy generations before you when they did wrong their messengers came to them with clear signs but they would not believe thus we requite the sinful people then we made you successors on earth after them to see how you would behave page Jonah Eunice and when our clear revelations are recited to them those who do not hope to meet us say bring a Quran other than this or change it say it is not for me to change it of my own accord I only follow what is revealed to me I fear if I disobeyed my Lord the torment of a terrible day say had God willed I would not have recited it to you and he would not have made it known to you I have lived among you for a lifetime before it do you not understand who does greater wrong than someone who 
fabricates lies about God or denies his revelations the guilty will never prosper and they worship besides God what neither harms them nor benefits them and they say these are our intercessors with God say are you informing God about what he does not know in the heavens or on earth glorified be he high above the associations they make mankind was a single community then they differed were it not for a prior decree from your Lord the matters over which they had disputed would have been settled and they say if only a miracle was sent down to him from his lord say the realm of the unseen belongs to god so wait i am waiting with you when we make the people taste mercy after some adversity has touched them they begin to scheme against our revelations say god is swifter in scheming our envoys are writing down what you scheme it is he who transports you across land and sea until when you are on ship sailing in a favorable wind and rejoicing in it a raging wind arrives the Waves surge over them from every side and they realize that they are besieged thereupon they pray to God professing sincere devotion to him if you save us from this we will be among the appreciative page Jonah Eunice but then when he has saved them they commit violations on earth and oppose justice O people your violations are against your own souls it is the enjoyment of the present life then to us is your return and we will inform you of what you used to do the likeness of the present. Life is this water that we send down from the sky is absorbed by the plants of the earth from which the people and the animals eat until when the earth puts on its fine appearance and is beautified and its inhabitants think that they have mastered it our command descends upon it by night or by day and we turn it into stubble as if it had not flourished the day before we thus clarify the revelations for people who reflect God invites to the home of peace and guides whomever he wills to a straight path for those who have done good is goodness and more neither gloom nor shame will come over their faces these are the inhabitants of paradise abiding therein forever as for those who have earned evil deeds a reward of similar evil and shame will cover them they will have no defense against God as if their faces are covered with dark patches of night these are the inmates of the fire abiding therein forever on the day when we will gather them all together then say to those who Ascribe partners to your place you and your partners then we will separate between them and their partners will say it was not us you were worshipping God is sufficient witness between us and you we were unaware of your worshipping us there every soul will experience what it had done previously and they will be returned to God their true master and what they used to invent will fail them say who provides for you from the heaven and the earth and who controls the hearing and the sight and who produces the page Jonah Eunice living from the dead and produces the dead from the living and who governs the order they will say God say will you not be careful such is God your Lord the true what is there beyond the truth except falsehood how are you turned away thus your Lord's word proved true against those who disobeyed for they do not believe say can any of your partners initiate creation and then repeat it say God initiates creation and then repeats it how are you so Deluded say can any of your partners guide to the truth say God guides to the truth is he who guides to the truth more worthy of being followed or he who does not guide unless he himself is guided what is the matter with you how do you judge most of them follow nothing but assumptions and assumptions avail nothing against the truth God is fully aware of what they do this Quran could not have been produced by anyone other than God in fact it is a confirmation of what preceded it and an Elaboration of the book there is no doubt about it it is from the lord of the universe or do they say he has forged it say then produce a single chapter like it and call upon whomever you can apart from God if you are truthful in fact they deny what is beyond the limits of their knowledge and whose explanation has not yet reached them thus those before them refuse to believe so note the consequences for the wrongdoers among them are those who believe in it and among them are those who do not believe in it your lord is fully aware of the mischief makers page Jonah Eunice if they accuse you of lying say I have my deeds and you have your deeds you are quit of what I do and I am quit of what you do and among them are those who listen to you but can you make the deaf hear even though they do not understand and among them are those who look at you but can you guide the blind even though they do not see God does not wrong the people in the least but the people wrong their own selves on the day when he rounds them up as if they had tarried only one hour of a day they will recognize one another those who deny the meeting with God will be the losers they were not guided whether we show you some of what we promise them or take you to us is their return God is witness to everything they do every community has a messenger when their messenger has come judgment will be passed between them with fairness and they will not be wronged and they say when will this Promise be fulfilled if you are truthful say I have no power to harm or benefit myself except as God wills to every nation is an appointed time then when their time arrives they can neither postpone it by one hour nor advance it say have you considered if his punishment overtakes you by night or by day what part of it will the guilty seek to hasten then when it falls will you believe in it now when before you try to hasten it then it will be said to those who did wrong taste the torment of eternity will you be rewarded except for what you used to do page Jonah Eunice and they inquire of you is it true say yes by my lord it is true and you cannot evade it had every soul which had done wrong possessed everything on earth it would offer it as a ransom they will hide the remorse when they witness the suffering and it will be judged between them equitably and they will not be wronged assuredly to God belongs everything in the heavens and the earth assuredly the promise of God is true but most of them do not know he gives life and causes death and to him you will be returned O people there has come to you advice from your Lord and healing for what is in the hearts and guidance and mercy for the believers say in God's grace and mercy let them rejoice that is better than what they hoard say have you considered the sustenance God has sent down for you some of which you made unlawful and some lawful say did God give you permission or do you 
fabricate lies and attribute them to God what will they think those who fabricate lies and attribute them to God on the day of resurrection God is bountiful towards the people but most of them do not give thanks you do not get into any situation nor do you recite any Quran nor do you do anything but we are watching over you as you undertake it not even the weight of an atom on earth or in the sky escapes your Lord nor is there anything smaller or larger but is in a clear record. Unquestionably God's friends have nothing to fear nor shall they grieve those who believe and are aware page Jonah Eunice for them is good news in this life and in the hereafter there is no alteration to the words of God that is the supreme triumph and let not their sayings dishearten you all power is God's he is the hearer the knower certainly to God belongs everyone in the heavens and everyone on earth those who invoke other than God do not follow partners they follow only assumptions. And they only guess it is he who made the night for your rest and the daylight for visibility surely in that are signs for people who listen and they said God has taken a son be he glorified he is the self-sufficient his is everything in the heavens and everything on earth do you have any proof for this or are you saying about God what you do not know say those who fabricate lies about God will not succeed some enjoyment in this world then to us is their return then we will make them. Taste the severe punishment on account of their disbelief and relate to them the story of Noah when he said to his people O oh my people if my presence among you and my reminding you of God's signs is too much for you then in God I have put my trust so come to a decision you and your partners and do not let the matter perplex you then carry out your decision on me and do not hold back but if you turn away I have not asked you for any wage my wage falls only on God and I was commanded to be of those who submit but they denounced him so we saved him and those with him in the ark and we made them successors and we drowned those who rejected our signs so consider the fate of those who were warned page Jonah Eunice then after him we sent messengers to their people they came to them with the clear proofs but they would not believe in anything they had already rejected thus we set a seal on the hearts of the hostile then after them we sent Moses and Aaron with our proofs to Pharaoh and his dignitaries but they acted arrogantly they were sinful people and when the truth came to them from us they said this is clearly sorcery Moses said is this what you say of the truth when it has come to you is the sorcery sorcerers do not succeed they said did you come to us to divert us from what we found our ancestors following and so that you become prominent in the land we will never believe in you Pharaoh said bring me every experienced sorcerer and when the sorcerers came Moses said to them throw whatever you have to throw and when they threw Moses said what you produced is sorcery and God will make it fail God does not foster the efforts of the corrupt and God upholds the truth with his words even though the sinners detested but none believed in Moses except some children of his people for fear that Pharaoh and his chiefs would persecute them Pharaoh was high and mighty in the land he was a tyrant Moses said oh my people if you have believed in God then put your trust in him if you have submitted they said in God we have put our trust our Lord do not make us victims of the oppressive people page Jonah Eunice and deliver us by your mercy from the disbelieving people and we inspired Moses and his brother settle your people in Egypt and make your homes places of worship and perform the prayer and give good news to the believers Moses said our Lord you have given Pharaoh and his chief splendor and wealth in the worldly life. Our Lord for them to lead away from your path our Lord obliterate their wealth and harden their hearts they will not believe until they see the painful torment he said your prayer has been answered so go straight and do not follow the path of those who do not know and we delivered the children of Israel across the sea Pharaoh and his troops pursued them defiantly and aggressively until when he was about to drown he said I believe that there is no God except the one the children of Israel. Believe in and I am of those who submit now when you have rebelled before and been of the mischief makers today we will preserve your body so that you become a sign for those after you but most people are heedless of our signs and we settled the children of Israel in a position of honor and provided them with good things they did not differ until knowledge came to them your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection regarding their differences if you are in doubt about what we revealed to you ask those who read the scripture before you the truth has come to you from your Lord so do not be of those who doubt and do not be of those who deny God's revelations lest you become one of the losers those against whom your Lord's word is justified will not believe page Jonah Eunice even if every sign comes to them until they see the painful punishment if only there was one town that believed and benefited by its belief except for the people of Jonah when they believed we removed from them the suffering of disgrace in the worldly life and we gave them comfort for a while had your Lord willed everyone on earth would have believed will you compel people to become believers no soul can believe except by God's leave and he lays disgrace upon those who refuse to understand say look at what is in the heavens and the earth but signs and warnings are of no avail for people who do not believe do they expect anything but the likes of the days of those who passed away before them say then wait I will be waiting with you then we save our messengers and those who believe it is binding on us to save the believers say O oh people if you are in doubt about my religion I do not serve those you serve apart from God but I serve God the one who will terminate your lives and I was commanded to be of the believers and dedicate yourself to the true religion a monotheist and never be of the polytheists and do not call apart from God on what neither benefits you.
nor harms you if you do you are then one of the wrongdoers if God afflicts you with harm none can remove it except he and if he wants good for you none can repel his grace he makes it reach whomever he wills of his servants he is the forgiver the merciful page Jonah Yuna say O people the truth has come to you from your Lord whoever accepts guidance is guided for his own soul and whoever strays only strays to its detriment I am not a guardian over you and follow what is revealed to you. And be patient until God issues his judgment for he is the best of judges hud hud in the name of God the gracious the merciful Aleph Lam Raa scripture whose verses were perfected then elaborated from one who is wise and informed that you shall worship none but God I am a warner to you from him and a bearer of good news and ask your Lord for forgiveness and repent to him he will provide you with good sustenance until a stated term and will bestow his grace on every possessor of virtue but if you turn away then I fear for you the punishment of a grievous day to God is your return and he is capable of all things they wrap their chests to hide from him but even as they cover themselves with their clothes he knows what they conceal and what they reveal he knows what lies within the hearts there is no moving creature on earth but its sustenance depends on God and he knows where it lives and where it rests everything is in a clear book it is he who created the heavens and the earth in six days and his throne was upon the waters in order to test you which of you is best in conduct and if you were to say you will be resurrected after death those who disbelieve would say this is nothing but plain witchcraft page hud hud and if we postpone their punishment until a stated time they would say what holds it back on the day when it reaches them it will not be averted from them and what they used to ridicule will besiege them if we give the human being a taste of mercy from us and then withdraw it from him he becomes despairing and ungrateful and if we give him a taste of prosperity after some adversity has afflicted him he will say troubles have gone away from me he becomes excited and proud except those who are patient and do good deeds these will have forgiveness and a great reward perhaps you wish to disregard some of what is revealed to you and you may be stressed because of it since they say if only a treasure was sent down to him or an Angel came with him you are only a warner and God is responsible for all things or do they say he invented it say then produce ten chapters like it invented and call upon whomever you can besides God if you are truthful but if they fail to answer you know that it was revealed with God's knowledge and that there is no God but he will you then submit whoever desires the worldly life and its glitter we will fully recompense them for their deeds therein and therein they will not be defrauded these they will have nothing but the fire in the hereafter their deeds are in vain therein and their works are null as he who possesses a clear proof from his lord recited by a witness from him and before it the book of moses a guide and a mercy these believe in it but whoever defies it from among the various factions the fire is his promise so have no doubt about it it is the truth from your lord but most people do not believe page hud hud who does greater wrong than he who fabricates lies about God these will be presented before their Lord and the witnesses will say these are they who lied about their Lord indeed the curse of God is upon the wrongdoers those who hinder others from the path of God and seek to make it crooked and regarding the hereafter they are in denial these will not escape on earth and they have no protectors besides God the punishment will be doubled for them they have failed to hear and they have failed to see those are the ones who lost their souls and what they had invented has strayed away from them without a doubt in the hereafter they will be the biggest losers as for those who believe and do good deeds and humble themselves before their lord these are the inhabitants of paradise where they will abide forever the parable of the two groups is that of the blind and the deaf and the seeing and the hearing are they equal in comparison will you not reflect we sent Noah to his people I am to you a clear warner that you shall worship none but God I fear for you the agony of a painful day the notables who disbelieved among his people said we see in you nothing but a man like us and we see that only the worst among us have followed you those of immature judgment and we see that you have no advantage over us in fact we think you are liars he said oh my people have you considered if I stand on clear evidence from my lord and he has given me a mercy from himself but you were blind to it can we compel you to Accept it even though you dislike it page hud hud oh my people I ask of you no money for it my reward lies only with God and I am not about to dismiss those who believe they will surely meet their Lord and I see that you are ignorant people oh my people who will support me against God if I dismiss them will you not give a thought I do not say to you that I possess the treasures of God nor do I know the future nor do I say that I am an angel nor do I say of those who are despicable in your eyes that God will never give them any good God is aware of what lies in their souls if I did I would be one of the wrongdoers they said oh Noah you have argued with us and argued a great deal now bring upon us what you threaten us with if you are truthful he said it is God who will bring it upon you if he wills and you will not be able to escape my advice will not benefit you much as I may want to advise you if God desires to confound you he is your Lord and to him you will be returned or do they say he made it up say if I made it up upon me falls my crime and I am innocent of the crimes you commit and it was revealed to Noah none of your people will believe except those who have already believed so do not grieve over what they do and build the ark under our eyes and with our inspiration and do not address me regarding those who did wrong they are to be drowned as he was building the ark whenever some of his people passed by him they ridiculed him he said if you ridicule us we will ridicule you just as you ridicule page hud hud you will surely know upon whom will come a torment that will abase him and upon whom will fall a lasting torment until when our command came and the volcano erupted we said board into it a pair of every kind and your family except those against whom the sentence has already been passed and those who have believed but those who believed with him were only a few he said embark in it in the name of god shall 
be it sailing and its anchorage my lord is indeed forgiving and merciful and so it sailed with them amidst waves like hills and Noah called to his son who had kept away on my son embark with us and do not be with the disbelievers he said I will take refuge on a mountain it will protect me from the water he said there is no protection from God's decree today except for him on whom he has mercy and the waves surged between them and he was among the drowned and it was said O earth swallow your waters and O heaven clear up and the waters receded and the event was concluded and it settled on Judy and it was proclaimed away with the wicked people and Noah called to his lord he said O my lord my son is of my family and your promise is true and you are the wisest of the wise he said O Noah he is not of your family it is an unrighteous deed so do not ask me about something you know nothing about I admonish you lest you be one of the ignorant he said O my lord I seek refuge with you from asking you about what I have no knowledge of unless you forgive me and have mercy on me I will be one of the losers it was said oh no disembark with peace from us and with blessings upon you and upon communities from those with you page hut hut and other communities we will grant prosperity and then a painful torment from us will befall them these are some stories from the past that we reveal to you neither you nor your people knew them before this so be patient the future belongs to the pious and to Iod their brotherhood he said oh my people worship God you have no other God besides him you do nothing but invent lies oh my people I ask you no wage for it my wage lies with him who originated me do you not understand oh my people ask forgiveness from your Lord and repent to him he will release the sky pouring down upon you and will add strength to your strength and do not turn away and be wicked they said oh Hud you did not bring us any evidence and we are not about to abandon our gods at your word and we are not believers in you we only say that some of our gods have possessed you with evil he said I call God to witness and you to witness that I am innocent of what you associate besides him so scheme against me all of you and do not hesitate I have placed my trust in God my Lord and your Lord there is not a creature but he holds it by the forelock my Lord is on a straight path if you turn away I have conveyed to you what I was sent to you with and my Lord will replace you with another people and you will not cause him any harm my Lord is guardian over all things and when our decree came we saved Hud and those who believed with him by a mercy from us and we delivered them from a harsh punishment page Hud Hud that was Iod they denied the signs of their Lord and defied his messengers and followed the lead of every stubborn tyrant and they were pursued by a curse in this world and on the day of Resurrection indeed Ayad blasphemed against their Lord so away with Ayad the people of Hud and to Tamud their brother Saleh he said O oh my people worship God you have no God other than him he initiated you from the earth and settled you in it so seek his forgiveness and repent to him my Lord is near and responsive they said O oh Saleh we had hopes in you before this are you trying to prevent us from worshipping what our parents worship we are in serious doubt regarding what you are calling us to. He said O oh my people have you considered if I stand upon clear evidence from my Lord and he has given me mercy from him who would protect me from God if I disobeyed him you add nothing for me except loss O oh my people this is the she camel of God assigned for you let her graze on God's land and do not harm her lest an imminent punishment overtakes you but they hamstrung her and so he said enjoy yourselves in your homes for three days this is a prophecy that is infallible then when our command came we saved Sally and those who believed with him by a mercy from us from the disgrace of that day your Lord is the strong the mighty and the scream struck those who transgressed and they became motionless bodies in their homes as if they had never prospered therein indeed Tamud rejected their Lord so away with Tamud our messengers came to Abraham with good news they said peace he said peace soon after he came with a roasted calf page hud hud but when he saw their hands not reaching towards it he became suspicious of them and conceived a fear of them they said do not fear we were sent to the people of Lot his wife was standing by so she laughed and we gave her good news of Isaac and after Isaac Jacob she said alas for me shall I give birth when I am an old woman and this my husband is an old man this is truly a strange thing they said do you marvel at the decree of God the mercy and blessings of God are upon you O people of the house he is praiseworthy and glorious when Abraham's fear subsided and the good news had reached him he started pleading with us concerning the people of Lot Abraham was gentle kind penitent O Abraham refrain from this the command of your Lord has come they have incurred an irreversible punishment and when our envoys came to Lot he was anxious for them and concerned for them he said this is a dreadful day and his people came rushing towards him they were in the habit of committing sins he said O my people these are my daughters they are pure for you so fear God and do not embarrass me before my guests is there not one reasonable man among you they said you know well that we have no right to your daughters and you know well what we want he said if only I had the strength to stop you or could rely on some strong support they said O lot we are the envoys of your Lord they will not reach you so set out with your family during the cover of the night and let none of you look back except for your wife she will be struck by what will strike them their appointed time is the morning is not the morning near page hut hut and when our command came about we turned it upside down and we rained down on it stones of baked clay marked from your lord and never far from the wrongdoers and to median their brother Shuab he said oh my people worship God you have no God other than him and do not short measure or short weight I see you in good circumstances but I fear for you the agony of an 
encompassing day O oh my people give full measure and full weight in all fairness and do not cheat the people out of their rights and do not spread corruption in the land what is left by God is best for you if you are believers and I am not a guardian over you they said O oh Shuab does your prayer command you that we abandon what our ancestors worshipped or doing with our wealth what we want you are the one who is intelligent and wise he said O oh my people have you considered what if I have clear evidence from my Lord and he has given me good livelihood from himself I have no desire to do what I forbid you from doing I desire nothing but reform as far as I can my success lies only with God in him I trust and to him I turn oh my people let not your hostility towards me cause you to suffer what was suffered by the people of Noah or the people of Hud or the people of Sally the people of Lot are not far away from you and ask your Lord for forgiveness and repent to him my Lord is Merciful and loving they said O Shuab we do not understand much of what you say and we see that you are weak among us were it not for your tribe we would have stoned you you are of no value to us page hud hud he said O my people is my tribe more important to you than God and you have turned your backs on him my lord comprehends everything you do O my people do as you may and so will I you will know to whom will come a punishment that will shame him and who is a liar so look out I am on the lookout with you and when our command came we saved Shuab and those who believed with him by mercy from us and the blast struck the wrongdoers and they became motionless bodies in their homes as though they never flourished therein away with Median as was done away with Tamud and we sent Moses with our signs and a clear mandate to Pharaoh and his nobles but they followed the command of Pharaoh and the command of Pharaoh was not wise he will precede his people on the day of resurrection and will lead them into the fire miserable is the place he placed them in they were followed by a curse in this and on the day of resurrection miserable is the path they followed these are of the reports of the towns we relate them to you some are still standing and some have withered away we did not wrong them but they wronged themselves their gods whom they invoked besides god availed them nothing when the command of your lord arrived in fact they added only to their ruin such is the grip of your lord when he seizes the towns in the midst of their sins his grip is most painful most severe in that is a sign for whoever fears the punishment of the hereafter that is a day for which humanity will be gathered together that is a day to be witnessed page hud hud we only postpone it until a predetermined time on the day when it arrives no soul will speak without his permission some will be miserable and some will be happy as for those who are miserable they will be in the fire they will have therein sighing and wailing remaining therein for as long as the heavens and the earth endure except as your lord wills your lord is doer of whatever he wills and as for those who are happy they will be in paradise remaining therein for as long as the heavens and the earth endure except as your lord wills a reward without end so be not in doubt regarding what these people worship they worship only as their ancestors worshipped before we will pay them their due in full without any reduction we gave Moses the scripture but it was disputed were it not for a prior word from your lord it would have been settled between them they are in serious doubt concerning it your lord will repay each one of them in full for their deeds he is aware of everything they do so be upright as you are commanded along with those who repented with you and do not transgress he is seeing of everything you do and do not incline towards those who do wrong or the fire may touch you and you will have no protectors besides God and you will not be saved perform the prayer at the borders of the day and during the approaches of the night the good deeds take away the bad deeds this is a reminder for those who remember and be patient God will not waste the reward of the virtuous page hud hud if only there were among the generations before you people with wisdom who spoke against corruption on earth except for the few whom we saved but the wrongdoers pursued the luxuries they were indulged in and thus became guilty your lord would never destroy the towns wrongfully while their inhabitants are righteous had your lord willed he could have made humanity one community but they continue to differ except those on whom your lord has mercy for that reason he created them the word of your lord is final i will fill hell with jinn and humans altogether everything we narrate to you of the history of the messengers is to strengthen your heart there with the truth has come to you in this and a lesson and a reminder for the believers and say to those who do not believe act according to your ability and so will we and wait we too are waiting to God belongs the future of the heavens and the earth and to him all authority goes back so worship him and rely on him your Lord is never unaware of what you do Joseph Yusuf in the name of God the gracious the merciful Aleph Lam Ra these are the verses of the clear book we have revealed it in Arabic Quran so that you may understand we narrate to you the most accurate history by revealing to you this Quran although prior to it you were of the unaware when Joseph said to his father oh my father I saw eleven planets and the sun and the moon I saw them bowing down to me page Joseph Yusuf he said oh my son do not relate your vision to your brothers lest they plot and scheme against you Satan is man's sworn enemy and thus your Lord will choose you and will teach you the interpretation of events and will complete his blessing upon you and upon the family of Jacob as he has completed it before upon your forefathers Abraham and Isaac your Lord is knowing and wise in Joseph and his brothers are lessons for the seekers when they said Joseph and his brother are dearer to our father than we are although we are a whole group our father is obviously in the wrong kill Joseph or throw him somewhere in the land and your father's attention will be years afterwards you will be decent people one of them said do not kill Joseph but throw him into the bottom of the well some caravan may pick him up if you must do something they said father why do you not trust us with Joseph although we care for him send him with us tomorrow that he may roam and play we will take care of him he said it worries me that you would take him away and I fear the wolf may eat him while you are careless of him they said if the wolf ate him and we are many we would be good for nothing so they 
went away with him and agreed to put him at the bottom of the well and we inspired him you will inform them of this deed of theirs when they are unaware and they came to their father in the evening weeping page Joseph Yusuf they said O father we went off racing one another and left Joseph by our belongings and the wolf ate him but you will not believe us even though we are being truthful and they brought his shirt with fake blood on it he said your souls enticed you to do something. But patience is beautiful and God is my help against what you describe a caravan passed by and they sent their water carrier he lowered his bucket and said good news here is a boy and they hid him as merchandise but God was aware of what they did and they sold him for a cheap price a few coins they considered him to be of little value the Egyptian who bought him said to his wife take good care of him he may be useful to us or we may adopt him as a son we thus established Joseph in the land to teach him the interpretation of events God has control over his affairs but most people do not know when he reached his maturity we gave him wisdom and knowledge we thus reward the righteous she in whose house he was living tried to seduce him she shut the doors and said I am yours he said God forbid he is my lord he has given me a good home sinners never succeed she desired him and he desired her had he not seen the proof of his lord it was thus that we diverted evil and indecency away from him he was one of our loyal servants as they raced towards the door she tore his shirt from behind at the door they ran into her husband she said what is the penalty for him who desired to dishonor your wife except imprisonment or a painful punishment he said it was she who tried to seduce me a witness from her household suggested if his shirt is torn from the front then she has told the truth and he is the liar page joseph yusuf but if his shirt is torn from the Back then she has lied and he is the truthful and when he saw that his shirt was torn from the back he said this is a woman's scheme your scheming is serious indeed Joseph turn away from this and you woman ask forgiveness for your sin you are indeed in the wrong some ladies in the city said the governor's wife is trying to seduce her servant she is deeply in love with him we see she has gone astray and when she heard of their gossip she invited them and prepared for them a banquet. And she gave each one of them a knife she said come out before them and when they saw him they marveled at him and cut their hands they said good god this is not a human this must be a precious angel she said here he is the one you blamed me for I did try to seduce him but he resisted but if he does not do what I tell him to do he will be imprisoned and will be one of the despised he said my lord prison is more desirable to me than what they call me to unless you turn their scheming. Away from me I may yield to them and become one of the ignorant. Thereupon his lord answered him and diverted their scheming away from him. He is the hearer the knower. Then it occurred to them after they had seen the signs to imprison him for a while. Two youth entered the prison with him. One of them said I see myself pressing wine. The other said I see myself carrying bread on my head from which the birds are eating. Tell us their interpretation. We see that you are one of the righteous he said no food is served to you but I have informed you about it before you have received it that is some of what my lord has page Joseph Yusuf taught me I have forsaken the tradition of people who do not believe in God and regarding the hereafter they are deniers and I have followed the faith of my forefathers Abraham and Isaac and Jacob it is not for us to associate anything with God this is by virtue of God's grace upon us and upon the people but most people do not give thanks oh my Fellow inmates are diverse lords better or God the one the supreme you do not worship besides him except names you have named you and your ancestors for which God has sent down no authority judgment belongs to none but God he has commanded that you worship none but him this is the right religion but most people do not know oh my fellow inmates one of you will serve his master wine while the other will be crucified and the birds will eat from his head thus the matter you are inquiring about is settled and he said to the one he thought would be released mention me to your master but Satan caused him to forget mentioning him to his master so he remained in prison for several years the king said I see seven fat cows being eaten by seven lean ones and seven green spikes and others dried up oh elders explain to me my vision if you are able to interpret visions they said jumbles of dreams and we know nothing of the interpretation of dreams the one who was released said having Remembered after a time I will inform you of its interpretation so send me out Joseph O man of truth inform us concerning seven fat cows being eaten by seven lean ones and seven green spikes and others dried up so that I may return to the people so that they may know page Joseph Yusuf he said you will farm for seven consecutive years but whatever you harvest leave it in its spikes except for the little that you eat then after that will come seven difficult ones which will consume. What you have stored for them except for the little that you have preserved then after that will come a year that brings relief to the people and during which they will press the king said bring him to me and when the envoy came to him he said go back to your master and ask him about the intentions of the women who cut their hands my lord is well aware of their schemes he said what was the matter with you women when you tried to seduce Joseph they said God forbid we knew of no evil committed by him the governor's wife then said now the truth is out it was I who tried to seduce him and he is telling the truth this is that he may know that I did not betray him in secret and that God does not guide the scheming of the betrayers yet I do not claim to be innocent the soul commands evil except those on whom my lord has mercy truly my lord is forgiving and merciful the king said bring him to me and I will reserve him for myself and when he spoke to him he said this. 
Day you are with us established and secure he said put me in charge of the storehouses of the land I am honest and knowledgeable and thus we established Joseph in the land to live therein wherever he wished we touch with our mercy whomever we will and we never waste the reward of the righteous but the reward of the hereafter is better for those who believe and observe piety page Joseph Yusuf and Joseph's brothers came and entered into his presence he recognized them but they did not recognize him when he provided them with their provisions he said bring me a brother of yours from your father do you not see that I fill up the measure and I am the best of hosts but if you do not bring him to me you will have no measure from me and you will not come near me they said we will solicit him from his father we will surely do he said to his servants put their goods in their saddlebags perhaps they will recognize them when they return to their families and maybe they will come back when they return to their father they said oh father we were denied measure but send our brother with us and we will obtain measure we will take care of him he said shall i trust you with him as i trusted you with his brother before god is the best guardian and he is the most merciful of the merciful and when they opened their baggage they found that their goods were returned to them they said father what more do we want here are our goods returned to us we will provide for our family and protect our brother and have an additional camel load this is easy commerce he said I will not send him with you unless you give me a pledge before God that you will bring him back to me unless you get trapped and when they gave him their pledge he said God is witness to what we say and he said oh my sons do not enter by one gate but enter by different gates I cannot avail you anything against God the decision rests only with God on him I rely and on him let the reliant rely page Joseph Yusuf and when they entered as their father had instructed them it did not avail them anything against God it was just a need in the soul of Jacob which he carried out he was a person of knowledge inasmuch as we had taught him but most people do not know and when they entered into the presence of Joseph he embraced his brother and said I am your brother do not be saddened by what they used to do then when he provided them with their provisions he placed the drinking cup in his brother's saddlebag then an announcer called out O oh people of the caravan you are thieves they said as they came towards them what are you missing they said we are missing the king's goblet whoever brings it will have a camel load and I personally guarantee it they said by God you know we did not come to cause trouble in the land and we are not thieves they said what shall be his punishment if you are lying they said his punishment if it is found in his bag he will belong. To you thus we penalize the guilty so he began with their bags before his brother's bag then he pulled it out of his brother's bag thus we devised a plan for Joseph he could not have detained his brother under the king's law unless God so willed we elevate by degrees whomever we will and above every person of knowledge there is one more learned they said if he has stolen a brother of his has stolen before but Joseph kept it to himself and did not reveal it to them he said you are in a worse situation and God is aware of what you allege they said oh noble prince he has a father a very old man so take one of us in his place we see that you are a good person page Joseph Yusuf he said God forbid that we should arrest anyone except him in whose possession we found our property for then we would be unjust and when they despaired of him they conferred privately their eldest said don't you know that your father received a pledge from you before God and in the past you failed with regard to Joseph I will not leave this land until my father permits me or God decides for me for he is the best of deciders go back to your father and say our father your son has stolen we testify only to what we know and we could not have prevented the unforeseen ask the town where we were and the caravan in which we came we are being truthful he said rather your souls have contrived something for you patience is a virtue perhaps God will bring them all back to me he is the knowing the wise then he turned away from them and said oh my bitterness for Joseph and his eyes turned white from sorrow and he became depressed they said by God you will not stop remembering Joseph until you have ruined your health or you have passed away he said I only complain of my grief and sorrow to God and I know from God what you do not know oh my sons go and inquire about Joseph and his brother and do not despair of God's comfort none despairs of God's comfort except the disbelieving people then when they entered into his presence they said mighty governor adversity has befallen us and our family we have brought scant merchandise but give us full measure and be charitable towards us God rewards the charitable page Joseph Yusuf he said do you realize what you did with Joseph and his brother in your ignorance they said is that you Joseph he said I am Joseph and this is my brother God has been gracious to us he who practices piety and patience God never fails to reward the righteous they said by God God has preferred you over us we were definitely in the wrong he said there is no blame upon you today God will forgive you he is the most merciful of the merciful take this shirt of mine and lay it over my father's face and he will recover his sight and bring your whole family to me as the caravan set out their father said I sense the presence of Joseph though you may think I am senile they said by God you are still in your old confusion then when the bearer of good news arrived he laid it over his face and he regained his sight he said did I not say to you that I know from God what you do not know they said father pray for the forgiveness of our sins we were indeed at fault he said I will ask my lord to forgive you he is the forgiver the most merciful then when they entered into the presence of Joseph he embraced his parents and said enter Egypt God willing safe and secure and he elevated his
parents on the throne and they fell prostrate before him he said father this is the fulfillment of my vision of long ago my lord has made it come true he has blessed me when he released me from prison and brought you out of the wilderness after the devil had sown conflict between me and my page joseph yusuf brothers my lord is most kind towards whomever he wills he is the all-knowing the most wise my lord you have given me some authority and taught me some interpretation of events Initiator of the heavens and the earth you are my protector in this life and in the hereafter receive my soul in submission and unite me with the righteous this is news from the past that we reveal to you you were not present with them when they plotted and agreed on a plan but most people for all your eagerness are not believers you ask them no wage for it it is only a reminder for all mankind how many a sign in the heavens and the earth do they pass by paying no attention to them and most of them do not believe in God unless they associate others do they feel secure that a covering of God's punishment will not come upon them or that the hour will not come upon them suddenly while they are unaware say this is my way I invite to God based on clear knowledge I and whoever follows me glory be to God and I am not of the polytheists we did not send before you except men whom we inspired from the people of the towns have they not roamed the earth and seen the consequences for those before them the home of the hereafter is better for those who are righteous do you not understand until when the messengers have despaired and thought that they were rejected our help came to them we save whomever we will and our severity is not averted from the guilty people page joseph yusuf in their stories is a lesson for those who possess intelligence this is not a fabricated tale but a confirmation of what came before it and a detailed explanation of all things and guidance and Mercy for people who believe thunder ARRA in the name of God the gracious the merciful Aleph Lam Mim RA these are the signs of the scripture what is revealed to you from your Lord is the truth but most people do not believe God is he who raised the heavens without pillars that you can see and then settled on the throne and he regulated the sun and the moon each running for a specified period he manages all affairs and he explains the signs that you may be certain of the meeting with your Lord and it is he who spread the earth and placed in it mountains and rivers and he placed in it two kinds of every fruit he causes the night to overlap the day in that are signs for people who reflect on earth are adjacent terrains and gardens of vines and crops and date palms from the same root or from distinct roots irrigated with the same water we make some taste better than others in that are proofs for people who reason should you wonder the real wonder is their saying when we have become dust will we be in a new creation those are they who defy their lord those are they who will have yokes around their necks those are the inhabitants of the fire where they will remain forever and they urge you to hasten evil before good though examples have passed away before them your lord is full of forgiveness towards the people for their wrongdoings yet your lord is severe in retribution page thunder arra those who disbelieve say why was a miracle not sent down to him from his Lord you are only a warner and to every community is a guide God knows what every female bears and every increase and decrease of the wombs with him everything is by measure the knower of the invisible and the visible the grand the supreme it is the same whether one of you conceals his speech or declares it whether he goes into hiding by night or goes out by day he has a succession before him and behind him protecting him by God's command God does not change the condition of a people until they change what is within themselves and if God wills any hardship for a people there is no turning it back and apart from him they have no protector it is he who shows you the lightning causing fear and hope and he produces the heavy clouds the thunder praises his glory and so do the angels in awe of him and he sends the thunderbolts striking with them whomever he wills yet they argue about God while he is tremendous in might to him belongs the call to truth those they call upon. Besides him do not respond to them with anything except as someone who stretches his hands towards water so that it may reach his mouth but it does not reach it the prayers of the unbelievers are only in vain to God prostrates everyone in the heavens and the earth willingly or unwillingly as do their shadows in the morning and in the evening say who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth say God say have you taken besides him protectors who have no power to profit or harm even themselves say are the blind and the seeing page thunder arra equal or are darkness and light equal or have they assigned to god associates who created the likes of his creation so that the creation seemed to them alike say god is the creator of all things and he is the one the irresistible he sends down water from the sky and riverbeds flow according to their capacity the current carries swelling froth and from what they heat in fire of ornaments or utensils comes a similar froth Thus God exemplifies truth and falsehood as for the froth it is swept away but what benefits the people remains in the ground thus God presents the analogies for those who respond to their Lord is the best but as for those who do not respond to him even if they possessed everything on earth and twice as much they could not redeem themselves with it those will have the worst reckoning and their home is hell a miserable destination is he who knows that what was revealed to you from your Lord. Is the truth like him who is blind only those who reason will remember those who fulfill the promise to God and do not violate the agreement and those who join what God has commanded to be joined and fear their Lord and dread the dire reckoning and those who patiently seek the presence of their Lord and pray regularly and spend from our provisions to them secretly and openly and repel evil with good these will have the ultimate home everlasting gardens which they will enter along with the
righteous among their parents and their spouses and their descendants and the angels will enter upon them from every gate peace be upon you because you endured patiently how excellent is the final home page thunder arr8 as for those who violate the promise to god after pledging to keep it and sever what god has commanded to be joined and spread corruption on earth these the curse will be upon them and they will have the worst home god dispenses the provisions to whomever he wills and restricts and they delight in the worldly life yet the worldly life compared to the hereafter is only enjoyment those who disbelieve say if only a miracle was sent down to him from his lord say god leads astray whomever he wills and he guides to himself whoever repents those who believe and whose hearts find comfort in the remembrance of god surely it is in the remembrance of god that hearts find comfort for those who believe and do righteous deeds for them is happiness and a beautiful return thus we sent you among a community before which other communities have passed away that you may recite to them what we revealed to you yet they deny the benevolent one say he is my lord there is no god but he in him i trust and to him is my repentance even if there were a quran by which mountains could be set in motion or by which the earth could be shattered or by which the dead could be made to speak in fact every decision rests with god did the believers not give up and realize that had God willed he would have guided all humanity disasters will continue to strike those who disbelieve because of their deeds or they fall near their homes until God's promise comes true God never breaks a promise messengers before you were ridiculed but I granted the disbelievers respite and then I seized them what a punishment it was page thunder arr8 is he who is watchful over the deeds of every soul yet they ascribe associates to God say name them or are you informing him of something on earth he does not know or is it a show of words in fact the scheming of those who disbelieve is made to appear good to them and they are averted from the path whomever god misguides has no guide there is for them torment in the worldly life but the torment of the hereafter is harsher and they have no defender against god the likeness of the garden promised to the righteous rivers flowing beneath it its food is perpetual and so is its shade such is the sequel for those who guard against evil but the sequel of the disbelievers is the fire those to whom we gave the scripture rejoice in what was revealed to you while some factions reject parts of it say i am commanded to worship god and to never associate anything with him to him i invite and to him is my return thus we revealed it an arabic code of law were you to follow their desires after the knowledge that has come to you you would have neither ally nor defender against god we sent messengers before you and we Assigned for them wives and offspring no messenger could bring a sign except with the permission of God for every era is a scripture God abolishes whatever he wills and he affirms with him is the source of the scripture whether we show you some of what we have promised them or we cause you to die your duty is to inform and ours is the reckoning do they not see how we deal with the earth diminishing it at its edges God judges and nothing can hold back his judgment and he is quick to settle. Accounts page thunder arra those before them planned but the entire plan is up to God he knows what every soul earns those who disbelieve will know to whom the ultimate home is those who disbelieve say you are not a messenger say God is a sufficient witness between me and you and whoever has knowledge of the scripture Abraham I brought him in the name of God the gracious the merciful Aleph Lam RAA scripture that we revealed to you that you may bring humanity from darkness to light with the permission of their Lord to the path of the Almighty the praiseworthy God to whom belongs what is in the heavens and the earth and woe to the disbelievers from a severe torment those who prefer the present life to the hereafter and repel from the path of God and seek to make it crooked these are far astray we never sent any messenger except in the language of his people to make things clear for them God leads astray whom he wills and guides whom he wills he is the mighty the wise we sent Moses with our signs bring your people out of darkness into light and remind them of the days of God in that are signs for every patient and thankful person Moses said to his people remember God's blessings upon you as he delivered you from the people of Pharaoh who inflicted on you terrible suffering slaughtering your sons while sparing your daughters in that was a serious trial from your Lord and when your Lord proclaimed if you give thanks I will grant you increase but if you are ungrateful my punishment is severe page Abraham I brought him and Moses said even if you are ungrateful together with everyone on earth God is in no need worthy of praise has not the story reached you of those before you the people of Noah and Ayat and Tamud and those after them none knows them except God their messengers came to them with the clear proofs but they tried to silence them and said we reject what you are sent with and we are in serious doubt regarding what you are calling us to their messengers said is there any doubt about God maker of the heavens and the earth he calls you to forgive you your sins and to defer you until a stated term they said you are only humans like us you want to turn us away from what our ancestors worshipped so bring us a clear proof their messengers said to them we are only humans like you but God favors whomever he wills from among his servants we cannot possibly show you any proof except by leave of God in God let the faithful put their trust and why should we not trust in God when he has guided us in our ways we will persevere in the face of your persecution and upon God the reliant should rely those who disbelieved said to their messengers we will expel you from our land unless you return to our religion and their Lord inspired them we will destroy the wrongdoers and we will settle you in the land after them that is for him who fears my majesty and fears my threats and they prayed for victory and every 
Stubborn tyrant came to disappointment beyond him lies hell and he will be given to drink putrid water he will guzzle it but he will not swallow it death will come at him from every direction but he will not die and beyond this is relentless suffering page Abraham I brought him the likeness of those who disbelieve in their lord their works are like ashes in a fierce wind on a stormy day they have no control over anything they have earned that is the utmost misguidance do you not see that God created the heavens and the earth with truth if he wills he can do away with you and bring a new creation and that is not difficult for God they will emerge before God altogether the weak will say to those who were proud we were your followers can you protect us at all against God's punishment they will say had God guided us we would have guided you it is the same for us whether we mourn or are patient there is no asylum for us and Satan will say when the issue is settled God has promised you the promise of truth and I promised you but I failed you I had no authority over you except that I called you and you answered me so do not blame me but blame yourselves I cannot come to your aid nor can you come to my aid I reject your associating with me in the past the wrongdoers will have a torment most painful but those who believed and did good deeds will be admitted into gardens beneath which rivers flow to remain therein forever by leave of their lord their greeting. Therein will be peace do you not see how God presents a parable a good word is like a good tree its root is firm and its branches are in the sky it yields its fruits every season by the will of its Lord God presents the parables to the people so that they may reflect and the parable of a bad word is that of a bad tree it is uprooted from the ground it has no stability God gives firmness to those who believe with the firm word in this life and in the hereafter and God leads the wicked. Astray God does whatever he wills page Abraham I brought him have you not seen those who exchanged the blessing of God with blasphemy and landed their people into the house of perdition hell they will roast in it what a miserable settlement and they set up rivals to God in order to lead away from his path say enjoy yourselves your destination is the fire tell my servants who have believed to perform the prayers and to give from what we have given them secretly and publicly before a day comes in which there is neither trading nor friendship God is he who created the heavens and the earth and sends down water from the sky and with it produces fruits for your sustenance and he committed the ships to your service sailing through the sea by his command and he committed the rivers to your service and he committed the sun and the moon to your service both continuously pursuing their courses and he committed the night and the day to your service and he has given you something of all. What you asked and if you were to count God's blessings you would not be able to enumerate them the human being is unfair and ungrateful recall that Abraham said oh my lord make this land peaceful and keep me and my sons from worshipping idols my lord they have led many people astray whoever follows me belongs with me and whoever disobeys me you are forgiving and merciful our lord I have settled some of my offspring in a valley of no vegetation by your sacred house our lord so that they may perform the prayers so make the hearts of some people incline towards them and provide them with fruits that they may be thankful page Abraham I brought him our Lord you know what we conceal and what we reveal and nothing is hidden from God on earth or in the heaven praise be to God who has given me in my old age Ishmael and Isaac my Lord is the hearer of prayers my Lord make me one who performs the prayer and from my offspring our Lord accept my supplication our Lord forgive me and my parents and the believers on the day the reckoning takes place do not ever think that God is unaware of what the wrongdoers do he only defers them until a day when the sights stare their necks outstretched their heads upraised their gaze unblinking their hearts void and warn mankind of the day when the punishment will come upon them and the wicked will say our Lord defer us for a little while and we will answer your call and follow the messengers did you not swear before that there will be no passing away for you and you inhabited the homes of those who wronged themselves and it became clear to you how we dealt with them and we cited for you the examples they planned their plans but their plans are known to God even if their plans can eliminate mountains do not ever think that God will break his promise to his messengers God is strong able to avenge on the day when the earth is changed into another earth and the heavens and they will emerge before God the one they irresistible on that day you will see the sinners bound together in chains their garments made of tar and the fire covering their faces page Abraham I brought him that God may repay each soul according to what it has earned God is quick in reckoning this is a proclamation for mankind that they may be warned thereby and know that he is one God and that people of understanding may remember the rock al Hijra in the name of God the gracious the merciful Aleph Lam Ra these are the verses of the book a Quran that makes things clear perhaps those who disbelieve would like to become Muslims leave them to eat and enjoy and be lulled by hope they will find out we have never destroyed a town unless it had a set time no nation can bring its time forward nor can they delay it and they said oh you who received the message you are insane why do you not bring us the angels if you are truthful we do not send the angels down except with reason and they will not be held back surely we revealed the message and we will surely preserve it we sent others before you to the former communities but no messenger came to them but they ridiculed him thus we slip it into the hearts of the guilty they do not believe in it though the ways of the ancients have passed away even if we opened for them a gateway into the sky and they began to ascend through it page the rock al hijra they would still say our eyes are hallucinating in fact we are people bewitched we placed constellations in the 
sky and made them beautiful to the beholders and we guarded them from every outcast devil except one who steals a hearing and is followed by a visible projectile we spread the earth and placed stabilizers in it and in it we grew all things in proper measure and in it we created livelihoods for you and for those for whom you are not the providers there is not a thing but with us are its stores and we send it down only in precise measure we send the fertilizing winds and send down water from the sky and give it to you to drink and you are not the ones who store it it is we who give life and cause death and we are the inheritors and we know those of you who go forward and we know those who lag behind it is your lord who will gather them together he is the wise the knowing we created the human being from clay from molded mud and the jinn we created before from piercing fire your lord said to the angels i am creating a human being from clay from molded mud when i have formed him and breathed into him of my spirit fall down prostrating before him so the angels prostrate themselves all together page the rock al hijra except for satan he refused to be among those who prostrate themselves he said oh satan what kept you from being among those who prostrate themselves he said i am not about to prostrate myself before a human being whom you created from clay from molded mud he said then get out of here for you are an outcast and the curse will be Upon you until the day of judgment he said my lord reprieve me until the day they are resurrected he said you are of those reprieved until the day of the time appointed he said my lord since you have lured me away I will glamorize for them on earth and I will lure them all away except for your sincere servants among them he said this is a right way with me over my servants you have no authority except for the sinners who follow you and hell is the meeting place for them. All it has seven doors for each door is an assigned class but the righteous will be in gardens with springs enter it in peace and security and we will remove all ill feelings from their hearts brothers and sisters on couches facing one another no fatigue will ever touch them therein nor will they be asked to leave it inform my servants that I am the forgiver the merciful page the rock al hijra and that my punishment is the painful punishment and inform them of the guests of Abraham. When they entered upon him and said peace he said we are wary of you they said do not fear we bring you good news of a boy endowed with knowledge he said do you bring me good news when old age has overtaken me what good news do you bring they said we bring you good news in truth so do not despair he said and who despairs of his lord's mercy but the lost he said so what is your business O envoys they said we were sent to a sinful people except for the family of lot we will save them all except for his wife we have determined that she will be of those who lag behind and when the envoys came to the family of Lot he said you are a people unknown to me they said we bring you what they have doubts about we bring you the truth and we are truthful travel with your family at the dead of the night and follow up behind them and let none of you look back and proceed as commanded and we informed him of our decree the last remnant of these will be uprooted by early morning and the people of the town came joyfully he said these are my guests so do not embarrass me and fear god and do not disgrace me page the rock al hijra they said did we not forbid you from strangers he said these are my daughters if you must buy your life they were blundering in their drunkenness so the blast struck them at sunrise and we turned it upside down and rained down upon them stones of baked clay surely in that are lessons for those who read Signs and it is on an existing road surely in that is a sign for the believers the people of the woods were also wrongdoers so we took revenge upon them both are clearly documented the people of the rock also rejected the messengers we gave them our revelations but they turned away from them they used to carve homes in the mountains feeling secure but the blast struck them in the morning all they had acquired was of no avail to them we did not create the heavens and the earth and what lies between them except with truth the hour is coming so forgive with gracious forgiveness your lord is the all-knowing creator we have given you seven of the pairs and the grand quran do not extend your eyes towards what we have bestowed on some couples of them to enjoy and do not grieve over them and lower your wing to the believers and say i am the clear warner just as we sent down to the separatists page the rock al hijra those who made the quran obsolete by your lord we will Question them all about what they used to do so proclaim openly what you are commanded and turn away from the polytheists we are enough for you against the mockers those who set up another god with god they will come to know we are aware that your heart is strained by what they say so glorify the praise of your lord and be among those who bow down and worship your lord in order to attain certainty the be and null in the name of god the gracious the merciful the command of god has come. So do not rush it glory be to him exalted above what they associate he sends down the angels with the spirit by his command upon whom he wills of his servants give warning that there is no god but me and fear me he created the heavens and the earth with justice he is exalted above the associations they attribute he created the human being from a drop of fluid yet he becomes an open adversary and the livestock he created them for you in them are warmth and benefits for you and of them you eat and there is beauty in them for you when you bring them home and when you drive them to pasture page the biennal and they carry your loads to territory you could not have reached without great hardship your lord is clement and merciful and the horses and the mules and the donkeys for you to ride and for luxury and he creates what you do not know it is for god to point out the paths but some of them are flawed had he willed he could have guided you all it is he who sends down for you from the sky water from it is drink and with it grows vegetation for grazing and he produces for you grains with it and olives and date palms and grapes and all kinds of fruits surely in that is a sign for people who think and he regulated for you the night and the day and the sun and the moon and the stars are disposed by his command surely in that are signs for people who ponder and whatsoever he created for you on earth is of diverse colors surely in that is a sign for people who are 
mindful and it is he who made the sea to serve you that you may eat from it tender meat and extract from it ornaments that you wear and you see the ships plowing through it as you seek his bounty so that you may give thanks and he cast mountains on the earth lest it shifts with you and rivers and roads so that you may be guided and landmarks and by the stars they guide themselves is he who creates like him who does not create will you not take a lesson and if you try to enumerate the favors of God you will not be able to count them God is forgiving and merciful and God knows what you hide and what you disclose page the bee and all those they invoke besides God create nothing but are themselves created they are dead not alive and they do not know when they will be resurrected your God is one God as for those who do not believe in the hereafter their hearts are in denial and they are arrogant without a doubt God knows what they conceal and what they reveal he does not like the arrogant and when it is said to them what has your Lord sent down they say legends of the ancients so let them carry their loads complete on the day of resurrection and some of the loads of those they misguided without knowledge evil is what they carry those before them also schemed but God took their structures from the foundations and the roof caved in on them the punishment came at them from where they did not perceive then on the day of resurrection he will disgrace them and say where are my associates for whose sake you used to dispute those who were given knowledge will say today shame and misery are upon the disbelievers those wronging their souls while the angels are taking them away they will propose peace we did no wrong yes you did God is aware of what you used to do enter the gates of hell to dwell therein forever miserable is the residence of the arrogant and it will be said to those who maintained piety what has your Lord revealed they will say goodness to those who do good in this world is goodness and the home of the hereafter is even better how wonderful is the residence of the pious page the bee and all the gardens of perpetuity which they will enter beneath which rivers flow where they will have whatever they desire thus God rewards the pious those who are in a wholesome state when the angels take them will say peace be upon you enter paradise for what you used to do are they but waiting for the angels to come to them or for the command of your Lord to arrive those before them did likewise God did not wrong them but they used to wrong their own souls so the evils of their deeds assailed them and what they used to ridicule engulfed them the idolaters say had God willed we would not have worshipped anything besides him neither us nor our ancestors nor would we have prohibited anything besides his prohibitions those before them did likewise are the messengers responsible for anything but clear communication to every community we sent a messenger worship God and avoid idolatry some of them God guided while others deserved misguidance so travel through the earth and see what the fate of the deniers was even though you may be concerned about their guidance God does not guide those who misguide and they will have no saviors and they swear by God with their most solemn oaths God will not resurrect anyone who dies yes indeed it is a promise binding on him but most people do not know to clarify for them what they differed about and for the faithless to know that they were liars when we intend for something to happen we say to it be and it becomes page the be and all those who emigrate for God's sake after being persecuted we will settle them in a good place in this world but the reward of the hereafter is greater if they only knew those who endure patiently and in their Lord they put their trust we did not send before you except men whom we inspired so ask the people of knowledge if you do not know with the clarifications and the scriptures and we reveal to you the reminder that you may clarify to the people what was revealed to them and that they may reflect do those who scheme evils feel secure that God will not cause the earth to cave in with them or that the punishment will not come upon them from where they do not perceive or that he will not seize them during their activities and they will not be able to prevent it or that he will not seize them while in dread your Lord is gentle and merciful have they not observed what God has created their shadows revolve from the right and the left bowing to God as they shrink away to God bows down everything in the heavens and everything on earth every living creature and the angels and without being proud they fear their Lord above them and they do what they are commanded God has said do not take two gods he is only one God so fear only me to him belongs everything in the heavens and the earth and to him obedience is due always do you then fear anyone other than God page the bee and null whatever blessing you have is from God and when harm touches you it is to him that you groan but when he lifts the harm from you some of you associate others with their Lord to show ingratitude for what we have given them enjoy yourselves you will soon know and they allocate to something they do not know a share of what we have provided for them by God you will be questioned about what you have been inventing and they attribute to God daughters exalted is he and for themselves what they desire and when one of them is given news of a female infant his face darkens and he chokes with grief he hides from the people because of the bad news given to him shall he keep it in humiliation or bury it in the dust evil is the decision they make those who do not believe in the hereafter set a bad example while God sets the highest example he is the mighty the wise if God were to hold mankind for their injustices he would not leave upon it a single creature but he postpones them until an appointed time then when their time arrives they will not delay it by one hour nor will they advance it and they attribute to God what they themselves dislike while their tongues utter the lie that theirs is the goodness without a doubt for them is the fire and they will be neglected by God we sent messengers to communities before you but Satan made their deeds appear alluring to them he is their master today and they will have a painful punishment we revealed to you the scripture only to clarify for them what they differ about and guidance and mercy for people who believe page the bee and all God sends down water from the sky with which he revives the earth after its death in this is a sign for people who listen and there is a lesson for you in cattle we give you a drink from their bellies from between waste and blood pure milk refreshing to the drinkers and from the 
Fruits of date palms and grapevines you derive sugar and wholesome food in this is a sign for people who understand and your lord inspired the bee set up hives in the mountains and in the trees and in what they construct then eat of all the fruits and go along the pathways of your lord with precision from their bellies emerges a fluid of diverse colors containing healing for the people surely in this is a sign for people who reflect God created you then he takes you away some of you will be brought back to the worst age so that he will no longer know anything after having acquired knowledge God is omniscient and omnipotent God has favored some of you over others in livelihood those who are favored would not give their properties to their servants to the extent of making them partners in it will they then renounce God's blessings God has given you mates from among yourselves and has produced for you from your mates children and grandchildren and has provided you with good things will they then believe in falsehood and refuse God's favors and yet they serve besides God what possesses no provisions for them in the heavens nor on earth nor are they capable so do not cite the examples for God God knows and you do not know page the bee and Nal God cites the example of a bonded slave who has no power over anything and someone to whom we have given plentiful provision from which he gives secretly and openly are they equal in comparison all praise belongs to God but most of them do not know and God cites the example of two men one of them dumb unable to do anything and is a burden on his master whichever way he directs him he achieves nothing good is he equal to him who commands justice and is on a straight path to God belongs the unseen of the heavens and the earth the coming of the hour is only as the twinkling of the eye or even nearer God has power over everything God brought you out of your mother's wombs not knowing anything and he gave you the hearing and the eyesight and the brains that you may give thanks have they not seen the birds flying in the midst of the sky none sustains them except God in this are signs for people who believe and God has given you in your homes habitats for you and has provided for you out of the hides of livestock portable homes for you so you can use them when you travel and when you camp and from their wool and fur and hair furnishings and comfort for a while and God has made for you shade out of what he has created and has given you resorts in the mountains and has given you garments to protect you from the heat and garments to protect you from your violence thus he completes his blessings upon you so that you may submit but if they turn away your only duty is clear communication they recognize God's blessing but then deny it as most of them are ungrateful page the Biennal on the day when we raise up a witness from every community those who disbelieved will not be permitted nor Will they be excused when those who did wrong see the punishment it will not be lightened for them nor will they be reprieved and when the idolaters see their associates they will say our lord these are our associates whom we used to invoke besides you they will strike back at them with the saying surely you are liars on that day they will offer their submission to God and what they had invented will abandon them those who disbelieve and obstruct from God's path we will add punishment to their punishment on account of the mischief they used to make on the day when we raise in every community a witness against them from among them and bring you as a witness against these we have revealed to you the book as an explanation of all things and guidance and mercy and good news for those who submit God commands justice and goodness and generosity towards relatives and he forbids immorality and injustice and oppression he advises you so that you may take heed fulfill God's covenant when you make a covenant and do not break your oaths after ratifying them you have made God your guarantor and God knows what you do and do not be like her who unravels her yarn breaking it into pieces after she has spun it strongly nor use your oaths as means of deception among you because one community is more prosperous than another God is testing you thereby on the day of resurrection he will make clear to you everything you had disputed about page the bee and Nal had God Wilt he would have made you one congregation but he leaves astray whom he wills and he guides whom he wills and you will surely be questioned about what you used to do and do not use your oaths to deceive one another so that a foot may not slip after being firm and you taste misery because you hindered from God's path and incur a terrible torment and do not exchange God's covenant for a small price what is with God is better for you if you only knew what you have runs out but what is with. God remains we will reward those who are patient according to the best of their deeds whoever works righteousness whether male or female while being a believer we will grant him a good life and we will reward them according to the best of what they used to do when you read the Quran seek refuge with God from Satan the outcast he has no authority over those who believe and trust in their Lord his authority is only over those who follow him and those who associate others with him when we substitute a verse in place of another verse and God knows best what he reveals they say you are an imposter but most of them do not know say the Holy Spirit has brought it down from your Lord truthfully in order to stabilize those who believe and as guidance and good news for those who submit we are well aware that they say it is a human being who is teaching him but the tongue of him they allude to is foreign while this is a clear Arabic tongue those who do not believe in God's Revelations God will not guide them and for them is a painful punishment page the bee and Nal it is those who do not believe in God's revelations who fabricate falsehood these are the liars whoever renounces faith in God after having believed except for someone who is compelled while his heart rests securely in faith but whoever willingly opens up his heart to disbelief upon them falls wrath from God and for them is a tremendous torment that is because they have preferred the worldly life.
to the hereafter and because God does not guide the people who refuse it is they whom God has sealed their hearts and their hearing and their sight it is they who are the heedless there is no doubt that in the hereafter they will be the losers but then your Lord for those who emigrated after being persecuted then struggled and persevered your Lord thereafter is forgiving and merciful on the day when every soul will come pleading for itself and every soul will be paid in full for what it has done and they will not be wronged and God cites the example of a town that was secure and peaceful with its livelihood coming to it abundantly from every direction but then it turned unappreciative of God's blessings so God made it taste the robe of hunger and fear because of what they used to craft a messenger from among them had come to them but they denounced him so the punishment seized them in the midst of their wrongdoing eat of the lawful and good things God has provided for you and be thankful for God's blessings if it is him that you serve he has forbidden you carrion and blood and the flesh of swine and anything consecrated to other than God but if anyone is page the be and null compelled by necessity without being deliberate or malicious then God is forgiving and merciful and do not say of falsehood asserted by your tongues this is lawful and this is unlawful in order to invent lies and attribute them to God those who invent lies and attribute them to God will not succeed a brief enjoyment then they will have a painful punishment for those who are Jews we have prohibited what we related to you before we did not wrong them but they used to wrong their own selves but towards those who do wrongs in ignorance and then repent afterwards and reform your Lord thereafter is forgiving and merciful Abraham was an exemplary leader devoted to God a monotheist and was not of the polytheists thankful for his blessings he chose him and guided him to a straight path and we gave him goodness in this world and in the hereafter he will be among the righteous then we inspired you follow the religion of Abraham the monotheist he was not an idol worshipper the Sabbath was decreed only for those who differed about it your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection regarding their differences invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and good advice and debate with them in the most dignified manner your Lord is aware of those who stray from his path and he is aware of those who are guided page the bnl if you were to retaliate retaliate to the same degree as the injury done to you but if you resort to patience it is better for the patient so be patient your patience is solely from god and do not grieve over them and do not be stressed by their schemes god is with those who are righteous and those who are virtuous the night journey al isra in the name of god the gracious the merciful glory to him who journeyed his servant by night from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque whose precincts we have blessed in order to show him of our wonders he is the listener the beholder and we gave Moses the scripture and made it a guide for the children of Israel take none for protector other than me the descendants of those we carried with Noah he was an appreciative servant and we conveyed to the children of Israel in the scripture you will commit evil on earth twice and you will rise to a great height when the first of the two promises came true we sent against you servants of ours possessing great might and they ransacked your homes it was a promise fulfilled then we gave you back your turn against them and supplied you with wealth and children and made you more numerous if you work righteousness you work righteousness for yourselves and if you commit evil you do so against yourselves then when the second promise comes true they will make your faces filled with sorrow and enter the temple as they entered it the first time and utterly destroy all that falls into their power page the night journey al -Isra. perhaps your lord will have mercy on you but if you revert we will revert we have made hell a prison for the disbelievers this Quran guides to what is most upright and it gives good news to the believers who do good deeds that they will have a great reward and those who do not believe in the hereafter we have prepared for them a painful punishment the human being prays for evil as he prays for good the human being is very hasty we have made the night and the day two wonders we erased the wonder of the night and made the wonder of the day revealing that you may seek bounty from your lord and know the number of years and the calculation we have explained all things in detail for every person we have attached his fate to his neck and on the day of resurrection we will bring out for him a book which he will find spread open read your book today there will be none but yourself to call you to account whoever is guided is guided for his own good and whoever goes astray goes astray to his detriment no burdened soul carries the burdens of another nor do we ever punish until we have sent a messenger when we decide to destroy a town we command its affluent ones they transgress in it so the word becomes justified against it and we destroy it completely how many generations have we destroyed after Noah your lord is sufficient as knower and beholder of the Sins of his servants whoever desires the fleeting life we expedite for him what we decide to give him to whomever we desire then we consign him to hell where he will roast condemned and defeated page the night journey al -Isra. but whoever desires the hereafter and pursues it as it should be pursued while he is a believer these their effort will be appreciated to all these and those we extend from the gifts of your lord the gifts of your lord are not restricted see how we have favored some of them over others yet the hereafter is greater in ranks and greater in favors do not set up another god with god lest you become condemned and damned your lord has commanded that you worship none but him and that you be good to your parents if either of them or both of them reach old age with you do not say to them a word of disrespect nor scold them but say to them kind words and lower to them the wing of humility out of mercy and say my lord have mercy on them as they raised me when i was a child your lord knows best what is in your minds if you are righteous he is forgiving to the obedient and give the relative his rights and the poor and the wayfarer and do not squander wastefully the extravagant are brethren of the devils and the devil is ever ungrateful to his lord but if you turn away from them seeking mercy from your lord which you hope for then say to them words of comfort and do not keep your hand tied to your neck nor spread it out fully lest you end up liable 
and regretful your lord expands the provision for whomever he wills and restricts it he is fully informed observant of his servants page the night journey al Isra and do not kill your children for fear of poverty we provide for them and for you killing them is a grave sin and do not come near adultery it is immoral and an evil way and do not kill the soul which god has made sacred except in the course of justice if someone is killed unjustly we have given his next of kin certain authority but he should not be excessive in killing for he will be supported and do not go near the orphan's property except with the best of intentions until he has reached his maturity and honor your pledge because the pledge involves responsibility and give full measure when you measure and weigh with accurate scales that is fair and the best determination and do not occupy yourself with what you have no knowledge of the hearing and the sight and the brains all these will be questioned and do not walk proudly on earth you can neither pierce the earth nor can you match the mountains in height the evil of all these is disliked by your lord that is some of the wisdom your lord has revealed to you do not set up with god another god or else you will be thrown in hell rebuked and banished has your lord favored you with sons while choosing for himself daughters from among the angels you are indeed saying a terrible thing we have explained in this quran in various ways that they may remember but it only adds to their rebellion say if there were other gods with him as they say they would have sought a way to the lord of the throne be he glorified he is exalted far above what they say page the night journey al is praising him are the seven heavens and the earth and everyone in them there is not a thing that does not glorify him with praise but you do not understand their praises he is indeed forbearing and forgiving when you read the quran we place between you and those who do not believe in the hereafter an invisible barrier and we drape veils over their hearts preventing them from understanding it and heaviness in their ears and when you mention your lord alone in the Quran they turn their backs in aversion we know well what they listen to when they listen to you as they conspire when the wrongdoers say you only follow a man bewitched note what they compared you to they are lost and unable to find a way and they say when we have become bones and fragments shall we really be resurrected as a new creation say even if you become rocks or iron or some substance which in your minds is even harder than they will say who will restore us say the one who originated you the first time then they will nod their heads at you and say when will it be say perhaps it will be soon on the day when he calls you you will respond with his praise and you will realize that you stayed only a little tell my servants to say what is best satan sows discord among them satan is to man an open enemy your lord knows you best if he wills he will have mercy on you and if he wills he will punish you we did not send you as their advocate page the night journey al Isra. your lord knows well everyone in the heavens and the earth we have given some prophets advantage over others and to david we gave the psalms say call upon those you claim besides him they have no power to relieve your adversity nor can they change it those they call upon are themselves seeking means of access to their lord vying to be nearer and hoping for his mercy and fearing his punishment the punishment of your lord is to be dreaded there is no city but we will destroy before the day of resurrection or punish it with a severe punishment this is inscribed in the book nothing prevents us from sending miraculous signs except that the ancients called them lies we gave tamud the she camel a visible sign but they mistreated her we do not send the signs Except to instill reverence we said to you that your Lord encompasses humanity we did not make the vision we showed you except as a test for the people and the tree cursed in the Quran we frighten them but that only increases their defiance when we said to the angels bow down before Adam they bowed down except for Satan he said shall I bow down before someone you created from mud he said do you see this one whom you have honored more than me if you reprieve me until the day of resurrection I will bring his descendants under my sway except for a few he said begone whoever of them follows you hell is your reward an ample reward and entice whomever of them you can with your voice and rally against them your cavalry and your infantry and share with them in wealth and children and make promises to them but Satan promises them nothing but delusion page the night journey al Isra. as for my devotees you have no authority over them your lord is inadequate Guardian your lord is he who propels for you the ships at sea that you may seek of his bounty he is towards you most merciful when harm afflicts you at sea those you pray to vanish except for him but when he saves you to land you turn away the human being is ever thankless are you confident that he will not cause a track of land to cave in beneath you or unleash a tornado against you and then you find no protector or are you confident that he will not return you to it once again and unleash a hurricane against you and drown you for your ingratitude then you will find no helper against us we have honored the children of Adam and carried them on land and sea and provided them with good things and greatly favored them over many of those we created on the day when we call every people with their leader whoever is given his record in his right hand these will read their record and they will not be wronged one bit but whoever is blind in this he will be blind in the hereafter and further astray from the way they almost lured you away from what we have revealed to you so that you would invent something else in our name in that case they would have taken you for a friend had we not given you stability you might have inclined towards them a little then we would have made you taste double in life and double at death then you would have found for yourself no helper against us they almost provoked you to expel you from the land in that case they would not have lasted after you accept briefly page the night journey al Isra, the tradition of the messengers we sent before you you will find no change in our rules perform the prayer at the decline of the sun until the darkness of the night and the Quran at dawn the Quran at dawn is witnessed and keep vigil with it during parts of the night as an extra prayer perhaps your lord will raise you to a laudable position and say my lord lead me in through an entry of truth and lead me out through an exit of truth. 
and grant me from you a supporting power and say the truth has come and falsehood has withered away for falsehood is bound to wither away we send down in the Quran healing and mercy for the believers but it increases the wrongdoers only in loss when we bless the human being he turns away and distances himself but when adversity touches him he is in despair say each does according to his disposition your lord knows best who is better guided in the way and they ask you about the spirit. Say the spirit belongs to the domain of my lord and you were given only little knowledge if we willed we could take away what we revealed to you then you will find for yourself no protecting guardian against us except through a mercy from your lord his favors upon you have been great say if mankind engine came together to produce the like of this Quran they could never produce the like of it even if they backed up one another we have displayed for mankind in this Quran every kind of similitude but most people insist on denying the truth page the night journey al Isra, and they said we will not believe in you unless you make a spring burst from the ground for us or you have a garden of palms and vines then cause rivers to gush pouring through them or make the sky fall on us in pieces as you claim or bring god and the angels before us or you possess a house of gold or you ascend into the sky even then we will not believe in your ascension unless you bring down for us a book that we can read say glory be to my lord am i anything but a human messenger nothing prevented the people from believing when guidance has come to them except that they said did god send a human messenger say if there were angels on earth walking around in peace we would have sent down to them from heaven an angel messenger say god is enough witness between you and me he is fully aware of his servants and he sees them well whomever god guides is the guided one and whomever he leaves astray for them you will find no protectors apart from him and we will gather them on the day of resurrection on their faces blind dumb and deaf their abode is hell whenever it abates we intensify the blaze for them this is their repayment for having blasphemed against our revelations and having said shall we when we have become bones and fragments be resurrected as a new creation do they not consider that God who created the heavens and the earth is able to create the likes of them he has assigned for them a term in which there is no doubt but the wrongdoers persist in denying the truth page the night journey al Isra say if you possess the treasuries of my lord's mercy you would have withheld them for fear of spending the human being has always been stingy we gave Moses nine clear signs ask the children of Israel when he went to them Pharaoh said to him I think that you Moses are bewitched he said you know that none sent these down except the lord of the heavens and the earth eye openers and I think that you Pharaoh are doomed he resolved to scare them off the land but we drowned him and those with him all together after him we said to the children of Israel inhabit the land and when the promise of the hereafter arrives we will bring you all together with the truth we sent it down and with the truth it descended we sent you only as a bearer of good news and a warner a Quran which we unfolded gradually that you may recite to the people over time and we revealed it in stages say believe in it or do not believe those who were given knowledge before it when it is recited to them they fall to their chins prostrating and they say glory to our lord the promise of our lord is fulfilled and they fall to their chins weeping and it adds to their humility say call him god or call him the most merciful whichever name you use to him belong the best names and be neither loud in your prayer nor silent in it but follow a course in between page the night journey al Isra and say praise be to God who has not begotten a son nor has he a partner in sovereignty nor has he an ally out of weakness and glorify him constantly the cave al Kaf in the name of God the gracious the merciful praise be to God who revealed the book to his servant and allowed in it no distortion valuable to warn of severe punishment from himself and to deliver good news to the believers who do righteous deeds that they will have an excellent reward in which they will abide forever and to warn those who say God has begotten a son they have no knowledge of this nor did their forefathers grave is the word that comes out of their mouths they say nothing but a lie perhaps you may destroy yourself with grief chasing after them if they do not believe in this information we made what is upon the earth an ornament for it to test them as to which of them is best in conduct and we will turn what is on it into barren waste did you know that the people of the cave and the inscription were of our wondrous signs when the youths took shelter in the cave they said our lord give us mercy from yourself and bless our affair with guidance then we sealed their ears in the cave for a number of years then we awakened them to know which of the two groups could better calculate the length of their stay page the cave alcoff we relate to you their story in truth they were youths who believed in their lord and we increased them in guidance and we strengthened their hearts when they stood up and said our lord is the lord of the heavens and the earth we will not call on any god besides him for then we would have spoken an outrage these people our people have taken to themselves gods other than him why do they not bring a clear proof concerning them who then does greater wrong than he who invents lies and attributes them to god now that you have withdrawn from them and from what they worship besides god take shelter in the cave and your lord will unfold his mercy for you and will set your affair towards ease you would have seen the sun when it rose veering away from their cave towards the right and when it sets moving away from them to the left as they lay in the midst of the cave that was one of god's wonders he whom god guides is truly guided but he whom he misguides for him you will find no directing friend you would think them awake although they were asleep and we turned them over to the right and to the left with their dog stretching its paws across the threshold had you looked at them you would have turned away from them in flight and been filled with fear of them even so we awakened them so that they may ask one another a speaker among them said how long have you stayed they said we have stayed a day or part of a day they said your lord knows best how long you have stayed send one of you to the city with this money of yours and let him see which food is most suitable 
and let him bring you some provision thereof and let him be gentle and let no one become aware of you page the cave al kaf if they discover you they will stone you or force you back into their religion then you will never be saved so it was that we caused them to be discovered that they would know that the promise of God is true and that of the hour there is no doubt as they were disputing their case among themselves they said build over them a building their Lord knows best about them those who prevailed over their case said we will set up over them a place of worship they will say three and their fourth being their dog and they will say five and their sixth being their dog guessing at the unknown and they will say seven and their eighth being their dog say my lord knows best their number none knows them except a few so do not argue concerning them except with an obvious argument and do not consult any of them about them and never say about anything I will do that tomorrow without saying if God wills and remember your Lord if you forget and say perhaps my Lord will guide me to nearer than this in integrity and they stayed in their cave for 300 years adding 9 say God knows best how long they stayed his is the mystery of the heavens and the earth by him you see and here they have no guardian apart from him and he shares his sovereignty with no one and recite what was revealed to you from the book of your Lord there is no changing his words and you will find no refuge except in him and content yourself with those who pray to their lord morning and evening desiring his presence and do not turn your eyes away from them desiring the glitter of this world and do not obey him page the cave al kaf whose heart we have made heedless of our remembrance so he follows his own desires and his priorities are confused and say the truth is from your lord whoever wills let him believe and whoever wills let him disbelieve we have prepared for the unjust a fire whose curtains will hem them in and when they cry for relief they will be relieved with water like molten brass which scalds the faces what a miserable drink and what a terrible place as for those who believe and lead a righteous life we will not waste the reward of those who work righteousness these will have the gardens of Eden beneath which rivers flow reclining on comfortable furnishings they will be adorned with bracelets of gold and will wear green. Garments of silk and brocade what a wonderful reward and what an excellent resting place and side for them the parable of two men to one of them we gave two gardens of vine and we surrounded them with palm trees and we placed between them crops both gardens produced their harvest in full and suffered no loss and we made a river flow through them and thus he had abundant fruits he said to his friend as he conversed with him I am wealthier than you and greater in manpower and he entered his garden wronging himself he said I do not think this will ever perish and I do not think the hour is coming and even if I am returned to my lord I will find something better than this in return his friend said to him as he conversed with him are you being ungrateful to him who created you from dust then from a sperm drop then evolved you into a man page the cave al -Kaf. but as for me he is God my lord and I never associate with my lord anyone when you entered your garden why did you not say as God wills there is no power except through God although you see me inferior to you in wealth and children perhaps my Lord will give me something better than your garden and release upon it thunderbolts from the sky so it becomes barren waste or its water will sink into the ground and you will be unable to draw it and ruin closed in on his crops and so he began wringing his hands over what he had invested in it as it lays fallen upon its trellises and he was saying I wish I never associated anyone with my lord he had no faction to help him besides God and he was helpless that is because authority belongs to God the true he is best in rewarding and best in requiting and sight for them the parable of the present life it is like water that we send down from the sky the plants of the earth absorb it but then it becomes debris scattered by the wind God has absolute power over everything wealth and children are the adornments of the present life but the things that Last the virtuous deeds are better with your Lord for reward and better for hope on the day when we set the mountains in motion and you see the earth emerging and we gather them together and leave none of them behind they will be presented before your Lord in a row you have come to us as we created you the first time although you claimed we would not set a meeting for you page the cave al -Kaf and the book will be placed and you will see the sinners fearful of its contents and they will say woe to us what is with this book that leaves nothing small or big but it has enumerated it they will find everything they had done present your lord does not wrong anyone we said to the angels bow down to adam so they bowed down except for satan he was of the jinn and he defied the command of his lord will you take him and his offspring as lords instead of me when they are an enemy to you evil is the exchange for the wrongdoers i did not call them to witness the creation of the heavens and the earth nor their own creation and I do not take the misleaders for assistance on the day when he will say call on my partners whom you have claimed they will call on them but they will not answer them and we will place between them a barrier and the sinners will see the fire and will realize that they will tumble into it they will find no deliverance from it we have elaborated in this Quran for the people every kind of example but the human being is a most argumentative being what prevented people from accepting faith when guidance has come to them and from seeking their Lord's forgiveness unless they are waiting for the precedent of the ancients to befall them or to have the punishment come upon them face to face we send the messengers only as deliverers of good news and warners those who disbelieve argue with false argument in order to defeat the truth thereby they take my verses and the warnings for a joke who does greater wrong than he who when reminded of his Lord's revelations turns away from them and forgets what his hands have put forward we have placed coverings over their page the cave al -Kaf hearts lest they understand it and heaviness in their ears and if you call them to guidance they will not be guided ever your Lord is the forgiver possessor of mercy were he to call them to account for what they have earned he would have hastened the punishment for them but they have an appointment from which they will find no escape and these 
towns we destroyed them when they committed injustices and we set for their destruction an appointed time recall when Moses said to his servant I will not give up until I reach the junction of the two rivers even if it takes me years then when they reached the junction between them they forgot about their fish it found its way into the river slipping away when they went further he said to his servant bring us our lunch we were exposed in our travel to much fatigue he said do you remember when we rested by the rock I forgot about the fish it was only the devil who made me forget it and so it found its way to the river amazingly he said this is what we were seeking and so they turned back retracing their steps then they came upon a servant of ours whom we had blessed with mercy from us and had taught him knowledge from our own Moses said to him may I follow you so that you may teach me some of the guidance you were taught he said you will not be able to endure with me and how will you endure what you have no knowledge of he said you will find me God willing patient and I will not disobey you in any order of yours he said if you follow me do not ask me about anything until I myself make mention of it to you page the cave alcoff so they set out until when they had boarded the boat he hold it he said did you hold it to drown its passengers you have done something awful he said did I not tell you that you will not be able to endure with me he said do not rebuke me for forgetting and do not make my course difficult for me then they set out until when they encountered a boy he killed him he said did you kill a pure soul who killed no one you have done something terrible he said did I not tell you that you will not be able to endure with me he said if I ask you about anything after this then do not keep company with me you have received excuses from me so they set out until when they reached the people of a town. They asked them for food but they refused to offer them hospitality there they found a wall about to collapse and he repaired it he said if you wanted you could have obtained a payment for it he said this is the parting between you and me I will tell you the interpretation of what you were unable to endure as for the boat it belonged to paupers working at sea I wanted to damage it because there was a king coming after them seizing every boat by force as for the boy his parents were believers and we feared he would overwhelm them with oppression and disbelief so we wanted their lord to replace him with someone better in purity and closer to mercy and as for the wall it belonged to two orphaned boys in the town beneath it was a treasure that belonged to them their father was a righteous man your lord wanted them to reach their page the cave alcoff maturity and then extract their treasure as a mercy from your lord i did not do it of my own accord this is the interpretation of what you were unable to endure and they ask you about Zulkarnain say I will tell you something about him we established him on earth and gave him all kinds of means he pursued a certain course until when he reached the setting of the sun he found it setting in a murky spring and found a people in its vicinity we said oh Zulkarnain you may either inflict a penalty or else treat them kindly he said as for him who does wrong we will penalize him then he will be Return to his Lord and he will punish him with an unheard of torment but as for him who believes and acts righteously he will have the finest reward and we will speak to him of our command with ease then he pursued a course until when he reached the rising of the sun he found it rising on a people for whom we had provided no shelter from it and so it was we had full knowledge of what he had then he pursued a course until when he reached the point separating the two barriers he found. Beside them a people who could barely understand what is said they said O Zulkarnain the Gog and Magog are spreading chaos in the land can we pay you to build between us and them a wall page the cave Alkaf he said what my lord has empowered me with is better but assist me with strength and I will build between you and them a dam bring me blocks of iron so that when he had leveled up between the two cliffs he said blow and having turned it into a fire he said bring me Tartu pour over it so they were unable to climb it and they could not penetrate it he said this is a mercy from my lord but when the promise of my lord comes true he will turn it into rubble and the promise of my lord is always true on that day we will leave them surging upon one another and the trumpet will be blown and we will gather them together on that day we will present the disbelievers to hell all display those whose eyes were screened to my message and were unable to hear do those who disbelieve think that they can take my servants for masters instead of me we have prepared hell for the hospitality of the faithless say shall we inform you of the greatest losers in their works those whose efforts in this world are misguided while they assume that they are doing well it is they who rejected the communications of their lord and the encounter with him so their works are in vain and on the day of resurrection we will consider them of no weight that is their requital hell on account of their disbelief and their taking my revelations and my messengers in mockery as for those who believe and do righteous deeds they will have the gardens of paradise for hospitality page the cave alcoff abiding therein forever without desiring any change therefrom say if the ocean were ink for the words of my lord the ocean would run out before the words of my lord run out even if we were to bring the like of it in addition to it say i am only a human being like you being inspired that your God is one God whoever hopes to meet his Lord let him work righteousness and never associate anyone with the service of his Lord Mary Mariam in the name of God the gracious the merciful Kaf Hayayin Saad a mention of the mercy of your Lord towards his servant Zechariah when he called on his Lord a call in seclusion he said my Lord my bones have become feeble and my hair is aflame with grey and never Lord have I been disappointed in my prayer to you and I fear for my dependence after me and my wife is barren so grant me from yourself an heir to inherit me and inherit from the house of Jacob and make him my lord pleasing O Zechariah we give you good news of a son whose name is John a name we have never given before he said my lord how can I have a son when my wife is barren and I have become decrepit with old age he said it will be so your lord says it is easy for me and I created you before when you were nothing page Mary Mariam he
said my lord give me a sign he said your sign is that you will not speak to the people for three nights straight and he came out to his people from the sanctuary and signaled to them to praise morning and evening O john hold on to the scripture firmly and we gave him wisdom in his youth and tenderness from us and innocence he was devout and kind to his parents and he was not a disobedient tyrant and peace be upon him the day he was born and the day he dies and the day he is raised Alive and mention in the scripture Mary when she withdrew from her people to an eastern location she screened herself away from them and we sent to her our spirit and he appeared to her as an immaculate human she said I take refuge from you in the most merciful should you be righteous he said I am only the messenger of your Lord to give you the gift of a pure son she said how can I have a son when no man has touched me and I was never unchanged asked he said thus said your Lord it is easy for me and we will make him a sign for humanity and a mercy from us it is a matter already decided so she carried him and secluded herself with him in a remote place the labor pains came upon her by the trunk of a palm tree she said i wish i had died before this and been completely forgotten whereupon he called her from beneath her do not worry your lord has placed a stream beneath you page mary Maryam, and shake the trunk of the palm tree towards you and it will drop ripe dates by you so eat and drink and be consoled and if you see any human say I have vowed a fast to the most gracious so I will not speak to any human today then she came to her people carrying him they said O Mary you have done something terrible O sister of Aaron your father was not an evil man and your mother was not a whore so she pointed to him they said how can we speak to an infant in the crib he said I am the servant of God he has given me the scripture and made me a prophet and has made me blessed wherever I may be and has enjoined on me prayer and charity so long as I live and kind to my mother and he did not make me a disobedient rebel so peace is upon me the day I was born and the day I die and the day I get resurrected alive that is Jesus son of Mary the word of truth about which they doubt it is not for God to have a child glory be to him to have anything done he says to it be and it becomes God is my Lord and your Lord so worship him that is a straight path but the various factions differed among themselves so woe to those who disbelieve from the scene of a tremendous day listen to them and watch for them the day they come to us but the wrongdoers today are completely lost page mary mariam and warn them of the day of regret when the matter will be concluded yet they are heedless and they do not believe it is we who will inherit the earth and everyone on it and to us they will be returned and mention in the scripture abraham he was a Man of truth the prophet he said to his father O my father why do you worship what can neither hear nor see nor benefit you in any way O my father there has come to me knowledge that never came to you so follow me and I will guide you along a straight way O my father do not worship the devil the devil is disobedient to the most gracious O my father I fear that a punishment from the most gracious will afflict you and you become an ally of the devil he said are you renouncing my gods oh. Abraham if you do not desist I will stone you so leave me alone for a while he said peace be upon you I will ask my lord to forgive you he has been kind to me and I will withdraw from you and from what you pray to instead of God and I will pray to my lord and I hope I will not be disappointed in my prayer to my lord when he withdrew from them and from what they worship besides God we granted him Isaac and Jacob and each we made a prophet and we gave them freely of our mercy and gave them a noble reputation of truth and mention in the scripture Moses he was dedicated he was a messenger and a prophet page Mary Mariam and we called him from the right side of the mount and brought him near in communion and we granted him out of our mercy his brother Aaron a prophet and mention in the scripture Ishmael he was true to his promise and was a messenger a prophet and he used to enjoin on his people prayer and charity and he was pleasing to his lord and mention in the scripture. Enoch he was a man of truth a prophet and we raised him to a high position these are some of the prophets God has blessed from the descendants of Adam and from those we carried with Noah and from the descendants of Abraham and Israel and from those we guided and selected whenever the revelations of the most gracious are recited to them they would fall down prostrating and weeping but they were succeeded by generations who lost the prayers and followed their appetites they will meet perdition. Except for those who repent and believe and act righteously these will enter paradise and will not be wronged in the least the gardens of Eden promised by the most merciful to his servants in the unseen his promise will certainly come true they will hear no nonsense therein but only peace and they will have their provision therein morning and evening such is paradise which we will give as inheritance to those of our servants who are devout we do not descend except by the command of your Lord his is what is before us and what is behind us and what is between them your Lord is never forgetful page Mary Mariam Lord of the heavens and the earth and what is between them so worship him and persevere in his service do you know of anyone equal to him and the human being says when I am dead will I be brought back alive does the human being not remember that we created him before when he was nothing by your Lord we will round them up and the devils then we will bring them around hell on their knees then out of every sect we will snatch those most defiant to the most merciful we are fully aware of those most deserving to scorch in it there is not one of you but will go down to it this has been an unavoidable decree of your lord then we will rescue those who were devout and leave the wrongdoers in it on their knees when our clear revelations are recited to them those who disbelieve say to those who believe which of the two parties is better in position and 
superior in influence how many a generation have we destroyed before them who surpassed them in riches and splendor say whoever is in error the most merciful will lead him on until when they see what they were promised either the punishment or the hour then they will know who was in worse position and weaker in forces God increases in guidance those who accept guidance and the things that endure the righteous deeds have the best reward with your Lord and the best outcome page Mary. Mariam have you seen him who denied our revelations and said I will be given wealth and children did he look into the future or did he receive a promise from the most merciful no indeed we will write what he says and will keep extending the agony for him then we will inherit from him what he speaks of and he will come to us alone and they took besides God other gods to be for them a source of strength by no means they will reject their worship of them and become opponents to them have. You not considered how we dispatch the devils against the disbelievers exciting them with incitement so do not hurry against them we are counting for them a countdown on the day when we will gather the righteous to the most merciful as guests and herd the sinners into hell like animals to water they will have no power of intercession except for someone who has an agreement with the most merciful and they say the most merciful has begotten a son you have come up with something monstrous at which the heavens almost rupture and the earth splits and the mountains fall and crumble because they attribute a son to the most merciful it is not fitting for the most merciful to have a son page Mary Mariam there is none in the heavens and the earth but will come to the most merciful as a servant he has enumerated them and counted them one by one and each one of them will come to him on the day of resurrection alone those who believe and do righteous deeds the most merciful will give them love we made it easy in your tongue in order to deliver good news to the righteous and to warn with it a hostile people how many a generation have we destroyed before them can you feel a single one of them or hear from them the slightest whisper taha taha in the name of god the gracious the merciful taha we did not reveal the quran to you to make you suffer but only as a reminder for him who fears a revelation from he who created the earth and the high heavens the most merciful on the throne he settled to him belongs everything in the heavens and the earth and everything between them and everything beneath the soil if you speak aloud he knows the secret and the most hidden god there is no god but he has are the most beautiful names has the story of moses reached you page taha taha when he saw a fire he said to his family stay i have noticed a fire perhaps i can bring you a torch therefrom or find some guidance by the fire then when he reached it he was called O Moses I I am your Lord take off your shoes you are in the sacred valley of Tuwa I have chosen you so listen to what is revealed I I am God there is no God but I so serve me and practice the prayer for my remembrance the hour is coming but I keep it almost hidden so that each soul will be paid for what it endeavors and do not let him who denies it and follows his desire turn you away from it lest you fall and what is that in your right hand O Moses he said this is my staff I lean on it and herd my sheep with it and I have other uses for it he said throw it O Moses so he threw it thereupon it became a moving serpent he said take hold of it and do not fear we will restore it to its original condition and press your hand to your side it will come out white without a blemish another sign that we may show you some of our greatest signs go to Pharaoh he has transgressed he said my lord put my heart at peace for me and ease my task for me and untie the knot from my tongue page taha taha so they can understand my speech and appoint an assistant for me from my family Aaron my brother strengthen me with him and have him share in my mission that we may glorify you much and remember you much you are always watching over us he said you are granted your request O Moses we had favored you another time when we inspired your mother with the inspiration put him in the chest then cast him into the river the river will wash him too. Sure where an enemy of mine and an enemy of his will pick him up and I have bestowed upon you love from me so that you may be reared before my eye when your sister walked along and said shall I tell you about someone who will take care of him so we returned you to your mother that she may be comforted and not sorrow and you killed a person but we saved you from stress and we tested you thoroughly and you stayed years among the people of Median then you came back as ordained O Moses and I made you for myself go you and your brother with my signs and do not neglect my remembrance go to pharaoh he has tyrannized but speak to him nicely perhaps he will remember or have some fear page taha taha they said lord we fear he may persecute us or become violent he said do not fear i am with you i hear and i see approach him and say we are the messengers of your lord so let the children of israel go with us and do not torment them we bring you a sign from your lord and peace be upon him who follows guidance it was revealed to us that the punishment falls upon him who disbelieves and turns away he said who is your lord O Moses he said our lord is he who gave everything its existence then guided it he said what about the first generations he said knowledge thereof is with my lord in a book my lord never errs nor does he forget he who made the earth a habitat for you and traced in it roots for you and sent down water from the sky with which we produce. Pairs of diverse plants eat and pasture your livestock in that are signs for those with understanding from it we created you and into it we will return you and from it we will bring you out another time we showed him our signs all of them but he denied and refused he said did you come to us to drive us out of our land with your magic O Moses we will produce for you magic like it so make an appointment between us and you which we will not miss neither us nor you in a central place page. 
Taha Taha he said your appointment is the day of the festival so let the people be gathered together at mid-morning Pharaoh turned away put together his plan and then came back Moses said to them woe to you do not fabricate lies against God or he will destroy you with a punishment he who invents lies will fail they disagreed among themselves over their affair and conferred secretly they said these two are magicians who want to drive you out of your land with their magic and to abolish your exemplary way of life so settle your plan and come as one front today whoever gains the upper hand will succeed they said oh Moses either you throw or we will be the first to throw he said you throw and suddenly their ropes and sticks appeared to him because of their magic to be crawling swiftly so Moses felt apprehensive within himself we said do not be afraid you are the uppermost now throw down what is in your right hand it will swallow what they have crafted what they have crafted is only a magician's trickery but the magician will not succeed no matter what he does and the magicians fell down prostrate they said we have believed in the Lord of Aaron and Moses he said did you believe in him before I have given you permission he must be your chief who has taught you magic I will cut off your hands and your feet on alternate sides and I will crucify page taha taha you on the trunks of the palm trees then you will know which of us is more severe. In punishment and more lasting they said we will not prefer you to the proofs that have come to us and him who created us so issue whatever judgment you wish to issue you can only rule in this lowly life we have believed in our Lord so that he may forgive us our sins and the magic you have compelled us to practice God is better and more lasting whoever comes to his Lord guilty for him is hell where he neither dies nor lives but whoever comes to him a believer having worked righteousness. These will have the highest ranks the gardens of perpetuity beneath which rivers flow dwelling therein forever that is the reward for him who purifies himself and we inspired Moses travel by night with my servants and strike for them a dry path across the sea not fearing being overtaken nor worrying Pharaoh pursued them with his troops but the sea overwhelmed them and completely engulfed them Pharaoh misled his people and did not guide them O children of Israel we have delivered you from your enemy and promised you by the right side of the mount and sent down to you manna and quails eat of the good things we have provided for you but do not be excessive therein lest my wrath descends upon you he upon whom my wrath descends has fallen and I am forgiving towards him who repents believes acts righteously and then remains guided and what made you rush ahead of your people O Moses page taha taha he said they are following in my footsteps and I hurried on to you my lord that you may be pleased he said we have tested your people in your absence and the samurai and misled them so Moses returned to his people angry and disappointed he said oh my people did your lord not promise you a good promise was the time too long for you or did you want wrath from your lord to descend upon you so you broke your promise to me they said we did not break our promise to you by our choice but we were made to carry loads of the people's ornaments and we cast them in that was what the samurai suggested so he produced for them a calf a mere body which load and they said this is your god and the god of moses but he has forgotten did they not see that it cannot return a word to them and has no power to harm them or benefit them aaron had said to them before oh my people you are being tested by this and your lord is the merciful so follow me and obey my command they said we will not give up our devotion to it until moses returns to us he said oh aaron what prevented you when you saw them going astray from following me did you disobey my command he said son of my mother do not seize me by my beard or my head I feared you would say you have caused division among the children of Israel and did not regard my word he said what do you have to say O samurai and page taha taha he said I saw what they did not see so I grasped a handful from the messengers traces and I flung it away thus my soul prompted me he said begone your lot in this Life is to say no contact and you have an appointment that you will not miss now look at your God that you remain devoted to we will burn it up and then blow it away into the sea as powder surely your God is God the one besides whom there is no other God he comprehends everything in knowledge thus we narrate to you reports of times gone by and we have given you a message from our presence whoever turns away from it will carry on the day of resurrection a burden abiding therein forever. And wretched is their burden on the day of resurrection on the day when the trumpet is blown we will gather the sinners on that day blue murmuring among themselves you have lingered only for ten we are fully aware of what they say when the most exemplary of them in conduct will say you have lingered only a day and they ask you about the mountains say my lord will crumble them utterly and leave them desolate waste you will see in them neither crookedness nor deviation on that day. They will follow the caller without any deviation voices will be hushed before the merciful and you will hear nothing but murmur on that day intercession will not avail except for him permitted by the merciful and whose words he has approved page taha taha he knows what is before them and what is behind them and they cannot comprehend him in their knowledge faces will be humbled before the living the eternal whoever carries injustice will despair but whoever has done righteous deeds while being a believer will fear neither injustice nor grievance thus we have revealed it in Arabic Quran and we have diversified the warnings in it that perhaps they would become righteous or it may produce a lesson for them exalted is God the true king do not be hasty with the Quran before its inspiration to you is concluded and say my lord increase me in knowledge and we covenanted with Adam before but he forgot and we found in him no resolve and when we said to the angels bow down to 
Adam they bowed down except for Satan he refused we said oh Adam this is an enemy to you and to your wife so do not let him make you leave the garden for then you will suffer in it you will never go hungry nor be naked nor will you be thirsty in it nor will you swelter but Satan whispered to him he said oh Adam shall I show you the tree of immortality and a kingdom that never decays and so they ate from it whereupon their bodies became visible to them and they started covering themselves with the leaves of the garden thus Adam disobeyed his lord and fell but then his lord recalled him and pardoned him and guided him page taha taha he said go down from it altogether some of you enemies of some others but whenever guidance comes to you from me whoever follows my guidance will not go astray nor suffer but whoever turns away from my reminder for him is a confined life and we will raise him on the day of resurrection blind he will say my lord why did you raise me blind though I was seeing he will say just as our revelations came to you and you forgot them today you will be forgotten thus we recompense him who transgresses and does not believe in the revelations of his lord the punishment of the hereafter is more severe and more lasting is it not instructive to them how many generations before them we destroyed in whose settlements they walk surely in that are signs for people of understanding were it not for a word that issued from your lord. The inevitable would have happened but there is an appointed term so bear patiently what they say and celebrate the praises of your Lord before the rising of the sun and before its setting and during the hours of the night glorify him and at the borders of the day that you may be satisfied and do not extend your glance towards what we have given some classes of them to enjoy the splendor of the life of this world that we may test them thereby your Lord's provision is better and more lasting and exhort your people to pray and patiently adhere to it we ask of you no sustenance but it is we who sustain you the good ending is that for righteousness page taha taha and they say why does he not bring us a miracle from his lord were they not given enough miracles in the former scriptures had we destroyed them with a punishment before him they would have said our lord if only you had sent us a messenger we would have followed your revelations before we were humiliated and Disgrace say everybody is waiting so wait you will know who the people of the straight path are and who is rightly guided the prophets Alan by Yah in the name of God the gracious the merciful mankind's reckoning has drawn near but they turn away heedlessly no fresh reminder comes to them from their Lord but they listen to it playfully their hearts distracted the wrongdoers confer secretly is this anything but a mortal like you will you take to sorcery with open eyes he said my Lord knows what is said in the heaven and the earth and he is the hearer the knower and they said a jumble of dreams and he made it up and he is a poet let him bring us a sign like those sent to the ancients none of the towns we destroyed before them had believed will they then believe we did not send before you except men whom we inspired ask the people of knowledge if you do not know page the prophets alan by yah we did not make them mere bodies that ate no food nor were they immortal then we fulfilled our promise to them and we saved them together with whomever we willed and we destroyed the extravagant we have sent down to you a book containing your message do you not understand how many a guilty town have we crushed and established thereafter another people then when they sensed our might they started running away from it do not run but come back to your luxuries and to your homes that you may be questioned they said woe to us we were unfair this continued to be. Their cry until we made them silent ashes we did not create the sky and the earth and what is between them for amusement if we wanted amusement we could have found it within us were we to do so in fact we hurl the truth against falsehood and it crushes it so it vanishes woe unto you for what you describe to him belongs everyone in the heavens and the earth those near him are not too proud to worship him nor do they waver they praise night and day without ever tiring or have they taken to themselves gods from the earth who resurrect if there were in them gods other than god they would have gone to ruin so glory be to god lord of the throne beyond what they allege page the prophets alan by yah he will not be questioned about what he does but they will be questioned or have they taken besides him other gods say bring your proof this is a message for those with me and a message of those before me but most of them do not know the truth so they turn away we never sent a messenger before you without inspiring him that there is no god but i so worship me and they say the most merciful has taken to himself a son be he glorified they are but honored servants they never speak before he has spoken and they only act on his command he knows what is before them and what is behind them and they do not intercede except for him whom he approves and they tremble in awe of him and whoever of them says i am a god besides him we will reward him with hell thus we Reward the wrongdoers do the disbelievers not see that the heavens and the earth were one mass and we tore them apart and we made from water every living thing will they not believe and we placed on earth stabilizers lest it sways with them and we placed therein signposts and passages that they may be guided and we made the sky a protected ceiling yet they turn away from its wonders it is he who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon each floating in an orbit we did not. Grant immortality to any human being before you should you die are they then the immortal page the prophets Alan by Yah every soul will taste death we burden you with adversity and prosperity a test and to us you will be returned when those who disbelieve see you they treat you only with ridicule is this the one who mentions your gods and they reject the mention of the merciful the human being was created of haste I will show you my signs so do not seek to rush me and they say when will. This promise come true if you are truthful if those who disbelieve only knew when they cannot keep the fire off their faces and off their backs and they will not be helped in fact it will come upon them suddenly and bewilder them they will not be able to repel it and they will not be reprieved messengers before you were also ridiculed but those who jeered were surrounded by what they had ridiculed say who guards you against the merciful by night and by day but they turn away from the 
mention of their Lord or do they have gods who can defend them against us they cannot help themselves nor will they be protected from us we have given these enjoyments and their ancestors until time grew long upon them do they not see how we gradually reduce the land from its extremities are they then the victors say I am warning you through inspiration but the deaf cannot hear the call when they are being warned and when a breath of your Lord's punishment touches them they say woe to us. We were truly wicked we will set up the scales of justice for the day of resurrection so that no soul will suffer the least injustice and even if it be the page the prophets alan by Yah weight of a mustard seed we will bring it up sufficient are we as reckoners we gave Moses and Aaron the criterion and illumination and a reminder for the righteous those who fear their Lord in private and are apprehensive of the hour this too is a blessed message that we revealed are you going to deny it? We gave Abraham his integrity formerly and we knew him well when he said to his father and his people what are these statues to which you are devoted they said we found our parents worshipping them he said you and your parents are in evident error they said are you telling us the truth or are you just playing he said your lord is the lord of the heavens and the earth the one who created them and I bear witness to that by God I will have a plan for your statues after you have gone away so he reduced them into pieces except for their biggest that they may return to it they said who did this to our gods he is certainly one of the wrongdoers they said we heard a youth mentioning them he is called Abraham they said bring him before the eyes of the people so that they may witness they said are you the one who did this to our gods O Abraham page the prophets Alan by Yah he said but it was this biggest of them that did it ask them if they can speak then they turned to one another and said you yourselves are the wrongdoers but they reverted to their old ideas you certainly know that these do not speak he said do you worship instead of God what can neither benefit you in anything nor harm you fie on you and on what you worship instead of God do you not understand they said burn him and support your gods if you are going to act we said oh fire be coolness and safety upon Abraham they planned to harm him but we made them the worst losers and we delivered him and lot to the land that we blessed for all people and we granted him Isaac and Jacob as a gift and each we made righteous and we made them leaders guiding by our command and we inspired them to do good works and to observe the prayer and to give out charity they were devoted servants to us and lot we gave him judgment and knowledge and we delivered him from the town that practiced the abominations they were wicked and perverted people and we admitted him into our mercy. For he was one of the righteous and Noah when he called before so we answered him and delivered him and his family from the great disaster page the prophets Alan by Yah and we supported him against the people who rejected our signs they were an evil people so we drowned them all and David and Solomon when they gave judgment in the case of the field when some people's sheep wandered therein by night and we were witnesses to their judgment and so we made Solomon understand it and to each we gave wisdom and knowledge and we subjected the mountains along with David to sing our praises and the birds as well surely we did and we taught him the making of shields for you to protect you from your violence are you then appreciative and to Solomon the stormy wind blowing at his command towards the land that we have blessed we are aware of everything and of the devils were some that dived for him and performed other lesser tasks but we kept them restrained and job when he cried out to his Lord great harm has afflicted me and you are the most merciful of the merciful so we answered him lifted his suffering and restored his family to him and their like with the may mercy from us and a reminder for the worshippers and Ishmael and Enoch and Ezekiel each was one of the steadfast and we admitted them into our mercy they were among the righteous and Jonah when he stormed out in fury thinking we had no power over him but then he cried out in the darkness there is no God but you. Glory to you I was one of the wrongdoers so we answered him and saved him from the affliction thus we save the faithful page the prophets Alan by Yah and Zechariah when he called out to his Lord my Lord do not leave me alone even though you are the best of heirs so we answered him and gave him John and we cured his wife for him they used to be in doing righteous deeds and used to call on us in love and awe and they used to humble themselves to us and she who guarded her virginity we breathed into her of our spirit and made her and her son assigned to the world this community of yours is one community and I am your Lord so worship me but they splintered themselves into factions they will all return to us whoever does righteous deeds and is a believer his effort will not be denied we are writing it down for him there is a ban on the town that we had destroyed that they will not return until when Gog and Magog are let loose and they swarm down from every mound the promise of truth has drawn near the eyes of those who disbelieved will stare in horror woe to us we were oblivious to this in fact we were wrongdoers you and what you worship besides God are fuel for hell you will descend into it had these been gods they would not have descended into it all will abide in it in it they will wail in it they will not hear as for those who deserve goodness from us these will be kept away from it they will not hear its hissing and they will forever abide in what their hearts desire page the prophets Alan by Yah the supreme fear will not worry them and the angels will receive them this is your day which you were promised on the day when we fold the heaven like the folding of a book just as we began the first creation we will repeat it a promise binding on us we will act we have written in the Psalms after the reminder that the earth will be inherited by my righteous servants indeed in this is a message for people who worship we did not send you except as mercy to mankind say it is revealed to me that your God is one God are you going to submit but if they turn away say I have informed you sufficiently although I do not know whether what you are promised is near or far he knows what is said openly and he knows what you conceal and I do not know whether it is perhaps a trial for you and an enjoyment for a while he said my Lord judge with justice and our Lord is the gracious whose help is sought against what you allege 
The pilgrimage al Hajj in the name of God the Gracious the Merciful O people be conscious of your Lord the quaking of the hour is a tremendous thing on the day when you will see it every nursing mother will discard her infant and every pregnant woman will abort her load and you will see the people drunk even though they are not drunk but the punishment of God is severe page the pilgrimage al Hajj among the people is he who argues about God without knowledge and follows every defiant devil. It was decreed for him that whoever follows him he will misguide him and lead him to the torment of the blaze. O people if you are in doubt about the resurrection we created you from dust then from a small drop then from a clinging clot then from a lump of flesh partly developed and partly undeveloped in order to clarify things for you and we settle in the wombs whatever we will for a designated term and then we bring you out as infants until you reach your full strength and some of you will pass away and some of you will be returned to the vilest age so that he may not know after having known and you see the earth still but when we send down water on it it vibrates and swells and grows all kinds of lovely pears that is because God is the truth and because he gives life to the dead and because he is capable of everything and because the hour is coming there is no doubt about it and because God will resurrect those in the graves and among the people is he who argues about God. Without knowledge or guidance or an enlightening scripture turning aside in contempt to lead away from the path of God he will have humiliation in this world and on the day of resurrection we will make him taste the agony of burning that is for what your hands have advanced and because God is not unjust to the servants and among the people is he who worships God on edge when something good comes his way he is content with it but when an ordeal strikes him he makes a turn around he loses this world and the next that is the obvious loss he invokes instead of God what can neither harm him nor benefit him that is the far straying page the pilgrimage al Hajj. he invokes one whose harm is closer than his benefit what a miserable master what a miserable companion God will admit those who believe and do righteous deeds into gardens beneath which rivers flow God does whatever he wills whoever thinks that God will not help him in this life and in the hereafter let him turn to heaven then sever and see if his cunning eliminates what enrages him thus we revealed it as clarifying signs and God guides whomever he wills those who believe and those who are Jewish and the Sabaeans and the Christians and the Zoroastrians and the polytheists God will judge between them on the day of resurrection God is witness to all things do you not realize that to God prostrates everyone in the heavens and everyone on earth and the sun and the moon and the stars and the mountains and the trees and the animals and many of the people but many are justly deserving of punishment whomever God shames there is none to honor him God does whatever he wills here are two adversaries feuding regarding their Lord as for those who disbelieve garments of fire will be tailored for them and scalding water will be poured over their heads melting their insides and their skins and they will have maces of iron whenever they try to escape the gloom they will be driven back to it taste the suffering of burning but God will admit those who believe and do good deeds into gardens beneath which rivers flow they will be decorated therein with bracelets of gold and pearls and their garments therein will be of silk page the pilgrimage al Hajj. they were guided to purity of speech they were guided to the path of the most praised as for those who disbelieve and repel from God's path and from the sacred mosque which we have designated for all mankind equally whether residing therein or passing through and seek to commit sacrilege therein we will make him taste of a painful punishment we showed Abraham the location of the house do not associate anything with me and purify my house for those who circle around and those who stand to pray and those who kneel and prostrate and announce the pilgrimage to humanity they will come to you on foot and on every transport they will come from every distant point that they may witness the benefits for themselves and celebrate the name of God. During the appointed days for providing them with the animal livestock so eat from it and feed the unfortunate poor then let them perform their acts of cleansing and fulfill their vows and circle around the ancient house all that whoever venerates the sanctities of God it is good for him with his lord all livestock are permitted to you except what is recited to you so stay away from the abomination of idols and stay away from perjury being true to God without associating anything with him. Whoever associates anything with God it is as though he has fallen from the sky and is snatched by the birds or is swept away by the wind to a distant abyss so it is whoever venerates the sacraments of God it is from the piety of the hearts page the pilgrimage al Hajj in them are benefits for you until a certain time then their place is by the ancient house we have appointed a right for every nation that they may commemorate God's name over the livestock he has provided for them your God is. One God so to him submit and announce good news to the humble those whose hearts tremble when God is mentioned and those who endure what has befallen them and those who perform the prayer and spend from what we have provided for them we have made the animal offerings emblems of God for you in them is goodness for you so pronounce God's name upon them as they line up then when they have fallen on their sides eat of them and feed the contented and the beggar thus we have subjected them to you. That you may be thankful neither their flesh nor their blood ever reaches God what reaches him is the righteousness from you thus he subdued them to you that you may glorify God for guiding you and give good news to the charitable God defends those who believe God does not love any ungrateful traitor permission is given to those who are fought against and God is able to give them victory those who were unjustly evicted from their homes merely for saying our Lord is God were it not that. 
God repels people by means of others monasteries churches synagogues and mosques where the name of God is mentioned much would have been demolished God supports whoever supports him God is strong and mighty those who when we empower them in the land observe the prayer and give regular charity and command what is right and forbid what is wrong to God belongs the outcome of events page the pilgrimage al Hajj. if they deny you before them the people of Noah and Ayat and Tamud also denied and the people of Abraham and the people of Lot and the inhabitants of Median and Moses was denied then I reprieved those who disbelieved but then I seized them so how was my rejection how many a town have we destroyed while it was doing wrong they lie in ruins with still dwells and lofty mansions have they not journeyed in the land and had minds to reason with or ears to listen with it is not the eyes that go blind but it is the hearts within the chests that go blind and they ask you to Hasten the punishment but God never breaks his promise a day with your Lord is like a thousand years of your count how many a town have I reprieved although it was unjust then I seized it to me is the destination say O people I am only a plain warner to you those who believe and work righteousness for them is forgiveness and a generous provision but those who strive against our revelations these are the inmates of hell we never sent a messenger before you or a prophet but when he had a Desire Satan interfered in his wishes but God nullifies what Satan interjects and God affirms his revelations God is omniscient and wise in order to make Satan's suggestions a trial for those whose hearts are diseased and those whose hearts are hardened the wrongdoers are in profound discord page the pilgrimage al Hajj, and so that those endowed with knowledge may know that it is the truth from your Lord and so believe in it and their hearts soften to it God guides those who believe to a straight path those who disbelieve will continue to be hesitant about it until the hour comes upon them suddenly or there comes to them the torment of a desolate day sovereignty on that day belongs to god he will judge between them those who believe and do good deeds will be in the gardens of bliss but those who disbelieve and reject our revelations these will have a humiliating punishment those who emigrate in god's cause then get killed or die god will provide them with fine provisions God is the best of providers he will admit them an admittance that will please them God is knowing and clement that is so whoever retaliates similarly to the affliction he was made to suffer and then he is wronged again God will definitely assist him God is pardoning and forgiving that is because God merges the night into the day and he merges the day into the night and because God is hearing and seeing that is because God is the reality and what they invoke besides him is vanity and because God is the sublime the grand do you not see that God sends down water from the sky and the land becomes green God is kind and aware to him belongs everything in the heavens and everything on earth God is the rich the praise do you not see that God made everything on earth subservient to you how the ships sail at sea by his command that he holds up page the pilgrimage al hatch the sky lest it falls on earth except by his permission God is gracious towards the people most merciful and it is he who gives you life then makes you die then revives you the human being is unappreciative for every congregation we have appointed acts of devotion which they observe so do not let them dispute with you in this matter and invite to your lord you are upon a straight guidance but if they dispute with you say god is fully aware of what you do god will judge between you on the day of resurrection regarding what you disagree about do you not know that god knows everything in the heavens and the earth this is in a book that is easy for god yet they worship besides god things for which he sent down no warrant and what they have no knowledge of there is no savior for the transgressors and when our clear verses are recited to them you will recognize disgust on the faces of those who disbelieve they nearly assault those who recite to them our verses say shall i inform you of something worse than that the fire god has promised it to those who disbelieve and what a Wretched outcome O people a parable is presented so listen to it those you invoke besides God will never create a fly even if they banded together for that purpose and if the fly steals anything from them they cannot recover it from it weak are the pursuer and the pursued they do not value God as he should be valued God is strong and powerful God chooses messengers from among the angels and from among the people God is hearing and seeing page the pilgrimage al Hajj. he knows what is before them and what is behind them to God all matters are referred O you who believe kneel and prostrate and worship your Lord and do good deeds so that you may succeed and strive for God with the striving due to him he has chosen you and has not burdened you in religion the faith of your father Abraham it is he who named you Muslims before and in this so that the messenger may be a witness over you and you may be witnesses over the people so pray regularly and give regular charity and Cleave to God he is your protector what an excellent protector and what an excellent helper the believers al muminun in the name of God the gracious the merciful successful are the believers those who are humble in their prayers those who avoid nonsense those who work for charity those who safeguard their chastity except from their spouses or their dependents for then they are free from blame but whoever seeks anything beyond that these are the transgressors those who are faithful to their trusts and pledges those who safeguard their prayers these are the inheritors who will inherit paradise wherein they will dwell forever we created man from an extract of clay page the believers al muminun then we made him a seed in a secure repository then we developed the seed into a clot then we developed the clot into a lump then we developed the lump into bones then we clothed the bones with flesh then we produced it into another creature most blessed is god the best of 
Creators then after that you will die then on the day of resurrection you will be resurrected we created above you seven pathways and we are never heedless of the creation and we sent down water from the sky in proper quantity and settled it in the ground and we are able to take it away with it we produce for you gardens of palms and vines yielding abundant fruit for you to eat and a tree springing out of Mount Sinai producing oil and seasoning for those who eat and there is a lesson for you in livestock we give you to drink from what is in their bellies and you have many benefits in them and from them you eat and on them and on the ships you are transported we sent Noah to his people he said O oh my people worship God you have no deity other than him will you not take heed but the notables of his people who disbelieved said this is nothing but a human like you who wants to gain superiority over you had God willed he would have sent down angels we never heard of this from our forefathers of old he is nothing but a man possessed just ignore him for a while he said my lord help me for they have rejected me so we inspired him build the ark under our observation and by our inspiration and when our decree comes to pass and the oven page the believers almumine unboils overload into it two pairs of every kind together with your family except those of them against whom the word has already been pronounced and do not speak to me concerning those who did wrong. For they are to be drowned then when you and those with you are settled in the ark say praise be to God who has saved us from the wrongdoing people and say my lord land me with a blessed landing as you are the best of transporters surely in that are signs we are always testing then after them we established another generation and we sent among them a messenger from themselves serve God you have no God other than him will you not be cautious but the dignitaries of his people those who disbelieved and denied the meeting of the hereafter and we had indulged them in the present life said this is nothing but a human like you he eats what you eat and he drinks what you drink if you obey a human being like yourselves then you will be losers does he promise you that when you have died and become dust and bones you will be brought out far-fetched far-fetched is what you are promised there is nothing but our life in this world we die and we live and we are not resurrected he is nothing but a man making up lies about God we have no faith in him he said my lord help me for they have rejected me he said soon they will be filled with regret then the blast struck them justifiably and we turned them into scum so away with the wicked people page the believers almumine on then after them we raised other generations no nation can advance its time nor can they postpone it then we sent our messengers in succession every time a messenger came to his community they called him a liar so we made them follow one another and made them history so away with the people who do not believe then we sent Moses and his brother Aaron with our signs and a clear authority to Pharaoh and his nobles but they turned arrogant they were oppressive people they said are we to believe in two mortals like us and their people are our slaves so they called them liars and thus were among those destroyed and we gave Moses the scripture that they may be guided and we made Mary's son and his mother a sign and we sheltered them on high ground with security and flowing springs O messengers eat of the good things and act with integrity I am aware of what you do this nation of yours is one nation and I am your lord so fear me but they tore themselves into sex each party happy with what they have so leave them in their bewilderment until a time do they assume that in furnishing them with wealth and children we race to give them the good things in fact they have no idea those who from awe of their Lord are fearful and those who believe in their Lord's verses page the believers Almuminon and those who associate no partners with their Lord and those who give what they give while their hearts quake knowing that to their Lord they will return it is they who race towards goodness it is they who will reach it first we never burden any soul beyond its capacity and with us is a record that tells the truth and they will not be wronged but their hearts are puzzled because of this and they have deeds that do not conform to this which they continue to perpetrate until when we seize the decadent among them with torment they begin to groan do not groan today you will receive no help from us my verses were recited to you but you turned back on your heels arrogant towards it talked nonsense about it disregarded it have they not pondered the word or has there come to them what came not to their forefathers of old or is it that they did not recognize their messenger so they are denying him or do they say he is possessed in fact he brought them the truth but most of them hate the truth if the truth conformed to their desires the heavens the earth and everyone in them would have gone to ruin in fact we have given them their message but they keep avoiding their message or are you asking them for a payment the revenue from your lord is better and he is the best of providers you are inviting them to a straight path page the Believers Almuminon but those who do not believe in the hereafter are swerving from the path even if we had mercy on them and relieved their problems they would still blindly persist in their defiance we have already gripped them with suffering but they did not surrender to their lord nor did they humble themselves until when we have opened before them a gate of intense agony at once they will despair it is he who produced for you the hearing and the eyesight and the feelings but little gratitude you show and it is he who multiplied you on earth and to him you will be gathered and it is he who gives life and brings death and to him is the alternation of night and day do you not understand but they say the like of what the ancients said they say after we have died and become dust and bones will we be resurrected we were promised this before we and our ancestors these are nothing but legends of the ancients say to whom does the earth belong and everyone in it if you happen to know they will say to God say will you not reflect say who is the Lord of the seven heavens and Lord of the splendid throne they will say to God say will you not become righteous say in whose hand is the dominion of all things and he protects and cannot be protected from if you happen to know they will say to God say then are you bewitched page the believers Almuminon in fact we have given them the truth and they are liars God has never begotten a son nor 
Is there any god besides him otherwise each god would have taken away what it has created and some of them would have gained supremacy over others glory be to god far beyond what they describe the knower of the hidden and the manifest he is exalted far above what they associate say my lord if you would show me what they are promised my lord do not place me among the wicked people we are surely able to show you what we promise them repel evil by what is better we are aware of what they Describe and say my lord I seek refuge with you from the urgings of the devils and I seek refuge with you my lord lest they become present until when death comes to one of them he says my lord send me back that I may do right in what I have neglected by no means it is just a word that he utters and behind them is a barrier until the day they are resurrected when the horn is blown no relations between them will exist on that day and they will not ask after one another those whose Scales are heavy those are the successful but those whose scales are light those are they who have lost their souls in hell they will dwell forever the fire lashes their faces and therein they grimace were not my revelations recited to you and you kept on rejecting them page the believers al muminon they will say our lord our wretchedness prevailed over us and we were a people astray our lord bring us out of this if we ever returned we would truly be evil he will say be despised therein and do not speak to me there was a group of my servants who would say our lord we have believed so forgive us and have mercy on us you are the best of the merciful but you made then a target of ridicule until they made you forget my remembrance and you used to laugh at them today i have rewarded them for their endurance they are the ones who are the triumphant he will say how many years did you remain on earth they will say we remained a day or part of a day but ask those who keep count he will say you remained only for a little while if you only knew did you think that we created you in vain and that to us you will not be returned so exalted is god the ruler the real there is no god except he the lord of the noble throne whoever invokes another god besides god he has no proof thereof his reckoning rests with his lord the disbelievers will not succeed and say my lord forgive and have mercy for you are the best of the merciful page the light and the Lightener in the name of God the gracious the merciful a chapter that we have revealed and made obligatory and revealed in it clear verses that you may take heed the adulteress and the adulterer whip each one of them a hundred lashes and let no pity towards them overcome you regarding God's law if you believe in God and the last day and let a group of believers witness their punishment the adulterer shall marry none but an adulteress or an idolatrous and the adulteress shall marry none. But an adulterer or an idolater that has been prohibited for the believers those who accuse chaste women then cannot bring four witnesses whip them eighty lashes and do not ever accept their testimony for these are the immoral except for those who repent afterwards and reform for God is forgiving and merciful as for those who accuse their own spouses but have no witnesses except themselves the testimony of one of them is equivalent to four testimonies if he swears by God that he is truthful. And the fifth time that God's curse be upon him if he is a liar but punishment shall be averted from her if she swears four times by God that he is a liar and the fifth time that God's wrath be upon her if he is truthful were it not for God's grace upon you and his mercy and that God is conciliatory and wise those who perpetrated the slander are a band of you do not consider it bad for you but it is good for you each person among them bears his share in the sin as for him who played the Major role for him is a terrible punishment page the lightener why when you heard about it the believing men and women did not think well of one another and say this is an obvious lie why did they not bring four witnesses to testify to it if they fail to bring the witnesses then in God's sight they are liars were it not for God's favor upon you and his mercy in this world and the hereafter you would have suffered a great punishment for what you have ventured into when you rumored it with your tongues and spoke with your mouths what you had no knowledge of and you considered it trivial but according to God it is serious when you heard it you should have said it is not for us to repeat this by your glory this is a serious slander God cautions you never to return to the like of it if you are believers God explains the verses to you God is knowing and wise those who love to see immorality spread among the believers for them is a painful punishment in this life and in the Hereafter God knows and you do not know were it not for God's grace upon you and his mercy and that God is clement and merciful O you who believe do not follow Satan's footsteps whoever follows Satan's footsteps he advocates obscenity and immorality were it not for God's grace towards you and his mercy not one of you would have been pure ever but God purifies whomever he wills God is all hearing all knowing those of you who have affluence and means should not refuse to give to the relatives and the needy and the emigrants for the sake of God and let them pardon and let them overlook do you not love for God to pardon you God is all forgiving most merciful page the light and those who slander honorable innocent believing women are cursed in this life and in the hereafter they will have a terrible punishment on the day when their tongues and their hands and their feet will testify against them regarding what they used to do on that day God will pay them their account in full and they will know that God is the evident reality bad women are for bad men and bad men are for bad women and good women are for good men and good men are for good women those are acquitted of what they say there is forgiveness for them and a generous provision oh you who believe do not enter homes other than your own until you have asked permission and greeted their occupants that is better for you that you may be aware and if you find no one in them do not enter them until you are given permission and if it is said to you turn back then turn back that is more proper for you God is aware of what you do there is no blame on you for entering uninhabited houses in which are belongings of yours God knows what you reveal and what you conceal tell the believing men to restrain their looks and to guard their privates that is purer for them God is cognizant of what they do and tell the believing women to restrain their looks and to guard their privates and not display their beauty.
except what is apparent thereof and to draw their coverings over their breasts and not expose their beauty except to their husbands their fathers their husbands fathers their sons their husbands sons their brothers their brothers sons their sisters sons their women what their right hands possess their male attendants who have no sexual desires or children who are not yet aware of the nakedness of women and they should not strike their feet to draw attention to page the light and there hidden beauty and repent to God all of you believers so that you may succeed and wed the singles among you and those who are fit among your servants and maids if they are poor God will enrich them from his bounty God is all encompassing all knowing and let those who do not find the means to marry abstain until God enriches them from his bounty if any of your servants wish to be freed grant them their wish if you recognize some good in them and give them of God's wealth which he has given you. And do not compel your girls to prostitution seeking the materials of this life if they desire to remain chaste should anyone compel them after their compulsion God is forgiving and merciful we have sent down to you clarifying revelations and examples of those who passed on before you and advice for the righteous God is the light of the heavens and the earth the allegory of his light is that of a pillar on which is a lamp the lamp is within a glass the glass is like a brilliant planet fueled. By a blessed tree an olive tree neither eastern nor western its oil would almost illuminate even if no fire has touched it light upon light God guides to his light whomever he wills God thus cites the parables for the people God is cognizant of everything in houses which God has permitted to be raised and his name is celebrated therein he is glorified therein morning and evening by men who neither trading nor commerce distracts them from God's remembrance and from performing the prayers and from giving alms they fear a day when hearts and sights are overturned God will reward them according to the best of what they did and he will increase them from his bounty God provides for whomever he wills without reckoning as for those who disbelieve their works are like a mirage in a desert the thirsty assumes it is to be water until when he has paged the light and nor reached it he finds it to be nothing but there he finds God who settles his account in full God is swift in reckoning or like utter darkness in a vast ocean covered by waves above which are waves above which is fog darkness upon darkness if he brings out his hand he will hardly see it he to whom God has not granted a light has no light do you not realize that God is glorified by whatever is in the heavens and the earth and even by the birds in formation each knows its prayer and its manner of praise God knows well what they do to God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and to God is the ultimate. Return have you not seen how God propels the clouds then brings them together then piles them into a heap and you see raindrops emerging from its midst how he brings down loads of hail from the sky striking with it whomever he wills and diverting it from whomever he wills the flash of its lightning almost snatches the sight away God alternates the night and the day and that is a lesson for those who have insight God created every living creature from water some of them crawl on there bellies and some walk on two feet and others walk on four God creates whatever he wills God is capable of everything we sent down enlightening revelations and God guides whomever he wills to a straight path and they say we have believed in God and the messenger and we obey but some of them turn away afterwards these are not believers and when they are called to God and his messenger in order to judge between them some of them refuse page the lightener but if justice is on their side they accept it willingly is there sickness in their hearts or are they suspicious or do they fear that God may do them injustice or his messenger in fact they themselves are the unjust the response of the believers when they are called to God and his messenger in order to judge between them is to say we hear and we obey these are the successful whoever obeys God and his messenger and fears God and is conscious of him these are the winners and they swear by God with their solemn oaths that if you commanded them they would mobilize say do not swear obedience will be recognized God is experienced with what you do say obey God and obey the messenger but if they turn away then he is responsible for his obligations and you are responsible for your obligations and if you obey him you will be guided it is only incumbent on the messenger to deliver the clarifying message God has promised those of you who believe and do righteous deeds that he will make them successors on earth as he made those before them successors and he will establish for them their religion which he has approved for them and he will substitute security in place of their fear they worship me never associating anything with me but whoever disbelieves after that these are the sinners pray regularly and give regular charity and obey the messenger so that you may receive mercy never think that those who disbelieve can escape on earth their place is the fire a miserable destination O oh, you who believe. Permission must be requested by your servants and those of you who have not reached puberty on three occasions before the dawn prayer and at noon when you change page the light and nur your clothes and after the evening prayer these are three occasions of privacy for you at other times it is not wrong for you or them to intermingle with one another God thus clarifies the revelations for you God is knowledgeable and wise when the children among you reach puberty they must ask permission as those before them ask permission God thus clarifies his revelations for you God is knowledgeable and wise women past the age of childbearing who have no desire for marriage commit no wrong by taking off their outer clothing provided they do not flaunt their finery but to maintain modesty is better for them God is hearing and knowing there is no blame on the blind nor any blame on the lame nor any blame on the sick nor on yourselves for eating at your homes or your father's homes or your 
mother's homes or your brother's homes or your sister's homes or the homes of your paternal uncles or the homes of your paternal aunts or the homes of your maternal uncles or the homes of your maternal aunts or those whose keys you own or the homes of your friends you commit no wrong by eating together or separately but when you enter any home greet one another with a greeting from God blessed and good God thus explains the revelations for you so that you may understand the believers are those who believe in God and his messenger and when they are with him for a matter of common interest they do not leave until they have asked him for permission those who ask your permission are those who believe in God and his messenger so when they ask your permission to attend to some affair of theirs give permission to any of them you wish and ask God's forgiveness for them God is forgiving and merciful do not address the messenger in the same manner you address one another God knows those of you who slip away using flimsy page the lightener excuses so let those who oppose his orders beware lest an ordeal strikes them or a painful punishment befalls them surely to God belongs everything in the heavens and the earth he knows what you are about and on the day they are returned to him he will inform them of what they did God has full knowledge of all things the criterion al firkin in the name of God the gracious the merciful blessed is he who sent down the criterion upon his servant to be a warning to humanity he to whom belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth who took to himself no son who never had a partner in his kingship who created everything and determined its measure and yet instead of him they produce for themselves gods that create nothing but are themselves created that have no power to harm or benefit themselves and no power over life death or resurrection those who disbelieve say this is nothing but a lie that he made up and others have helped him at it they have committed an injustice and a perjury and they say tales of the ancients he wrote them down they are dictated to him morning and evening say it was revealed by he who knows the secret in the heavens and the earth he is always forgiving and merciful and they say what sort of messenger is this who eats food and walks in the marketplaces if only an angel was sent down with him to be alongside him a warner page the criterion al firkin or if only a treasure was dropped on him or if only he had a garden from which he eats the evildoers also say you are following but a man under spell look how they invent examples for you they have gone astray and cannot find a way blessed is he who if he wills can provide you with better than that gardens beneath which rivers flow and he will give you palaces in fact they have denied the hour and we have prepared for those who deny the hour a blaze when it sees them from a distant place they will hear it raging and roaring and when they are thrown into it into a tight place shackled they will plead there for death do not plead for one death today but plead for a great many deaths say is this better or the garden of eternity promised to the righteous it is for them a reward and a destination they will have therein whatever they desire forever that is upon your lord a binding promise on the day when he gathers them and what they worship besides god he will say was it you who misled these servants of mine or was it they who lost the way they will say glory be to you it was not for us to take any lords besides you but you gave them enjoyments and their ancestors until they forgot the message and became ruined people they have denied you because of what you say so you can neither avert nor help whoever among you commits injustice we will make him taste a grievous punishment page the criterion al firkin we never sent any messengers before you but they ate food and walked in the marketplaces and we made some of you tempters for one another will you be patient your lord is always observing those who do not expect to meet us say if only the angels were sent down to us or we could see our lord they have grown arrogant within themselves and have become excessively defiant on the day when they see the angels there will be no good news for sinners on that day and they will say a protective refuge we will proceed to the works they did and will turn them into scattered dust the companions of paradise on that day will be better lodged and more fairly accommodated the day when the sky is cleft with clouds and the angels are sent down in streams on that day true sovereignty will belong to the merciful and it will be a difficult day for the disbelievers on that day the wrongdoer will bite his hands and say if only I had followed the way with the messenger oh woe to me I wish I never took so and so for a friend he led me away from the message. After it had come to me for Satan has always been a betrayer of man and the messenger will say my lord my people have abandoned this Quran likewise to every prophet we assign enemies from among the wicked but your lord suffices as a guide and savior those who disbelieve say why was the Quran not revealed to him at once thus in order to strengthen your heart thereby and we revealed it in stages page the criterion al firkin whatever argument they come to you with we provide you with. The truth and a better exposition those who are herded into hell on their faces those are in a worse position and further astray from the way we gave Moses the scripture and appointed his brother Aaron as his assistant we said go to the people who rejected our signs and we destroyed them completely and the people of Noah when they rejected the messengers we drowned them and made them a lesson for mankind we have prepared for the wrongdoers a painful retribution and Ayat and Tamud and the inhabitants of Eris and many generations in between to each we presented the parables and each we devastated utterly and they came upon the city that was drenched by the terrible rain did they not see it but they do not expect resurrection and when they see you they take you for nothing but mockery is this the one God sent as a messenger he nearly led us away from our gods had we not patiently adhered to them but they will know when they witness the torment who is further away from. The way have you seen him who chose his desire as his God would you be an agent for him or do you assume that most of them hear or understand they are just like cattle but even more errant in their way do you not see how your Lord extends the shadow had he willed he could have made it still and we made the sun a pointer to it page the criterion al firkin then we withdraw it towards us gradually and it is he who made the night a covering for you and sleep for rest and he made the day a 
revival and it is he who sends the winds bringing advance news of his mercy and we sent down from the sky pure water to revive dead lands thereby and to provide drink for the multitude of animals and humans we created we have circulated it among them that they may reflect but most people persist in thanklessness had we willed we could have sent to every town a warner so do not obey the disbelievers but strive against them with it a mighty struggle and it is he who merged the two sees this one fresh and sweet and that one salty and bitter and he placed between them a barrier and an impassable boundary and it is he who from fluid created the human being then he made relationships through marriage and mating your lord is omnipotent and yet instead of god they serve what neither profits them nor harms them the disbeliever has always turned his back on his lord we sent you only as a herald of good news and a warner say i ask of you no payment for this only that whoever wills may Take a path to his Lord and put your trust in the living the one who never dies and celebrate his praise he suffices as the all-informed knower of the faults of his creatures he who created the heavens and the earth and everything between them in six days then settled on the throne the most merciful ask about him a well-informed page the criterion al firkin and when it is said to them bow down to the merciful they say and what is the merciful are we to bow down to whatever you command us and it increases their aversion blessed is he who placed constellations in the sky and placed in it a lamp and an illuminating moon and it is he who made the night and the day alternate for whoever desires to reflect or desires to show gratitude the servants of the merciful are those who walk the earth in humility and when the ignorant address them they say peace and those who pass the night prostrating themselves to their lord and standing up and those who say our lord avert from us the suffering of hell for its suffering is continuous it is indeed a miserable residence and destination and those who when they spend are neither wasteful nor stingy but choose a middle course between that and those who do not implore besides God any other God and do not kill the soul which God has made sacred except in the pursuit of justice and do not commit adultery whoever does that will face penalties the punishment will be doubled for him on the day of resurrection and he will dwell therein in humiliation forever except for those who repent and believe and do good deeds these God will replace their bad deeds with good deeds God is ever forgiving and merciful whoever repents and acts righteously has inclined towards God with repentance and those who do not bear false witness and when they come across in chanches they pass by with dignity page the criterion al firkin and those who when reminded of the revelations of their Lord do not fall before them deaf and blind and those who say our Lord grant us delight in our spouses and our children and make us a good example for the righteous those will be awarded the chamber for their patience and will be greeted therein with greetings and peace abiding therein forever it is an excellent residence and destination say what are you to my Lord without your prayers you have denied the truth and the inevitable will happen the poets Ashuera in the name of God the gracious the merciful Tassin Mim. These are the verses of the clarifying book perhaps you will destroy yourself with grief because they do not become believers if we will we can send down upon them a sign from heaven at which their necks will stay bent in humility no fresh reminder comes to them from the most merciful but they turn their backs at it they have denied the truth but soon will come to them the news of what they ridiculed have they not seen the earth and how many beautiful pears we produced therein surely in. This is a sign but most of them are not believers most surely your Lord is the Almighty the merciful your Lord called to Moses go to the tyrannical people page the poets Ashuera the people of Pharaoh will they not fear he said my Lord I fear they will reject me and I become stressed and my tongue is not fluent so send Aaron too and they have a charge against me so I fear they will kill me he said no go both of you with our proofs we will be with you listening go to Pharaoh. And say we are the messengers of the Lord of the worlds let the children of Israel go with us he said did we not raise you among us as a child and you stayed among us for many of your years and you committed that deed you committed and you were ungrateful he said I did it then when I was of those astray and I fled from you when I feared you but my Lord gave me wisdom and made me one of the messengers is that the favor you taught me with although you have enslaved the children of. Israel Pharaoh said and what is the Lord of the worlds he said the Lord of the heavens and the earth and everything between them if you are aware he said to those around him do you not hear he said your Lord and the Lord of your ancestors of old he said this messenger of yours who is sent to you is crazy he said Lord of the east and the west and everything between them if you understand page the poets Ashuera he said if you accept any God other than me I will make you a prisoner he said what if I bring you something convincing he said bring it if you are being truthful so he cast his staff and it was a serpent plain to see and he pulled his hand and it was white for all to see he said to the dignitaries around him this is a skilled magician he intends to drive you out of your land with his magic so what do you recommend they said delay him and his brother and send recruiters to the cities to bring you every experienced magician so the magicians were gathered for the appointment on a specified day and it was said to the people are you all gathered that we may follow the magicians if they are the winners when the magicians arrived they said to pharaoh is there a reward for us if we are the winners he said yes and you will be among those favored moses said to them present what you intend to present so they threw their ropes and their sticks and said by the majesty of pharaoh we will be the winners then moses threw his staff and behold it began swallowing their trickery and the magicians fell down prostrating they said we have believed in the Lord of the worlds the Lord of Moses and Aaron page the poets Ashuera he said did you believe in him before I have given you permission he must be your chief who taught you magic you will soon know I will cut off your hands and feet on opposite sides and I will crucify you all they said no problem to our Lord we will return we are eager for 
our Lord to forgive us our sins since we are the first of the believers and we inspired Moses travel with my servants by night you will be followed Pharaoh sent heralds to the cities these are a small gang and they are enraging us but we are a vigilant multitude so we drove them out of gardens and springs and treasures and noble dwellings so it was and we made the children of Israel inherit them and they pursued them at sunrise when the two groups sighted each other the followers. Of Moses said we are being overtaken he said no my Lord is with me he will guide me we inspired Moses strike the sea with your staff whereupon it parted and each part was like a huge hill and there we brought the others near and we saved Moses and those with him all together then we drowned the others in that there is a sign but most of them are not believers surely your Lord is the Almighty the merciful page the poets Ashuera and relate to them the story of Abraham when he said to his father and his people what do you worship they said we worship idols and we remain devoted to them he said do they hear you when you pray or do they benefit you or harm you they said but we found our ancestors doing so he said have you considered what you worship you and your ancient ancestors they are enemies to me but not so the lord of the worlds he who created me and guides me he who feeds me and waters me and when i get sick he heals me he who makes me die and then revives me he who I hope will forgive my sins on the day of the reckoning my Lord grant me wisdom and include me with the righteous and give me a reputation of truth among the others and make me of the inheritors of the garden of bliss and forgive my father he was one of the misguided and do not disgrace me on the day they are resurrected the day when neither wealth nor children will help except for him who comes to God with a sound heart and paradise will be brought near for the righteous and the blaze will be displayed to the deviators page the poets Ashuera and it will be said to them where are those you used to worship besides God can they help you or help themselves then they will be toppled into it together with the seducers and the soldiers of Satan all of them they will say as they feud in it by God we were in evident error for equating you with the Lord of the worlds no one misled us except the sinners now we have no intercessors and no sincere friend if only we could have another chance we would be among the faithful surely in this is a sign but most of them are not believers your lord is the almighty the merciful the people of noah disbelieved the messengers their brother noah said to them do you not fear i am to you a faithful messenger so fear god and obey me i ask of you no payment for this my payment is only from the lord of the world so fear god and obey me they said shall we believe in you when it is the lowliest who follow you he said what do I know about what they do their account rests only with my lord if you have sense page the poets Ashuera and I am not about to drive away the believers I am only a clear warner they said if you do not refrain O Noah you will be stoned he said my lord my people have denied me so judge between me and them decisively and deliver me and the believers who are with me so we delivered him and those with him in the laden ark then we drown the rest in that is a sign but most of them are not believers your lord is the almighty the merciful ayod disbelieved the messengers when their brother hud said to them do you not fear i am to you a faithful messenger so fear god and obey me i ask of you no payment for this my payment is only from the lord of the worlds do you build a monument on every height for vanity's sake and you set up fortresses hoping to live forever and when you strike you strike mercilessly so fear God and obey me and reverence him who supplied you with everything you know he supplied you with livestock and children and gardens and springs I fear for you the punishment of an awesome day page the poets Ashuera they said it is the same for us whether you lecture us or do not lecture this is nothing but morals of the ancients and we will not be punished so they denied him and we destroyed them surely in this is a sign but most of them are not believers your Lord is the Almighty the merciful Tamud disbelieved the messengers when their brother Sally said to them do you not fear I am to you a faithful messenger so fear God and obey me I ask of you no payment for it my payment is only from the Lord of the worlds will you be left secure in what is here in gardens and springs and fields and palm trees whose fruits are delicious and you skillfully carve houses in the mountains so fear God and obey me and do not obey the command of the extravagant who spread turmoil on earth and do not reform they said you are surely one of the bewitched you are nothing but a man like us so bring us a sign if you are truthful he said this is a she camel she has her turn of drinking and you have your turn of drinking on a specified day and do not touch her with harm lest the punishment of a great day seizes you page the poets ashuera but they slaughtered her and became full of remorse so the punishment overtook them surely in this is a sign but most of them are not believers your Lord is the Almighty the merciful the people of Lot disbelieved the messengers when their brother Lot said to them do you not fear I am to you a faithful messenger so fear God and obey me I ask of you no payment for it my payment is only from the Lord of the worlds do you approach the males of the world and forsake the wives your Lord created for you indeed you are intrusive people they said unless you refrain O Lot you will be expelled he said I certainly deplore your conduct my lord save me and my family from what they do so we saved him and his family altogether except for an old woman among those who tarried then we destroyed the others and we rained down on them a rain dreadful is the rain of those forewarned surely in this is a sign but most of them are not believers your lord is the almighty the merciful the people of the woods disbelieved the messengers when Shuave said to them do you not fear I am to you a trustworthy messenger page the poets Ashuera so fear God and obey me I ask of you no payment for it my payment is only from the Lord of the worlds give full measure and do not cheat and weigh with accurate scales and do not defraud people of their belongings and do not work corruption in the land and fear him who created you and the masses of old they said you are one of those bewitched and you are nothing but a man like us and we think that you are a liar so. 
Bring down on us pieces from the sky if you are truthful he said my lord is well aware of what you do but they denied him so the punishment of the day of gloom gripped them it was the punishment of a great day surely in this is a sign but most of them are not believers your lord is the almighty the merciful it is a revelation from the lord of the worlds the honest spirit came down with it upon your heart that you may be one of the warners in a clear Arabic tongue and it is in the scriptures of the ancients is it not a sign for them that the scholars of the children of Israel recognized it had we revealed it to one of the foreigners and he had recited it to them they still would not have believed in it page the poets ashu error thus we make it pass through the hearts of the guilty they will not believe in it until they witness the painful punishment it will come to them suddenly while they are unaware then they will say are we given any respite do they seek to hasten our punishment have you considered if we let them enjoy themselves for some years then there comes to them what they were promised of what avail to them will be their past enjoyments never did we destroy a town but it had warners as a reminder we are never unjust it was not the devils that revealed it it is not in their interests nor in their power they are barred from hearing so do not pray to another god with god else you will be of those tormented and worn your clothes relatives and lower your wing to those of the believers who follow you and if they disobey you say I am innocent of what you do and put your trust in the almighty the merciful he who sees you when you rise and your devotions amidst the worshippers he is indeed the hearer the aware shall I inform you upon whom the devils descend they descend upon every sinful liar page the poets ashu error they give ear and most of them are liars and as for the poets the deviators follow them do you not see how they ramble in every style and how they say what they do not do except for those who believe and do good deeds and remember God frequently and defend themselves after they are wronged as for those who do wrong they will know by what overturning they will be overturned the ant and namel in the name of God the gracious the merciful ta seen these are the signs of the Quran a book that makes things clear guidance and good news for the believers those who observe the prayers and give charity regularly and are certain of the hereafter as for those who do not believe in the hereafter we made their deeds appear good to them so they wander aimlessly it is they who will receive the grievous punishment and in the hereafter they will be the greatest losers you are receiving the Quran from an all-wise all-knowing when Moses said to his family I have glimpsed a fire I will bring you some news from it or bring you a firebrand that you may warm yourselves then when he reached it he was called blessed is he who is within the fire and he who is around it and glorified be God Lord of the worlds O Moses it is I God the Almighty the wise page the ant and Namel throw down your staff but when he saw it quivering as though it were a demon he turned around not looking back O Moses do not fear the messengers do not fear in my presence but whoever has done wrong and then substituted goodness in place of evil I am forgiving and merciful put your hand inside your pocket and it will come out white without blemish among nine miracles to Pharaoh and his people for they are immoral people yet when our enlightening signs came to them they said this is obvious witchcraft and they rejected them although their souls were certain of them out of wickedness and pride so see how the outcome was for the mischief makers and we gave David and Solomon knowledge they said praise God who has favored us over many of his believing servants and Solomon succeeded. David he said O people we were taught the language of birds and we were given from everything this is indeed a real blessing to the service of Solomon were mobilized his troops of sprites and men and birds all held in strict order until when they came upon the valley of ants and ants said O ants go into your nests lest Solomon and his troops crush you without noticing he smiled and laughed at her words and said my lord direct me to be thankful for the blessings you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents and to do good works that please you and admit me by your grace into the company of your virtuous servants then he inspected the birds and said why do I not see the hoopoe or is he among the absentees page the ant and namel I will punish him most severely or slay him unless he gives me a valid excuse but he did not stay for long he said I have learned something you did not know I have come to you from Sheba with reliable information I found a woman ruling over them and she was given of everything and she has a magnificent throne I found her and her people worshipping the sun instead of God Satan made their conduct appear good to them and diverted them from the path so they are not guided if only they would worship God who brings to light the mysteries of the heavens and the earth and knows what you conceal and what you reveal God there is no God but he the Lord of the sublime throne he said we will see whether you have spoken the truth or whether you are a liar go with this letter of mine and deliver it to them then withdraw from them and see how they respond she said O oh, counselors a gracious letter was delivered to me it is from Solomon and it is in the name of God the gracious the merciful do not defy me and come to me submissively she said O oh, counselors advise me in this matter of mine I never make a decision unless you are a present they said we are a people of might and great courage but the decision is yours so consider what you wish to command she said when kings enter a city they devastate it and subjugate its dignified people thus they always do page the ant and namel I am sending them a gift and will see what the envoys bring back when he came to Solomon he said are you supplying me with money what God has given me is better than what he has given you it is you who delight in your gift go back to them we will come upon them with troops they cannot resist and we will expel them from their disgraced end humiliated he said O oh notables which one of you will bring me her throne before they come to me in submission an imp of the sprites said I will bring it to you before you rise from your seat I am strong and reliable enough to do it he who had knowledge from the book said I will bring it to you before your glance returns to you and when he saw it settled before him he said this is from the grace of my lord to test me whether I am grateful or ungrateful he who is grateful his gratitude 
is to his own credit but he who is ungrateful my lord is independent and generous he said disguise her throne for her and we shall see whether she will be guided or remains one of the misguided when she arrived it was said is your throne like this she said as if this is it we were given knowledge before her and we were submissive but she was prevented by what she worshipped besides god she belonged to a disbelieving people it was said to her go inside the palace and when she saw it she thought it was a deep pond and she bared her legs he said it is a palace paved with glass she said my lord I have done wrong to myself and I have submitted with Solomon to God lord of the world's page the ant and Namel and we sent to Tamu their brother Sally worship God but they became two disputing factions he said oh my people why are you quick to do evil rather than good if only you would seek God's forgiveness so that you may be shown mercy they said we consider you an Ill omen and those with you he said your omen is with God in fact you are a people being tested in the city was a gang of nine who made mischief in the land and did no good they said swear by God to one another that we will attack him and his family by night and then tell his guardian we did not witness the murder of his family and we are being truthful they planned a plan and we planned a plan but they did not notice so note the outcome of their planning we destroyed them and their people altogether here are their homes in ruins on account of their iniquities surely in this is a sign for people who know and we saved those who believed and were pious and lot when he said to his people do you commit lewdness with open eyes do you lust after men instead of women you are a truly ignorant people but the only response of his people was to say expel the family of lot from your town they are purest people so we saved him and his family except for his wife whom we destined to be among the laggards and we reigned upon them a reign miserable was the reign of those forewarned page the ant and namel say praise god and peace be upon his servants whom he has selected is god better or what they associate or who created the heavens and the earth and rains down water from the sky for you with it we produce gardens full of beauty whose trees you could not have produced is there another god with god but they are a people who equate or who made the earth habitable and made rivers flow through it and set mountains on it and placed a partition between the two seas is there another god with god but most of them do not know or who answers the one in need when he prays to him and relieves adversity and makes you successors on earth is there another god with god how hardly you pay attention or who guides you through the darkness of land and sea and who sends the winds as heralds of his mercy is there another god with god most exalted is god above what they associate or who originates the creation and then repeats it and who gives you livelihood from the sky and the earth is there another god with god say produce your evidence if you are truthful say no one in the heavens or on earth knows the future except god and they do not perceive when they will be resurrected in fact their knowledge of the hereafter is confused in fact they are in doubt about it in fact they are blind to it those who disbelieve say when we have become dust and are Ancestors shall we be brought out we were promised that before we and our ancestors these are nothing but legends of the ancients say travel through the earth and observe the fate of the guilty but do not grieve over them and do not be troubled by what they plot page the ant and namel and they say when is this promise if you are truthful say perhaps some of what you are impatient for has drawn near your lord is gracious towards humanity but most of them are not thankful and your lord knows what their hearts conceal and what they reveal there is no mystery in the heaven and the earth but it is in a clear book this quran relates to the children of israel most of what they differ about and it is guidance and mercy for the believers your lord will judge between them by his wisdom he is the almighty the all-knowing so rely on god you are upon the clear truth you cannot make the dead hear nor can you make the deaf hear the call if they turn their backs and flee nor can you guide the blind out of their straying you can make no one listen except those who believe in our verses for they are Muslims and when the word has fallen on them we will bring out for them from the earth a creature which will say to them that the people are uncertain of our revelations on the day when we gather from every community a group of those who rejected our revelations and they will be restrained until when they arrive he will say did you reject my revelations without comprehending them or what is it you were doing the word will come down upon them for their wrongdoing and they will not speak page the ant and namel do they not see that we made the night for them to rest therein and the day for visibility surely in that are signs for people who believe on the day when the trumpet is blown everyone in the heavens and the earth will be horrified except whomever god wills and everyone will come before him in humility and you see the mountains and imagine them fixed yet they pass as the passing of the clouds the making of God who has perfected everything he is fully informed of what you do whoever brings a virtue will receive better than it and they will be safe from the horrors of that day but whoever brings evil their faces will be tumbled into the fire will you be rewarded except for what you used to do I was commanded to worship the Lord of this town who has sanctified it and to whom everything belongs and I was commanded to be of those who submit and to recite the Quran whoever is guided is guided to his own advantage and whoever goes astray then say I am one of the warners and say praise belongs to God he will show you his signs and you will recognize them your Lord is not heedless of what you do history al in the name of God the gracious the merciful ta seen mean these are the verses of the clear book we narrate to you from the history of Moses and Pharaoh in truth for people who believe page history al Kassaz Pharaoh exalted himself in the land and divided its people into factions he persecuted a group of them slaughtering their sons while sparing their daughters he was truly a corrupter but we desired to favor those who were oppressed in the land and to make them leaders and to make them the inheritors and to establish them in the land and to show Pharaoh Haman and their troops the very thing they feared we inspired the mother of Moses nurse him then when you fear for him cast him into 
the river and do not fear nor grieve we will return him to you and make him one of the messengers Pharaoh's household picked him up to be an opponent and a sorrow for them Pharaoh Haman and their troops were sinners Pharaoh's wife said and eyes delight for me and for you do not kill him perhaps he will be useful to us or we may adopt him as a son but they did not foresee the heart of Moses mother became vacant she was about to disclose him had we not steadied her heart that she may remain a believer she said to his sister trail him so she watched him from afar and they were unaware we forbade him breastfeeding at first so she said shall I tell you about a family that can raise him for you and will look after him thus we returned him to his mother that she may be comforted and not grieve and know that God's promise is true but most of them do not know and when he reached his maturity and became established we gave him wisdom and knowledge thus do we reward thee. Virtuous once he entered the city unnoticed by its people he found in it two men fighting one of his own sect and one from his enemies the one of his sect solicited his assistance against the one from his page history Alcazar's enemies so Moses punched him and put an end to him he said this is of Satan's doing he is an enemy that openly misleads he said my lord I have wronged myself so forgive me so he forgave him he is the forgiver the merciful he said my lord in as much as you have favored me I will never be a supporter of the criminals the next morning he went about in the city fearful and vigilant when the man who had sought his assistance the day before was shouting out to him Moses said to him you are clearly a troublemaker as he was about to strike the one who was their enemy he said oh Moses do you intend to kill me as you killed someone yesterday you only want to be a bully in the land and do not want to be a peacemaker and a man came from the farthest part of the city running he said oh Moses the authorities are considering killing you so leave I am giving you good advice so he left fearful and vigilant he said my lord deliver me from the wrongdoing people as he headed towards Median he said perhaps my lord will guide me to the right way and when he arrived at the waters of Median he found there a crowd of people drawing water and he noticed two women waiting on the side he said what is the matter with you they said we cannot draw water until the shepherds depart and our father is a very old man so he drew water for them and then withdrew to the shade and said my lord I am in dire need of whatever good you might send down to me page history Alcazar's then one of the two women approached him walking bashfully she said my father is calling you to reward you for drawing water for us and when he came to him and told him the story he said do not fear you have escaped from the wrongdoing people one of the two women said father hire him the best employee for you is the strong and trustworthy he said I want to marry you to one of these two daughters of mine provided you work for me for eight years but if you complete ten that is up to you I do not intend to impose any hardship on you you will find me God willing one of the righteous he said let this be an agreement between you and me whichever of the two terms I fulfill there shall be no reprisal against me and God is witness over what we say when Moses had completed the term and departed with his family he noticed a fire by the side of the mount he said to his family stay here I have glimpsed a fire perhaps I can bring you some information from there or an ember from the fire that you may warm yourselves when he reached it he was called from the right side of the valley at the blessed spot from the bush oh Moses it is I God the Lord of the worlds throw down your staff and when he saw it wiggling as if it were possessed he turned his back to flee and did not look back oh Moses come forward and do not fear you are perfectly safe put your hand inside your pocket and it will come out white without blemish and press your arm to your side against fear these are two proofs from your lord to Pharaoh and his dignitaries they are truly sinful people he said my lord I have killed one of them and I fear they will kill me page history Alcazar's and my brother Aaron he is more eloquent than me so send him with me to help me and to confirm my words for I fear they will reject me he said we will strengthen your arm with your brother and we will give you authority so they will not touch you by virtue of our signs you and those who follow you will be the triumphant but when Moses came to them with our signs clear and manifest they said this is nothing but fabricated magic and we never heard of this from our ancestors of old Moses said my lord is well aware of him who brings guidance from him and him who will have the sequel of the abode the wrongdoers will not succeed Pharaoh said O nobles I know of no god for you other than me so fire up the bricks for me O Haman and build me a tower that I may ascend to the god of Moses though I think he is a liar he and his troops acted arrogantly in the land with no justification they thought they would not be returned to us so we seized him and his troops and we threw them into the sea observe therefore what was the end of the oppressors and we made them leaders calling to the fire and on resurrection day they will not be saved and we pursued them in this world with a curse and on resurrection day they will be among the despised we gave Moses the scripture after we had annihilated the previous generations as an illumination for mankind and guidance and mercy so that they may remember you were not on the western side when we decreed the command to Moses nor were you among the witnesses page history Alcazar's but we established many generations and time took its toll on them nor were you among the people of Median reciting our revelations to them but we kept sending messengers nor were you by the side of the mount when we proclaimed rather it was a mercy from your lord that you may warn people who received no warner before you so that they may take heed otherwise if a calamity befell them as a result of what their hands have perpetrated they would say our lord if only you had sent us a messenger we would have followed 
your revelations and been among the believers but when the truth came to them from us they said if only he was given the like of what was given to Moses did they not disbelieve in what was given to Moses in the past they said two works of magic backing one another and they said we are disbelieving in both say then bring a scripture from God more conductive to guidance than both and I will follow it if you are truthful but if they fail to respond to you know that they follow there fancies and who is more lost than him who follows his fancy without guidance from God God does not guide the unjust people we have delivered the word to them that they may remember those to whom we gave the scripture before it believe in it when it is recited to them they say we have believed in it it is the truth from our Lord we were Muslims prior to it these will be given their reward twice because they persevered and they counter evil with good and from our provisions to them they give and when they hear vain talk they avoid it and say we have our deeds and you have your deeds peace be upon you we do not desire the ignorant page history alkasas you cannot guide whom you love but god guides whom he wills and he knows best those who are guided and they say if we follow the guidance with you we will be snatched from our land did we not establish for them a safe sanctuary to which are brought all kinds of fruits as provision from ourselves but most of them do not no and how many a city did we destroy for turning unappreciative of its livelihood here are their homes uninhabited after them except for a few and we became the inheritors your lord never destroys cities without first sending a messenger in their midst reciting to them our revelations and we never destroy the cities unless their people are wrongdoers whatever thing you are given is but the material of this world and its glitter but what is with god is better and longer lasting do you not Comprehend can someone to whom we have made a fine promise which he will attain be equal to someone to whom we have given enjoyments in this world but who will be on resurrection day among the arraigned on the day when he will call to them and say where are my associates whom you used to claim those against whom the sentence is justified will say our lord these are they whom we misled we misled them as we were misled we beg your forgiveness it was not us they used to worship and it will be said call on your partners and they will call on them but they will not respond to them and they will see the suffering if only they were guided on the day when he will call to them and say what did you answer the messengers page history alkasas they will be blinded by the facts on that day and they will not question each other but he who repents and believes and does righteous deeds may well be among the winners your lord creates whatever he wills and he chooses the choice is not there's glory be to God and exalted be he above the associations they make and your Lord knows what their hearts conceal and what they reveal and he is God there is no God but he to him belongs all praise in this life and in the next and his is the decision and to him you will be returned say have you considered had God made the night perpetual over you until the day of resurrection which God other than God will bring you illumination do you not hear say have you considered had God made the day perpetual over you until the day of resurrection which God other than God will bring you night to rest in do you not see it is out of his mercy that he made for you the night and the day that you may rest in it and seek some of his bounty and that you may give thanks on the day when he will call to them and say where are my associates whom you used to claim and we will draw out from every community a witness and say produce your evidence then they will realize that the truth is. Gods and those they used to invent have forsaken them Quarun belonged to the clan of Moses but he oppressed them we had given him treasures the keys of which would weigh down a group of strong men his people said to him do not exalt God does not love the exultant page history Alcasas but seek with what God has given you the home of the hereafter and do not neglect your share of this world and be charitable as God has been charitable to you and do not seek corruption in the land God does. Not like the seekers of corruption he said I was given all this on account of knowledge I possessed did he not know that God destroyed many generations before him who were stronger than he and possessed greater riches but the guilty will not be asked about their sins and he went out before his people in his splendor those who desired the worldly life said if only we possessed the likes of what Quarun was given he is indeed very fortunate but those who were given knowledge said woe to you the reward of God is better for those who believe and do righteous deeds yet none attains it except the steadfast so we caused the earth to cave in on him and his mansion he had no company to save him from God and he could not defend himself those who had wished they were in his position the day before were saying indeed it is God who spreads the bounty to whomever he wills of his servants and restricts it had God not been gracious to us he would have caved in on us no wonder the ungrateful never prosper that home of the hereafter we assign it for those who seek no superiority on earth nor corruption and the outcome is for the cautious whoever brings a virtue will receive better than it but whoever brings evil the evildoers will be rewarded only according to what they used to do he who ordained the quran for you will return you home say my lord knows best who comes with guidance and who is in manifest error page history alkasas you did not expect the scripture to be transmitted to you except as mercy from your Lord therefore do not be a supporter of the disbelievers and do not let them divert you from God's revelations after they have been revealed to you and pray to your Lord and never be of the polytheists and do not invoke with God any other God there is no God but he all things perish except his presence his is the judgment and to him you will be returned the spider alankah but in the name of God the gracious the merciful Aleph Lamim have. The people supposed that they will be left alone to say we believe without being put to the test we have tested those before them God will surely know the truthful and he will surely know the liars or do those who commit sins think they can fool us terrible is their opinion whoever looks forward to the meeting with God the appointed time of God is coming he is the all hearing the all knowing whoever strives strives only for himself God is independent of the beings those who believe and 
do righteous deeds we will remit their sins and we will reward them according to the best of what they used to do we have advised the human being to be good to his parents but if they urge you to associate with me something you have no page the spider alanka but knowledge of do not obey them to me is your return and I will inform you of what you used to do those who believe and do good works we will admit them into the company of the righteous among the people is he who says we have believed in God yet when he is harmed on God's account he equates the people's persecution with God's retribution and if help comes from your Lord he says we were actually with you is not God aware of what is inside the hearts of the people God certainly knows those who believe and he certainly knows the hypocrites those who disbelieve say to those who believe follow our way and we will carry your sins in no way can they carry any of their sins they are liars they will carry their own loads and other loads with their own and they will be questioned on the day of resurrection concerning what they used to fabricate we sent Noah to his people and he stayed among them for a thousand years minus fifty years then the deluge swept them for they were wrongdoers but we saved him together with the company of the ark and we made it a sign for all peoples and Abraham when he said to his people worship God and fear him that is better for you if you only knew you worship idols besides God and you fabricate falsehoods those you worship instead of God cannot provide you with livelihood so seek your livelihood from God and worship him and thank him to him you will be returned if you disbelieve communities before you have also disbelieved the messenger is only responsible for clear transmission page the spider alanka but have they not seen how God originates the creation and then reproduces it this is easy for God say roam the earth and observe how he originated the creation then God will bring about the next existence God has power over all things he punishes whom he wills and he grants mercy to whom he wills and to him you will be restored you cannot escape on earth or in the heaven and you have no protector and no savior besides God those who disbelieved in God's signs and his encounter these have despaired of my mercy for them is a painful torment but the only response from his people was their saying kill him or burn him but God saved him from the fire surely in that are signs for people who believe and he said you have chosen idols instead of God out of affection for one another in the worldly life but then on the day of resurrection you will disown one another and curse one another your destiny is hell and you will have no saviors then Lot believed in him and said I am emigrating to my Lord he is the noble the wise and we granted him Isaac and Jacob and conferred on his descendants the prophethood and the book and gave him his reward in this life and in the hereafter he will be among the upright and lot when he said to his people you are committing an obscenity not perpetrated before you by anyone in the whole world you approach men and cut off the way and commit lewdness in your gatherings but the only response from his people was to say bring upon us God's punishment if you are truthful he said my lord help me against the people of corruption page the spider alan kabut and when our envoys brought Abraham the good news they said we are going to destroy the people of this town its people are wrongdoers he said yet Lot is in it they said we are well aware of who is in it we will save him and his family except for his wife who will remain behind then when our envoys came to Lot they were mistreated and he was troubled and distressed on their account they said do not fear nor grieve we will save you and your family except for your wife who will remain behind we will bring down upon the people of this town a scourge from heaven because of their wickedness and we left behind a clear trace of it for people who understand and to median their brother Shuab he said oh my people worship God and anticipate the last day and do not spread corruption in the land but they rejected him so the tremor overtook them and they were left motionless in their homes and Ayat and Tamud it has become clear to you from their dwelling Satan embellished for them their deeds. Barring them from the path even though they could see and Quarun and Pharaoh and Haman Moses went to them with clear arguments but they acted arrogantly in the land and they could not get ahead each we seized by his sin against some we sent a sandstorm some were struck by the blast some we caused the ground to cave in beneath them and some we drowned it was not God who wronged them but it was they who wronged their own selves page the spider alanka but the likeness of those who take to themselves protectors other than God is that of the spider it builds a house but the most fragile of houses is the spider's house if they only knew God knows what they invoke besides him he is the almighty the wise these examples we put them forward to the people but none grasps them except the learned God created the heavens and the earth with truth surely in that is a sign for the believers recite what is revealed to you of the scripture and perform the prayer the prayer prevents in chenches and evils and the remembrance of God is greater and God knows what you do and do not argue with the people of the scripture except in the best manner possible except those who do wrong among them and say we believe in what was revealed to us and in what was revealed to you and our God and your God is one and to him we are submissive likewise we reveal to you the scripture those to whom we gave the scripture believe in it and some of these believe in it none renounce our communications except the disbelievers you did not read any scripture before this nor did you write it down with your right hand otherwise the falsifiers would have doubted in fact it is clear signs in the hearts of those given knowledge no one renounce our signs except the unjust and they said if only a miracle from his lord was sent down to him say miracles are only with god and i am only a clear warner page the spider alanka but does it not suffice them that we reveal to you the 
scripture which is recited to them in that is mercy and a reminder for people who believe say God suffices as witness between you and me he knows everything in the heavens and the earth those who believe in vanity and reject God it is they who are the losers and they urge you to hasten the punishment were it not for a specified time the punishment would have come to them but it will come upon them suddenly while they are unaware they urge you to hasten the punishment but hell will engulf the disbelievers on the day when the punishment will envelop them from above them and from beneath their feet he will say taste what you used to do O my servants who have believed my earth is vast so worship me alone every soul will taste death then to us you will be returned those who believe and work righteousness we will settle them in paradise in mansions under which rivers flow dwelling therein forever excellent is the compensation for the workers those who endure patiently and in their Lord they trust how many a creature there is that does not carry its provision God provides for them and for you he is the hearer the knowledgeable and if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth and regulated the sun and the moon they would say God why then do they deviate God expands the provision for whomever he wills of his servants and restricts it God is cognizant of all things page the spider al but and if you ask them who sends water down from the sky with which he revives the earth after it had died they would say God say praise be to God but most of them do not understand the life of this world is nothing but diversion and play and the home of the hereafter is the life if they only knew when they embark on a vessel they pray to God devoting their faith to him but once he has delivered them safely to land they attribute partners to him to be ungrateful for what we have given them and to enjoy themselves they will surely come to know. Do they not see that we established a secure sanctuary while all around them the people are being carried away do they believe in falsehood and reject the blessings of God and who does greater wrong than he who fabricates lies and attributes them to God or calls the truth a lie when it has come to him is there not in hell a dwelling for the blasphemers as for those who strive for us we will guide them in our ways God is with the doers of good the Romans A.R. Rum in the name of God the gracious. The merciful Aleph Lamim the Romans have been defeated in a nearby territory but following their defeat they will be victorious in a few years the matter is up to God in the past and in the future on that day the believers will rejoice page the Romans A.R. Rum in God's support he supports whomever he wills he is the Almighty the merciful the promise of God God never breaks his promise but most people do not know they know an outer aspect of the worldly life but they are heedless of it. Hereafter do they not reflect within themselves God did not create the heavens and the earth and what is between them except with reason and for a specific duration but most people regarding meeting their Lord are disbelievers have they not traveled the earth and seen how those before them ended up they were more powerful than them and they cultivated the land and developed it more than they developed it and their messengers came to them with clear signs God would never wrong them but they used to wrong themselves then evil was the end of those who committed evil that is because they rejected God's revelations and used to ridicule them God originates creation and then repeats it then to him you will be returned on the day when the hour takes place the guilty will despair they will have no intercessors from among their idols and they will disown their partners on the day when the hour takes place on that day they will separate as for those who believed and did good deeds. They will be delighted in meadows but as for those who disbelieved and rejected our signs and the encounter of the hereafter those will be hauled into the torment page the Romans A.R. Rum so glorify God when you retire at night and when you rise in the morning his is the praise in the heavens and on earth and in the evening and when you reach midday he brings the living out of the dead and he brings the dead out of the living and he revives the land after it had died likewise you will be resurrected and of his signs is that he created you from dust and behold you become humans spreading out and of his signs is that he created for you mates from among yourselves so that you may find tranquility in them and he planted love and compassion between you in this are signs for people who reflect and of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and the diversity of your languages and colors in this are signs for those who know and of his signs are your sleep by night and day and your pursuit of his bounty in this are signs for people who listen and of his signs is that he shows you the lightning causing fear and hope and he brings down water from the sky and with it he revives the earth after it was dead in this are signs for people who understand and of his signs is that the heaven and the earth stand at his disposal and then when he calls you out of the earth you will emerge at once to him belongs everyone in the heavens and the earth all are submissive to him it is he who initiates creation and then repeats it something easy for him his is the highest attribute in the heavens and the earth he is the almighty the wise page the romans a.r. rum he illustrates an example for you from your own selves do you make your servants full partners in the wealth we have given you do you revere them as you revere one another we thus explain the revelations for a people who understand yet the wrongdoers follow their desires without knowledge but who can guide whom God leaves astray they will have no helper so devote yourself to the religion of monotheism the natural instinct God has instilled in mankind there is no altering God's creation this is the true religion but most people do not know turning towards him and be conscious of him and perform the prayer and do not be of the idolaters of those who divided their religion and became sex each faction pleased with what they have when affliction touches the people they call on their Lord turning to him in repentance but then when he gives them a taste of his mercy some of them attribute partners to their Lord to show ingratitude for what we have given them indulge yourselves you will surely know have we sent down to them any authority which speaks in support of their idols when we give people a taste of mercy they rejoice in it but when adversity befalls them because of what their hands have perpetrated they begin to despair do they not see that God expands the 
provision for whomever he wills or restricts it surely in this are signs for people who believe so give the relative his rights and the destitute and the wayfarer that is best for those who seek God's presence those are the prosperous page the Romans A.R. Rum the usury you practice seeking thereby to multiply people's wealth will not multiply with God but what you give in charity desiring God's approval these are the multipliers God is he who created you then provides for you then makes you die then brings you back to life can any of your idols do any of that glorified is he and exalted above what they associate corruption has appeared on land and sea because of what people's hands have earned in order to make them taste some of what they have done so that they might return say roam the earth and observe the fate of those who came before most of them were idolaters so devote yourself to the upright religion before there comes from god a day that cannot be averted on that day they will be shocked whoever disbelieves upon him falls his disbelief and whoever acts righteously they are preparing for themselves so that he may reward those who have believed and done the righteous deeds out of his bounty indeed he does not love the ungrateful and of his signs is that he sends the winds bearing good news to give you a taste of his mercy and so that the ships may sail by his command and so that you may seek of his bounty and so that you may give thanks before you we sent messengers to their people they came to them with clear proofs then we took revenge on those who sinned it is incumbent on us to help the believers god is he who sends the winds they stir up clouds then he spreads them in the sky as he wills and he breaks them apart then you see raindrops issuing from their midst then when he makes it fall upon whom he wills of his servants behold they rejoice page the romans ar rum although they were before this before it was sent down upon them in despair so observe the effects of God's mercy how he revives the earth after it was dead indeed he is the reviver of the dead he is capable of everything but if we send a wind and they see it turning things yellow they would continue thereafter to disbelieve you cannot make the dead hear nor can you make the deaf hear the call when they turn away nor can you guide the blind out of their error you can make hear only those who believe in our signs and so have submitted God is he who created you weak then after weakness gave you strength then after strength gave you weakness and gray hair he creates whatever he wills he is the omniscient the omnipotent on the day when the hour takes place the sinners will swear they had stayed but an hour thus they were deluded but those endowed with knowledge and faith will say you remained in God's book until the day of resurrection this is the day of resurrection but you did not know on that day the sinners excuses will not benefit them nor will they be excused we have cited in this Quran for the people every sort of parable but even if you bring them a miracle those who disbelieve will say you are nothing but fakers God thus seals the hearts of those who do not know so be patient the promise of God is true and do not let those who lack certainty belittle you page lookman 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 in the name of God the gracious the merciful Aleph Lamim these are the verses of the wise book a guide and a mercy for the Righteous those who observe the prayer and pay the obligatory charity and are certain of the hereafter these are upon guidance from their Lord these are the successful among the people is he who trades in distracting tales intending without knowledge to lead away from God's way and to make a mockery of it these will have a humiliating punishment and when our verses are recited to him he turns away in pride as though he did not hear them as though there is deafness in his ears so inform him of a painful punishment as for those who believe and do good deeds for them are the gardens of bliss dwelling therein forever the promise of God is true he is the mighty the wise he created the heavens without pillars that you can see and placed stabilizers on earth lest it shifts with you and scattered throughout it all kinds of creatures and from the sky we sent down water and caused to grow therein of every noble pair such as God's creation now show me what those besides him have created in fact the wicked are in obvious error we endowed lookmen with wisdom give thanks to God whoever is appreciative is appreciative for the benefit of his own soul and whoever is unappreciative God is sufficient and praiseworthy page lookmen lookmen when lookmen said to his son as he advised him oh my son do not associate anything with God for idolatry is a terrible wrong we have entrusted the human being with the care of his parents his mother carried him through hardship upon hardship Weaning him in two years so give thanks to me and to your parents to me is the destination but if they strive to have you associate with me something of which you have no knowledge do not obey them but keep them company in this life in kindness and follow the path of him who turns to me then to me is your return and I will inform you of what you used to do oh my son even if it were the weight of a mustard seed in a rock or in the heavens or on earth God will bring it to light God is kind and Expert O oh my son observe the prayer advocate righteousness forbid evil and be patient over what has befallen you these are of the most honorable traits and do not treat people with arrogance nor walk proudly on earth God does not love the arrogant show offs and moderate your stride and lower your voice the most repulsive of voices is the donkey's voice do you not see how God placed at your service everything in the heavens and the earth how he showered you with his blessings both outward and Inward yet among the people is he who argues about God without knowledge without guidance and without an enlightening scripture and when it is said to them follow what God has revealed they say rather we follow what we found our parents devoted to even if Satan is calling them to the suffering of the blaze page lookman lookman whoever submits himself wholly to God and is a doer of good has grasped the most trustworthy handle with God rests the outcome of all events whoever disbelieves. Let not his disbelief sadden you to us is their return then we will inform them of what they did God knows what lies within the hearts we give them a little comfort then we compel them to a harsh torment and if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth they will say God say praise be to God but most of them do not know to God belongs everything in the heavens and the earth God is the rich the praised if all the trees on earth were pens filled by the ocean with seven more.
Oceans besides the words of God would not run out God is majestic and wise your creation and your resurrection are only as a single soul God is hearing and seeing have you not seen how God merges the night into the day and merges the day into the night that he subjected the sun and the moon each running for a stated term and that God is cognizant of everything you do that is because God is the reality and what they worship besides him is falsehood and because God is the exalted the supreme. Have you not seen how the ships sail through the sea by the grace of God to show you of his wonders in that are signs for every persevering thankful person when waves like canopies cover them they call upon God devoting their religion to him but when he has delivered them to page Lukman Lukman dry land some of them waver no one renounces our revelations except the treacherous blasphemer O people be conscious of your Lord and dread a day when no parent can avail his child nor can a child avail his parent in anything the promise of God is true therefore do not let this life deceive you nor let illusions deceive you regarding God with God rests the knowledge of the hour he sends down the rain and he knows what the wombs contain no soul knows what it will reap tomorrow and no soul knows in what land it will die God is all-knowing well-informed prostration as sajda in the name of God the gracious the merciful Aleph Lamim the revelation of the book without a doubt is from the Lord of the universe yet they say he made it up in fact it is the truth from your Lord to warn a people who received no warner before you that they may be guided God is he who created the heavens and the earth and everything between them in six days and then established himself on the throne apart from him you have no master and no intercessor will you not reflect he regulates all affairs from the heavens to the earth then it ascends to him on a day the length of which is a thousand years. By your count that is the knower of the invisible and the visible the powerful the merciful page prostration as sajda he who perfected everything he created and originated the creation of man from clay then made his reproduction from an extract of an insignificant fluid then he proportioned him and breathed into him of his spirit then he gave you the hearing and the eyesight and the brains but rarely do you give thanks and they say when we are lost into the earth shall we be in a new creation in fact they deny the meeting with their lord say the angel of death put in charge of you will reclaim you then to your lord you will be returned if only you could see the guilty bowing their heads before their lord our lord we have seen and we have heard so send us back and we will act righteously we are now convinced had we willed we could have given every soul its guidance but the declaration from me will come true i will fill hell with gin and humans altogether so taste because you forgot the meeting of this day of yours we have forgotten you so taste the eternal torment for what you used to do they believe in our communications those who when reminded of them fall down prostrate and glorify their lord with praise and are not proud their sides shun their beds as they pray to their lord out of reverence and hope and from our provisions to them they give no soul knows what eyes delight awaits the may reward for what they used to do is someone who is faithful. Like someone who is a sinner they are not equal page prostration as sajda as for those who believe and do righteous deeds for them are the gardens of shelter hospitality for what they used to do but as for those who transgress their shelter is the fire every time they try to get out of it they will be brought back into it and it will be said to them taste the suffering of the fire which you used to deny we will make them taste the lesser torment prior to the greater torment so that they may return who is more wrong than he who when reminded of his Lord's revelations turns away from them we will certainly wreak vengeance upon the criminals we gave Moses the book so do not be in doubt regarding his encounter and we made it a guidance for the children of Israel and we appointed leaders from among them guiding by our command as long as they persevered and were certain of our communications your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection regarding everything. They had disputed is it not a lesson for them how many generations we have destroyed before them in whose habitations they walk surely in that our signs do they not hear do they not see how we conduct the water to a dry land and with it we produce vegetation from which their livestock eat and themselves do they not see and they say when is this victory if you are truthful say on the day of victory the faith of those who disbelieved will be of no avail to them and they will not be granted. Respite so turn away from them and wait they too are waiting page the confederates Allah Zab the confederates Allah Zab in the name of God the gracious the merciful O prophet fear God and do not obey the unbelievers and the hypocrites God is knowledgeable and wise and follow what is revealed to you from your Lord God is fully aware of what you do and put your trust in God God is enough as a trustee God did not place two hearts inside any man's body nor did he make your wives whom you equate with your mothers your actual mothers nor did he make your adopted sons your actual sons these are your words coming out of your mouths God speaks the truth and guides to the path call them after their fathers that is more equitable with God but if you do not know their fathers then your brethren in faith and your friends there is no blame on you if you err therein barring what your hearts premeditates God is forgiving and merciful the prophet is more caring of the believers than they are of themselves and his wives are mothers to them and blood relatives are closer to one another in God's book than the believers or the emigrants though you should do good to your friends that is inscribed in the book recall that we received a pledge from the prophets and from you and from Noah and Abraham and Moses and Jesus son of Mary we received from them a solemn pledge that he may ask the sincere about their sincerity he has prepared for the disbelievers a painful punishment O you. 
who believe remember God's blessings upon you when forces came against you and we sent against them a wind and forces you did not see God is observant of what you do page the confederates Alazab when they came upon you from above you and from beneath you and the eyes became dazed and the hearts reached the throats and you harbored doubts about God there and then the believers were tested and were shaken most severely when the hypocrites and those in whose hearts is sickness said God and his messenger promised us nothing but illusion and when a group of them said O people of Yathrib you cannot make a stand so retreat and a faction of them asked the prophet to excuse them saying our homes are exposed although they were not exposed they only wanted to flee had it been invaded from its sides and they were asked to dissent they would have done so with little hesitation although they had made a pledge to God in the past that they will not turn their backs a pledge to God is a responsibility say flight will not benefit you if you flee from death or killing even then you will be given only brief enjoyment say who is it who will shield you from God if he intends adversity for you or intends mercy for you besides God they will find for themselves neither friend nor helper God already knows the hinderers among you and those who say to their brethren come and join us rarely do they mobilize for battle being stingy towards you and when fear approaches you see them staring at you their eyes rolling like someone fainting at death then when panic is over they whip you with sharp tongues they resent you any good these have never believed so God has nullified their works a matter easy for God they assumed that the confederates had not withdrawn but were the confederates to advance they would wish they were in the page the confederates Alazab desert with the Bedouins inquiring about your news and if they were among you they would have done little. Fighting you have an excellent example in the messenger of God for anyone who seeks God and the last day and remembers God frequently and when the believers saw the confederates they said this is what God and his messenger have promised us and God and his messenger have told the truth and it only increased them in faith and submission of the believers are men who are true to what they pledged to God some of them have fulfilled their vows and some are still waiting and never wavering that. God may reward the truthful for their truthfulness and punish the hypocrites if he wills or pardon them God is forgiving and merciful God repelled the disbelievers in their rage they gained no advantage God thus spared the believers combat God is strong and mighty and he brought down from their strongholds those of the people of the book who backed them and he threw terror into their hearts some of them you killed and others you took captive and he made you inherit their land and their homes and their possessions and a region you have never stepped on God has power over all things O prophet say to your wives if you desire the life of this world and its finery then let me compensate you and release you kindly but if you desire God his messenger and the home of the hereafter then God has prepared for the righteous among you a magnificent compensation page the confederates Allah Zab O wives of the prophet whoever of you commits a proven indecency the punishment for her will be doubled and that would be easy for God but whoever of you remains obedient to God and his messenger and acts righteously we will give her a double reward and we have prepared for her a generous provision O wives of the prophet you are not like any other women if you observe piety so do not speak too softly lest the sick at heart lusts after you but speak in an appropriate manner and settle in your homes and do not display yourselves as in the former days of ignorance and perform the prayer and give regular charity and obey God and his messenger God desires to remove all impurity from you O people of the household and to purify you thoroughly and remember what is recited in your homes of God's revelations and wisdom God is kind and informed Muslim men and Muslim women believing men and believing women obedient men and obedient women truthful men and truthful women patient men and patient women humble men and humble women charitable men and charitable women fasting men and Fasting women men who guard their chastity and women who guard men who remember God frequently and women who remember God has prepared for them a pardon and an immense reward it is not for any believer man or woman when God and his messenger have decided a matter to have liberty of choice in their decision whoever disobeys God and his messenger has gone far astray when you said to him whom God had blessed and you had favored keep your wife to yourself and fear God but you hid within yourself what God was to reveal and you feared the people page the confederates Alazab but it was God you were supposed to fear then when Zaid ended his relationship with her we gave her to you in marriage that there may be no restriction for believers regarding the wives of their adopted sons when their relationship has ended the command of God was fulfilled there is no blame on the prophet regarding what God has ordained for him such is the pattern of God among those who passed before. The command of God is an absolute decree those who deliver the messages of God and fear him and never fear anyone except God God is sufficient as a reckoner Muhammad is not the father of any of your men but he is the messenger of God and the seal of the prophets God is cognizant of everything O you who believe remember God with frequent remembrance and glorify him morning and evening it is he who reaches out to you and his angels to bring you out of darkness into the light and he is ever merciful towards the believers their greeting on the day they meet him is peace and he has prepared for them a generous reward O prophet we have sent you as a witness and a bearer of good news and a warner and a caller towards God by his leave and an illuminating beacon and give the believers the good news that for them is a great reward and do not obey the blasphemers and the hypocrites and ignore their insults and rely on God God is a sufficient protector page the confederates al Azab O you who believe when you marry believing women but then divorce them before you have touched them there is no waiting period for you to observe in respect to them but compensate them and release them in a graceful manner O prophet we have permitted to you your wives to whom you have given their dowries and those you already have as granted to you by God and the daughters of your paternal uncle and the daughters of your paternal aunts and the daughters of your maternal uncle and the 
daughters of your maternal aunts who emigrated with you and a believing woman who has offered herself to the Prophet if the Prophet desires to marry her exclusively for you and not for the believers we know what we have ordained for them regarding their wives and those their right hands possess this is to spare you any difficulty God is forgiving and merciful you may defer any of them you wish and receive any of them you wish should you desire any of those you had deferred there is no blame on you this is more proper so that they will be comforted and not be grieved and be content with what you have given each one of them God knows what is within your hearts God is omniscient and clement beyond that no other women are permissible for you nor can you exchange them for other wives even if you admire their beauty except those you already have God is watchful over all things O you who believe do not enter the homes of the prophet unless you are given permission to come for a meal and do not wait for its preparation and when you are invited go in and when you have eaten disperse without lingering for conversation this irritates the prophet and he shies away from you but God does not shy away from the truth and when you ask his wives for something ask them from behind a screen that is purer for your hearts and their hearts you must never offend the messenger of God nor page the confederates Allah Zab must you ever marry his wives after him for that would be an enormity with God whether you declare a thing or hide it God is aware of all things there is no blame on them concerning their fathers or their sons or their brothers or their brothers sons or their sisters sons or their women or their female servants but they should remain conscious of God God is witness over all things God and his angels give blessings to the prophet O you who believe call for blessings on him and greet him with a prayer of peace those who insult God and his messenger God has cursed them in this life and in the hereafter and has prepared for them a demeaning punishment those who harm believing men and believing women for acts they did not commit bear the burden of perjury and a flagrant sin O prophet tell your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers to lengthen their garments that is more proper so they will be recognized and not harassed God is forgiving and merciful if the hypocrites and those with sickness in their hearts and the rumor mongers in the City do not desist we will incite you against them then they will not be your neighbors there except for a short while they are cursed wherever they are found they should be captured and killed outright such has been God's precedent with those who passed away before you will find no change in God's system the people ask you about the hour say the knowledge thereof rests with God but what do you know perhaps the hour is near page the confederates Allah Zab God has cursed the disbelievers and has prepared for them a blaze dwelling therein forever not finding a protector or a savior the day when their faces are flipped into the fire they will say if only we had obeyed God and obeyed the messenger and they will say Lord we have obeyed our superiors and our dignitaries but they led us away from the way Lord give them double the punishment and curse them with a great curse O you who believe do not be like those who abused Moses but God cleared him of what they said he was distinguished with God O you who believe be conscious of God and speak in a straightforward manner he will rectify your conduct for you and will forgive you your sins whoever obeys God and his messenger has won a great victory we offered the trust to the heavens and the earth and the mountains but they refused to bear it and were apprehensive of it but the human being accepted it he was unfair and ignorant God will punish the hypocrites men and women and the idolaters men and women and God will redeem the believers men and women God is ever forgiving most merciful Shiva Saba in the name of God the gracious the merciful praise be to God to whom belongs everything in the heavens and the earth and praise be to him in the hereafter he is the wise the expert page Shiva Saba he knows what penetrates into the earth and what comes out of it and what descends from the sky and what ascends to it he is the merciful the forgiving those who disbelieve say the hour will not come upon I say yes indeed by my Lord it will come upon you he is the knower of the unseen not an atom's weight in the heavens and the earth or anything smaller or larger escapes his knowledge all are in a clear record that he may recompense those who believe and do good works those will have forgiveness and a generous provision as for those who strive against our revelation seeking to undermine them for them is a punishment of a painful plague those who received knowledge know that what is revealed to you from your Lord is the truth and it guides to the path of the majestic the praiseworthy those who disbelieved said shall we point out to you a man who will tell you that once torn into shreds you will be in a new creation did he invent a lie about God or is there madness in him indeed those who do not believe in the hereafter are in torment and far astray do they not reflect upon what lies before them and behind them of the heaven and the earth if we will we can make the earth cave in beneath them or make pieces of the sky fall down on them in that is a sign for every devout servant we bestowed upon David favor from us O mountains and birds echo with him and we softened iron for him make coats of armor and measure the links well and work righteousness I am observant of everything you do page Sheba Saba and for Solomon the wind its outward journey was one month and its return journey was one month and we made a spring of tar flow for him and there were sprites that worked under him by the leave of his lord but whoever of them swerved from our command we make him taste of the punishment of the inferno they made for him whatever he wished sanctuaries statues bowls like pools and heavy cauldrons O house of david work with appreciation but a few of my servants are appreciative then when we decreed death for him nothing indicated his death to them except an earthworm meeting at his staff then when he fell down it became clear to the sprites that had they known the unseen they would not have remained in the demeaning torment in Sheba's homeland there used to be a wonder two gardens on the right and on the left eat of your Lord's provision and give thanks to him a good land and a forgiving Lord but they turned away so we unleashed against them the flood of the dam and we substituted their two gardens with two gardens of bitter fruits thorny shrubs and meager harvest we thus penalized them for their ingratitude would we penalize 
any but the ungrateful between them and the towns we had blessed we placed prominent towns and we made the travel between them easy travel between them by night and day in safety but they said our lord lengthen the distances of our journeys they wronged themselves so we made them history and we scattered them in every direction in this are lessons for every steadfast and appreciative person satan was correct in his assessment of them they followed him except for a group of believers page Sheba Saba he had no authority over them except that we will to distinguish him who believes in the hereafter from him who is doubtful about it your Lord is guardian over all things say call upon those whom you claim besides God they possess not an atom's weight in the heavens or the earth and they possess no share of either and he has no backers from among them intercession with him is of no value except for someone he has permitted until when fear has subsided from their hearts they will say what did your Lord say they will say the truth and he is the high the great say who provides for you from the heavens and the earth say God and either you or we are rightly guided or in evident error say you will not be asked about our misdeeds nor will we be asked about what you do say our Lord will bring us together then he will judge between us equitably he is the all-knowing judge say show me those you have attached to him as associates no indeed but he is God the powerful the wise we sent you only universally to all people a herald and warner but most people do not know and they say when is this promise due if you are truthful say you are promised a day which you cannot postpone by one hour nor bring forward those who disbelieve say we will never believe in this quran nor in what came before it if you could only see the wrongdoers captive before their lord throwing back allegations at one another those who were oppressed will say to those who were arrogant were it not for you we would have been believers paid Sheba Saba those who were arrogant will say to those who were oppressed was it us who turned you away from guidance when it came to you no indeed you yourselves were sinful and those who were oppressed will say to those who were arrogant it was your scheming by night and day as you instructed us to reject God and to set up rivals to him they will hide their remorse when they see the retribution we will put yokes around the necks of those who disbelieved will they be repaid for anything other than what they used to do we sent no warner to any town without its affluence saying we reject what you are sent with and they say we have more wealth and more children and we will not be punished say my lord spreads out his bounty to whomever he wills or restricts it but most people do not know it is neither your wealth nor your children that bring you closer to us but it is he who believes and does good deeds these will have a double reward for what they did and they will reside in the chambers in peace and security but those who work against our revelation seeking to undermine them those will be summoned to the punishment saying my lord extends the provision to whomever he wills of his servants or withholds it anything you spend he will replace it he is the best of providers on the day when he gathers them all together then say to the angels was it you these used to worship they will Say be you glorified you are our master not them in fact they used to worship the jinn and most of them had faith in them paid Sheba Saba today none of you has the power to profit or harm the other and we will say to those who did wrong taste the agony of the fire which you used to deny and when our enlightening verses are recited to them they say this is nothing but a man who wants to divert you from what your ancestors used to worship and they say this is nothing but a fabricated lie and when the truth comes to them the blasphemers say of the truth this is nothing but plain magic but we gave them no book to study and we did not send them any warner before you those before them also denied the truth yet they have not attained one tenth of what we had given them they rejected my messengers so how was my disapproval say I offer you a single advice devote yourselves to God in pairs or individually and reflect there is no madness in your friend he is just a Warner to you before the advent of a severe punishment say whatever compensation I have asked of you is yours my compensation comes only from God and he is witness over all things say my Lord projects the truth he is the knower of the unseen say the truth has come while falsehood can neither originate nor regenerate say if I err I err only to my own loss but if I am guided it is by what my Lord inspires me he is hearing and near if you could only see when they are terrified and there is no escape and they are seized from a nearby place and they say we have believed in it but how can they attain it from a distant place paid Sheba Saba they have rejected it in the past and made allegations from a far off place a barrier will be placed between them and what they desire as was done formerly with their counterparts they were in disturbing doubt originator Fatir in the name of God the gracious the merciful praise be to God originator of the heavens and the earth maker of the angels messengers with wings double triple and quadruple he adds to creation as he wills God is able to do all things whatever mercy God unfolds for the people none can withhold it and if he withholds it none can release it thereafter he is the exalted in power full of wisdom O people remember God's blessings upon you is there a creator other than God who provides for you from the heaven and the earth there is no God but he so how are you misled if they reject you messengers before you were also rejected to God all matters are returned O people the promise of God is true so let not the lowly life seduce you and let not the tempter tempt you away from God Satan is an enemy to you so treat him as an enemy he only invites his gang to be among the inmates of the inferno those who disbelieve will suffer a harsh punishment but those who believe and do righteous deeds will have forgiveness and a great reward what of him whose evil deed was made attractive to him and 
so he regards it as good God leads astray whomever he wills and he page originator fatir guides whomever he wills therefore do not waste yourself sorrowing over them God knows exactly what they do God is he who sends the winds which agitate clouds which we drive to a dead land and thereby revive the ground after it had died likewise is the resurrection whoever desires honor all honor belongs to God to him ascends speech that is pure and he elevates righteous conduct as for those who plot. Evil a terrible punishment awaits them and the planning of these will fail God created you from dust then from a small drop then he made you peers no female conceives or delivers except with his knowledge no living thing advances in years or its life is shortened except it be in a record that is surely easy for God the two seas are not the same one is fresh sweet good to drink while the other is salty and bitter yet from each you eat tender meat and extract jewelry which you wear and you see. The ships plowing through them so that you may seek of his bounty so that you may give thanks he merges the night into the day and he merges the day into the night and he regulates the sun and the moon each running for a stated term such as God your Lord his is the sovereignty as for those you call upon besides him they do not possess a speck if you pray to them they cannot hear your prayer and even if they heard they would not answer you and on the day of resurrection they will reject your partnership none informs you like an expert O people it is you who are the poor in need of God while God is the rich the praiseworthy if he wills he can do away with you and produce a new creation and that would not be difficult for God page originator fatir no burdened soul can carry the burden of another even if one weighted down calls for help with its burden nothing can be lifted from it even if they were related you are to warn those who fear their Lord inwardly and perform the Prayer he who purifies himself purifies himself for his own good to God is the ultimate return not equal are the blind and the seeing nor are the darkness and the light nor are the shade and the torrid heat nor are equal the living and the dead God causes whomever he wills to hear but you cannot make those in the graves hear you are only a warner we sent you with the truth a bearer of good news and a warner there is no community but a warner has passed through it if they disbelieve you. Those before them also disbelieved their messengers came to them with the clear proofs with the psalms and with the enlightening scripture then I seized those who disbelieved so how was my rejection have you not seen that God sends down water from the sky with it we produce fruits of various colors and in the mountains are streaks of white and red varying in their hue and pitch black likewise human beings animals and livestock come in various colors from among his servants the learned fear. God God is almighty oft forgiving those who recite the book of God and perform the prayer and spend of what we have provided for them secretly and publicly expect a trade that will not fail he will pay them their dues in full and will increase them from his bounty he is forgiving and appreciative page originator fatir what we inspired in you of the book is the truth confirming what preceded it God is well informed of his servants all seeing then we pass the book to those of our servants whom we chose some of them wrong their souls and some follow a middle course and some are in the foremost in good deeds by God's leave that is the greatest blessing the gardens of Eden which they will enter they will be adorned therein with gold bracelets and pearls and their garments therein will be of silk and they will say praise God who has lifted all sorrow from us our Lord is most forgiving most appreciative he who settled us in the home of permanence by his grace where boredom will not touch us and fatigue will not afflict us as for those who disbelieve for them is the fire of hell wherein they will never be finished off and die nor will its punishment be lightened for them thus we will repay every ingrate and they will scream therein our Lord let us out and we will act righteously differently from the way we used to act did we not give you a life long enough in which anyone who wanted to understand would have understood and the warner did come to you so taste the evildoers will have no helper God is the knower of the future of the heavens and the earth he knows what the hearts contain it is he who made you successors on earth whoever disbelieves his disbelief will recoil upon him the disbelief of the disbelievers adds only to their lord's disfavor of them the disbelief of the disbelievers adds only to their perdition say have you considered those partners of yours that you worship instead of God show me what they have created on earth or do they have any share in the heavens or have we given them page originator fatir a book whose clear teachings they follow in fact the wrongdoers promise one another nothing but delusions God holds the heavens and the earth lest they fall apart and were they to fall apart there is none to hold them together except he he is most clement most forgiving and they swore by God with their solemn oaths that if a warner came to them they would be more guided than any other people yet when a warner came to them it only increased them in aversion priding themselves on earth and scheming evil but evil scheming overwhelms none but its authors do they expect anything but the precedent of the ancients you will not find any change in God's practice and you will not find any substitute to God's practice have they not journeyed in the land and observed the fate of those who preceded them they were superior to them in strength but nothing can defeat God in the heavens or on earth he is indeed omniscient and omnipotent if God were to punish the people for what they have earned he would not leave a single living creature on its surface but he defers them until a stated time then when their time has arrived God is observant of his creatures Yasin Yasin in the name of God the gracious the merciful Yasin by the wise Quran you are one of the messengers on a straight path page Yasin Yasin the revelation of the Almighty the merciful to warn a people whose ancestors were not warned and so they are unaware the word was realized against most of them for they do not believe we placed shackles around their necks up to their chin so they are stiff-necked and we placed a barrier in front of them and a barrier behind them and we have enshrouded them so they cannot see it is the same for them whether you warn them or do not warn them they will not believe you warn only him who follows the message and fears the most gracious inwardly so give him good news of forgiveness and
a generous reward it is we who revive the dead and we write down what they have forwarded and their traces we have tallied all things in a clear record and cite for them the parable of the landlords of the town when the messengers came to it we sent them two messengers but they denied them both so we reinforced them with a third they said we are messengers to you they said you are nothing but humans like us and the gracious did not send down anything you are only lying they said are. Lord knows that we are messengers to you and our only duty is clear communication they said we see an evil omen in you if you do not give up we will stone you and a painful punishment from us will befall you page Yasin Yasin they said your evil omen is upon you is it because you were reminded but you are an extravagant people then a man came running from the remotest part of the city he said oh my people follow the messengers follow those who ask you of no wage and are themselves guided and why should I not worship him who created me and to whom you will be returned shall I take other gods instead of him if the merciful desires harm for me their intercession will not avail me at all nor will they save me in that case I would be completely lost I have believed in your lord so listen to me it was said enter paradise he said if only my people knew how my lord has forgiven me and made me one of the honored after him we sent down no hosts from heaven to his people nor would we ever send any down it was just one cry and they were still the last for the servants no messenger ever came to them but they ridiculed him have they not considered how many generations we destroyed before them and that unto them they will not return all of them every single one of them will be arraigned before us and there is a sign for them in the dead land we give it life and produce from it grains from which they eat and we place in it gardens of palm trees and vines and cause springs to gush out of it page Yasin Yasin that they may eat from its fruits although their hands did not make it will they not be appreciative glory be to him who created all the pairs of what the earth produces and of their own selves and of what they do not know another sign for them is the night we strip the day out of it and they are in darkness and the sun runs towards its destination such is the design of the almighty the all-knowing and the moon we have disposed it in phases until it returns like the old twig the sun is not to overtake the moon nor is the night to outpace the day each floats in an orbit another sign for them is that we carried their offspring in the laden ark and we created for them the like of it in which they ride if we will we can drown them with no screaming to be heard from them nor will they be saved except by a mercy from us and enjoyment for a while yet when it is said to them beware of what lies before you and what lies behind you that you may receive mercy yet never came to them a sign of their Lord's signs but they turned away from it and when it is said to them spend of what God has provided for you those who disbelieve say to those who believe shall we feed someone whom God could feed if he so willed you must be deeply misguided and they say when will this promise be if you are truthful all they can expect is a single blast which will seize them while they feud page Yasin Yasin. They will not be able to make a will nor will they return to their families the trumpet will be blown then behold they will rush from the tombs to their lord they will say woe to us who resurrected us from our resting place this is what the most gracious had promised and the messengers have spoken the truth it will be but a single scream and behold they will all be brought before us on that day no soul will be wronged in the least and you will be recompensed only for what you used to do. The inhabitants of paradise on that day will be happily busy they and their spouses in shades reclining on couches they will have their in fruits they will have whatever they call for peace a saying from a most merciful lord but step aside today you criminals did I not covenant with you O children of Adam that you shall not serve the devil that he is your sworn enemy and that you shall serve me this is a straight path he has misled a great multitude of you did you not understand this is hellfire which you were promised roast in it today because you persistently disbelieved on this day we will seal their mouths and their hands will speak to us and their feet will testify to everything they had done if we will we can blind their eyes as they rush towards the path but how will they see and if we will we can cripple them in their place so they can neither move forward nor go back page Yasin Yasin whomever we grant old age we reverse his development do they not understand we did not teach him poetry nor is it proper for him it is only a reminder and a clear Quran that he may warn whoever is alive and prove the word against the faithless have they not seen that we created for them of our handiwork livestock that they own and we subdued them for them some they ride and some they eat and they have in them other benefits and drinks will they not give thanks yet they have taken to themselves gods other than God that perhaps they may be helped they cannot help them although they are arrayed as troops for them so let their words not sadden you we know what they conceal and what they reveal does the human being not consider that we created him from a seed yet he becomes a fierce adversary and he produces arguments against us and he forgets his own creation he says who will revive the bones when they have decayed say he who initiated them in the first instance will revive them he has knowledge of every creation he who produced fuel for you from the green trees with which you kindle a fire is not he who created the heavens and the earth able to create the like of them certainly he is the supreme all-knowing creator page Yasin Yasin his command when he wills a thing is to say to it be and it comes to be so glory be to him in whose hand is the dominion of everything and to him you will be returned the aligners as Safat in the name of God the gracious the merciful by the aligners aligning and the drivers driving and the Reciters of the reminder your God is indeed one Lord of the heavens and the earth and everything between them and Lord of the Easts we have adorned the lower heaven with the beauty of the planets and guarded it against every defiant devil they cannot eavesdrop on the supernal elite for they get bombarded from every side repelled they will have a lingering torment except for him who snatches a fragment he gets pursued by a piercing projectile inquire of them are they more difficult to 
create or the others we created we created them from sticky clay but you wonder and they ridicule and when reminded they pay no attention and when they see a sign they ridicule and they say this is nothing but plain magic page the aligners as safet when we have died and become dust and bones shall we be resurrected and our ancestors of old say yes indeed and you will be totally subdued it will be a single nudge and they will be staring they will say woe to us this is the day of judgment this is the day of separation which you used to deny gather those who did wrong and their mates and what they used to worship besides God and lead them to the way to hell and stop them they are to be questioned what is the matter with you why do you not help one another in fact on that day they will be submissive they will come to one another questioning one another they will say you used to come at us from the right they will say you yourselves were not believers we had no authority over you you yourselves were rebellious people the word of our lord has been realized against us we are tasting it we seduced you we were seducers on that day they will share in the punishment thus we deal with the sinners when it was said to them there is no god except god they grew arrogant and said are we to abandon our gods for a mad poet page the aligners as safet in fact he came with the truth and he confirmed the messengers most assuredly you will taste the painful punishment and you will be repaid only for what you used to do except for God sincere servants for them is a known provision fruits and they will be honored in the gardens of bliss on furnishings facing one another they will be offered a cup of pure drink white a delight to those who drink never polluted and never intoxicating with them will be bashful women with lovely eyes as if they were closely guarded pearls then they will approach one another questioning one of them will say I used to have a friend who used to say are you of those who believe that after we die and become dust and bones we will be called to account he will say will you have a look he will look and will see him in the pit of hell he will say by God you almost ruined me were it not for the grace of my Lord I would have been among the arraigned we will not die except for our first death and we will not be punished page the aligners as Safat this is the supreme triumph. For the like of this let the workers work is this a better hospitality or the tree of bitterness we made it an ordeal for the unjust it is a tree that grows from the bottom of hell its fruits are like the devil's heads they will eat from it and fill their bellies with it then on top of it they will have a brew of boiling liquid then their return will be to the blaze they had found their parents astray and rushed along in their footsteps and most of the ancients before them went astray. Even though we sent messengers to warn them so observe the end of those who were warned except for the sincere servants of God and Noah called out to us and we are the best of responders and we saved him and his family from the great calamity and we made his descendants the survivors and we left mention of him among those who succeeded peace be upon Noah among all people we thus reward the righteous he was one of our believing servants then we drowned the others of his kind was. Abraham when he came to his Lord with a sound heart page the aligners as Safat he said to his father and his people what are you worshipping is it falsified gods instead of God that you want so what is your opinion about the Lord of the worlds then he took a glance at the stars and said I am sick but they turned their backs on him and went away then he turned to their gods and said will you not eat what is it with you that you do not speak then he turned on them striking with his right hand and they came running towards him he said do you worship what you carve when God created you and what you manufacture they said build a pyre for him and throw him into the furnace they wished him ill but we made them the losers he said I am going towards my Lord and he will guide me my Lord give me one of the righteous so we gave him good news of a clement boy then when he was old enough to accompany him he said oh my son I see in a dream that I am sacrificing. You see what you think he said oh my father do as you are commanded you will find me God willing one of the steadfast then when they had submitted and he put his forehead down we called out to him oh Abraham you have fulfilled the vision thus we reward the doers of good this was certainly an evident test and we redeemed him with a great sacrifice page the aligners as Safat and we left with him for later generations peace be upon Abraham thus we reward the doers of good he was one of our believing servants and we gave him good news of Isaac a prophet one of the righteous and we blessed him and Isaac but among their descendants are some who are righteous and some who are clearly unjust to themselves and we blessed Moses and Aaron and we delivered them and their people from the terrible disaster and we supported them and so they were the victors and we gave them the clarifying scripture and we guided them upon the straight path and we left with them for later. Generations peace be upon Moses and Aaron thus we reward the righteous they were of our believing servants also Elijah was one of the messengers he said to his people do you not fear do you call on Baal and forsake the best of creators God is your Lord and the Lord of your ancestors but they called him a liar and thus they will be brought forward except for God sincere servants and we left with him for later generations page the aligners as Safat peace be upon the house of Elijah thus we reward the virtuous he was one of our believing servants and Lot was one of the messengers we saved him and his family all of them except for an old woman who lagged behind then we annihilated the others you pass by them in the morning and at night do you not understand and Jonah was one of the messengers when he fled to the laden boat he gambled and lost then the fish swallowed him and he was to blame had he not been one of those who praised he would have stayed in its belly until the day they are raised then we threw him into the wilderness and he was sick and we made a gourd tree grow over him then we sent him to a hundred thousand or more and they believed so we gave them enjoyment for a while ask them are the daughters for your lord while for them the sons or did we create the angels females as they witnessed no indeed it is one of their lies when they say god has begotten they are indeed lying so he preferred girls over boys page the 
Aligners as Safed what is the matter with you how do you judge will you not reflect or do you have some clear proof then bring your book if you are telling the truth and they invented a relationship between him and the jinn but the jinn know that they will be arraigned God be glorified far above what they allege except for God sincere servants surely you and what you serve cannot seduce away from him except for he who will be roasting in hell there is not one of us but has an assigned position and we are the arrangers and we are the glorifiers even though they used to say had we received advice from the ancients we would have been God's faithful servants but they rejected it so they will find out our word has already gone out to our servant messengers it is they who will be supported and our troops will be the victors so disregard them for a while and watch them they will soon see are they seeking to hasten our punishment page the aligners as Safed. When it descends into their yard miserable will be the morning of those forewarned so avoid them for a while and watch they will soon see exalted be your lord the lord of glory beyond their allegations and peace be upon the messengers and praise be to God the lord of the world sod sod in the name of God the gracious the merciful sod by the renowned Quran those who disbelieve are steeped in arrogance and defiance how many generations have we destroyed before them they cried out when. It was too late to escape and they marveled that a warner has come to them from among them the disbeliever said this is a lying magician did he turn all the gods into one god this is something strange the notables among them announced go on and hold fast to your gods this is something planned we never heard of this in the former faith this is nothing but a fabrication was the message sent down to him out of all of us in fact they are doubtful of my warning in fact they have not yet tasted my punishment or do they possess the treasuries of the mercy of your lord the majestic the giver page sod sod or do they possess the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth and what is between them then let them ascend the ropes an army of confederates will be defeated there before them the people of noah denied the truth as did ayat and pharaoh of the stakes and tamud and the people of lot and the dwellers of the woods these were the confederates none of them but denied the messengers so my retribution was deserved these can expect only a single scream from which there is no recovery and they say our lord hasten your writ upon us before the day of account be patient in the face of what they say and mention our servant david the resourceful he was obedient we committed the mountains to glorify with him in the evening and at daybreak and the birds gathered together all obedient to him and we strengthened his kingdom and gave him wisdom and decisive speech has the story of the two disputants reached you when they scaled the sanctuary when they entered upon David and he was startled by them they said do not fear two disputants one of us has wronged the other so judge between us fairly and do not be biased and guide us to the straight way this brother of mine has 99 ewes and I have one you and he said entrust it to me and he pressured me with words page sod sod he said he has done you wrong by asking your you in addition to his use many partners take advantage of one another except those who believe and do good deeds but these are so few David realized that we were testing him so he sought forgiveness from his Lord and fell down to his knees and repented so we forgave him that and for him is nearness to us and a good place of return O David we made you a ruler in the land so judge between the people with justice and do not follow desire lest it diverts you from God's path those who stray from God's path will have a painful punishment for having ignored the day of account we did not create the heaven and the earth and everything between them in vain that is the assumption of those who disbelieve so woe to those who disbelieve because of the fire or are we to treat those who believe and do righteous deeds like those who make trouble on earth or are we to treat the pious like the shameless a blessed book that we sent down to you that they may ponder its verses and for those with intelligence too. Take heed and we granted David Solomon an excellent servant he was penitent when the beautiful horses were paraded before him in the evening he said I have preferred the love of niceties to the remembrance of my lord until it disappeared behind the veil bring them back to me and he began caressing their legs and next we tested Solomon and placed a body on his throne then he repented page sod sod he said my lord forgive me and grant me a kingdom never to be attained by anyone after. Me you are the giver so we placed the wind at his service blowing gently by his command wherever he directed and the demons every builder and diver and others fettered in chains this is our gift so give generously or withhold without account for him is nearness to us and a beautiful resort and mention our servant job when he called out to his lord Satan has afflicted me with hardship and pain stamp with your foot here is cool water to wash with and to drink and we restored his family for him and their like with them as a mercy from us and a lesson for those who possess insight take with your hand a bundle and strike with it and do not break your oath we found him patient what an excellent servant he was obedient and mention our servants Abraham Isaac and Jacob endowed with ability and vision we distinguished them with a distinct quality the remembrance of the home to us they are among the chosen the outstanding and mention Ishmael Elisha and Ezekiel all are among the outstanding this is a reminder the devout will have a good place of return the gardens of Eden with their doors wide open for them relaxing therein and calling for abundant fruit and beverage page sod sod with them will be attendants with modest gaze of same age this is what you are promised for the day of account such is our bounty inexhaustible all this but the transgressors will have a miserable return hell in which they will roast what a miserable abode all this let them taste it boiling and bitter cold and similar torments of diverse kinds this is a crowd rushing headlong with you there is no welcome for them they will be scorched by the fire they will say but it is you there is no welcome for you it is you who brought it upon us what a miserable end they will say our lord whoever brought this upon us give him double torment in the fire and they will say what is it with us that we do not see men we used to count among the wicked did we take 
them for mockery or have our eyes swerved from them this is certainly true the feuding of the people of the fire say I am only a warner and there is no God except God the one the conqueror the Lord of the heavens and the earth and everything between them the mighty the forgiver say it is a message of great importance from which you are turning away I have no knowledge of the highest assembly as they dispute it is only revealed to me that I am a clear warner page sod sod your Lord said to the angels I am creating a human being from clay when I have formed him and breathed into him of my spirit fall prostrate before him so the angels fell prostrate all of them except for Satan he was too proud and one of the faithless he said O oh Satan what prevented you from prostrating before what I created with my own hands are you too proud or were you one of the exalted he said I am better than he you created me from fire and you created him from clay he said then get out of here you are an outcast and my curse will be upon you until the day of judgment he said Lord defer me until the day they are resurrected he said you are one of those deferred until the day of the time appointed he said by your majesty I will seduce them all except for your loyal servants among them he said the truth is and I say the truth I will fill hell with you and with every one of them who follows you say I ask of you no wage for this and I am not a pretender it is but a reminder to mankind and you will know its message after a while page throngs azizumar throngs azizumar in the name of god the gracious the merciful the revelation of the book is from god the mighty and wise we sent down to you the book with the truth so serve god devoting your religion to him is not to god that sincere faith is due as for those who take guardians besides him we only worship them that they may bring us nearer to god god will judge between them regarding their Differences God does not guide the lying blasphemer if God wanted to have a son he could have selected from his creation at will glory be to him he is God the one the prevailing he created the heavens and the earth with reason he wraps the night around the day and he wraps the day around the night and he regulates the sun and the moon each running along a specific course he is indeed the almighty the forgiver he created you from one person then made from it its mate and brought down. Livestock for you eight kinds in pairs he creates you in the wombs of your mothers in successive formations in a triple darkness such as God your Lord his is the kingdom there is no God but he so what made you deviate if you disbelieve God is independent of you yet he does not approve in gratitude on the part of his servants and if you are thankful he will approve that in you no bearer of burden can bear the burden of another than to your Lord is your return and he will inform you of what you used to do he is aware of what the hearts contain when some adversity touches the human being he prays to his lord repenting to him but then when he confers on him a grace of his he forgets what he was praying for before and he attributes page throngs azizumar rivals to god in order to lead astray from his way say enjoy your disbelief for a little while you will be among the inmates of the fire is he who worships devoutly during the watches of the night prostrating himself and standing up Mindful of the hereafter and placing his hope in the mercy of his Lord say are those who know and those who do not know equal only those possessed of reason will remember say O oh my devotees who have believed keep your duty to your Lord for those who do good in this world is goodness and God's earth is vast the steadfast will be paid their wages in full without reckoning say I was commanded to serve God devoting my religion exclusively to him and I was commanded to be the first of those who submit say I fear if I disobeyed my Lord the punishment of a horrendous day say it is God I worship sincere in my faith in him but you can worship whatever you wish besides him say the losers are those who lose their souls and their people on the day of resurrection that is indeed the obvious loss they will have layers of fire above them and layers beneath them that is how God strikes fear into his servants dash oh my servants beware of me as for those who avoid the worship of idols and devote themselves to God theirs is the good news so give good news to my servants those who listen to the word and follow the best of it these are they whom God has guided these are they who possess intellect what about someone who has deserved the sentence of punishment is it you who can save those in the fire page throngs azizumar but those who fear their Lord will have mansions upon mansions built high with streams flowing beneath them the promise of God and God never breaks a promise have you not considered how God sends down water from the sky then he makes it flow into underground wells then he produces with it plants of various colors then they wither and you see them yellowing then he turns them into debris surely in this is a reminder for those with understanding what about someone whose heart God has opened to Islam so that he follows a light from his Lord woe to those whose hearts are hardened against the mention of God those are in manifest error God has sent down the best of narrations a scripture consistent and paired the skins of those who reverence their lord shiver from it then their skins and their hearts soften up to the remembrance of god such as god's guidance he guides with it whomever he wills but whomever god leaves astray for him there is no guide what about someone who covers his face against the terrible misery of the day of resurrection to the evil doers it will be said taste what you used to earn those before them also denied the truth so the penalty came upon them from where they did not perceive God made them taste disgrace in the present life but the punishment of the hereafter is worse if they only knew we have cited in this Quran for mankind every ideal that they may take heed an Arabic Quran without any defect so they may become righteous God cites the example of a man shared by partners at odds and a man belonging exclusively to one man are they equal in status praise be to God but most of them do.
not know page throngs azizumar you will die and they will die then on the day of resurrection you will be quarreling before your lord who is more evil than he who lies about god and denies the truth when it has come to him is there not in hell room for the ungrateful but he who promotes the truth and testifies to it these are the righteous they will have whatever they please with their lord such is the reward for the virtuous god will acquit them of the worst of their deeds and will reward them according to the best of what they used to do is god not enough for his servant and they frighten you with those besides him whomever god sends astray for him there is no guide and whomever god guides for him there is no misleader is god not powerful and vengeful and if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth they would say god say have you seen those you pray to instead of god if god willed any harm for me can they lift his harm and if he willed a blessing for me can they hold back his mercy say God suffices for me on him the reliant rely say O oh my people work according to your ability and so will I then you will know who will receive a humiliating punishment and on whom will fall a lasting torment we sent down upon you the book for mankind in truth he who follows guidance does so for the good of his soul and he who strays in error does so to its detriment you are not their overseer page throngs azizumar God takes the souls at the time of their death and those that have not died during their sleep he retains those for which he has decreed death and he releases the others until a predetermined time in that are signs for people who reflect or have they chosen intercessors other than God say even though they have no power over anything and are devoid of reason say all intercession is up to God to him belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth then to him you will be returned when God alone is mentioned the hearts of those who do not believe in the hereafter shrink with resentment but when those other than him are mentioned they become filled with joy say our God initiator of the heavens and the earth knower of all secrets and declarations you will judge between your servants regarding what they had differed about if those who did wrong owned everything on earth and the like of it with it they would redeem themselves with it from the terrible suffering on the day of resurrection but there will appear to them from God what they never anticipated there will appear to them the evils of their deeds and they will be surrounded by what they used to ridicule when adversity touches the human being he calls on us but then when we favor him with a blessing from us he says I have attained this by virtue of my knowledge however it is a test but most of them do not know those before them said it but what they had earned did not avail them the evils of their deeds caught up with them and the wrongdoers among these will also be afflicted by the evils of what they earned and they cannot prevent it page throngs azizumar do they not know that god extends the provision to whomever he wills and constricts it in that are signs for people who believe say oh my servants who have transgressed against themselves do not despair of god's mercy for god forgives all sins he is indeed the forgiver the clement and turn to your lord and submit to him before the retribution comes upon you then you will not be helped and follow the best of what was revealed to you from your Lord before the punishment comes upon you suddenly while you are unaware so that a soul may not say how sorry I am for having neglected my duty to God and for having been of the scoffers or say had God guided me I would have been of the pious or say when it sees the penalty if only I had another chance I would be of the virtuous yes indeed my verses did come to you but you called them lies turned arrogant and were of the faithless on the day of resurrection you will see those who told lies about God with their faces blackened is there not a place in hell for the arrogant and God will save those who maintained righteousness to their place of salvation no harm will touch them nor will they grieve God is the creator of all things and he is in charge of all things to him belong the reins of the heavens and the earth but those who blaspheme against the revelations of God it is they who are the losers say is it other than God you instruct me to worship you ignorant ones page throngs azizumar it was revealed to you and to those before you that if you idolize your works will be in vain and you will be of the losers rather worship God and be of the appreciative they have not esteemed God as he ought to be esteemed the entire earth will be in his grip on the day of resurrection and the heavens will be folded in his rye immaculate is he and transcendent he is beyond the associations they make and the trumpet will be sounded whereupon everyone in the heavens and the earth will be stunned except whomever God wills then it will be sounded another time whereupon they will rise up looking on and the earth will shine with the light of its Lord and the book will be put in place and the prophets and the witnesses will be brought in and judgment will be passed among them equitably and they will not be wronged and every soul will be fully compensated for what it had done he is well aware of what they do those who disbelieved will be driven to hell in throngs until when they have reached it and its gates are opened its keepers will say to them did not messengers from among you come to you reciting to you the revelations of your lord and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours they will say yes but the verdict of punishment is justified against the disbelievers it will be said enter the gates of hell to abide therein eternally how wretched is the destination of the arrogant and those who feared their Lord will be led to paradise in throngs until when they have reached it and its gates are opened its keepers will say to them peace be upon you you have been good so enter it to abide therein eternally page throngs azizumar and they will say praise be to God who has fulfilled his promise to us and made us inherit the land enjoying paradise as we please how excellent is the reward of the workers and you will see the angels hovering around the throne glorifying their Lord with praise and it will be judged between them equitably and it will be said praise be to God Lord of the worlds forgiver gaffer in the name of God the gracious the merciful Hamim the sending down of the scripture is from God the Almighty the omniscient forgiver of sins acceptor of repentance severe in punishment bountiful in bounty there is no God but he to him is the ultimate return none argues against God's revelations except those 
who disbelieve so do not be impressed by their activities in the land before them the people of Noah rejected the truth as did the confederates after them every community plotted against their messenger to capture him and they argued with falsehood to defeat with it the truth but I seized them what a punishment it was thus the sentence of your lord became realized against those who disbelieve that they are to be inmates of the fire those who carry the throne and those around it glorify their lord with praise and believe in him and ask for forgiveness for those who believe our lord you have encompassed everything in mercy and knowledge so forgive those who repent and follow your path and protect them from the agony of the blaze page forgive or gave her and admit them our lord into the gardens of eternity which you have promised them and the righteous among their parents and their spouses and their offspring you are indeed the almighty the most wise and shield them from the evil deeds whomever you shield from the evil deeds on that day you have had mercy on him that is the supreme achievement those who disbelieved will be addressed the loathing of god is greater than your loathing of yourselves for you were invited to the faith but you refused they will say our lord you made us die twice and twice you gave us life now we acknowledge our sins is there any way out that is because when god alone was called upon you disbelieved but when others were associated with him you believe judgment rests with God the sublime the majestic it is he who shows you his wonders and sends down sustenance from the sky for you but none pays heed except the repentance so call upon God with sincere devotion to him even though the disbelievers resent it exalted in rank owner of the throne he conveys the spirit by his command upon whomever he wills of his servants to warn of the day of encounter the day when they will emerge nothing about them will be concealed from God. To whom does the sovereignty belong today to God the one the irresistible on that day every soul will be recompensed for what it had earned there will be no injustice on that day God is quick to settle accounts page forgive or gave her and warn them of the day of imminence when the hearts are at the throats choking them the evildoers will have no intimate friend and no intercessor to be obeyed he knows the deceptions of the eyes and what the hearts conceal God judges with justice while those whom they invoke besides him cannot judge with anything it is God who is the hearing the seeing have they not traveled through the earth and seen the consequences for those before them they were stronger than them and they left more impact on earth but God seized them for their sins and they had no defender against God that is because their messengers used to come to them with clear proofs but they disbelieved so God seized them he is strong severe in retribution we sent Moses with our signs and a clear authority to Pharaoh Haman and Quarun but they said a lying sorcerer then when he came to them with the truth from us they said kill the sons of those who have believed with him and spare their daughters but the scheming of the unbelievers can only go astray Pharaoh said leave me to kill Moses and let him appeal to his Lord I fear he may change your religion or spread disorder in the land Moses said I have sought the protection of my Lord and your Lord from Every tyrant who does not believe in the day of account a believing man from Pharaoh's family who had concealed his faith said are you going to kill a man for saying my Lord is God and he has brought you clear proofs from your Lord if he is a liar his lying will rebound upon him but if he is truthful then some of page forgive or gave for what he promises you will befall you God does not guide the extravagant imposter oh my people yours is the dominion today supreme in the land but who will help us against God's might should it fall upon us Pharaoh said I do not show you except what I see and I do not guide you except to the path of prudence the one who had believed said oh my people I fear for you the like of the day of the confederates like the fate of the people of Noah and Ayat and Tamud and those after them God wants no injustice for the servants oh my people I fear for you the day of calling out the day when you will turn and flee having no defender against God whomever God misguides has no guide Joseph had come to you with clear revelations but you continued to doubt what he came to you with until when he perished you said God will never send a messenger after him thus God leads astray the outrageous skeptic those who argue against God's revelations without any proof having come to the Mahana sin in the sight of God and of those who believe thus God seals the heart of every proud bully and Pharaoh said O Haman build me a tower that I may reach the pathways the pathways of the heavens so that I may glance at the God of Moses though I think he is lying thus Pharaoh's evil deeds were made to appear good to him and he was averted from the path Pharaoh's guile was only in defeat the one who had believed said oh my people follow me and I will guide you to the path of rectitude oh my people the life of this world is nothing but fleeting enjoyment but the hereafter is the home of permanence page forgive or gave for whoever commits a sin will be repaid only with its like but whoever works righteousness whether male or female and is a believer these will enter paradise where they will be provided for without account oh my people how is it that I call you to salvation and you call me to the fire you call me to reject God and to associate with him what I have no knowledge of while I call you to the mighty forgiver without a doubt what you call me to has no say in this world or in the hereafter and our turning back is to God and the transgressors are the inmates of the fire you will remember what I am telling you so I commit my case to God God is observant of the servants so God protected him from the evils of their scheming while a terrible torment besieged Pharaoh's clan the fire they will be exposed to it morning and evening and on the day the hour takes place admit the clan of Pharaoh to the most intense agony as they quarrel in the fire the weak will say to those who were arrogant we were followers of yours will you then spare us a portion of the fire those who were arrogant will say we are all in it God has judged between the servants and those in the fire will say to the keepers of hell call to your Lord to lessen our suffering for one day they will say did not your messengers come to you with clear signs they will say yes they will say then pray but the prayers of the disbelievers will always be in vain most surely we will support our messengers and those who believe in 
This life and on the day the witnesses arise page forgive or gave for the day when their excuses will not profit the wrongdoers and the curse will be upon them and they will have the home of misery we gave Moses guidance and made the children of Israel inherit the scripture a guide and a reminder for those endowed with reason so be patient the promise of God is true and ask forgiveness for your sin and proclaim the praise of your Lord evening and morning those who dispute regarding God's revelations without any authority having come to them there is nothing in their hearts but the feeling of greatness which they will never attain so seek refuge in God for he is the all hearing the all seeing certainly the creation of the heavens and the earth is greater than the creation of humanity but most people do not know not equal are the blind and the seeing nor are those who believe and work righteousness equal to the sinners how little you reflect indeed the hour is coming there is no doubt about it but most people do not believe your Lord has said pray to me and I will respond to you but those who are too proud to worship me will enter hell forcibly it is God who made the night for you that you may rest therein and the day allowing sight God is gracious towards the people but most people do not give thanks such as God your Lord creator of all things there is no God except him so how could you turn away thus are turned away those who dispute the signs of God it is. God who made the earth a habitat for you and the sky a structure and he designed you and designed you well and he page forgiver gave for provided you with the good things such as God your Lord so blessed is God Lord of the worlds he is the living one there is no God except he so pray to him devoting your religion to him praise be to God the Lord of the world say I was prohibited from worshipping those you invoke besides God now that clear revelations have come to me from my Lord and I was commanded to submit to the Lord of the worlds it is he who created you from dust then from a seed then from an embryo then he brings you out as an infant then he lets you reach your maturity then you become elderly although some of you die sooner so that you may reach a predetermined age so that you may understand it is he who gives life and death and when he decides on a thing he just says to it be and it comes to be have you not observed those who dispute regarding God's revelations how they have deviated those who call the book a lie and what we sent our messengers with they will surely know when the yokes are around their necks and they will be dragged by the chains into the boiling water then in the fire they will be consumed then it will be said to them where are those you used to deify instead of God they will say they have abandoned us in fact we were praying to nothing before thus God sends the disbelievers astray that is because you used to rejoice on earth. In other than the truth and because you used to behave with vanity page forgive or gave for enter the gates of hell to remain therein forever what a terrible dwelling for the arrogant so be patient the promise of God is true whether we show you some of what we have promised them or take you to us to us they will be returned we sent messengers before you some of them we told you about and some we did not tell you about no messenger can bring a miracle except by leave of God then when they command of God is issued fair judgment will be passed and there and then the seekers of vanity will lose God is he who created the domestic animals for you some for you to ride and some you eat and in them you have other benefits as well and through them you satisfy your needs and on them and on the ships you are transported and he shows you his signs so which of God's signs will you deny have they not journeyed through the land and seen the outcome for those before them they were more numerous than they and had greater power and influence in the land but what they had achieved availed them nothing when their messengers came to them with clear proofs they rejoiced in the knowledge they had and the very things they used to ridicule besieged them then when they witnessed our might they said we believe in God alone and we reject what we used to associate with him but their faith could not help them once they witnessed our might this has been God's way of dealing with his servants and there and then the disbelievers lost page detailed fusilat detailed fusilat in the name of God the gracious the merciful Hami may revelation from the most gracious the most merciful a scripture whose verses are detailed a Quran in Arabic for people who know bringing good news and giving warnings but most of them turn away so they do not listen and they say our hearts are screened from what you call us to and in our ears is deafness and between us and you is a barrier so do what you want and so will we say I am only a human like you it is inspired in me that your God is one God so be upright towards him and seek forgiveness from him and woe to the idolaters those who do not pay the alms and regarding the hereafter they are disbelievers as for those who believe and do righteous deeds for them is a reward uninterrupted say do you reject the one who created the earth in two days and you attribute equals to him that is the Lord of the universe he placed stabilizers over it and blessed it and planned its provisions in four days equally to the seekers then he turned to the sky and it was smoke and said to it and to the earth come willingly or unwillingly they said we come willingly so he completed them as seven universes in two days and he assigned to each universe its laws and we decorated the lower universe with lamps and for protection that is the design of the almighty the all-knowing page detailed fusilat but if they turn away say I have warned you of a thunderbolt like the thunderbolt of Ayat and Tamud. their messengers came to them from before them and from behind them saying do not worship anyone but God they said had our Lord willed he would have sent down angels therefore we reject what you are sent with as for Ayat they turned arrogant on earth and opposed justice and said who is more powerful than us have they not considered that God who created them is more powerful than they and they went on denying our Revelation so we unleashed upon them a screaming wind for a few miserable days to make them taste the punishment of shame in this life but the punishment of the hereafter is more shameful and they will not be saved and as for Tamud we guided them but they preferred blindness over guidance so the thunderbolt of the humiliating punishment seized them because of what they used to earn and we saved those who believed and were righteous the day when God's enemies are herded into the fire. 
forcibly until when they have reached it their hearing and their sight and their skins will testify against them regarding what they used to do and they will say to their skins why did you testify against us they will say God who made all things speak made us speak it is he who created you the first time and to him you are returned you were unable to hide yourselves from your hearing and your sight and your skins to prevent them from testifying against you and you imagined that God was unaware of much of what you do it is that thought of yours about your lord that led you to ruin so you became of the losers page detailed fusilat if they endure patiently the fire will be their residence and if they make up excuses they will not be pardoned we had assigned companions for them who glamorized to them what was in front of them and what was behind them and the word proved true against them in communities of jinn and humans that have passed away before them they were losers those who disbelieve say do not listen to this Quran and talk over it so that you may prevail we will make those who disbelieve taste an intense agony and we will recompense them according to the worst of what they used to do such as the recompense of God's enemies the fire where they will have their permanent home in recompense for having disregarded our revelations those who disbelieved will say our Lord show us those who led us astray among jinn and humans and we will trample them under our feet so they become among of the lowest surely those who say our lord is god and then go straight the angels will descend upon them do not fear and do not grieve but rejoice in the news of the garden which you were promised we are your allies in this life and in the hereafter wherein you will have whatever your souls desire and you will have therein whatever you call for as hospitality from an all forgiving merciful one and who is better in speech than someone who calls to God and acts with integrity and says I am of those who submit good and evil are not equal repel evil with good and the person who was your enemy becomes like an intimate friend but none will attain it except those who persevere and none will attain it except the very fortunate page detailed fusilat when a temptation from the devil provokes you seek refuge in God he is the hearer the knower and of his signs are the night and the day and the sun and the moon do not bow down to the sun nor to the moon but bow down to God who created them both if it is him that you serve but if they are too proud those in the presence of your Lord praise him night and day and without ever tiring and of his signs is that you see the land still but when we send down water upon it it stirs and grows surely he who revived it will revive the dead he is able to do all things those who despise our revelations are not hidden from us is he who is hurled into the fire better or he who arrives safely on the day of resurrection do as you please he is seeing of everything you do those who reject the reminder when it has come to them it is an invincible book falsehood cannot approach it from before it or behind it it is a revelation from one wise and praiseworthy nothing is said to you but was said to the messengers before you your lord is possessor of forgiveness and possessor of painful repayment had we made it a Quran in a foreign language they would have said if only its verses were made clear non-Arabic and an Arab say for those who believe it is guidance and healing but as for those who do not believe there is heaviness in their ears and it is blindness for them these are being called from a distant place we gave Moses the book but disputes arose concerning it were it not for a prior decree from your Lord judgment would have been pronounced between them but they are in perplexing doubt concerning it page detailed fusilat whoever acts righteously does so for himself and whoever works evil does so against himself your lord is not unjust to the servants to him is referred the knowledge of the hour no fruit emerges from its sheath and no female conceives or delivers except with his knowledge and on the day when he calls out to them where are my associates they will say we admit to you none of us is a witness what they used to pray to before will forsake them and they will realize that they have no escape the human being never tires of praying for good things but when adversity afflicts him he despairs and loses hope and when we let him taste a mercy from us after the adversity that had afflicted him he will say this is mine and I do not think that the hour is coming and even if I am returned to my Lord I will have the very best with him we will inform those who disbelieve of what they did and we will make them taste an awful punishment when we provide comfort for the human being he withdraws and distances himself but when adversity befalls him he starts lengthy prayers say have you considered if it is from God and you rejected who is further astray than he who is cut off and alienated we will show them our proofs on the horizons and in their very souls until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth is it not sufficient that your Lord is witness over everything surely they are in doubt about the encounter with their Lord surely he comprehends everything consultation Ashura in the name of God the Gracious the merciful page consultation Ashura Hami main seen kaf thus he inspires you and those before you God the Almighty the wise to him belongs everything in the heavens and everything on earth he is the sublime the magnificent the heavens above them almost burst apart while the angels glorify the praises of their Lord and ask forgiveness for those on earth God is indeed the forgiver the merciful as for those who take masters other than him God is in charge of them and you are not responsible for them thus we inspired you with an Arabic Quran that you may warn the central city and whoever is around it and to warn of the day of assembly of which there is no doubt a group in the garden and a group in the furnace had God willed he could have made them one community but he admits into his mercy whomever he wills as for the wrongdoers they will have no protector and no savior or have they adopted protectors besides him but God is the protector and he gives life to the dead and he has power over all things whatever matter you differ about its judgment rests with God such as God my Lord in whom I trust and unto him I repent originator of the heavens and the earth he made for you mates from among yourselves and pairs of animals by means of which he multiplies you there is nothing like him he is the hearing the seeing to him belongs absolute control of the heavens and the earth he spreads the bounties to whomever he wills or reduces it he is aware of all 
Things page consultation Ashura he prescribed for you the same religion he enjoined upon Noah and what we inspired to you and what we enjoined upon Abraham and Moses and Jesus you shall uphold the religion and be not divided therein as for the idolaters what you call them to is outrageous to them God chooses to himself whom he wills and he guides to himself whoever repents they became divided only after knowledge came to them out of resentment among themselves were it not for a Predetermined decision from your Lord judgment would have been pronounced between them indeed those who were made to inherit the book after them are in grave doubt about it to this go on inviting and be upright as you were commanded and do not follow their inclinations and say I believe in whatever book God has sent down and I was commanded to judge between you equitably God is our Lord and your Lord we have our deeds and you have your deeds let there be no quarrel between us and you God will bring us together and to him is the ultimate return as for those who dispute about God after having answered his call their argument is invalid with their Lord and upon them falls wrath and a grievous torment awaits them it is God who revealed the book with the truth and the balance and what will make you realize that perhaps the hour is near those who do not believe in it seek to hasten it but those who believe are apprehensive of it and they know it to be the truth absolutely those who question the hour are in distant error God is kind towards his worshippers he provides for whomever he wills he is the powerful the honorable whoever desires the harvest of the hereafter we increase for him his harvest and whoever desires the harvest of this world we give him thereof and he has no share of the hereafter page consultation Ashura or is it that they have partners who litigate for them religious laws never authorized by God were it not for the conclusive decision it would have been settled between them the wicked will have a painful punishment you will see the unjust terrified of what they have earned and it will befall them as for those who believe and do good deeds they will be in the meadows of the gardens they will have whatever they please in the presence of their lord that is the supreme blessing that is the good news god gives to his servants who believe and do good deeds say i ask of you no wage for it except affection among the near of kin whoever does a good deed we will increase its goodness for him God is forgiving and appreciative or do they say he forged a lie about God if God so willed he could have sealed your heart but God obliterates the false and confirm the true by his words he knows what is in the hearts it is he who accepts the repentance of his worshippers and remits the sins and knows what you do and he answers those who believe and do good deeds and he increases them of his grace but the disbelievers will suffer a terrible punishment if God were to increase the provision to his servants they would transgress on earth but he sends down in precise measure whatever he wills surely regarding his servants he is expert and observant it is he who brings down the rain after they have despaired and unfolds his mercy he is the guardian the praised and of his signs are the creation of the heavens and the earth and the creatures he has spread throughout them and he is able to gather them at will whatever misfortune befalls you it is because of what your hands have earned and yet he pardons much page consultation Ashura you are not the ones to interfere on earth and besides God you have no ally and no helper and of his signs are the ships sailing the sea like flags if he willed he could have stilled the winds leaving them motionless on its surface surely in that are signs for every disciplined grateful person or he could wreck them because of what they have earned and yet he pardons much those who dispute our signs know that there is no asylum for them whatever thing you are given is only the provision of this life but what God possesses is better and more lasting for those who believe and rely on their Lord and those who avoid major sins and inchanches and if they become angry they forgive and those who respond to their Lord and pray regularly and conduct their affairs by mutual consultation and give of what we have provided them and those who when wrong defend themselves the repayment of a bad action is one equivalent to it but whoever pardons and makes reconciliation his reward lies with God he does not love the unjust as for those who retaliate after being wronged there is no blame on them blame lies on those who wrong people and commit aggression in the land without right these will have a painful punishment but whoever endures patiently and forgives that is a sign of real resolve page consultation Ashura whoever God leaves astray has no protector apart from him and you will see the transgressors when they see the torment saying is there a way of going back and you will see them exposed to it cowering from disgrace looking with concealed eyes those who believed will say the losers are those who lost themselves and their families on the day of resurrection indeed the evildoers are in a lasting torment they will have no allies to support them against God whomever God leaves astray has no way out respond to your Lord before there comes from God a day that cannot be turned back you will have no refuge on that day and no possibility of denial but if they turn away we did not send you as a guardian over them your only duty is communication whenever we let man taste mercy from us he rejoices in it but when misfortune befalls them as a consequence of what their hands have perpetrated man turns blasphemous to God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth he creates whatever he wills he grants daughters to whomever he wills and he grants sons to whomever he wills or he combines them together males and females and he renders whomever he wills sterile he is knowledgeable and capable it is not for any human that God should speak to him except by inspiration or from behind a veil or by sending a messenger to reveal by his permission whatever he wills he is all high all wise we thus inspired you spiritually by our command you did not know what the scripture is nor what faith is but we made it a 
light with which we guide whomever we will of our servants you surely guide to a straight path page consultation as sure the path of God to whom belongs everything in the heavens and everything on earth indeed to God all matters revert decorations a f in the name of God the gracious the merciful Hamim by the book that makes things clear we made it an Arabic Quran so that you may understand and it is with us in the source book sublime and wise shall we hold back the reminder from you since you are a transgressing people how many a prophet did we send to the ancients no messenger came to them but they ridiculed him we destroyed people more powerful than they and so the example of the ancients has passed away and if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth they would say the mighty the knower created them he who made the earth a habitat for you and traced pathways for you on it that you may be guided he who sends down water from the sky in due proportion and so we revive thereby a dead land thus you will be brought out he who created all the peers and provided you with ships and animals on which you ride that you may mount their backs and remember the favor of your lord as you sit firmly upon them and say glory be to him who placed these at our service surely we could not have done it by ourselves and surely to our lord we will return page decorations a zizakruf yet they turn one of his servants into a part of him man is clearly ungrateful or has he chosen for himself daughters from what he creates and favored you with sons yet when one of them is given news of what he attributes to the most gracious his face darkens and he suppresses grief someone brought up to be beautiful and unable to help in a fight and they appoint the angels who are servants to the most gracious as females have they witnessed their creation their claim will be recorded and they will be questioned and they say had the most gracious willed we would not have worshipped them but they have no knowledge of that they are merely guessing or have we given them a book prior to this one to which they adhere but they say we found our parents on a course and we are guided in their footsteps likewise we sent no warner before you to any town but the wealthy among them said we found our parents on a course and we are following in their footsteps he would say even if I bring you better guidance than what you found your parents following they would say we reject what you are sent with so we wreak vengeance upon them behold then what was the fate of those who deny when Abraham said to his father and his people I am innocent of what you worship except for he who created me for he will guide me page decorations a zizakruf and he made it an enduring word in his progeny so that they may return I gave these and their forefathers some enjoyment until the truth and a manifest messenger came to them but when the truth came to them they said this is sorcery and we refuse to believe in it they also said if only this Quran was sent down to a man of importance from the two cities is it they who allocate the mercy of your Lord it is we who have allocated their livelihood in this life and we elevated some of them in rank above others that some of them would take others in service but your Lord's mercy is better than what they amass were it not that humanity would become a single community we would have provided those who disbelieve in the most gracious with roofs of silver to their houses and stairways by which they ascend and doors to their houses and furnishings on which they recline and decorations yet all that is nothing but the stuff of this life yet the hereafter with your lord is for the righteous whoever shuns the remembrance of the most gracious we assign for him a devil to be his companion they hinder them from the path though they think they are guided until when he comes to us he will say if only there were between me and you the distance of the two Easts what an evil companion it will not benefit you on that day since you did wrong you are partners in the suffering page decorations azizakruf can you make the deaf hear or guide the blind and him who is in evident error even if we take you away we will wreak vengeance upon them or show you what we have promised them for we have absolute power over them so adhere to what is revealed to you you are Upon a straight path it is a message for you and for your people and you will be questioned ask those of our messengers we sent before you did we appoint gods besides the most gracious to be worshipped we sent Moses with our revelations to Pharaoh and his dignitaries he said I am the messenger of the Lord of the worlds but when he showed them our signs they started laughing at them each sign we showed them was more marvelous than its counterpart and we afflicted them with the plague so that they may repent they said O sorcerer pray to your lord for us according to his pledge to you and then we will be guided but when we lifted the torment from them they immediately broke their promise Pharaoh proclaimed among his people saying O my people do I not own the kingdom of Egypt and these rivers flow beneath me do you not see am I not better than this miserable wretch who can barely express himself why are bracelets of gold not dropped on him or the angels came with him in procession page decorations azizakruf thus he fooled his people and they obeyed him they were wicked people and when they provoked our wrath we took retribution from them and we drowned them all thus we made them a precedent and an example for the others and when the son of mary was cited as an example your people opposed they said are our gods better or he they cited him only for argument in fact they are a quarrelsome people he was just a servant whom we blessed and we made him an Example for the children of Israel had we willed we would have made of you angels to be successors on earth he is a portent of the hour so have no doubt about it and follow me this is a straight way and let not Satan divert you he is an open enemy to you when Jesus came with the clarifications he said I have come to you with wisdom and to clarify for you some of what you differ about so fear God and obey me God is my Lord and your Lord so worship him this is a straight path but the Factions differed among themselves so woe to the wrongdoers from the suffering of a painful day are they only waiting for the hour to come upon them suddenly while they are unaware on that day friends will be enemies of one another except for the righteous oh my servants you have nothing to fear on that day nor will you grieve page decorations azizakruf those who believed in our revelations and were submissive enter the garden you and your spouses joyfully they will be served around. 
with trays of gold and cups therein is whatever the souls desire and delights the eyes therein you will stay forever such is the garden you are made to inherit because of what you used to do therein you will have abundant fruit from which you eat as for the sinners they will be in the torment of hell forever it will never be eased for them in it they will be devastated we did them no injustice but it was they who were the unjust and they will cry O Malak let your lord finish us off he will say you are staying we have given you the truth but most of you hate the truth have they contrived some scheme we too are contriving or do they think that we cannot hear their secrets and their conspiracies yes indeed our messengers are by them writing down say if the most gracious had a son I would be the first to worship glorified be the lord of the heavens and the earth the lord of the throne beyond what they describe so leave them to blunder and play until they encounter their day which they are promised it is he who is God in heaven and God on earth he is the wise the knower page decorations azizakruf and blessed is he who has sovereignty over the heavens and the earth and what is between them he alone has knowledge of the hour and to him you will be returned those they invoke besides him are incapable of intercession only those who testify to the truth and have knowledge and if you ask them who created them they would say God why then do they deviate as for his statement my lord these are a people who do not believe pardon them and say peace they will come to no smoke at dukan in the name of god the gracious the merciful hamim by the enlightening scripture we have revealed it on a blessed night we have warned in it is distinguished every wise command a decree from us we have been sending messages as mercy from your lord he is the hearer the knower lord of the heavens and the earth and what is between them if you no for sure there is no God but he he gives life and causes death your Lord and Lord of your ancestors of old yet they play around in doubt so watch out for the day when the sky produces a visible smoke enveloping mankind this is a painful punishment our Lord lift the torment from us we are believers page smoke at Dukan but how can they be reminded an enlightening messenger has already come to them but they turned away from him and said educated but crazy we will ease the punishment a little but you will revert the day when we launch the great assault we will avenge before them we tested the people of pharaoh a noble messenger came to them saying hand over god's servants to me i am an honest messenger to you and do not exalt yourselves above god i come to you with clear authority i have taken refuge in my lord and your lord lest you stone me but if you do not believe in me keep away from me he appealed to his lord these are a sinful people set out with my servants by night you will be followed and cross the sea quickly they are an army to be drowned how many gardens and fountains did they leave behind and plantations and splendid buildings and comforts they used to enjoy so it was and we passed it on to another people neither heaven nor earth wept over them nor were they reprieved and we delivered the children of Israel from the humiliating persecution from Pharaoh he was a transgressing tyrant and we chose them knowingly over all other people and we gave them many signs in which was an obvious test page smoke at Duke and these people say there is nothing but our first death and we will not be resurrected bring back our ancestors if you are truthful are they better or the people of Tuba and those before them we annihilated them they were evildoers we did not create the heavens and the earth and what is between them to play we created them only for a specific purpose but most of them do not know the day of Sorting out is the appointed time for them all the day when no friend will avail a friend in any way and they will not be helped except for him upon whom God has mercy he is the mighty the merciful the tree of bitterness the food of the sinner like molten lead boiling inside the bellies like the boiling of seething water seize him and drag him into the midst of hell then pour over his head the suffering of the inferno taste you who were powerful and noble this is what you used to. Doubt as for the righteous they will be in a secure place amidst gardens and springs dressed in silk and brocade facing one another so it is and we will wed them to lovely companions page smoke at duke and they will call therein for every kind of fruit in peace and security therein they will not taste death beyond the first death and he will protect them from the torment of hell a favor from your lord that is the supreme salvation we made it easy in your language so that they may. Remember so wait and watch they too are waiting and watching kneeling Alyathiya in the name of God the gracious the merciful Hamim the revelation of the book is from God the exalted in might the wise in the heavens and the earth are proofs for the believers and in your own creation and in the creatures he scattered our signs for people of firm faith and in the alternation of night and day and in the sustenance God sends down from the sky with which he revives the earth after its death and in the circulation of the winds are marvels for people who reason these are God's verses which we recite to you in truth in which message after God and his revelations will they believe woe to every sinful liar who hears God's revelations being recited to him yet he persists arrogantly as though he did not hear them announce to him a painful punishment and when he learns something of our revelations he takes them in mockery for such there is a shameful punishment page kneeling. Alyathiya beyond them lies hell what they have earned will not benefit them at all nor will those they adopted as lords instead of God they will have a terrible punishment this is guidance those who blaspheme their lords revelations will have a punishment of agonizing pain it is God who placed the sea at your service so that ships may run through it by his command and that you may seek of his bounty and that you may give thanks and he placed at your service whatever is in the heavens and Whatever is on earth all is from him in that are signs for a people who think tell those who believe to forgive those who do not hope for the days of God he will fully recompense people for whatever they have earned whoever does a good deed it is for his soul and whoever commits evil it is against it then to your Lord you will be returned we gave the children of Israel the book and wisdom and prophecy and we provided them with the good things and we gave them advantage over all other people. 
and we gave them precise rulings they fell into dispute only after knowledge came to them out of mutual rivalry your lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection regarding the things they differed about then we set you upon a pathway of faith so follow it and do not follow the inclinations of those who do not know they will not help you against god in any way the wrongdoers are allies of one another while god is the protector of the righteous this is an illumination for mankind and guidance and mercy for people who believe with certainty page kneeling aliathaya do those who perpetrate the evil deeds assume that we will regard them as equal to those who believe and do righteous deeds whether in their life or their death evil is their judgment god created the heavens and the earth with justice so that every soul will be repaid for what it has earned and they will not be wronged have you considered him who has taken his desire for his god god has knowingly led him astray and has sealed his hearing and his heart and has placed a veil over his vision who will guide him after god will you not reflect and they say there is nothing but this our present life we die and we live and nothing destroys us except time but they have no knowledge of that they are only guessing when our clarifying verses are recited to them their only argument is to say bring back our ancestors if you are truthful say god gives you life then he makes you die then he gathers you for the day of resurrection about which there is no doubt but most people do not know to God belongs the kingship of the heavens and the earth on the day when the hour takes place on that day the falsifiers will lose you will see every community on its knees every community will be called to its book today you are being repaid for what you used to do this book of ours speaks about you in truth we have been transcribing what you have been doing as for those who believed and did righteous deeds their Lord will admit them into his mercy that is the clear triumph but as for those who disbelieved were my revelations not recited to you but you turned arrogant and were guilty people page kneeling aliathaya and when it was said the promise of God is true and of the hour there is no doubt you said we do not know what the hour is we think it is only speculation we are not convinced the evils of what they did will become evident to them and the very thing they ridiculed will haunt them and it will be said today we forget you as you forgot the encounter of this day of yours your abode is the fire and there are no saviors for you that is because you took god's revelations for a joke and the worldly life lured you so today they will not be brought out of it and they will not be allowed to repent praise belongs to god lord of the heavens lord of the earth lord of humanity to him belongs all supremacy in the heavens and the earth he is the majestic the wise the Dunes Alakov in the name of God the gracious the merciful Hamim the sending down of the scripture is from God the honorable the wise we did not create the heavens and the earth and what lies between them except with reason and for a finite period but the blasphemers continue to ignore the warnings they receive say have you considered those you worship instead of God show me which portion of the earth they have created or do they own a share of the heavens bring me a scripture prior to this one or some trace of knowledge if you are a truthful page the dunes alakov who is more wrong than him who invokes besides god those who will not answer him until the day of resurrection and are heedless of their prayers and when humanity is gathered they will be enemies to them and will renounce their worship of them when our revelations are recited to them plain and clear those who disbelieve say of the truth when it has come to them this is obviously magic or do they say he invented it himself say if i invented it myself there is nothing you can do to protect me from god he knows well what you are engaged in he is sufficient witness between me and you he is the forgiver the merciful say i am not different from the other messengers and i do not know what will be done with me or with you i only follow what is inspired in me and i am only a clear warner say have you considered what if it is from god and you disbelieve in it a witness from the children of Israel testified to its like and has believed while you turned arrogant God does not guide the unjust people those who disbelieve say to those who believe if it were anything good they would not have preceded us to it and since they were not guided by it they will say this is an ancient lie and before it was the book of Moses a model and a mercy and this is a confirming book in the Arabic language to warn those who do wrong and good news for the doers of good those who say our Lord is God then lead a righteous life they have nothing to fear nor shall they grieve these are the inhabitants of paradise where they will dwell forever a reward for what they used to do page the dunes alakov we have enjoined upon mankindness to his parents his mother carried him with difficulty and delivered him with difficulty his bearing and weaning takes 30 months until when he has attained his maturity and has reached 40 years he says lord enable me to appreciate the blessings you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents and to act with righteousness pleasing you and improve my children for me I have sincerely repented to you and I am of those who have surrendered those are they from whom we accept the best of their deeds and we overlook their misdeeds among the dwellers of paradise the promise of truth which they are promised as for him who says to his parents enough of you are you promising me that I will be raised up when generations have passed away before me. While they cry for God's help woe to you believe the promise of God is true but he says these are nothing but tales of the ancients those are they upon whom the sentence is justified among the communities that have passed away before them of jinn and humans they are truly losers there are degrees for everyone according to what they have done and he will repay them for their works in full and they will not be wronged on the day when the faithless will be paraded before the fire you have squandered your good in your worldly life and you took pleasure in them so today you are being repaid with the torment of shame because of your unjust arrogance on earth and because you used to sin and mention the brother of Ayat as he warned his people at the dunes warnings have passed away before him and after him worship none but God I fear for you the punishment of a tremendous day page the dunes alakoff they said did you come to us to divert us from our gods then bring us what you 
threaten us with if you are being truthful he said the knowledge is only with God and I inform you of what I was sent with but I see you are an ignorant people then when they saw a cloud approaching their valley they said this is a cloud that will bring us rain in fact it is what you were impatient for a wind in which is grievous suffering it will destroy everything by the command of its Lord and when the morning came upon them there was nothing to be seen except their dwellings thus. We requite the guilty people we had empowered them in the same way as we empowered you and we gave them the hearing and the sight and the minds but neither their hearing nor their sight nor their minds availed them in any way that is because they disregarded the revelations of God and so they became surrounded by what they used to ridicule we have destroyed many townships around you and diversified the signs so that they may return why then did the idols whom they worshipped as means of nearness to God not help them in fact they abandoned them it was their lie a fabrication of their own making recall when we dispatched towards you a number of jinn to listen to the Quran when they came in its presence they said pay attention then when it was concluded they rushed to their people warning them they said oh our people we have heard a scripture sent down after Moses confirming what came before it it guides to the truth and to a straight path oh our people answer the caller to God and believe in him and he will forgive you your sins and will save you from a painful punishment page the dunes alakaf he who does not answer the caller to God will not escape on earth and has no protectors besides him those are in obvious error do they not realize that God who created the heavens and the earth and was never tired by creating them is able to revive the dead yes indeed he is capable of everything on the day when those who disbelieved are presented to the fire is this not real they will say yes indeed by our Lord he will say then taste the suffering for having disbelieved so be patient as the messengers with resolve were patient and do not be hasty regarding them on the day when they witness what they are promised it will seem as if they had lasted only for an hour of a day a proclamation will any be destroyed except the sinful people Muhammad Muhammad in the name of God the gracious the merciful those who disbelieve and repel from the path of God he nullifies their works while those who believe and work righteousness and believe in what was sent down to Muhammad and it is the truth from their Lord he remits their sins and relieves their concerns that is because those who disbelieve follow falsehoods while those who believe follow the truth from their Lord God thus cites for the people their examples when you encounter those who disbelieve strike at their necks then when you have rooted them bind them firmly then either release them by grace or by ransom until war lays down its burdens had God willed he could have defeated them himself but page Muhammad Muhammad he thus tests some of you by means of others as for those who are killed in the way of God he will not let their deeds go to waste he will guide them and will improve their state of mind and will admit them into paradise which he has identified for them oh you who believe if you support God he will support you and will strengthen your foothold but as for those who disbelieve for them is perdition and he will waste their deeds that is because they hated what God revealed so he nullified their deeds have they not journeyed through the earth and seen the consequences for those before them God poured destruction upon them and for the unbelievers is something comparable that is because God is the master of those who believe while the disbelievers have no master God will admit those who believe and do good deeds into gardens beneath which rivers flow as for those who disbelieve they enjoy themselves and eat as cattle eat and the fire will be their dwelling how many a town was more powerful than your town which evicted you we destroyed them and there was no helper for them is he who stands upon evidence from his lord like someone whose evil deed is made to appear good to him and they follow their own desires the likeness of the garden promised to the righteous in it are rivers of pure water and rivers of milk forever fresh and rivers of wine delightful to the drinkers and rivers of strained honey and therein they will have of every fruit and forgiveness from their lord page Muhammad Muhammad like one abiding in the fire forever and are given to drink boiling water that cuts up their bowels among them are those who listen to you but when they leave your presence they say to those given knowledge what did he say just now those are they whose hearts God has sealed and they follow their own desires as for those who are guided he increases them in guidance and he has granted them their righteousness are they just waiting until the hour comes to them suddenly its tokens have already come but how will they be reminded when it has come to them know that there is no God but God and ask forgiveness for your sin and for the believing men and believing women God knows your movements and your resting place those who believe say if only a chapter is sent down yet when a decisive chapter is sent down and fighting is mentioned in it you see those in whose hearts is sickness looking at you with the look of someone fainting at death so woe to them obedience and upright speech then when the matter is settled being true to God would have been better for them if you turn away you are likely to make mischief on earth and sever your family ties those are they whom God has cursed he made them deaf and blinded their sight will they not ponder the Quran or are there locks upon their hearts those who reverted after the guidance became clear to them Satan has enticed them and has given them latitude page Muhammad Muhammad that is because they said to those who hated what God has revealed we will obey you in certain matters but God knows their secret thoughts how about when the angels take them at death beating their faces and their backs that is because they pursued what displeases God and they disliked his approval so he nullified their works do those in whose hearts is sickness think that God will not expose their malice had we willed we could have shown them to you and you would have recognized them by their marks yet you will recognize them by their tone of speech and God knows your actions we will certainly test you until we know those among you who strive and those who are steadfast and we will test your reactions those who disbelieve and hinder from the path of God and oppose the messenger after guidance has become clear to them they will not hurt God in the least but he 
will nullify their deeds O you who believe obey God and obey the messenger and do not let your deeds go to waste those who disbelieve and hinder from God's path and then die as disbelievers God will not forgive them so do not waver and call for peace while you have the upper hand God is with you and he will not waste your efforts the life of this world is nothing but play and pastime but if you have faith and lead a righteous life he will grant you your rewards and he will not ask you for your possessions were he to ask you for it and press you you would become tight-fisted and he would expose your unwillingness page Muhammad Muhammad here you are being called to spend in the cause of God among you are those who withhold but whoever withholds is withholding against his own soul God is the rich while you are the needy and if you turn away he will replace you with another people and they will not be like you victory Alphath in the name of God the gracious the merciful we have granted you a conspicuous victory that God may forgive you your sin past and to come and complete his favors upon you and guide you in a straight path and help you with an unwavering support it is he who sent down tranquility into the hearts of the believers to add faith to their faith to God belong the forces of the heavens and the earth God is knowing and wise he will admit the believers male and female into gardens beneath which rivers flow to abide therein forever and he will remit their sins that with God is a great triumph and he will punish the hypocrites male and female and the idolaters male and female those who harbor evil thoughts about God they are surrounded by evil and God is angry with them and has cursed them and has prepared for them hell a miserable destination to God belong the troops of the heavens and the earth God is mighty and wise we sent you as a witness and a bearer of good news and a warner that you may believe in God and his messenger and Support him and honor him and praise him morning and evening page victory Alphath those who pledge allegiance to you are pledging allegiance to God the hand of God is over their hands whoever breaks his pledge breaks it to his own loss and whoever fulfills his covenant with God he will grant him a great reward the desert Arabs who remained behind will say to you our belongings and our families have preoccupied us so ask forgiveness for us they say with their tongues what is not in their hearts say who can avail you anything against God if he desires loss for you or desires gain for you in fact God is informed of what you do but you thought that the messenger and the believers will never return to their families and this seemed fine to your hearts and you harbored evil thoughts and were uncivilized people he who does not believe in God and his messenger we have prepared for the disbelievers a blazing fire to God belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth he forgives whomever he wills and he punishes whomever he wills God is forgiving and merciful those who lagged behind will say when you depart to collect the gains let us follow you they want to change the word of God say you will not follow us God has said so before then they will say but you are jealous of us in fact they understand only a little say to the desert Arabs who lagged behind you will be called against a people of great might you will fight them unless they submit if you obey God will give you a fine reward but if you turn away as you turned away before he will punish you with a painful punishment there is no blame on the blind nor any blame on the lame nor any blame on the sick whoever obeys God and his messenger he will admit him into gardens beneath which rivers flow but whoever turns away he will punish him with a painful punishment page victory Alphat God was pleased with the believers when they pledged allegiance to you under the tree he knew what was in their hearts and sent down serenity upon them and rewarded them with an imminent conquest and abundant gains for them to capture God is mighty and wise God has promised you abundant gains which you will capture he has expedited this for you and has restrained people's hands from you that it may be assigned to the believers and that he may guide you on a straight path and other things of which you were incapable but God has encompassed them God is capable of everything if those who disbelieve had fought you they would have turned back and fled then found neither protector nor helper it is God's pattern ongoing since the past you will never find any change in God's pattern it is he who withheld their hands from you and your hands from them in the valley of Mecca after giving you advantage over them God is observer of what you do it is they who disbelieved and barred you from the sacred mosque and prevented the offering from reaching its destination were it not for faithful men and faithful women whom you did not know you were about to hurt them and became guilty of an unintentional crime thus God admits into his mercy whomever he wills had they dispersed we would have punished those who disbelieved among them with a painful penalty those who disbelieved filled their hearts with rage the rage of the days of ignorance but God sent his serenity down upon his messenger and upon the believers and imposed on them the words of righteousness of which they were most worthy and deserving God is aware of everything page victory Alphat God has fulfilled his messenger's vision in truth you will enter the sacred mosque God willing in security heads shaven or hair cut short not fearing he knew what you did not know and has granted besides that an imminent victory it is he who sent his messenger with the guidance and the religion of truth to make it prevail over all religions God suffices as witness Muhammad is the messenger of God those with him are stern against the disbelievers yet compassionate amongst themselves you see them kneeling prostrating seeking blessings from God and approval their marks are on their faces from the effects of prostration such as their description in the Torah and their description in the gospel like a plant that sprouts becomes strong grows thick and rests on its stem impressing the farmers through them he enrages the disbelievers God has promised those among them who believe and do good deeds forgiveness and a great reward. 
The chambers al hujurat in the name of God the gracious the merciful O you who believe do not place your opinions above that of God and his messenger and fear God God is hearing and knowing O you who believe do not raise your voices above the voice of the prophet and do not speak loudly to him as you speak loudly to one another lest your works be in vain without you realizing those who lower their voices before God's messenger those are they whose hearts God has tested for piety they will. Have forgiveness and a great reward those who call you from behind the chambers most of them do not understand page the chambers al hujurat had they remained patient until you came out to them it would have been better for them but God is forgiving and merciful O oh, you who believe if a troublemaker brings you any news investigate lest you harm people out of ignorance and you become regretful for what you have done and know that among you is the messenger of God had he obeyed you in many. Things you would have suffered hardship but God has given you the love of faith and adorned it in your hearts and made disbelief mischief and rebellion hateful to you these are the rightly guided a grace and favor from God God is knowing and wise if two groups of believers fight each other reconcile between them but if one group aggresses against the other fight the aggressing group until it complies with God's command once it has complied reconcile between them with justice and be equitable. God loves the equitable the believers are brothers so reconcile between your brothers and remain conscious of God so that you may receive mercy O you who believe no people shall ridicule other people for they may be better than they nor shall any women ridicule other women for they may be better than they nor shall you slander one another nor shall you insult one another with names evil is the return to wickedness after having attained faith whoever does not repent these are the wrongdoers O. You who believe avoid most suspicion some suspicion is sinful and do not spy on one another nor backbite one another would any of you like to eat the flesh of his dead brother you would detest it so remain mindful of God God is most relenting most merciful O oh people we created you from a male and a female and made you races and tribes that you may know one another the best page the chambers al hujurat among you in the sight of God is the most righteous God is all knowing well experienced the Desert Arabs say we have believed say you have not believed but say we have submitted for faith has not yet entered into your hearts but if you obey God and his messenger he will not diminish any of your deeds God is forgiving and merciful the believers are those who believe in God and his messenger and then have not doubted and strive for God's cause with their wealth and their persons these are the sincere say are you going to teach God about your religion when God knows everything. In the heavens and the earth and God is aware of all things they regarded it a favor to you that they have submitted say do not consider your submission a favor to me it is God who has done you a favor by guiding you to the faith if you are sincere God knows the secrets of the heavens and the earth and God is seeing of everything you do cough cough in the name of God the gracious the merciful cough by the glorious Quran they marveled that a warner has come to them from among them they Disbelievers say this is something strange when we have died and become dust this is a far-fetched return we know what the earth consumes of them and with us is a comprehensive book but they denied the truth when it has come to them so they are in a confused state page cough cough have they not observed the sky above them how we constructed it and decorated it and it has no cracks and the earth how we spread it out and set on it mountains and grew in it all kinds of delightful peers a lesson and a reminder for every penitent worshipper and we brought down from the sky blessed water and produced with it gardens and grain to harvest and the soaring palm trees with clustered dates as sustenance for the servants and we revived thereby a dead town likewise is the resurrection before them the people of Noah denied the truth and so did the dwellers of Rus and Tamud and Ayat and Pharaoh and the brethren of Lot and the dwellers of the woods and the people of Tuba they all rejected the messengers so my threat came true were we fatigued by the first creation but they are in doubt of a new creation we created the human being and we know what his soul whispers to him we are nearer to him than his jugular vein as the two receivers receive seated to the right and to the left not a word does he utter but there is a watcher by him ready the days of death has come in truth this is what you try to evade and the trumpet is blown this is the promised day and Every soul will come forward accompanied by a driver and a witness you were in neglect of this so we lifted your screen from you and your vision today is keen page cough cough and his escort will say this is what I have ready with me throw into hell every stubborn disbeliever preventer of good aggressor doubter who fabricated another god with god toss him into the intense agony his escort will say our lord I did not make him rebel but he was far astray he will say do not feud in. My presence I had warned you in advance the decree from me will not be changed and I am not unjust to the servants on the day when we will say to hell are you full and it will say are there any more and paradise will be brought closer to the pious not far away this is what you were promised for every careful penitent who inwardly feared the most gracious and came with a repentant heart enter it in peace this is the day of eternity therein they will have whatever they desire and we have even more how many generations before them who were more powerful than they did we destroy they explored the lands was there any escape in that is a reminder for whoever possesses a heart or cares to listen and witness we created the heavens and the earth and what is between them in six days and no fatigue touched us page cough cough so endure what they say and proclaim the praises of your lord before the rising of the sun and before sunset and glorify him during the night and at the end of devotions and listen for the day when the caller calls from a nearby place the day when they will hear the shout in all truth that is the day of emergence it is we who control life and death and to us is the destination the day when the earth will crack for them at once that is an easy gathering for us we are fully aware of what they say and you are not a dictator over them so remind by the Quran whoever fears my warning the spreaders adh harriet in the name of God the gracious.
the merciful by the spreaders spreading and those carrying loads and those moving gently and those distributing as commanded what you are promised is true judgment will take place by the sky that is woven you differ in what you say averted from it is he who is averted perish the impostors those who are dazed in ignorance they ask when is the day of judgment page the spreaders adhd harry at the day they are presented to the fire taste your ordeal this is what you used to challenge but the pious are amidst gardens and springs receiving what their lord has given them they were virtuous before that they used to sleep a little at night and at dawn they would pray for pardon and in their wealth there was a share for the beggar and the deprived and on earth are signs for the convinced and within yourselves do you not see and in the heaven is your livelihood and what you are promised by the lord of the heaven and the earth it is as true as the fact that you speak has the story of abraham's honorable guests reached you when they entered upon him they said peace he said peace strangers then he slipped away to his family and brought a fat calf he set it before them he said will you not eat and he harbored fear of them they said do not fear and they announced to him the good news of a knowledgeable boy his wife came forward crying she clasped her face and said a barren old woman they said thus spoke your lord he is the wise the Knowing he said what is your business O oh, envoys they said we are sent to a people guilty of sin to unleash upon them rocks of clay page the spreaders adhd harriet marked by your lord for the excessive we evacuated all the believers who were in it but found in it only one household of muslims and we left in it a sign for those who fear the painful punishment and in moses we sent him to pharaoh with a clear authority but he turned away with his warlords and said a sorcerer or a madman so we seized him and his troops and threw them into the sea and he was to blame and in Ayad we unleashed against them the devastating wind it spared nothing it came upon but rendered it like decayed ruins and in Tamud they were told enjoy yourselves for a while but they defied the command of their lord so the lightning struck them as they looked on they could not rise up nor could they find help and before that the people of Noah they were immoral people we constructed the universe with power and we are expanding it and the earth we spread it out how well we prepared it we created all things in pairs so that you may reflect and ponder so flee towards god i am to you from him a clear warner and do not set up any other god with god i am to you from him a clear warner likewise no messenger came to those before them but they said a sorcerer or a madman page the spreaders adhd harry yet did they recommend it to one another in fact they are rebellious people so turn away from them you are not to blame and remind for the reminder benefits the believers I did not create the jinn and the humans except to worship me I need no livelihood from them nor do I need them to feed me God is the provider the one with power the strong those who do wrong will have their turn like the turn of their counterparts so let them not rush me so woe to those who disbelieve because of that day of theirs which they are promised the mount at tur in the name of God the gracious the merciful by the mount and a book inscribed in a published scroll and the frequented house and the elevated roof and the seething sea the punishment of your Lord is coming there is nothing to avert it on the day when the heaven sways in agitation and the mountains go into motion woe on that day to the deniers those who play with speculation page the mount at tur the day when they are shoved into the fire of hell forcefully this is the fire which you used to deny is this magic or do you not see burn in it whether you are patient or impatient it is the same for you you are only being repaid for what you used to do but the righteous will be amid gardens and bliss enjoying what their lord has given them and their lord has spared them the suffering of hell eat and drink happily for what you used to do relaxing on luxurious furnishings and we will couple them with gorgeous spouses those who believed and their offspring followed them in faith we will unite them with their offspring and we will not deprive them of any of their works every person is hostage to what he has earned and we will supply them with fruit and meat such as they desire they will exchange therein a cup wherein is neither harm nor sin serving them will be youths like hidden pearls and they will approach one another inquiring they will say before this we were fearful for our families but God blessed us and spared us the agony of the fiery winds before this we used to pray to him he is the good the compassionate so remind by the grace of your lord you are neither a soothsayer nor a madman or do they say a poet we await for him a calamity of time page the mount at tur say go on waiting i will be waiting with you or is it that their dreams compel them to this or are they aggressive people or do they say he made it up rather they do not believe so let them produce a discourse like it if they are truthful or were they created out of nothing or are they the creators or did they create the heavens and the earth in fact they are not certain or do they possess the treasuries of your lord or are they the controllers or do they have a stairway by means of which they listen then let their listener produce a clear proof or for him the daughters and for you the sons or do you demand a payment from them and they are burdened by debt or do they know the future and they are writing it down or are they planning a conspiracy the conspiracy will befall the disbelievers or do they have a god besides god god transcends what they associate even if they were to see lumps of the sky falling down they would say a mass of clouds so leave them until they meet their day in which they will be stunned a day when their ploys will avail them nothing and they will not be helped for those who do wrong there is a punishment besides that but most of them do not know page the mount at tur so patiently await the decision of your Lord for you are before our eyes and proclaim the praises of your Lord when you arise and glorify him during the night and at the receding of the stars the star and Najm in the name of God the gracious the merciful by the star as it goes down your friend has not gone astray nor has he erred nor does he speak out of desire it is but a revelation revealed taught to him by the extremely powerful the one of vigor he settled while he was at the highest horizon then he came near and 
hovered around he was within two bows length or closer than he revealed to his servant what he revealed the heart did not lie about what it saw will you dispute with him concerning what he saw he saw him on another descent at the lotus tree of the extremity near which is the garden of repose as there covered the lotus tree what covered it the sight did not waver nor did it exceed he saw some of the great signs of his lord have you considered Alat and alu a page the starin Najm and Manit the third one the other are you to have the males and he the females what a bizarre distribution these are nothing but names which you have devised you and your ancestors for which God sent down no authority they follow nothing but assumptions and what the ego desires even though guidance has come to them from their lord or is the human being to have whatever he desires to God belong the last and the first how many an angel is there in the heavens whose intercession avails. Nothing except after God gives permission to whomever he wills and approves those who do not believe in the hereafter give the angels the names of females they have no knowledge of that they only follow assumptions and assumptions are no substitute for the truth so avoid him who has turned away from our remembrance and desires nothing but the present life that is the extent of their knowledge your Lord knows best who has strayed from his path and he knows best who has accepted guidance too. God belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on earth he will repay those who do evil according to their deeds and recompense those who do good with the best those who avoid gross sins and indecencies except for minor lapses your Lord is a vast forgiveness he knows you well ever since he created you from the earth and ever since you were embryos in your mother's womb so do not acclaim your own virtue he is fully aware of the righteous page the star and Najm have you considered. Him who turned away and gave a little and held back does he possess knowledge of the unseen and can therefore foresee or was he not informed of what is in the scrolls of Moses and of Abraham who fulfilled that no soul bears the burdens of another soul and that the human being attains only what he strives for and that his efforts will be witnessed then he will be rewarded for it the fullest reward and that to your Lord is the finality and that it is he who causes laughter and weeping. And that it is he who gives death and life and that it is he who created the two kinds the male and the female from a sperm drop when emitted and that upon him is the next existence and that it is he who enriches and impoverishes and that it is he who is the lord of Sirius and that it is he who destroyed the first Ayat and Tamud sparing no one and the people of Noah before that for they were most unjust and most oppressive and he toppled the ruined cities and covered them with. Whatever covered them so which of your lord's marvels can you deny page the star and Najm this is a warning just like the first warnings the inevitable is imminent none besides God can unveil it do you marvel at this discourse and laugh and do not weep lost in your frivolity so bow down to God and worship the moon al Kamar in the name of God the gracious the merciful the hour has drawn near and the moon has split yet whenever they see a miracle they turn away and say continuous. Magic they lied and followed their opinions but everything has its time and there came to them news containing a deterrent profound wisdom but warnings are of no avail so turn away from them on the day when the caller calls to something terrible their eyes humiliated they will emerge from the graves as if they were swarming locusts scrambling towards the caller the disbelievers will say this is a difficult day before them the people of Noah disbelieved they rejected our servant and said crazy and he was rebuked so he appealed to his lord I am overwhelmed so help me page the moon al Kamar. so we opened the floodgates of heaven with water pouring down and we made the earth burst with springs and the waters met for a purpose already destined and we carried him on a craft of planks and nails sailing before our eyes a reward for him who was rejected and we left it as a sign is there anyone who would take heed so how were my punishment and my warnings we made the Quran easy to learn is there anyone who would learn Ayad denied the truth so how were my punishment and my warnings we unleashed upon them a screaming wind on a day of unrelenting misery plucking the people away as though they were trunks of uprooted palm trees so how were my punishment and my warnings we made the Quran easy to remember is there anyone who would remember Tamud rejected the warnings they said are we to follow one of us a human being we would then go astray and end up in Hell was the message given to him out of all of us in fact he is a wicked liar they will know tomorrow who the wicked liar is we are sending the she camel as a test for them so watch them and be patient page the moon al Kamar and inform them that the water is to be shared between them each share of drink made available but they called their friend and he dared and he slaughtered so how were my punishment and my warnings we sent against them a single scream and they became like crushed. Hey we made the Quran easy to understand is there anyone who would understand the people of Lot rejected the warnings we unleashed upon them a shower of stones except for the family of Lot we rescued them at dawn a blessing from us thus we reward the thankful he had warned them of our onslaught but they dismissed the warnings they even lusted for his guests so we obliterated their eyes so taste my punishment and my warnings early morning brought upon them enduring punishment so taste. My punishment and my warnings we made the Quran easy to memorize is there anyone who would memorize the warnings also came to the people of Pharaoh they rejected our signs all of them so we seized them the seizure of an almighty omnipotent are your unbelievers better than all those or do you have immunity in the scriptures or do they say we are united and we will be victorious the multitude will be defeated and they will turn their backs page the moon al Kamar. the hour is there. Appointed time the hour is more disastrous and most bitter the wicked are in confusion and madness the day when they are dragged upon their faces into the fire taste the touch of succor everything we created is precisely measured and our command is but once like the twinkling of an eye we have destroyed your likes is there anyone who would ponder everything they have done is in the books everything small or large is written down the righteous will be amidst gardens and rivers in an
assembly of virtue in the presence of an omnipotent king the compassionate A.R. Raman in the name of God the gracious the merciful the compassionate has taught the Quran he created man and taught him clear expression the sun and the moon move according to plan and the stars and the trees prostrate themselves and the sky he raised and he set up the balance so do not transgress in the balance but maintain the weights with justice and do not violate the balance page the compassionate A.R. Raman and the earth he set up for the creatures in it are fruits and palms in clusters and grains in the blades and fragrant plants so which of your lord's marvels will you deny he created man from hard clay like bricks and created the jinn from a fusion of fire so which of your lord's marvels will you deny lord of the two easts and lord of the two west so which of your lord's marvels will you deny he merged the two seas converging together between them is a barrier which they do not overrun so which of your lord's marvels will you deny from them emerge pearls and coral so which of your lord's marvels will you deny his are the ships raised above the sea like landmarks so which of your lord's marvels will you deny everyone upon it is perishing but will remain the presence of your lord full of majesty and splendor so which of your lord's marvels will you deny everyone in the heavens and the earth asks him every day he is managing so which of your lord's marvels will you deny we will attend to you o prominent too so which of your lord's marvels will you deny page the compassionate ar raman o society of jinn and humans if you can pass through the bounds of the heavens and the earth go ahead and pass but you will not pass except with authorization so which of your lord's marvels will you deny you will be bombarded with flares of fire and brass and you will not succeed so which of your lord's marvels will you deny when the sky splits apart and becomes rose like paint so which of your lord's marvels will you deny on that day no human and no jinn will be asked about his sins so which of your lord's marvels will you deny the guilty will be recognized by their marks they will be taken by the forelocks and the feet so which of your lord's marvels will you deny this is hell that the guilty deny they circulate between it and between a seething bath so which of your lord's marvels will you deny but for him who feared the standing of his lord are two gardens so which of your lord's marvels will you deny full of varieties so which of your lord's marvels will you deny in them are two flowing springs so which of your lord's marvels will you deny in them are fruits of every kind in pairs so which of your lord's marvels will you deny page the compassionate ar raman reclining on furnishings lined with brocade and the fruits of the two gardens are near at hand so which of your lord's marvels will you deny in them are maidens restraining their glances untouched before by any man or jinn so which of your lord's marvels will you deny as though they were rubies and corals so which of your lord's marvels will you deny is the reward of goodness anything but goodness so which of your lord's marvels will you deny and beneath them are two gardens so which of your lord's marvels will you deny deep green so which of your lord's marvels will you deny in them are two gushing springs so which of your Lord's marvels will you deny in them are fruits and date palms and pomegranates so which of your lord's marvels will you deny in them are good and beautiful ones so which of your lord's marvels will you deny companions secluded in the tent so which of your lord's marvels will you deny whom no human has touched before nor jinn so which of your lord's marvels will you deny reclining on green cushions and exquisite carpets page the compassionate A.R. Raman so which of your lord's Marvels will you deny blessed be the name of your Lord full of majesty and splendor the inevitable al waqiyah in the name of God the gracious the merciful when the inevitable occurs of its occurrence there is no denial bringing low raising high when the earth is shaken with a shock and the mountains are crushed and crumbled and they become scattered dust and you become three classes those on the right what of those on the right and those on the left what of those on the left and the forerunners the forerunners those are the nearest in the gardens of bliss a throng from the ancients and a small band from the latecomers on luxurious furnishings reclining on them facing one another serving them will be immortalized youth with cups pitchers and sparkling drinks causing them neither headache nor intoxication and fruits of their choice page the inevitable al and meat of birds that they may desire and lovely companions the likenesses of treasured pearls as a reward for what they used to do therein they will hear no nonsense and no accusations but only the greeting peace peace and those on the right what of those on the right in lush orchards and sweet smelling plants and extended shade and outpouring water and abundant fruit neither withheld nor forbidden and uplifted mattresses we have created them of special creation and made them virgins tender and unaging for those on the right a throng from the ancients and a throng from the latecomers and those on the left what of those on the left amid searing wind and boiling water and a shadow of thick smoke neither cool nor refreshing they had lived before that in luxury page the inevitable al and they used to persist in immense wrongdoing and they used to say when we are dead and turned into dust and bones are we to be resurrected and our ancient ancestors too say the first and the last will be gathered for the appointment of a familiar day then. You you misguided who deny the truth will be eating from the tree of bitterness will be filling your bellies with it will be drinking on top of it boiling water drinking like thirsty camels drink that is their hospitality on the day of retribution we created you if only you would believe have you seen what you ejaculate is it you who created or are we the creator we have decreed death among you and we will not be outstripped in replacing you with your likes and transforming you into. What you do not know you have known the first formation if only you would remember have you seen what you cultivate is it you who make it grow or are we the grower if we will we can turn it into rubble then you will lament we are penalized no we are being deprived have you seen the water you drink page the inevitable al is it you who sent it down from the clouds or are we the sender if we will we can make it salty will you not be thankful have you seen the fire you kindle.
is it you who produce its tree or are we the producer we have made it a reminder and a comfort for the users so glorify the name of your great lord i swear by the locations of the stars it is an oath if you only knew that is tremendous it is a noble quran in a well protected book none can grasp it except the purified a revelation from the lord of the worlds is it this discourse that you take so lightly and you make it your livelihood to deny it so when it has reached the throat as you are looking on we are nearer to it than you are but you do not see if you are not held to account then bring it back if you are truthful but if he is one of those brought near then happiness and flowers and garden of delights and if he is one of those on the right then peace upon you from those on the right but if he is one of the deniers the mistaken then a welcome of inferno page the inevitable al waqiyah and burning in hell this is the certain truth so glorify the name of your lord the magnificent iron al hadid in the name of god the gracious the merciful glorifying god is everything in the heavens and the earth he is the almighty the wise to him belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth he gives life and causes death and he has power over all things he is the first and the last and the outer and the inner and he has knowledge of all things it is he who created the heavens and the earth in six days then settled over the throne he knows what penetrates into the earth and what comes out of it and what descends from the sky and what ascends to it and he is with you wherever you may be God is seeing of everything you do to him belongs the kingship of the heavens and the earth and to God all matters are referred he merges the night into the day and he merges the day into the night and he knows what the hearts contains believe in God and his messenger and spend from what he made you inherit those among you who believe and give will have a great reward what is the matter with you that you do not believe in God when the messenger calls you to believe in your Lord and he has received a pledge from you if you are a believers page iron al hadid it is he who sends down upon his servant clear revelations to bring you out of darkness into the light God is gentle towards you most compassionate and why is it that you do not spend in the cause of God when to God belongs the inheritance of the heavens and the earth not equal. Among you are those who contributed before the conquest and fought those are higher in rank than those who contributed afterwards and fought but God promises both a good reward God is well experienced in what you do who is he who will lend God a loan of goodness that he may double it for him and will have a generous reward on the day when you see the believing men and believing women their light radiating ahead of them and to their right good news for you today gardens beneath which rivers flow dwelling therein forever that is the great triumph on the day when the hypocritical men and hypocritical women will say to those who believed wait for us let us absorb some of your light it will be said go back behind you and seek light a wall will be raised between them in which is a door within it is mercy and outside it is agony they will call to them were we not with you they will say yes but you cheated your souls and waited and doubted and became deluded by wishful thinking until the command of God arrived and arrogance deceived you regarding God therefore today no ransom will be accepted from you nor from those who disbelieved the fire is your refuge it is your companion what an evil fate is it not time for those who believe to surrender their hearts to the remembrance of God and to the truth that has come down and not be like those who were given the book previously but time page iron al hadid became prolonged for them so their hearts hardened and many of them are sinners know that God revives the earth after its death we thus explain the revelations for you so that you may understand the charitable men and charitable women who have loaned God a loan of righteousness it will be multiplied for them and for them is a generous reward those who believe in God and his messengers these are the sincere and the witnesses with their Lord they will have their reward and their light but as for those who disbelieve and deny our revelations these are the Inmates of the blaze know that the worldly life is only play and distraction and glitter and boasting among you and rivalry in wealth and children it is like a rainfall that produces plants and delights the disbelievers but then it withers and you see it yellowing and then it becomes debris while in the hereafter there is severe agony and forgiveness from God and acceptance the life of this world is nothing but enjoyment of vanity race towards forgiveness from your Lord and a garden is vast. As the heavens and the earth prepared for those who believe in God and his messengers that is the grace of God he bestows it on whomever he wills God is the possessor of immense grace no calamity occurs on earth or in your souls but it is in a book even before we make it happen that is easy for God that you may not sorrow over what eludes you nor exult over what he has given you God does not love the proud snob those who are stingy and induce people to be stingy whoever turns away God is the Independent the praiseworthy we sent our messengers with the clear proofs and we sent down with them the book and the balance that humanity may uphold justice and we sent down iron in which is violent force and page iron al hadid benefits for humanity that God may know who supports him and his messengers invisibly God is strong and powerful we sent Noah and Abraham and established in their line prophethood and the scripture some of them are guided but many of them are sinners then we sent. In their wake our messengers and followed up with Jesus son of Mary and we gave him the gospel and instilled in the hearts of those who followed him compassion and mercy but as for the monasticism which they invented we did not ordain it for them only to seek God's approval but they did not observe it with its due observance so we gave those of them who believed their reward but many of them are sinful O you who believe fear God and believe in his messenger he will give you a double portion of his mercy and will give you a light by which you walk and will forgive you God is forgiving and merciful that the people of the book may know that they have no power whatsoever over God's grace and that all grace is in God's hand he gives it to whomever he wills God is possessor of great grace the argument al law in the name of God the gracious the merciful God has heard the statement of she who argued with you concerning her husband as she complained to God God heard your conversation. 
God is hearing and seeing those of you who estrange their wives by equating them with their mothers they are not their mothers their mothers are none else but those who gave birth to them what they say is evil and a blatant lie but God is pardoning and forgiving page the argument al mujadi law those who estrange their wives by equating them with their mothers then go back on what they said must set free a slave before they may touch one another to this you are exhorted and God is well aware of what you do but whoever cannot find the means must fast for two consecutive months before they may touch one another and if he is unable then the feeding of sixty needy people this in order that you affirm your faith in God and his messenger these are the ordinances of God the unbelievers will have a painful punishment those who oppose God and his messenger will be subdued as those before them were subdued we have revealed clear messages the unbelievers will have a demeaning punishment on the day when God resurrects them all and informs them of what they did God has kept count of it but they have forgotten it God is witness over everything do you not realize that God knows everything in the heavens and everything on earth there is no secret counsel between three but he is their fourth nor between five but he is their sixth nor less than that nor more but he is with them wherever they may be then on the day of resurrection he will inform them of what they did God has knowledge. Of everything have you noted those who were prohibited from conspiring secretly but then reverted to what they were prohibited from they conspire to commit sin and aggression and defiance of the messenger and when they come to you they greet you with a greeting that God never greeted you with and they say within themselves why does God not punish us for what we say hell is enough for them they will roast in it what a miserable destiny O oh, you who believe when you converse secretly do not. Converse in sin and aggression and disobedience of the messenger but converse in virtue and piety and fear God to whom you will be gathered page the argument al mujadi law conspiracies are from Satan that he may dishearten those who believe but he will not harm them in the least except by leave of God so let the believers put their trust in God O oh, you who believe when you are told to make room in your gatherings make room God will make room for you and when you are told to disperse disperse. God elevates those among you who believe and those given knowledge many steps God is aware of what you do O oh, you who believe when you converse privately with the messenger offer something in charity before your conversation that is better for you and purer but if you do not find the means God is forgiving and merciful are you reluctant to offer charity before your conversation if you do not do so and God pardons you then perform the prayer and give alms and obey God and his messenger God is. Aware of what you do have you considered those who befriended a people with whom God has become angry they are not of you nor of them and they swear to a lie while they know God has prepared for them a terrible punishment evil is what they used to do they took their oaths as a screen and prevented others from God's path they will have a shameful punishment neither their possessions nor their children will avail them anything against God these are the inhabitants of the fire dwelling therein. Forever on the day when God will resurrect them all together they will swear to him as they swear to you thinking that they are upon something indeed they themselves are the liars page the argument al mujadi law Satan has taken hold of them and so has caused them to forget the remembrance of God these are the partisans of Satan indeed it is Satan's partisans who are the losers those who oppose God and his messenger are among the lowliest God has written I will certainly prevail I and my messengers God is strong and mighty you will not find a people who believe in God and the last day loving those who oppose God and his messenger even if they were their parents or their children or their siblings or their close relatives these he has inscribed faith in their hearts and has supported them with a spirit from him and he will admit them into gardens beneath which rivers flow wherein they will dwell forever God is pleased with them and they are pleased with him these are the Partisans of God indeed it is God's partisans who are the successful the mobilization al-Hashir in the name of God the gracious the merciful glorifying God is all that exists in the heavens and the earth he is the almighty the most wise it is he who evicted those who disbelieved among the people of the book from their homes at the first mobilization you did not think they would leave and they thought their fortresses would protect them from God but God came at them from where they never expected and through terror into their hearts they wrecked their homes with their own hands and by the hands of the believers therefore take a lesson O you who have inside had God not decreed exile for them he would have punished them in this life but in the hereafter they will have the punishment of the fire page the mobilization al hasher that is because they opposed God and his messenger whoever opposes God God is stern in retribution whether you cut down a tree or leave it standing on its trunk it is by God's will he will surely disgrace the sinners whatever God has bestowed upon his messenger from them you spurred neither horse nor camel for them but God gives authority to his messengers over whomever he will God is able to do all things whatever God restored to his messenger from the inhabitants of the villages belongs to God and to the messenger and to the relatives and to the orphans and to the poor and to the wayfarer so that it may not circulate solely between the wealthy among you whatever the messenger gives you accept it and whatever he forbids you abstain from it and fear God God is severe in punishment to the poor refugees who were driven out of their homes and their possessions as they sought the favor of God and his approval and came to the aid of God and his messenger these are the sincere and those who before them had settled in the homeland and had accepted faith they love those who emigrated to them and find no hesitation in their hearts in Helping them they give them priority over themselves even if they themselves are needy whoever is protected from his natural greed it is they who are the successful and those who came after them saying our Lord forgive us and our brethren who preceded us in faith and leave no malice in our hearts towards those who believe our Lord you are clement and merciful have you not considered those who act hypocritically they say to their brethren who disbelieved among the people of the book if page. 
the mobilization al hashir you are evicted we will leave with you and will not obey anyone against you and should anyone fight you we will certainly support you but God bears witness that they are liars if they are evicted they will not leave with them and if anyone fights them they will not support them and if they go to their aid they will turn their backs and flee then they will receive no support fear of you is more intense in their hearts than fear of God that is because they are a people who do not understand they will not fight you all together except from fortified strongholds or from behind walls their hostility towards each other is severe you would think they are united but their hearts are diverse that is because they are a people who do not understand like those shortly before them they experience the consequences of their decisions for them is a painful punishment like the devil when he says to the human being disbelieve but when he has disbelieved he says I am innocent of you I fear God the Lord of the worlds the ultimate end for both of them is the fire where they will dwell forever such is the requital for the wrongdoers O you who believe fear God and let every soul consider what it has forwarded for the morrow and fear God God is aware of what you do and do not be like those who forgot God so he made them forget themselves these are the sinners not equal are the inhabitants of the fire and the inhabitants of paradise it is the inhabitants of paradise who are the winners had we sent this Quran down on a mountain you would have seen it trembling crumbling in awe of God these parables we cite for the people so that they may reflect page the mobilization al hashir he is God there is no God but he the knower of secrets and declarations he is the compassionate the merciful he is God besides whom there is no God the sovereign the holy the peace giver the faith giver the overseer the almighty the omnipotent the Overwhelming glory be to God beyond what they associate he is God the creator the maker the designer his are the most beautiful names whatever is in the heavens and the earth glorifies him he is the majestic the wise the woman tested almam tahina in the name of God the gracious the merciful O you who believe do not take my enemies and your enemies for supporters offering them affection when they have disbelieved in what has come to you of the truth they have expelled the messenger and you. Because you believed in God your Lord if you have mobilized to strive for my cause seeking my approval how can you secretly love them I know what you conceal and what you reveal whoever among you does that has strayed from the right way whenever they encounter you they treat you as enemies and they stretch their hands and tongues against you with malice they wish that you would disbelieve neither your relatives nor your children will benefit you on the day of resurrection he will separate. Between you God is observant of what you do you have had an excellent example in Abraham and those with him when they said to their people we are quit of you and what you worship apart from God we denounce you enmity and hatred has surfaced between us and you forever until you believe in God alone except for the words of Abraham to his father I will ask page the woman tested Almam Tahina forgiveness for you though I have no power from God to do anything for you our Lord in you we trust. And to you we repent and to you is the ultimate resort our Lord do not make us a target for those who disbelieve and forgive us our Lord you are indeed the mighty and wise there is an excellent example in them for you for anyone who seeks God and the last day but whoever turns away God is the self-sufficient the most praised perhaps God will plant affection between you and those of them you consider enemies God is capable God is forgiving and merciful as for those who have not fought against you for your religion nor expelled you from your homes God does not prohibit you from dealing with them kindly and equitably God loves the equitable but God prohibits you from befriending those who fought against you over your religion and expelled you from your homes and aided in your expulsion whoever takes them for friends these are the wrongdoers O oh, you who believe when believing women come to you emigrating test them God is aware of their faith and if you find them to be faithful do not send them back to the unbelievers they are not lawful for them nor are they lawful for them but give them what they have spent you are not at fault if you marry them provided you give them their compensation and do not hold on to ties with unbelieving women but demand what you have spent and let them demand what they have spent this is the rule of God he rules among you God is knowing and wise if any of your wives desert you to the unbelievers and you decide to penalize them give those whose wives have gone away the equivalent of what they had spent and fear God in whom you are believers page the woman tested Almam Tahina O prophet if believing women come to you pledging allegiance to you on condition that they will not associate anything with God nor steal nor commit adultery nor kill their children nor commit perjury as to parenthood nor disobey you in anything righteous except their allegiance and ask God's forgiveness for them God is forgiving and merciful O you who believe do not befriend people with whom God has become angry and have despaired of the hereafter as the faithless have despaired of the occupants of the graves column asaf in the name of God the gracious the merciful everything in the heavens and the earth praises God he is the almighty the wise O oh, you who believe why do you say what you do not do it is most hateful to God that you say what you do not do God loves those who fight in his cause in ranks as though they were a compact structure when Moses said to his people oh my people why do you hurt me although you know that I am God's messenger to you and when they swerved God swerved their hearts God does not guide the sinful people and when Jesus son of Mary said oh children of Israel I am God's messenger to you confirming what preceded me of the Torah and announcing good news of a messenger who will come after me whose name is Ahmed but when he showed them the miracles they said this is obvious sorcery and who is a greater wrongdoer than he who attributes falsehoods to God when he is being invited to Islam God does not guide the wrongdoing people page column as saf they want to extinguish God's light with their mouths but God will complete his light even though the disbelievers dislike it it is he who sent his messenger with the guidance and the true religion to make it prevail over all religions even though the idolaters dislike it O oh, you who believe shall I inform you of a trade that will save 
you from a painful torment that you believe in God and his messenger and strive in the cause of God with your possessions and yourselves that is best for you if you only knew he will forgive you your sins and will admit you into gardens beneath which rivers flow and into beautiful mansions in the gardens of Eden that is the supreme success and something else you love support from God and imminent victory so give good news to the believers O you who believe be supporters of God as Jesus' son. Of Mary said to the disciples who are my supporters towards God the disciples said we are God's supporters so a group of the children of Israel believed while another group disbelieved we supported those who believed against their foe so they became dominant Friday al Jamuah in the name of God the gracious the merciful everything in the heavens and the earth glorifies God the sovereign the holy the almighty the wise it is he who sent among the unlettered a messenger from themselves reciting his revelations to them and purifying them and teaching them the scripture and wisdom although they were in obvious error before that page Friday al Jamuah and others from them who have not yet joined them he is the glorious the wise that is God's grace which he grants to whomever he wills God is possessor of limitless grace the example of those who were entrusted with the Torah but then failed to uphold it is like the donkey carrying works of literature miserable is the example of the people who denounce God's revelations God does not guide the wrongdoing people say O oh, you who follow Judaism if you claim to be the chosen of God to the exclusion of the rest of mankind then wish for death if you are sincere but they will not wish for it ever due to what their hands have advanced God knows well the wrongdoers say the death from which you flee will catch up with you then you will be returned to the knower of the invisible and the visible and he will inform you of what you used to do O oh, you who believe when the call is made for prayer on congregation day hasten to the remembrance of God and drop all business that is better for you if you only knew then when the prayer is concluded disperse through the land and seek God's bounty and remember God much so that you may prosper yet whenever they come across some business or some entertainment they scramble towards it and leave you standing say what is with God is better than entertainment and business and God is the best of providers the hypocrites al munificant in the name of God the gracious the merciful page the hypocrites al munificant when the hypocrites come to you they say we bear witness that you are God's messenger God knows that you are his messenger and God bears witness that the hypocrites are liars they treat their oaths as a cover and so they repel others from God's path evil is what they do that is because they believed and then disbelieved so their hearts were sealed and they cannot understand when you see them their appearance impresses you and when they speak you listen to what they say they are like propped up timber they think every shout is aimed at them they are the enemy so beware of them God condemns them how deluded they are and when it is said to them come the messenger of God will ask forgiveness for you they bend their heads and you see them turning away arrogantly it is the same for them whether you ask forgiveness for them or do not ask forgiveness for them God will not forgive them God does not guide the sinful people it is they who say do not spend anything on those who side with God's messenger unless they have dispersed to God belong the treasures of the heavens and the earth but the hypocrites do not understand they say if we return to the city the more powerful therein will evict the weak but power belongs to God and his messenger and the believers but the hypocrites do not know O oh, you who believe let neither your possessions nor your children distract you from the remembrance of God whoever does that these are the losers and give from what we have provided for you before death approaches one of you and he says my lord if only you would page the hypocrites al munificant delay me for a short while so that I may be charitable and be one of the righteous but God will not delay a soul when its time has come God is informed of what you do gathering at Tagabon in the name of God the gracious the merciful everything in the heavens and the earth praises God to him belongs the kingdom and to him all praise is due and he is able to do all things it is he who created you some of you are unbelievers and some of you are believers and God perceives what you do he created the heavens and the earth with truth and he designed you and designed you well and to him is the final return he knows everything in the heavens and the earth and he knows what you conceal and what you reveal and God knows what is within the hearts has the news not reached you of those who disbelieved before they tasted the ill consequences of their conduct and a painful torment awaits them that is because their messengers came to them with clear explanations but they said are human beings going to guide us so they disbelieved and turned away but God is in no need God is independent and praiseworthy those who disbelieve claim that they will not be resurrected say yes indeed by my lord you will be resurrected then you will be informed of everything you did and that is easy for God so believe in God and his messenger and the light which we sent down God is aware of everything you do page gathering at Tagab on the day when he gathers you for the day of gathering that is the day of mutual exchange whoever believes in God and acts with integrity he will remit his misdeeds and will admit him into gardens beneath which rivers flow to dwell therein forever that is the supreme achievement but as for those who disbelieve and denounce our revelations these are the inmates of the fire dwelling therein forever and what a miserable fate no disaster occurs except by God's leave whoever believes in God he guides his heart God is aware of everything so obey God and obey the messenger but if you turn away it is only incumbent on our messenger to deliver the clear message God there is no God but he and in God let the believers put their trust O oh, you who believe among your wives and your children are enemies to you so beware of them but if you pardon and overlook and forgive God is forgiver and merciful your possessions and your children are a test but with God is a splendid reward so be conscious of God as much as you can and listen and obey and give for your own good he who is protected from his stinginess these are the prosperous if you lend God a good loan he will multiply it for you and will forgive you God is appreciative and forbearing the knower of the unseen and the seen the 
Almighty the wise divorce at Talak in the name of God the gracious the merciful page divorce at Talak O Prophet if any of you divorce women divorce them during their period of purity and calculate their term and be pious before God your Lord and do not evict them from their homes nor shall they leave unless they have committed a proven adultery these are the limits of God whoever oversteps God's limits has wronged his own soul you never know God may afterwards bring about a new situation. Once they have reached their term either retain them honorably or separate from them honorably and call to witness two just people from among you and give upright testimony for God by that is exhorted whoever believes in God and the last day and whoever fears God he will make a way out for him and will provide for him from where he never expected whoever relies on God he will suffice him God will accomplish his purpose God has set a measure to all things as for those of your women who have reached menopause if you have any doubts their term shall be three months and also for those who have not yet menstruated as for those who are pregnant their term shall be until they have delivered whoever fears God he will make things easy for him this is the ordinance of God which he sent down to you whoever fears God he will remit his sins and will amplify his reward allow them to reside where you reside according to your means and do not harass them in order to make things difficult for them if they are pregnant spend on them until they give birth and if they nurse your infant give them their payment and conduct your relation in amity but if you disagree then let another woman nurse him the wealthy shall spend according to his means and he whose resources are restricted shall spend according to what God has given him God never burdens a soul beyond what he has given it God will bring ease after hardship page divorce at Talak how many a town defied the command of its Lord and his messengers so we held it strictly accountable and we punished it with a dreadful punishment it tasted the result of its decisions and the outcome of its decisions was perdition God has prepared for them a severe retribution so beware of God O oh, you who possess intellect and have faith God has sent down to you a reminder a messenger who recites to you God's verses clear and distinct that he may bring those who believe and work righteousness from darkness into light whoever believes in God and acts with integrity he will admit him into gardens beneath which rivers flow therein to abide forever God has given him an excellent provision God is he who created seven heavens and their like of earth the command descends through them so that you may know that God is capable of everything and that God encompasses everything in knowledge prohibition at Tarim in the name of God the gracious the merciful O prophet why do you prohibit what God has permitted for you seeking to please your wives God is forgiving and merciful God has decreed for you the dissolution of your oaths God is your master he is the all-knowing the most wise the prophet told something in confidence to one of his wives but when she disclosed it and God made it known to him he communicated part of it and he avoided another part then when he informed her of it she said who informed you of this he said the all-knowing the all-informed informed me page prohibition at tarim if you repent to God then your hearts have listened but if you band together against him then God is his ally as is Gabriel and the righteous believers in addition the angels will assist him perhaps if he divorces you his Lord will give him in exchange wives better than you submissive believing obedient penitent devout fasting previously married or virgins O oh, you who believe protect yourselves and your families from a fire whose fuel is people and stones over it are angels fierce and powerful they never disobey. God in anything he commands them and they carry out whatever they are commanded O oh, you who disbelieved make no excuses today you are being repaid for what you used to do O oh, you who believe repent to God with sincere repentance perhaps your Lord will remit your sins and admit you into gardens beneath which rivers flow on the day when God will not disappoint the prophet and those who believed with him their light streaming before them and to their right they will say our Lord complete our light. For us and forgive us you are capable of all things O prophet strive hard against the disbelievers and the hypocrites and be stern with them their abode is hell what a miserable destination God illustrates an example of those who disbelieve the wife of Noah and the wife of Lot they were under two of our righteous servants but they betrayed them they availed them nothing against God and it was said enter the fire with those who are entering and God illustrates an example of those who believe the wife of Pharaoh when she said my Lord build for me with you a house in paradise and save me from Pharaoh and his works and save me from the wrongdoing people page prohibition at Tarim and Mary the daughter of Imran who guarded her womb and so we breathed into her of our spirit and she believed in the truth of her Lord's words and his books and was one of the devout sovereignty al-mulk in the name of God the gracious the merciful blessed is he in whose hand is the sovereignty and who has power over everything he who created death and life to test you as to which of you is better in conduct he is the almighty the forgiving he who created seven heavens in layers you see no discrepancy in the creation of the compassionate look again can you see any cracks then look again and again and your sight will return to you dazzled and exhausted we have adorned the lower heaven with lanterns and made them missiles against the devils and we have prepared for them the punishment of the blaze for those who reject their lord there is the torment of hell what an evil destination when they are thrown into it they will hear it roaring as it seethes it almost bursts with fury every time a batch is thrown into it its keepers will ask them has no warner come to you they will say yes a warner did come to us but we disbelieved and said god did not send down anything you are very much mistaken and they will say had we listened or reasoned we would not have 
been among the inmates of the blaze page sovereignty al mulk so they will acknowledge their sins so away with the inmates of the blaze as for those who fear their lord in secret for them is forgiveness and a great reward whether you keep your word secret or declare them he is aware of the inner thoughts would he not know he who created he is the refined the expert it is he who made the earth manageable for you so travel its regions and eat of his provisions to him is the resurgence are you confident that the one in heaven will not cause the earth to collapse beneath you as it spins or are you confident that the one in heaven will not unleash against you a violent storm then you will know what my warning is like those before them also denied the truth and how was my disapproval have they not seen the birds above them spreading their wings and folding them none holds them except the compassionate he is perceiver of everything or who is this who is a force for you to protect you against the compassionate the disbelievers are in nothing but delusion or who is this that will provide for you if he withholds his provision yet they persist in defiance and aversion is he who walks bent on his own design better guided or he who walks upright on a straight path say it is he who produced you and made for you the hearing and the vision and the organs but rarely do you give thanks page sovereignty al mulk say it is he who scattered you on earth and to him you will be rounded up and they say when will this promise be fulfilled if you are truthful say knowledge is with God and I am only a clear warner but when they see it approaching the faces of those who disbelieved will turn gloomy and it will be said this is what you used to call for say have you considered should God make me perish and those with me or else he bestows his mercy on us who will protect the disbelievers from an agonizing torment say he is the compassionate we have faith in him and in him we trust soon you will know who is in evident error say have you considered if your water drains away who will bring you pure running water the pen al kalam in the name of god the gracious the merciful noon by the pen and by what they inscribe by the grace of your lord you are not insane in fact you will have a reward that will never end and you are of a great moral character you will see and they will see which of you is the afflicted your lord knows best who has strayed from his path and he knows best the well guided so do not obey the deniers page the pen al kalam they would like you to compromise so they would compromise and do not obey any vile swearer backbiter spreader of slander preventer of good transgressor sinner rude and fake besides just because he has money and children when our verses are recited to him he says myths of the ancients we will brand him on the muzzle we tested them as we tested the owners of the garden when they vowed to harvest it in the morning without any reservation but a calamity from your lord went around it while they slept and in the morning it was as if picked in the morning they called to one another go early to your plantation if you are going to harvest so off they went murmuring to one another no poor person is to enter it upon you today and early they went resolved in intent but when they saw it they said we were wrong we are now deprived the most reasonable of them said did I not say to you if only you would glorify they said glory to our Lord we were indeed in the wrong then they turned to one another blaming one another they said woe to us we were indeed domineering page the pen al kalam perhaps our Lord will give us a better substitute for it we are turning to our Lord such is the punishment but the punishment of the hereafter is greater if they only knew for the righteous are gardens of delight with their Lord shall we treat the Muslims like the villains what is the matter with you how do you judge or do you have a scripture in which you study wherein there is whatever you choose or do you have oaths from us binding until the day of resurrection that you will have whatever you demand ask them which of them will guarantee that or do they have partners then let them produce their partners if they are truthful on the day when the shin will be exposed and they will be called to bow down but they will be unable. Their eyes subdued shame will cover them they were invited to bow down when they were sound so leave me to those who reject this discourse we will proceed against them gradually from where they do not know and I will give them respite my plan is firm or do you ask them for a fee so they are burdened with debt or do they know the future and so they write it down so wait patiently for the decision of your lord and do not be like the fellow of the fish who cried out in despair were it not. For his lord's favor that reached him he would have been thrown into the wilderness fully despised page the pen al kalam but his lord chose him and made him one of the righteous those who disbelieve almost stab you with their glances when they hear the message and say he is crazy but it is no less than a reminder to all the worlds the reality al haqta in the name of God the gracious the merciful the reality what is the reality what will make you understand what the reality is. Taimud and Ayad denied the catastrophe as for Taimud they were annihilated by the overwhelming and as for Ayad they were annihilated by a furious roaring wind he unleashed it upon them for seven nights and eight days in succession you could see the people tossed around as though they were stumps of hollow palm trees can you see any remnant of them then Pharaoh came and those before him and the overturned cities steeped in sin but they disobeyed the messenger of their lord so he seized them with an overpowering grip when the waters overflowed we carried you in the cruising ship to make it a lesson for you so that retaining ears may retain it then when the trumpet is sounded a single time and the earth and the mountains are lifted up and crushed with a single crush page the reality al haqta on that day the event will come to pass and the heaven will crack so on that day it will be frail and the angels will be ranged around its borders while eight will be carrying the throne of your lord above them that day on that day you will be exposed and no secret of yours will remain hidden as for him who is given his book in his right hand he will say here take my book and read it i knew i would be held accountable so he will be in pleasant living in a lofty garden its pickings are within reach eat and drink merrily for what you did in the days gone by but as for him who is given his book in his left hand he will say i wish i was never given my book and 
Never knew what my account was if only it was the end my money cannot avail me my power has vanished from me take him and shackle him then scorch him in the blaze then in a chain which length is seventy cubits tie him up for he would not believe in God the great nor would he advocate the feeding of the destitute so he has no friend here today and no food except scum page the reality al to which only the sinners eat indeed I swear by what you see and by what you do not see. It is the speech of a noble messenger and it is not the speech of a poet little do you believe nor is it the speech of a soothsayer little do you take heed it is a revelation from the Lord of the worlds had he falsely attributed some statements to us we would have seized him by the right arm then slashed his lifeline and none of you could have restrained us from him surely it is a message for the righteous and we know that some of you will reject it and it is surely a source of grief. For the unbelievers yet it is the absolute truth so glorify the name of your Lord the magnificent ways of ascent al Mayaraj in the name of God the gracious the merciful a questioner question the imminent torment for the disbelievers none can repel it from God Lord of the ways of ascent unto him the angels and the spirit ascent on a day the duration of which is fifty thousand years so be patient with sweet patience page ways of ascent al Mayaraj they see it distant but we see it. Near on the day when the sky will be like molten brass and the mountains will be like tufted wool no friend will care about his friend they will be shown each other the criminal wishes he would be redeemed from the punishment of that day by his children and his spouse and his brother and his family that sheltered him and everyone on earth in order to save him by no means it is a raging fire it strips away the scalps it invites him who once turned his back and fled and accumulated and Hoarded man was created restless touched by adversity he is fretful touched by good he is ungenerous except the prayerful those who are constant at their prayers and those in whose wealth is a rightful share for the beggar and the deprived and those who affirm the day of judgment and those who fear the punishment of their lord their lord's punishment is not to be taken for granted and those who guard their chastity page ways of ascent al marriage except from their spouses or those living under their control for then they are free of blame but whoever seeks to go beyond that these are the transgressors and those who honor their trusts and their pledges and those who stand by their testimonies and those who are dedicated to their prayers these will be honored in gardens what is with those who disbelieve stretching their necks towards you from the right and from the left banding together is every one of them aspiring to be admitted into a garden of bliss no indeed we created them from what they know I swear by the Lord of the Easts and the Wests that we are able to replace them with better than they and we are not to be outdone so leave them to blunder and play until they meet their day which they are promised the day when they will emerge from the tombs in a rush as though they were hurrying towards a target their eyes cast down overwhelmed by humiliation this is the day which they were promised no enough in the name of God the gracious the merciful page no enough we sent Noah to his people warn your people before there comes upon them a painful punishment he said oh my people I am to you a clear warner worship God and reverence him and obey me and he will forgive you of your sins and reprieve you until a stated term God's term cannot be deferred once it has arrived if you only knew he said my lord I have called my people night and day but my call added only to their flight whenever I called them to your forgiveness they thrust their fingers into their ears and wrapped themselves in their garments and insisted and became more and more arrogant then I called them openly then I appealed to them publicly and I spoke to them privately I said ask your lord for forgiveness he is forgiving he will let loose the sky upon you in torrents and provide you with wealth and children and a lot for you gardens and a lot for you rivers what is the matter with you that you do not appreciate God's greatness although. He created you in stages do you not realize that God created seven heavens in layers and he set the moon in their midst for light and he made the sun a lamp and God germinated you from the earth like plants then he will return you into it and will bring you out again and God made the earth a spread for you page Noah now that you may travel its diverse roads Noah said my lord they have defied me and followed him whose wealth and children increase him only in perdition and they schemed outrageous schemes and they said do not give up your gods do not give up wad nor sawa nor yaghuz and yaok and nasr they have misled many so do not increase the wrongdoers except in confusion because of their wrongs they were drowned and were hurled into a fire they did not find apart from god any helpers noah said my lord do not leave of the unbelievers a single dweller on earth if you leave them they will mislead your servants and will breed only wicked unbelievers my Lord forgive me and my parents and anyone who enters my home in faith and all the believing men and believing women and do not increase the wrongdoers except in perdition the jinn al jinn in the name of God the gracious the merciful say it was revealed to me that a band of jinn listened in and said we have heard a wondrous Quran it guides to rectitude so we have believed in it and we will never associate anyone with our Lord and exalted is the grandeur of our Lord he never had a mate nor a child but the fools among us used to say nonsense about God page the jinn al jinn and we thought that humans and jinn would never utter lies about God some individual humans used to seek power through some individual jinn but they only increased them in confusion they thought as you thought that God would never resurrect anyone we probed the heaven and found it filled with stern guards and projectiles we used to take up positions to listen in but whoever listens now finds a projectile. In wait for him we do not know whether ill is intended for those on earth or if their lord intends goodness for them some of us are righteous but some of us are less than that we follow divergent paths we realized that we cannot defeat God on earth and that we cannot escape him by fleeing and when we heard the guidance we believed in it whoever believes in his lord fears neither loss nor burden among us are those who are submitting and among us are the compromisers as for those who have. 
submitted it is they who pursue rectitude but as for the compromisers they will be firewood for hell had they kept true to the path we would have given them plenty water to drink to test them with it whoever turns away from the remembrance of his lord he will direct him to torment ever mounting the places of worship are for god so do not call besides god upon anyone else page the jinn aljin and when the servant of god got up calling on him they almost fell on him in a mass say i pray only to my lord and i never associate anyone with him say it is not in my power to harm you nor to bring you to right conduct say no one can protect me from god and i will not find any refuge except with him except for a proclamation from god and his messages he who defies god and his messenger for him is the fire of hell in which they will dwell forever until when they see what they were promised they will know who is weaker in helpers and fewer in numbers say i do not know whether what you are promised is near or whether my lord will extend it for a period the knower of the invisible he does not disclose his invisible to anyone except to a messenger of his choosing he then dispatches guards before him and behind him that he may know that they have conveyed the messages of their lord he encompasses what they have and has tallied everything by number the enwrapped al-muzamil in the name of god the gracious the merciful o you enwrapped one stay up during the night accept a little for half of it or reduce it a little page the enwrapped al-muzamil or add to it and chant the Quran rhythmically we are about to give you a heavy message the vigil of night is more effective and better suited for recitation in the daytime you have lengthy work to do so remember the name of your lord and devote yourself to him wholeheartedly lord of the east and the west there is no god but he so take him as a trustee and endure patiently what they say and Withdraw from them politely and leave me to those who deny the truth those of luxury and give them a brief respite with us are shackles and a fierce fire and food that chokes and a painful punishment on the day when the earth and the mountains tremble and the mountains become heaps of sand we have sent to you a messenger a witness over you as we sent to Pharaoh a messenger but Pharaoh defied the messenger so we seized him with a terrible seizing so how will you if you persist in unbelief? Save yourself from a day which will turn the children grey-haired the heaven will shatter thereby his promise is always fulfilled this is a reminder so whoever wills let him take a path to his lord your lord knows that you stay up nearly two-thirds of the night or half of it or one-third of it along with a group of those with you god designed the night and the day he knows that you are unable page the enwrapped al-muzamil to sustain it so he has pardoned you so read of the quran what is possible for you he knows that some of you may be ill and others traveling through the land seeking God's bounty and others fighting in God's cause so read of it what is possible for you and observe the prayers and give regular charity and lend God a generous loan whatever good you advance for yourselves you will find it with God better and generously rewarded and seek God's forgiveness for God is forgiving and merciful the enrobed al in the name of God the gracious the merciful O. Oh. You enrobed one arise and warn and magnify your Lord and purify your clothes and abandon abominations and show no favor seeking gain and be constant for your Lord when the trumpet is blown that day will be a difficult day for the disbelievers not easy leave me to him whom I created alone and gave him vast wealth and children as witnesses and smoothed things for him then he wants me to add yet more by no means he was stubborn towards our revelations page the enrobed al -Muthir. I will exhaust him increasingly he thought and analyzed may he perish how he analyzed again may he perish how he analyzed then he looked then he frowned and whined then he turned back and was proud and said this is nothing but magic from the past this is nothing but the word of a mortal I will roast him in sicker but what will explain to you what sicker is it neither leaves nor spares it scorches the flesh over it are 19 we have appointed only angels to be wardens of the fire and caused their number to be a stumbling block for those who disbelieve so that those given the scripture may attain certainty and those who believe may increase in faith and those given the scripture and the believers may not doubt and those in whose hearts is sickness and the unbelievers may say what did God intend by this parable thus God leads astray whom he wills and guides whom he wills none knows the soldiers of your Lord except he this is nothing but a reminder for the mortals. Nay by the moon and the night as it retreats and the morning as it lights up it is one of the greatest page the enrobed al a warning to the mortals to whomever among you wishes to advance or regress every soul is hostage to what it has earned except for those on the right in gardens inquiring about the guilty what drove you into succor they will say we were not of those who prayed nor did we feed the destitute and we used to indulge with those who indulge and we used to deny the day of judgment until the inevitable came upon us but the intercession of intercessors will not help them why are they turning away from the reminder as though they were panicked donkeys fleeing from a lion yet every one of them desires to be given scrolls unrolled no indeed but they do not fear the hereafter nevertheless it is a reminder so whoever wills shall remember it but they will not remember unless god wills he is the source of righteousness and the source of Forgiveness Resurrection al Kiyama in the name of God the Gracious the Merciful Page Resurrection al Kiyama I swear by the day of resurrection and I swear by the blaming soul does man think that we will not reassemble his bones yes indeed we are able to reconstruct his fingertips but man wants to deny what is ahead of him he asks when is the day of resurrection when vision is dazzled and the moon is eclipsed and the sun and the moon are joined together on that day man will say. 
where is the escape no indeed there is no refuge to your lord on that day is the settlement on that day man will be informed of everything he put forward and everything he left behind and man will be evidence against himself even as he presents his excuses do not wag your tongue with it to hurry on with it upon us is its collection and its recitation then when we have recited it follow its recitation then upon us is its explanation alas you love the fleeting life and you disregard the hereafter faces on that day will be radiant looking towards their lord and faces on that day will be gloomy page resurrection al Qiyam realizing that a backbreaker has befallen them indeed when it has reached the breast bones and it is said who is the healer and he realizes that it is the parting and leg is entwined with leg to your lord on that day is the drive he neither believed nor prayed but he denied and turned away then he went to his family full of pride woe to you and woe then again woe to you and woe does man think that he will be left without purpose was he not a drop of ejaculated semen then he became a clot and he created and proportioned and made of him the two sexes the male and the female is he not able to revive the dead man alansan in the name of god the gracious the merciful has there come upon man a period of time when he was nothing to be mentioned we created man from a liquid mixture to test him and we made him hearing and Seeing we guided him to the way be he appreciative or unappreciative we have prepared for the faithless chains and yokes and a searing fire page man Allensan but the righteous will drink from a cup whose mixture is aroma a spring from which the servants of God will drink making it gush abundantly they fulfill their vows and dread a day whose ill is widespread and they feed for the love of him the poor and the orphan and the captive we only feed you for the sake of God we want from you. Neither compensation nor gratitude we dread from our Lord a frowning grim day so God will protect them from the ills of that day and will grant them radiance and joy and will reward them for their patience with a garden and silk reclining therein on the thrones experiencing therein neither sun nor frost its shade hovering over them and its fruit brought low within reach passing around them are vessels of silver and cups of crystal crystal of silver they measured them exactly they will. Be served therein with a cup whose flavor is Zanjabil a spring therein named Salzabil passing among them are eternalized youths if you see them you would think them sprinkled pearls wherever you look you see bliss and a vast kingdom upon them are garments of green silk and satin and they will be adorned with bracelets of silver and their lord will offer them a pure drink this is a reward for you your efforts are well appreciated page man Alan San it is we who sent down the Quran. Upon you a gradual revelation so be patient for the decision of your Lord and do not obey the sinner or the blasphemer among them and mention the name of your Lord morning and evening and for part of the night prostrate yourself to him and glorify him long into the night as for these they love the fleeting life and leave behind a heavy day we created them and strengthened their frame and whenever we will we can replace them with others like them this is a reminder so whoever wills let him. Take a path to his Lord yet you cannot will unless God wills God is knowing and wise he admits into his mercy whomever he wills but as for the wrongdoers he has prepared for them a painful punishment the unleashed al Mursalat in the name of God the gracious the merciful by those unleashed in succession storming turbulently scattering far and wide separating decisively delivering a message excusing or warning surely what you are promised will happen when the stars are obliterated page. The unleashed al Mursalat and the sky is fractured and the mountains are blown away and the messengers are alerted until which day is it deferred until the day of decision and what will teach you what the day of decision is woe on that day to the liars did we not destroy the ancients then succeeded them with the others this is how we deal with the guilty woe on that day to the rejectors did we not create you from an insignificant fluid then lodged it in a secure place for a known term we measured precisely we are the best to measure woe on that day to the falsifiers did we not make the earth a homestead for the living and the dead and set on it lofty mountains and given you pure water to drink woe on that day to the deniers proceed to what you use to deny proceed to a shadow of three different masses offering no shade and unavailing against the flames it shoots sparks as castles as if they were yellow camels page the unleashed al Mursalat woe on that day to the liars this is a day when they will not speak and they will not be allowed to apologize woe on that day to the rejectors this is the day of separation we have gathered you together with the ancients so if you have a strategy use it against me woe on that day to the falsifiers the righteous will be amidst shades and fountains and fruits as they desire eat and drink pleasantly for what you used to do this is how we reward the doers of good woe on that day to the deniers eat and enjoy yourselves a little you are indeed criminals woe on that day to the liars and when it is said to them kneel they do not kneel woe on that day to the rejectors in what message beyond this will they believe the event in Naba in the name of God the gracious the merciful what are they asking one another about about the great event about which they disagree surely they will find out page the event in Naba most certainly they will find out did we not make the earth a cradle and the mountains pegs and created you in pairs and made your sleep for rest and made the night a cover and made the day for livelihood and built above you seven strong ones and placed a blazing lamp and brought down from the clouds pouring water to produce with it grains and vegetation and luxuriant gardens the day of sorting has been appointed the day when the trumpet is blown and you will come in droves and the sky is opened up and becomes gateways and the mountains are set in motion and become a mirage hell is lying in ambush for the oppressors a destination where they will remain for eons they will taste therein neither coolness nor drink except boiling water and freezing hail a fitting requital for they were not anticipating any reckoning and they denied our signs utterly but we have enumerated everything in writing page the event in Nava so taste we will increase you only in suffering but for the righteous there is triumph gardens and 
vineyards and splendid spouses well matched and delicious drinks they will hear therein neither gossip nor lies a reward from your lord a fitting gift lord of the heavens and the earth and everything between them the most merciful none can argue with him on the day when the spirit and the angels stand in row they will not speak unless it be one permitted by the most merciful and he will say what is right that is the day of reality so whoever wills let him take away back to his lord we have warned you of a near punishment the day when a person will observe what his hands have produced and the faithless will say oh I wish I were dust the snatchers and not yet in the name of God the gracious the merciful by those who snatch violently and those who remove gently and those who glide smoothly and those who race swiftly and those who regulate events on the day when the quake quakes page the snatchers and not yet and is followed by the successor hearts on that day will be Founding their sights downcast they say are we to be restored to the original condition when we have become hollow bones they say this is a losing proposition but it will be only a single nudge and they will be awake has the story of Moses reached you when his lord called out to him in the sacred valley of Tuwa go to Pharaoh he has transgressed and say do you care to be cleansed and I will guide you to your lord and you will turn reverent he showed him the greatest miracle. But he denied and defied then turned his back and tried and gathered and proclaimed he said I am your Lord the Most High so God seized him with an exemplary punishment in the last and in the first in this is a lesson for whoever fears are you more difficult to create or the heaven he constructed it he raised its masses and proportioned it and he dimmed its night and brought out its daylight and the earth after that he spread page the snatchers and not yet and from it he produced its water and its pasture and the mountains he anchored a source of enjoyment for you and for your animals but when the great cataclysm arrives a day when man will remember what he has endeavored and hell will be displayed to whoever sees as for him who was defiant and preferred the life of this world then hell is the shelter but as for him who feared the standing of his lord and restrained the self from desires then paradise is the shelter they ask you about the hour when will it Take place you have no knowledge of it to your lord is its finality you are just a warner for whoever dreads it on the day when they witness it as though they only stayed an evening or its morning he frowned Abaza in the name of God the gracious the merciful he frowned and turned away when the blind man approached him but how do you know perhaps he was seeking to purify himself or be reminded and the message would benefit him page he frowned Abaza but as for him who was indifferent you gave him your attention though you are not liable if he does not purify himself but as for him who came to you seeking in awe to him you were inattentive do not this is a lesson whoever wills shall remember it on honorable pages exalted and purified by the hands of scribes noble and devoted parish man how thankless he is from what did he create him from a sperm drop he created him and enabled him then he eased the way for him then he puts him to death and buries him then when he wills he will resurrect him but no he did not fulfill what he has commanded him let man consider his food we pour down water in abundance then crack the soil open and grow in it grains and grapes and herbs and olives and dates page he frowned abaza and luscious gardens and fruits and vegetables enjoyment for you and for your livestock but when the deafening noise comes to pass the day when a person will flee from his brother and his mother and his father and his consort and his children every one of them on that day will have enough to preoccupy him faces on that day will be radiant laughing and rejoicing and faces on that day will be covered with misery overwhelmed by remorse these are the faithless the vicious the rolling attack where in the name of God the gracious the merciful when the sun is rolled up when the stars are dimmed when the mountains are set in motion when the relationships are suspended when the beasts are gathered when the oceans are set aflame when the souls are paired when the girl buried alive is asked page the rolling attack where for what crime was she killed when the records are made public when the sky is peeled away when the fire is set ablaze when paradise is brought near each soul will know what it has readied I swear by the galaxies precisely running their courses and by the night as it recedes and by the morn as it breathes this is the speech of a noble messenger endowed with power. Eminent with the Lord of the throne abate and honest your friend is not possessed he saw him on the luminous horizon and he does not withhold knowledge of the unseen and it is not the word of an accursed devil so where are you heading it is only a reminder to all mankind to whoever of you wills to go straight but you cannot will unless God wills the Lord of the worlds the shattering al Fatar in the name of God the gracious the merciful when the sky breaks apart page the Shattering al Fatar when the planets are scattered when the oceans are exploded when the tombs are strewn around each soul will know what it has advanced and what it has deferred O oh man what deluded you concerning your lord the most generous he who created you and formed you and proportioned you in whatever shape he willed he assembled you but you reject the religion though over you are watchers honest recorders they know everything you do the virtuous will be in bliss while the wicked will be in hell they will enter it on the day of justice and they will not be absent from it but what will convey to you what the day of justice is then again what will convey to you what the day of justice is the day when no soul will avail another soul anything and the decision on that day is God's the defrauders al mutafafan in the name of God the gracious the merciful woe to the defrauders page the defrauders al mutafafan those who when they take a measure from people they take in full but when they measure or weigh to others they cheat do these not know that they will be resurrected for a great day the day when mankind will stand before the lord of the worlds not at all the record of the wicked is in sejin but how can you know what sejin is a numerical book woe on that day to the deniers those who deny the day of reckoning but none denies it except the sinful aggressor when our revelations are recited to him he says legends of the ancients.
not at all their hearts have become corroded by what they used to earn not at all on that day they will be screened from their Lord then they will roast in hell then it will be said this is what you used to deny no indeed the record of the righteous is in Eliyun but how can you know what Eliyun is a numerical book witnessed by those brought near indeed the righteous will be amid bliss on thrones looking on you will recognize on their faces the radiance of bliss page the defrauders al mutafaf and they will be given to drink a sealed wine whose seal is musk this is what competitors should compete for its mixture is of toss nem a spring from which those brought near drink those who committed crimes used to laugh at those who believed and when they passed by them they would wink at one another and when they went back to their families they would go back exulting and if they saw them they would say these people are lost yet they were not sent as guardians over them but on that day those who believed will laugh at the unbelievers on luxurious furnishings looking on have the unbelievers been repaid for what they used to do the rupture Alan she cake in the name of God the gracious the merciful when the sky is ruptured and hearkens to its Lord as it must and when the earth is leveled out and casts out what is in it and becomes empty and hearkens to its Lord as it must O man you are laboring towards your Lord and you will meet him as for him who is given his book in his right hand he will have an easy settlement page the rupture Alan she cake and will return to his family delighted but as for him who is given his book behind his back he will call for death and will enter the blaze he used to be happy among his family he thought he would never return in fact his lord was watching him I swear by the twilight and by the night and what it covers and by the moon as it grows full you will mount stage by stage what is the matter with them that they do not believe and when the Quran is read to them they do not bow down in fact those who disbelieve are in denial but God knows what they hide inside so inform them of a painful punishment except those who believe and do good deeds they will have an undiminished reward the constellations al Burujay in the name of God the gracious the merciful by the sky with the constellations and by the promised day and by the witness and the witness destroyed were the people of the trench page the constellations al Burujay the fire supplied with fuel while they sat around it and were witnessing what they did to the believers they begrudged them only because they believed in God the Almighty the praiseworthy to whom belongs the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth God is witness over everything those who tempt the believers men and women then do not repent for them is the punishment of hell for them is the punishment of burning those who believe and do righteous deeds will have gardens beneath which rivers flow that is the great triumph the onslaught of your lord is severe it is he who begins and repeats and he is the forgiving the loving possessor of the glorious throne doer of whatever he wills has there come to you the story of the legions of pharaoh and tamud in fact those who disbelieve are in denial and god encloses them from beyond in fact it is a glorious quran in a preserved tablet the nightly visitor at Tarak in the name of God the gracious the merciful page the nightly visitor at Tarek by the sky and at Tarek but what will let you know what at Tarek is the piercing star there is no soul without a protector over it let man consider what he was created from he was created from gushing liquid issuing from between the backbone and the breast bones he is certainly able to return him on the day when the secrets are disclosed he will have no strength and no supporter by the sky that returns and the earth that cracks open it is a decisive word it is no joke they plot and scheme but I plot and scheme therefore give the blasphemers respite a brief respite the most high Allah in the name of God the gracious the merciful praise the name of your Lord the most high he who creates and regulates he who measures and guides he who produces the pasture and then turns it into light debris page the most high Allah we will make you read so do not forget except what God wills he knows what is declared and what is hidden we will ease you into the easy way so remind if reminding helps the reverent will remember but the wretched will avoid it he who will enter the gigantic fire where he will neither die nor live successful is he who purifies himself and mentions the name of his lord and prays but you prefer the present life though the hereafter is better and more lasting this is in the former scriptures the scriptures of abraham and moses the overwhelming al Gashia in the name of God the gracious the merciful has there come to you the news of the overwhelming faces on that day will be shamed laboring and exhausted roasting in a scorching fire given to drink from a flaming spring they will have no food except thorns that neither nourishes nor satisfies hunger page the overwhelming al Gashia faces on that day will be joyful satisfied with their endeavor in a lofty garden in it you will hear no nonsense in it is a flowing spring. In it are raised beds and cups set in place and cushions set in rows and carpets spread around do they not look at the camels how they are created and at the sky how it is raised and at the mountains how they are installed and at the earth how it is spread out so remind you are only a reminder you have no control over them but whoever turns away and disbelieves God will punish him with the greatest punishment to us is their return then upon us rests their reckoning the Don Al. Fajr in the name of God the gracious the merciful by the daybreak and ten nights and the even and the odd page the dawn al-Fajr and the night as it recedes is there in this an oath for a rational person have you not seen how your Lord dealt with Ayat Aram of the pillars the like of which was never created in the land and Tamu those who carved the rocks in the valley and Pharaoh of the stakes those who committed excesses in the lands and spread much corruption therein so your Lord poured down upon them a scourge of punishment your Lord is on the lookout as for man whenever his Lord tests him and honors him and prospers him he says my Lord has honored me but whenever he tests him and restricts his livelihood for him he says my Lord has insulted me not at all but you do not honor the orphan and you do not urge the feeding of the poor and you devour inheritance with all greed and you love wealth with immense love know when the earth is leveled pounded and 
crushed and your Lord comes with the angels row after row and on that day hell is brought forward on that day man will remember but how will remembrance avail him he will say if only I had forwarded for my life on that day none will punish as he punishes and none will shackle as he shackles page the Don Al-Fajr but as for you O tranquil soul return to your Lord pleased and accepted enter among my servants enter my paradise the land al balad in the name of God the gracious the merciful I swear by this land and you are a resident of this land and by a father and what he fathered we created man in distress does he think that no one has power over him he says I have used up so much money does he think that no one sees him did we not give him two eyes and a tongue and two lips and we showed him the two ways but he did not brave the ascent and what will explain to you what the ascent is the freeing of a slave or the feeding on a day of hunger an orphan near of kin or a destitute in the dust then he becomes of those who believe and advise one another to patience and advise one another to kindness page the land al balad these are the people of happiness but as for those who defy our revelations these are the people of misery upon them is a padlocked fire the sun ash shams in the name of god the gracious the merciful by the sun and its radiance and the moon as it follows it and the day as it reveals it and the night as it conceals it and the sky and he who built it and the earth and he who spread it and the soul and he who proportioned it and inspired it with its wickedness and its righteousness successful is he who purifies it failing is he who corrupts it tamu denied in its pride when it followed its most wicked the messenger of God said to them this is the she camel of God so let her drink but they called him a liar and hamstrung her so their Lord crushed them for their sin and leveled it and he does not. Fear its sequel page the night al the night al in the name of God the gracious the merciful by the night as it covers and the day as it reveals and he who created the male and the female your endeavors are indeed diverse as for him who gives and is righteous and confirms goodness we will ease his way towards ease but as for him who is stingy and complacent and denies goodness we will ease his way towards difficulty and his money will not avail him when he plummets it is. Upon us to guide and to us belong the last and the first I have warned you of a fierce blaze none will burn in it except the very wicked he who denies and turns away but the devout will avoid it he who gives his money to become pure seeking no favor in return only seeking the acceptance of his lord the most high and he will be satisfied page morning light adh duha morning light adh duha in the name of God the gracious the merciful by the morning light and the night as it settles. Your Lord did not abandon you nor did he forget the hereafter is better for you than the first and your Lord will give you and you will be satisfied did he not find you orphaned and sheltered you and found you wandering and guided you and found you in need and enriched you therefore do not mistreat the orphan nor rebuff the seeker but proclaim the blessings of your Lord the soothing Ashshar in the name of God the gracious the merciful did we not soothe your heart and lift from you. Your burden which weighed down your back and raised for you your reputation with hardship comes ease with hardship comes ease when your work is done turn to devotion and to your Lord turn for everything page the fig at tin the fig at tin in the name of God the gracious the merciful by the fig and the olive and Mount Sinai and this safe land we created man in the best design then reduced him to the lowest of the low except those who believe and do righteous deeds for them is a reward without end so why do you still reject the religion is God not the wisest of the wise clot al alak in the name of God the gracious the merciful read in the name of your Lord who created created man from a clot read and your Lord is the most generous he who taught by the pen taught man what he never knew in fact man oversteps all bounds when he considers himself exempt but to your Lord is the return have you seen him who prevents a servant when he prays do you think he is Upon guidance page clot al alak or advocates righteousness do you see how he disbelieved and turned away does he not know that God sees no if he does not desist we will drag him by the forelock a deceitful sinful forelock let him call on his gang we will call the guards no do not obey him but kneel down and come near decree al Qadr in the name of God the gracious the merciful we sent it down on the night of decree but what will convey to you what the night of decree is the night. Of decree is better than a thousand months in it descend the angels and the spirit by the leave of their lord with every command peace it is until the rise of dawn clear evidence al in the name of God the gracious the merciful those who disbelieved among the people of the scripture and the polytheists were not apart until the clear evidence came to them a messenger from God reciting purified scripts in them are valuable writings those who were given the scripture did not. Splinter except after the clear evidence came to them page clear evidence al they were commanded only to worship God devoting their faith to him alone and to practice regular prayer and to give alms that is the upright religion those who disbelieve among the people of the scripture and the polytheists will be in the fire of hell where they will abide forever these are the worst of creatures as for those who believe and lead a righteous life these are the best of creatures there. Reward is with their Lord gardens of eternity beneath which rivers flow where they will abide forever God is pleased with them and they are pleased with him that is for whoever fears his Lord the quake azizal in the name of God the gracious the merciful when the earth is shaken with its quake and the earth brings out its loads and man says what is the matter with it on that day it will tell its tales for your Lord will have inspired it on that day the people will emerge in droves. To be shown their works whoever has done an Adam's weight of good will see it and whoever has done an Adam's weight of evil will see it the racers alady yet in the name of God the gracious the merciful by the racers panting page the racers alady yet igniting sparks raiding at dawn raising clouds of dust storming into the midst indeed the human being is ungrateful to his lord and he bears witness to that and he is fierce in his love of wealth does he not know when the contents of 
the graves are scattered around and the contents of the hearts are obtained their Lord on that day is fully informed of them the shocker al karia in the name of God the gracious the merciful the shocker what is the shocker what will explain to you what the shocker is the day when the people will be like scattered moths and the mountains will be like tufted wool as for he whose scales are heavy he will be in a pleasant life but as for he whose scales are light his home is the abyss. Do you know what it is a raging fire page abundance at Takathur abundance at Takathur in the name of God the gracious the merciful abundance distracts you until you visit the graveyards indeed you will know certainly you will know if you knew with knowledge of certainty you would see the inferno then you will see it with the eye of certainty then on that day you will be questioned about the bliss time LAS are in the name of God the gracious the merciful by time the human being is. In loss accept those who believe and do good works and encourage truth and recommend patience the backbiter al humaza in the name of God the gracious the merciful woe to every slanderer backbiter who gathers wealth and counts it over thinking that his wealth has made him immortal by no means he will be thrown into the crusher and what will make you realize what the crusher is page the backbiter al humaza God's kindled fire that laps to the hearts it closes in on them in extended columns the elephant alfil in the name of God the gracious the merciful have you not considered how your Lord dealt with the people of the elephant did he not make their plan go wrong he sent against them swarms of birds throwing at them rocks of baked clay leaving them like chewed up leaves Koraish Koraish in the name of God the gracious the merciful for the security of Koraish their security during winter and summer journeys let them worship the Lord of this house who has fed them against hunger and has secured them against fear assistance al -Ma'an in the name of God the gracious the merciful have you considered him who denies the religion page assistance al -Ma'an it is he who mistreats the orphan and does not encourage the feeding of the poor so woe to those who pray those who are heedless of their prayers those who put on the appearance and withhold the assistance plenty al kathir in the name of God the gracious the merciful we have given you plenty so Pray to your Lord and sacrifice he who hates you is the loser the disbelievers al kafirun in the name of God the gracious the merciful say O disbelievers I do not worship what you worship nor do you worship what I worship nor do I serve what you serve nor do you serve what I serve you have your way and I have my way victory and NAS are in the name of God the gracious the merciful when there comes God's victory and conquest page victory and NAS are and you see the people entering God's religion in multitudes then celebrate the praise of your Lord and seek his forgiveness he is the acceptor of repentance thorns al masad in the name of God the gracious the merciful condemned are the hands of Abilahab and he is condemned his wealth did not avail him nor did what he acquired he will burn in a flaming fire and his wife the fire would carry her around her neck is a rope of thorns monotheism Ali Klaus in the name of God the gracious the merciful say he is God the one God the absolute he begets not nor was he begotten and there is nothing comparable to him daybreak alphalak in the name of God the gracious the merciful say I take refuge with the Lord of daybreak from the evil of what he created and from the evil of the darkness as it gathers and from the evil of those who practice sorcery page daybreak alphalak and from the evil of an envious when he envies mankind and nas in the name of God the gracious the merciful say I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind the king of mankind the god of mankind from the evil of the sneaky whisperer who whispers into the hearts of people from among jinn and among people